Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dies, that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders. We have decorative dies, we have colouring daubers, we have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping moulds, where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers, which are absolutely stunning. Tickets are on sale now for Crafting Live at Sandown Racecourse. Featuring exclusive offers and competitions. Over 800 make and takes. Stock up from over 50 exhibitors. And meet and greet our craft presenters. Plus, craft members save 25% off their tickets. Book your tickets now at creatingcraft.com and search for Crafting Live. Hi, I'm Matthew Palmer, professional artist with the SAA, the UK's largest and friendliest art community. The SAA exists to inform, encourage and inspire all who want to paint and that's exactly what you'll learn to do with me as your teacher. As a self-taught artist of 30 years ago I know the challenges of a white piece of paper and learning how to paint but with me and the SAA I'll show you how easy watercolour painting really is. I want to show you my watercolour painting techniques and I want to get you over that white paper fear and get you started and develop your watercolour painting. So whether you're a beginner or an advanced artist, I've got some fantastic watercolour techniques that will get you started and take you even further on your watercolour journey. Good morning to you. How are you this morning? Do you know, I think I went to bed about four hours ago and now I'm here. But it's great to have your company, it really is. And I hope um, you stay with us all the way through the day because we are live all the way through until 10 pm every single day here at the craft store. Of course, we now have our sister channel alongside us, uh, Create and Craft. And we've got a great, well, we've actually got two superb promotions at the moment. One is Flex Stravaganza, mm, where you can divide the cost of anything over a pound into two interest-free monthly payments. So that's going to help because we're at the end of January, aren't we? And also, if you've not used it already, there is a code called WELCOME. Just the word WELCOME. You can use that when you give us a call or when you head to the website. And if you're spending over £20, you'll get £5 off. How about that? It's only one per customer, one time only. You can use it on Create and Craft and here on the craft store. If you're using it on the website, a little tip for you. Put things into your basket, go through the process, and just when you go to check out, that's when you put your code in, okay? Put welcome in if you've not used it before, and you get £20 off. It's a great deal, isn't it? £5 off, spending £20 or more. There you go. <laughs> 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 What's the daisy? Uh, right, uh, I'm not alone, though. I am with the gorgeous Natasha. How are you, Tash? Not very well. How are you? I'm good. Now, Tash, yes. Natasha. Yes. What do you prefer? Um, I'm anything, just not Nat. Okay. I thought you were easy, but anything, just not that. Okay. I mean, just don't tell anyone, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, Tash, look, I'm really looking forward to the show. I'm already looking down our counter and seeing all the different fabric that we've got on the show. It's designer fabric as well. Yeah, the show is full today. Mm. So I've brought you a little bit of everything that we do at Natasha Makes because we do toy making, we do bags, we do tablet cases, which we've got today. Um, lovely Jay Norcock works with us. She does quilts. We've got a smorgasbord of everything on the show today. I mean, it really is. From your beginner projects to slightly more advanced, we've got the lot. We can't actually fit everything on this show, but we are back at 11 um, so yeah just take a look because there's there's a lot there's everything from Liberty to the K Facet Collective um, to Moda to all sorts oh, so exciting all right okay let's start mm -hmm. with the first kit that we have got if you would like to make and create a beautiful case for your tablet we have got the pattern and the oh, fabric 
for you. <laughs> the pattern <laughs> and the fabric for you. There and you, you go. What's that about? Oh, that's for the quilt. All of the interfacing yes. buttons, labels, yes. elastic lock. Yeah, you do. And that's what gives it that lovely professional look. Now, when I say professional look, can we make and sell these tabs? Absolutely. Brilliant. If that gets you more pennies to spend on your hobbies that you love, do it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Love it. So you've got the little handmade label at the bottom, the beautiful fabric. We'll run through the different options that you've got as well. You've got the little fastener and the button. You've also got the pattern now this is important because you love your patterns you love the way that you deliver them to people i taught for 10 years yes and what became very very clear to me was that people do not learn in the same way so what i wanted to achieve with my patterns was to make sure that those that are visual learners and if you're crafting there's a big chance that you are are fully covered i get so despondent when i try and do a pattern and i just don't understand what they're talking yeah. about or well, there's terminology that i don't understand especially when i was starting um so i want to make sure that even if you don't understand any terminology um, and we do give these to complete beginners yeah. and they will, you know, to, to make and to give feedback um, but to make sure that there's a visual there for anybody of any standard because I don't mind if it's teaching grandmother to yes. suck eggs but what I do mind is if you can't do it yeah, that's, sure. that's not fun If so, you can't suck an yeah. egg Tasha's going to show you how go. to do You're it. There you go, you sorted. You're sorted. <laughs> um, top quality paper as well, always. also very important yeah, to always, you. always, because you want to keep these. Yeah. But you've invested in them, you want to keep them always and come back to them because technology is not going to go away, but the size of your technology keeps changing. Yes. So that's why this is um, any size. You measure your technology and then you make it according to that and it shows you how to do that in there. So that's why I think these kits will make two, but again, that's dependent. I've had um, an iPad case and um and a laptop yeah case out of out wow. of one of these kits wow so that's, that's amazing why. so you know that but you know it depends what you're making of course i think of course it should make two let's go through the options for you um beautiful fabrics again designer by uh k facet now the first option you have got this beautiful velvet it's a nice uh, it's not it's not a very deep velvet it's a high quality it's a velvet cotton, yeah it's a, mm. it's a cotton velvet so if if velvet is it it doesn't have a really rich deep pile it just has enough to feel fabulous. Yes. Um, and we put that on the inside because then it cleans the screen. Good idea. On the touch screens. It Do you know what it feels it like, Tash? A little bit like suede as well. Yes. You know, that lovely yes, yes. feeling. Uh, okay, your first option that you've got here, gorgeous, deep blue. So you've got your royal Mili blue yeah, Mili Fury. Velvet, velvet. And there look is. at the Millie Fury. Look yeah, at that. Yeah, Isn't yeah, yeah, that yeah. beautiful? Um, and it's what's nice is that the fabrics that they come with, the velvet, really does bring out the colours in the pattern. So that is the royal blue. That's your first option. The second one, I mean, this is absolutely Tickle my fancy. spectacular. Oh, yes, please. Oh, there it is. Then. Oh, and it's only <laughs> five past seven on a Sunday morning, and I'm already tickling it. <laughs> this is Brandon Mabley's Tickle My Fancy. Wow. Um, yeah, it's just, it's a good lot of fun. Yeah. Um, because what I wanted to bring you was a variety of fabrics that could be um, for anyone. You know, it's really easy to bring lots of gorgeous florals, and people think, oh, it's just for women. But no, everyone has, everyone has um, tablets and stuff like that. So, yeah. Do you know something? I think this year, don't quote me on it, but I don't know, but I think that the 80s influence is coming back big time with all of these colours. I don't know, just saying, so you might want to You've pop heard that. it here first. In, you've heard it here the first. Oracle Janice. <laughs> Uh, right, I uh, love this one as well with the fish. This is well, something this is really Koi different. Poloi. Again, this is Brandon Mabley. Koi Poloi. Koi Poloi Koi in Delft. Poloi. So we've got the Delft China inspiration in the colourways there. Yes. Um, but that's your Koi Poloi. That is amazing, love that. The next one along, beautiful florals in here and again, great colours. Oh. And this is married up with, is that a With the midnight. Blue, the yeah, midnight. Yeah, it's a wow. really deep blue. Yeah. And this is uh, right, my French is dreadful, but I think it's pronounced cloison. Cloison. Oh, cloison. Uh, I mean, we'll go with that, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's beautiful either way, however it's pronounced. It is. Go uh, well, for it. <laughs> we, shall check, we shall check that later. Uh, right, so the next one along, you've got lovely bright this yellows in here. This is Mum. I will demo in this one for you this morning. This is Hocusize Mums, as in chrysanthemums. Is that the one that you've yeah, got cut yeah, there? Yeah. Now that and looks completely different. different. Look? Because that's, it's such a large pattern. Can I grab one yeah, of those of course just to you show? Can. This yeah. is, let me show you it cut down let me just bring that in I don't know if you can go out slightly just to see that because it looks 
completely different. Look at that. When you know when you focus, it's like when yeah. you get a frame on a picture. Focused on that part, that's the fabric. Yeah. Wow. You get a half metre of the fabric as well. You're never going to use up a full half metre. No, no. Next one along. Oh, it's the Koi Carp again, or the Poi Koi. Koi Koi Poi. Koi Koi Poi. Koi Now, I don't know which one I like. I think I, I, think I oh, really like this one. it's a tricky one. Yeah. It's a tricky one. I like that. And that comes with that lovely deep midnight again. Uh, next along, nice zingy red here. Wow, look so at that. So this is Dorothy. Oh. And we've put it with that red for that red that little hint of red velvet um, and I just adore it so um, this is Philip Jacobs for the K Facet Collective and the fabric is called Dorothy after his mum oh that is lovely and his mum used to sweep the bombs off the top of the hospital at Charing Cross during the wow. war I mean what a woman yeah what, what a, a woman, woman. Dorothy so she now, should have her own fabric certainly should and if I could be friends with anyone it would be Dorothy, Dorothy. right this is spectacular. So again, this is Hokusai's mum's again in cool. Wow. So same fabric, different colorway. And this is the thing. So Philip Jacobs designs for the Cave Facet Collective and then Cave does the colorways. And Cave is just a genius with color. Yeah. And so that's what you're getting, that incredible, almost luminous green coming through there. But with with um, sort of goldeny colours and blues and purples, it's just absolutely divine. I adore that one. It really well, is love spectacular. All of them. I mean, it's beautiful close up, but when you see it at a distance, like any fabric, for example, you see that whole picture. Absolutely sensational. Right next along. Now this is interesting. What have we got here? Your ah, octopus. octopus. Yeah, th again, this is a Brandon Mabley one. It's great fun. This is always one of the first ones to sell out. And when we sell it by the half metre, the number of women that bought it and made shirts for their husbands was do just you know what? brilliant. I'd love a shirt made out of this because I, do you know what I love about these fabrics? When you see them, again, you know, either close up or from a distance, for example, as you're seeing it now, I see the colours first of all. Yeah. And then I see the patterns. And the colours in this, I love. I love that They're light happy blue. fabric. Yeah, absolutely. But Fabulous. Love that one. And that's married up with the, with the, black. the black. Yeah, yeah, with the black velvet. Doesn't that work well and makes this really, really pop. Okay, next along, next along. I told you we've got lots to go through. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, this is absolutely beautiful. This Look is at your the coleus in lavender. Oh, wow. It's oh, that right, is again, this is Philip Jacobs. He just, his ability with natural, with the natural world uh, it is just stunning, but that's wow. your coleus and lavender, and I've married it with the purple velvet, and then what Kafe has done with the colours on that is just exquisite. It is, isn't it? Just exquisite. Wow, that is beautiful. Again, close up, looks fantastic. From a distance, from a distance, you can see that pattern there. Absolutely beautiful. Can I ask a question with this one? Yeah. Um, directional, non-directional, because we're seeing the leaves go that way, could Doesn't we turn matter. the fabric? Yeah, of course. Yep. Yeah, Perfect. Yeah, yeah. You've got half metre there, you've got 44 inches by 20 inches yeah. of fabric there. Lovely. You've got a huge amount to do it, any which way up you like. Superb, so those are your options to make that wonderful tablet or laptop case. You choose, you decide, doesn't matter what brand your technology is. Be your phone. Um, you do you know, know what? You could even put anything. your books in there as well. It doesn't have yeah. to be electronic technology. It could be um, your your books and your diaries and things like that. It's absolutely gorgeous. £24.99 pence is a fabulous price. Guess what? That's over £20, isn't it? And if you've not used your welcome code yet, don't tell Tash. What? Get five pounds off. What? I know, don't tell her, don't tell her. But that's uh, like you've got the Makes it for 19 free. today. That's yeah, amazing. you're getting the pattern for free if you do it that way. Let's go to the web. This is how you can choose on craftstore.com. Now, the Mill Fury, nearly a quarter of the stock has gone of that one already. Wow. That's Busy always, this morning. Yeah, yeah that is popular. a beautiful one, isn't it? Um, you choose, you decide. There are so many different ones on there. Have a peruse. If you want more than one, you're more than welcome to do so. We have got some fabulous fabrics on the show. Whilst you're on the website, go and have a look at the Liberty. Go and have a look at the Moda that's available for you. All the different patterns if you're into making your quilts. Or maybe this is going to be your first quilt making. We've got that for you on the show. Uh, so, so much for you to choose choose from there you go and great deals as well and is this the new website when did this go up oh we've got a new website it went live yesterday well I wasn't wow. here yesterday I was over at our sister channel look at this how smooth is this nice I, now let's have a look who's fake oh look oh isn't he lovely 
Do you think we could make a quilt out of Yanis's face? I'd love to do that. Do you know it has been done before, not with Yanis, but with uh, I've, uh, you, you can. Oh, imagine! Do imagine Yanis on your quilt, going to bed with Yanis every single night, and waking up with him as well. That's I'm a sure bonus. Sure, would have something to yeah. say about that. Uh, <laughs> it's a thing. Maybe we could do it. Uh, right. <laughs> I don't know what Jane right, would say, then. or what Millie would say, but you know, yeah, we, we could possibly do good. it around the nation. Uh, right, so those are your options uh, for that. Are we heading to Tash now? Or? Yeah, Tash, let's have a look at what we're doing. Well, I just wanted to show you very, very quickly how we put this together, because um, how to measure your, uh, your device is all explained in the kit, but, and then you then cut your um, interfacing. That's included? Yeah, yeah, so your interface... In addition to the half metre of fabric, the very large fat quarter of velvet, you're also going to get a half metre of H640, you also get your um, elastic, you're also going to get two buttons, they will vary in design, and you also get your two handmade tags. So it's a really full kit. But the other thing is you don't need anything else, just your thread. Okay. And that's it, that's the full, that's the full shebang done, because you've got um, your instructions and everything else in there. There we go, put another set of instructions there for you. So um, you will cut all of your fabric to the same size. So your interfacing, you want to interface your outer fabric um, and then you've got your velvet for your lining. If you need to press your velvet, if it's a little bit crumpled, mine a bit in my bag, a little bit crumpled, do it from the back. Ah, okay. okay, yes. So you can press it from the back, but I wouldn't press on the pile on no. the front. But you can see it's not got a deep pile. It's got enough that it feels gorgeous, um, but not it doesn't, yeah, you know, you don't have to stop quality. worrying about it. It's lovely, yeah, lovely cotton velvet. Um, so, again, if you want to look at direction, then have a think about which way you want your pattern to be. I'm going to have it so that my, um, my chrysanthemums, mums, <laughs> size mums, <laughs> Japanese chrysanthemums, basically, um, are going to be there. So, we're going to put our velvet right sides together, and we're going to stitch along the top. Okay. But, 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 in the meantime, take a length of your elastic. Ba, 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 if I can find that. And some pins. Um, and again, all the measurements, they're all in there for you. And then do the very old-fashioned thing of finding the middle. Okay. Like so. And just put a bit of, of a crease in it. Yeah. And then all you want to do is just hook your elastic so that it's in there. Okay. And then I would just pin it, pin it, pin it in place. And I do it so that the pin sticks out, then I can take it out later. Where am I little? I'm just thinking with Valentine's Day coming up, what a great gift. Well, do you know, Mother's yeah. Day, Father's Day, birthdays. All of those sorts of things. just today to give My a office manager, um, her daughter turned 17 Did two she? days ago. She made one of these um, and she's just, she's so thrilled. She's like, Tasha, it's such an easy one, but it looks so effective. Oh. And that's what I want. I want it to be um, super easy, super effective for everyone so that uh, this is a beginner's project. As far as I'm concerned, this is a beginner's project. It's straight line sewing. There's nothing <laughs> tricky in here at all well it's the design of fabric that makes it special it's the and, quality and yeah. like you say tash 24.99 if you can make two tablet cases yeah. that's 12 pounds and have stuff left over by the way and have some have left, left over yeah, maybe yeah. make a little um, smartphone cover or something like that um think about how much you would pay for design of fabric made into a tablet but it's not um, just that case. is it you also get you're also going to have um your instructions always so when you do upgrade your tablet or your phone or whatever and you need to make it again, you've got, it's the kit that never runs out because you've got, you've got the, the instructions pattern to go. always. Yeah. So we're just going to stitch along that top line. I'm going to increase my stitch length a little bit. And if you want to with this, if you want to put your walking foot on, then you can. And you see already, that looks a bit, a bit special. It does. Special. I just, I can't get over the fact that we've just cut a piece out of that fabric, and it, it looks so focused and fabulous. And when you look at the actual fabric that you're getting, there's so much more that you could use. And I guess it's going to be entirely up to you whereabouts you cut that fabric. And that's the beauty, you know, you can take some of the fabric here, you can have a look at the different designs and really focus on one part because you've got enough to do that. I mean, I had my fabric folded in half when I cut it, so I've got exactly the same both sides. But you yes. don't have to. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, I've got some news. Which option are Meg? 
the very first one, the Mill Fury, 40% of the stock has already gone. Yeah, it's always a popular And we're one. only 17 minutes in. Yeah, very yeah. popular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that comes with that gorgeous royal blue. Oh, that, that is rather special, isn't it? And those two together look absolutely fantastic. So busy for that one, Tash. Fabulous. Good, good, good. Um, I am just going to trim this side back a little bit. Um, so, 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 I've just gone over a little bit. Um, we then... them right sides together got you okay and okay. remember you do get the wadding included with the button and the little handmade labels uh, are they made of leather faux leather oh lovely yeah, yeah so um now what i would do is match up on the seam first of all okay so that then it will flow all the way around and pop your pin in there okay you're going to leave a turning through gap okay all right um so some and i do it on the side because you just tend to notice it less but I do just tend to just mark it. See what's nice about this project as well um, because it's like you say it is very easy yeah. to put together. Yeah absolutely. Um, if you are brand new to soft crafts maybe you've had um, a sewing machine brought for you you don't have to have uh, a fandangle posh sewing machine like you've got here with you today. No you don't so I have a 60 year old singer sewing machine yes. that I started out on oh. and I make sure that all of my all of my patterns can be made on on a much older machine oh. so that anybody who's starting out anywhere you know it's a, it's accessible I mean the, it's my job so yeah yes. I do have a nice sewing machine yeah. um, but to be honest you can do this on any machine and the other thing is if you're trying to get your grandkids or something into sewing yeah, it's a great they've idea. all got technology yeah and this is you know this is the thing this is maybe something that you could sit down and and do with them because when they come and they're, they're on their use. phones yes. or their tablets or yes. their whatever it is that they're on and then you are literally just going to sew around apart from your turning yeah. through gap and we're pretty much done well if you want to get a, a gift easy. maybe for the grandchildren for example you've been thinking you know what do you get Tom what do you get Alice this is going to be a great gift for them once it's made up because it is practical it's usable and it's rather fancy as well with all the different options of the fabrics I'm sure you'll find something in there for any member of the family because we've got great colors we've got great designs and it is designer fabric 24 pounds and 99 pence five four seven seven one zero is your item number let me just grab this for you because you're also getting your wadding you're also getting your elastic included two buttons which will vary in design but always fabulous designs and you get your two labels as well because you could make two smaller tablet cases the size that we've got right here so all of that is included with your half meters of fabric and you also get that beautiful designer fabric but also your uh, velvet it's a, it's a top top quality velvet and it almost feels like suede it's that good and when you put your tablet inside it's going to help clean it uh, or the screen because you can just simply hold it like that and then pull your tablet out and then that's going to help you just clean that screen which is lovely isn't it what a great idea now we're going to go through the options again Tash if that's okay yeah with yeah, you. yeah all Look. I've got to do if I can yep. just very quickly show you is I've yep. stitched all the way round yep. I'm now just going to trim away any excess on the corners okay and turn it through that's oh that's it and that's done. it yeah you can top stitch and then you sew your button on yeah that that is as simple and as easy as it needs be um, in it goes whoop oh it's alive <laughs> yeah right <laughs> <laughs> and so just ease out those corners see how fabulous that looks with that fabric though i know i know it's just gorgeous isn't it um and so then when you start to uh, just look at that top seam when you can top stitch around that yeah okay yeah um, that's really easy to do uh, just to hold then everything in place and if you want to leave it so there's a little bit of velvet showing at the top yeah. I kind of like that I do I kind of like that. that I like yeah. that or you can you can arrange it so that it's absolutely you know mm. there's nothing showing but I do like that little I hint do of and do you know what you've done as well you've matched up the velvet with the designer course, fabric so if course. you did want to leave that line at the top like Tash is doing there 
It would look absolutely perfect yeah. and bring out the detail in the fabric as well. Now your buttons are going to vary, okay? Um, but they're all they're all rather fabulous as well. Um, and again, I would just bring over your elastic, and it's then for you, depending on how much velvet you've sort of left at yeah. the top, um, as to how much way you leave it, and then just pin it in place and stitch it on. And then with your little handmade sign, whether it goes oh. there or there. Wherever you, see, you want it to go, and it having, looks really Having that in like a boutique shop, you look. I would. You'd pay thirty pounds at least. You would. You would. You would. Yeah. For designer fabric, for something like that, you'd be well chuffed with yourself that you've got quite a unique gift. Now, if you buy the kits, you can make it for twelve pounds and fifty pence. And if you want to sell it, you can do. You're more than welcome to. But what a fabulous gift to give someone! It takes no time at all and to also make it. And so you can then go through your stash. <clears throat> yeah, and you, you can. can make it in other fabrics yeah. as well because you've got the pattern always. Yeah, I love that. Right, let's go through the options. Your first one, busy for the Mill Fury. It's just l jumped up to limited stock now. That's your Mill Fury limited stock with that beautiful royal blue uh, velvet. Absolutely gorgeous. Limited stock if you want that. Pop it in your basket and check on out. The next one, we've got that lovely black velvet, and you've got Tickle My Fancy. Tickle Ooh, My Fancy. I say, with a big tickle stick, full of feathers. <laughs> uh, that's beautiful. Really like that. Really, really like that. And although you've got the black in the background, something like that is going to see you all the way through the spring and the summer because sometimes it's nice to have fabric that goes with the season that you're in, but that is going to be fabulous throughout all seasons. Now, there's nothing stopping you from using your fabric for something completely different and then maybe using some of your own fabric at home to make your cases. You might have another project. Uh, so do bear that in mind. Your next option along is your Koi... Poloi. Poloi, yeah. And this is the Delft and the purple. So you've mm -hmm. got that lovely purple there. Remember, you're also getting the wadding in there, your elastic, the buttons, and the labels as well. So that all comes with your kit alongside your pattern as well that you get to keep. And that's so professionally laid out as well and very, very easy to follow. Right, your next option along. Let me show you that one. Let's put that there. Your next option along, beautiful, look at this. These are your floral designs, and this comes alongside your midnight. And this one, Tash, is? Uh, cloisson. Cloisson. <coughs> if I say it quickly, then. I wonder what cloisson means. Um, cloisson. I don't know. I wonder if it's cluster of flowers. We shall look that up. We no. probably can't spell it. But we'll look it up. If you are viewing in France, the, I know. If you're viewing in France, I do apologise if I have offended anyone because I can't pronounce it properly. C L O I S O N N E. Is that like a cloister? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Cloison. Um, beautiful. <laughs> oh, it's oh an ancient technique for for decorating for decorating objects with fabric. Anyway, let's move on. Uh, that's beautiful. <laughs> Your next Someone got along. Google up, didn't they? <laughs> uh, the, now, the next one along. This is what... This is the one that you used Hocker for... Hocker-size mums. Hocker-size mums. Hocker-size. Hocker-size Hocker-size. Hocker sized. Hocker sized. Hocker sized. As in, it's a Japanese word. Hocker, Hocker size. Oh, let's look as that in, one. it belongs to, there's an apostrophe, ah. so it belongs to Hocker Sai. Oh. And the, the chrysanthemums belonging to Hocker Sai. Oh. Whoever Hocker Sai is. Isn't that lovely? Well, the fabric is beautiful as well. <laughs> and you get that gorgeous uh, black that runs alongside that. That's the one that Tash used. Over a quarter of the stock gone of that one. You're next along. You've got Koya Hoy. Um, Koi Poloi. Koi but I quite Koyahoy. like Koya Hoy. I think Koya Hoy is yeah, why not? perfect. Uh, this is with your blue and your midnight. Love those little faces there with that lovely mustard colour. Absolutely sensational. They make great cushions, don't you think? Oh, well, uh, it's funny you should say that because we do have I've got some cushions <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. in yeah, yeah. Well, there you yeah. go. There you go. Uh, you're next along. You've got Dorothy in red. Uh, a, half the stock of this has gone. It's a beautiful, beautiful piece of fabric. It really is. And that comes alongside that red velvet, which is gorgeous. Next along. Um, oh, this is beautiful with the purples in here and your blues and your greens. This is your Hokusai in coil... Uh, I'll get my words up. <laughs> Hokusai, cool and royal. So you've got your royal blue. I like this one. I like the pinks in there. They really pop with alongside the greens. Then you've got this rather fancy one with your octopus and the black. Love that. I think that is absolutely magnificent. That's going to look fabulous as your tablet case. 
Then you've got the beautiful purple in there and that lovely design of leaves. And that is your lavender. Uh, is it coleus? Coleus. 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 I mean, I, I'm, I'm no Percy What's His Chops, uh, so I'm... Percy What's His Chops. <laughs> is it Percy Thrower? What's his name? Percy the, Thrower, yes. The gardener. Uh, oh, he's, so, a, he's, a, he's a gardener. Percy Thrower was a gardener, famous uh, gardener. I'm, so, yeah, my, um, my pronunciation is... Open to interpretation. <laughs> <laughs> just Let's look just at the pretty colours. Yeah, pretty colours, pretty colours. That's what you need to know, right? Um, every piece of uh, each kit comes with your wadding, your elastic, your buttons, and your faux leather tags. And you also get your pattern as well. And that will enable you to make perhaps two and then some more little accessories, uh, tablet cases. Absolutely fabulous, isn't it? Great gift for someone, $24.99. And that uh, gets you your pattern. And all all of the kit to start making and creating so you can make two then with some fabric um, after right so busy on that if you do have any questions about anything please do email in it is studio at the craft store.com we're moving on down there's a liberty lot on the show. yeah exclusivity so, liberty do not do layer cakes okay. a layer cake is a 10 inch square sometimes yes. we have to tr call them fabric square kits or okay. we call them all sorts of different things um, but but liberty don't do them but at Natasha Makes we do, we cut them ourselves. Okay. So um, we've cut exactly the amount you need for the Kelmscott quilt, which is Jane Alcock's incredible, beautiful, beautiful quilt. Um, and um, we just love it. So this is from the brand new Artist House collection. Is it? So you can't get, you cannot get anything like, you just can't. Uh, but we have, and it takes a long time to cut all of these. But we've done it. You've got 18 different designs, two these of are each. These beautiful. Aren't these gorgeous? They are stunning. Just going through them as well. Love the colours in Oh, that's nice. Yeah, do you know what? This is Liberty at its best. This is Liberty where you, you look at it and you absolutely know it's Liberty. It can't be anybody else. Now, if you make a quilt out of all of this, that's going to be an heirloom, isn't it? It's going to be a, a hand-me-down. A Liberty down. quilt? How much uh, would you spend on a Liberty quilt? Exactly. You know. Exactly. Um, how beautiful is this and it's all been cut for you which is yeah. great because like you say Liberty's expensive fabric well, that's so if you were, it. yeah and if you were to go out you'd have to buy perhaps half meters of all of this uh, yeah fat quarters or half meters and again you wouldn't get the fabric amount no. if it was an American fat quarter you wouldn't get two yeah. ten inch squares out of an American fat quarter so you'd have to go for a half meter I can't believe that price two flexi payments of 33 pounds and yeah. 50 pounds but it's because it's not just that you also get a whole heap of plain fabric yeah, as well. Yeah, you do. This option is your vintage blue, mm, and I think no, that's going to be perfect for your springtime. That's the other blue. No, that's the other blue. <laughs> the vintage blue's on that's the That's not your vintage blue. <laughs> um, this is, is it your bright blue? Yay! Yay! There you go. It looks kind of vintage but it's your bright blue. <laughs> You'll uh, see vintage when you see the vintage. Like, oh, yeah, no, this is vintage. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, now yeah, I yeah. see. Uh, right, your next option long, and there's nothing stopping you from buying a couple of these. If you are a huge fan of Liberty, you know that price is a fabulous price. Right, this one is your fruit punch. My, it does look like a fruit punch, doesn't it? Yeah. Let's go through the fabrics down here with your beautiful reds in there, oranges, strawberry colours, raspberry colours. And you get the as well. And yes, you do, which is the first pattern I showed, and I've put it somewhere. It really is, safe. It is under there. That's that one. I'll find it in a moment. I'll find it in a moment. It has disappeared. Under, oh, hang on. It might be right at the front. Bear with. Bear you with. Mr. Arms. There's the one. There you go. <laughs> I just had a bit of a rummage <laughs> round. Not in my drawers. There's no drawers underneath <laughs> here. Uh, but that's the pattern. Yes, that's the quilt that you're getting. Is it the quilt that's yeah, behind yeah, us? Yeah. yeah, we've got it hanging up here in some William Morris fabric. But you can see the design there of the quilt that you'll be making. And again, Absolutely gorgeous, isn't this it? is a beginner's quilt. Is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. It's really simple. And again, because of the large size of those squares, yeah. you really get to appreciate the design of the fabrics. But yeah, this is absolutely a beginner's quilt. 
Wow, beginner's quilt, Liberty Fabric. What are you doing to us this morning, Tash? I'm, I'm spoiling you. <laughs> um, fruit punch, gorgeous colours, lemons, strawberries, pinks. You've got ditzy florals in here. You've got your larger floral designs as well. And all brought together to make that gorgeous quilt. Two payments of £33.50. You also get your... Uh, is this for your backing or more for your filler fabrics? Um, so they are for your sashing and your binding. Uh, so you can see on the quilt behind, you've got the main body of the quilt and then it's sashed in um, in a brighter colour and then you've got, yeah. So you're sashing around there. Yeah. So that it would be your sort of your beauty colour. Yeah. And the size of it is... It say on there. It does say on here somewhere. Just underneath the, the It does 60, uh, 57 inches by 65 inches. Yeah, so that, I mean, that, that is my sofa in the photo, and that, that is it. where it generally lies um, day to day. Yeah, you don't have to just have a quilt on the bed. Uh, you can pop it on a sofa like this, which is nice. You can uh, have a little snuggle well, underneath it. it generally it. comes with a cat. Pardon? Generally comes with a cat. Yeah. 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 This pattern doesn't come with a cat. You won't have one in the package. But if you but have one of your own, yeah, they've got gravitate. one of your own. Or the dog. Yeah. Or the dog will be yeah. on that. Uh, can you imagine that on a Liberty quilt? <laughs> uh, right. The <laughs> fruit we have punch. Limited stock, Tash. Yeah. Limited stock. When it's gone, it's gone. They take us so long to cut. I'm, yeah. We're not doing any more. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fair enough. That's it. Uh, 487484 is your item number. And the final option is your vintage blue. Yay! And yeah, I can <laughs> see why this is vintage blue. I think actually this is my favourite. Yes, definitely. Because I love the sage colour that it goes with. But I also love all the different tones that are in here. Absolutely gorgeous. Again, just going through the different fabrics it's here. It's really beautiful. And again, it's just. W do you want something, you know, for me, this is a more masculine tone as well, you yeah. know, if you're making, because this is it, you know, we, we live with other people and if we're making something for our own home, is it going to be something that's going to be in general use for, for everyone? And maybe they don't want pinks. Yes, yeah, true. I would have pinks, of course, but, you know. Yeah. Like I think that's probably colours. why I'm attracted to this one because I like think I like more masculine tones. It's just yeah. me. Yeah. Um, for me, I feel I feel it's like a stronger colour. I do like bright colours, of course I do. But uh, I yeah. adore this one. This very yeah, attractive. Yeah, yeah. This one. And the feathers there are just oh, beautiful. Peacock they are feathers. All gorgeous. Uh, well, thank you, Tash, for bringing these and, and cutting out all the different pleasure. Liberty fabrics because it means we can actually make a Liberty quilt, yeah. but not have the really high expense of buying meters upon meters upon meters of fabric yeah. we get those fat quarters and a taste of all different sorts now the fruit punch has now technically sold out <gasps> wow okay now technically sold out but we do have the other two left available for you great price 33 pounds and 50 pence today and another payment in a month's time if you've not used your welcome code you can use it on here because it's a purchase over 20 pounds and of course you're dividing the cost into two so anything else that you see will also be divisible into two payments as well so why don't you treat yourself this morning 487 484 is your item number and that's going to make that fantastic quilt and of course you get the pattern which is easy to follow it's printed on premium paper as well which i think makes such a difference it really really does just as you're flicking through because it's it a just means that, that the keep. images stand out and yeah. and you've also got so down there jane's given you three other variations on that quilt on that last page that you just had let's get there again there you go so Ooh. if you wanted to do the layout slightly differently so you can make this three times over and have it looking completely different three Look times that. over isn't that and clever? that's yeah that's just by how you arrange those blocks yeah and then on the very back page you've also got a template for your quilting oh look fabulous love that how useful, how helpful. 487484 is your item number. We've got more for you on the show, more luscious fabric. We've got some more quilt kits for you. Layer cakes. Yeah, layer cakes. So Moda layer cakes. Um, again, this, these are kits put together for you to be able to make the Kelms Cook quilt, which is behind us. Um, now, this is Janet Clare. I love Janet Clare. She's such a, a wonderful woman, um, and she designs for Moda. And her, I, I just love her seaside. And so she lives down by the sea on the south coast in, in the UK. And, oh. uh, and you just get this gorgeous in, inspiration and, and the harking back to nature. It's really, really beautiful. Um, but this is a full layer cake, so you'll have fabric left over from this layer cake. The Liberty one is cut it just for the, the Kelmscott with any, with any pre-cut Liberty. Um, 
layer cake like that you will have you will have fabric left over but you've now, also got there your two planes as well yeah um, and they that tone we've, in so well don't we they? really that and that's what we really pride ourselves at Natasha makes is our is our eye for color and making sure that the colors are going to work I love this one absolutely love this one. Is, isn't it? is that the quilt behind you no 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 it's, it's oh, again it's for this one behind oh you here my days. so if you could imagine oh. those in those tones so yeah. again it's this quilt is the quilt that just keeps on giving because yeah. not only can you make it in three different ways but you make it in different colors it's yeah. going to look entirely different depending on how you want um what colorways you want to go with and which layout you want it's just brilliant yeah you know if you are uh, a nature lover for example you will love this particular quilt so we were showing there just before the different pieces of fabric that you've got uh, you can only see the top just at the corner because I don't really want to take it out of the packaging uh, yeah, they never go back in yes because they never, they never go, go back in uh, but I was just I was just flicking through the corner there earlier on so you could see all the different uh, styles there so you've got your little ditzy patterns in there uh, just fl flicking through a few more you can see there we've got the lovely botanical and florals in there so absolutely gorgeous feathers of course uh, with our feathered friends beautiful vintage tones in there as well so that particular option is your botanical with our feathered friends two payments of 34 pounds and 50 pence and then your next option is your pumpkin and blossom beautiful colors here i don't think that the pumpkin colour will ever go out of fashion. I think it's here to stay. With the greys, mm. it's just gorgeous. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. Again, this is another mode of layer cake. Um, and the soft colours in here, it's a real soft orange, but it goes through with, there's a soft green in there as well. There are greys through there as well. And again, the fabrics that we've matched this, if we've matched it with that grey, so that's the grey that we've done for your contrast fabrics in the plain as well. And it's just absolutely exquisite. And the thing is, you know, you could buy this kit and have so much fabric. Whether you make the quilt or not is optional. Yeah. You might just want all of the fabric. And then you might have fabric of your own that you want to make the quilt out of. You've got options, haven't you, either you way? You certainly have. I've got some news. Go on. The botanical. Has that sold? Oh, has that sold out? Oh, well oh. done. Can't get that now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 Do you know what? I'm going to just face that down because I don't oh, want Janet. anybody being disappointed like me. <laughs> <laughs> well, like you, fabulous <laughs> people, aka you. <laughs> yes, me. Um, but if you want to go for that beautiful pumpkin and blossom, that is available, and you've got that gorgeous grey and your cream fabric that goes with that. Two payments of thirty-four pounds and fifty pence. Don't miss out. We've had sellouts already. Uh, if that's the one for you, make the decision. Put it into your basket and do check on out nine four five seven zero zero or seven hundred is your item number uh, right we have got some more kits for you um, now they're under the counter oh for you oh they're at the oh yeah. this yes this is the one that you told me about Tash not to we forget. did oh, a did one day special just oh, before Christmas is it this one yeah 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 yes, yes. Um, and and it just and these two colorways sold out so did we they? had a rummage around and found if we could if we could cut any more but this is Jane's folded star um, and you can make this into a table runner yep. you can make it into cushions the instructions show you how to make it into that table runner also how to make it into a cushion there's a cushion behind you in it um, so you could either make two or three cushions or your table runner but that could also be um, one that you put at the bottom of your bed or hang on the wall it's yeah. entirely up to you it would, it would look beautiful on the wall really yeah. nice technique as well with the folding it's beautiful and it's so there. easy to do really yeah. easy to do but so effective yeah it really is that's, that's your one colorway yeah that's your vintage color that's way. your vintage let me show you oh wow now look at that that is terrific isn't it absolutely terrific so you've got that lovely brown there the reds and the creams Wow, doesn't that look effective? Uh, 730464 is your item number. It's only two payments of £27.50 and, and you've got options. You've got options. So let's take you through the options that you've got um, because you've got your different colourways in there and you've got all the fabric cut for you and it does come with your pattern as well. So that's your third colourway. This is your Cave Purples. Yeah, isn't that gorgeous? Look and at that. And that's just, yeah, so that's part made. We, we, we did that on the, on the show when we did this last time fascinating how all those folds and what a great technique to learn really? and would look fantastic like you say let me just grab this cushion at the back if I may so that, yeah that was the very wow. first one that we did oh, look at that 
Isn't that gorgeous? And there's another sign which's fallen off on the shelf down there. Oh yeah, you you take a look at that, and then I'll just um, <laughs> bend down. And oh, okay. Let's bring this next one in. I'll take this one away, and I'll show you that one. These are really effective, aren't they? Yeah. yeah Do they yeah. take long to make? No, actually, they really don't. Do they um, not? No, the cutting is the cutting is where it's going to take your time. But again, if you've got something like a stripology ruler or something yeah. like that, you'll whiz through the cutting in no time at all. Love that. Um, and then it's again, this is another project that you can do with your kids. Yeah, you can. Because once you've got everything in place, it's just folding. Is it? Yeah beautiful lovely options here as well in your different colors uh, right should we go through the different options that you've got so your first one is your new vintage love the colors in here I don't know why but it reminds me of the Wild West yeah it's that, that kind of mean? it's that yeah. kind of feel and of course you know Americans are so heavily into their quilting I really wanted to get that that kind of vibe with this well, you've done it you've certainly done it little house on the prairie that's what yes. I call that oh, yes I love that show and the oh, books oh I loved yeah. it uh, I didn't like it when Mary had the trouble with her eyes oh, oh no that, that, was, that wasn't great was it uh, sorry <laughs> get lost in Sad time. that was a Sunday morning watch oh it was you know when we were kids that was a Sunday morning watch and then there was Laura, wasn't there, yeah. in there as well. And then there was Nelly. Oh, it's all going on. What's the matter, Laura? Didn't you get a mark? <laughs> Shut up, Nelly. Oh, <laughs> just, just fabulous. <laughs> fabulous. Oh, anyway, uh, this option that she came is your purple. Um, again, you've got some fabulous designs in here. Very, very nice. Love that. And then the option at the bottom here is your Moda cranberries and creams is also little house on the prairie isn't it yeah or more, yeah, yeah. maybe maybe the waltons oh yeah i yeah i yeah. yeah could be little house on the prairie or the waltons beautiful 27 pounds for 50 pence your first payment 27 pounds and 50 pence after that and you do get the pattern don't you with that yeah yeah of yeah, course you do absolutely I don't I, I don't know where it is at the minute but you do get the pattern with that uh, 730464 is your item number we do have more for you uh, one final quilt for you this is through the window uh, and you've got four options and of course you've got the pattern that it comes with and the quilts are behind yeah so this is a really up. really really easy simple mate we demoed this last Thursday, Friday, when we had the William Morris one day special. Um, but I've made this with Tilda Fabrics. I've made it with William Morris. Um, but the beauty of it is, get it, grab yourself a charm pack, which is what yep. we've got. I've put the kits together so that all the fabric you need for the top is there. Okay. And again, this is a beginner level quilt. Is it? Yep. It looks Absolutely. terrific. It really, really does. And such a great effect to have on your wall. I'm just so going to move are. that and they, the look, they just look so different. Yeah. So what, what I've done with the colorways is made sure that if you You've got really, really bright fabrics like we've got with the tilde there. Um, that then you've got sort of a cooler window pane if you're a uh, window. The, yes. Yeah. yeah. And then you've got a, a contrast colour in your sashing that just pulls everything together. Oh, do you know um, it's a wonderful way of mixing up your fabrics that you're getting in your charm packs. It's a wonderful. It's a showcase. It is because otherwise people have these lovely charm packs and they don't know what to do yeah. with them. Um, and we're, we've all got them. You know, we've all, we, we're all guilty of, you know, stashing them. We certainly are. We certainly are. Let's go through the colour options that you've got. You've got your, <laughs> I don't know what I'm laughing, <laughs> your green option, uh, which is beautiful, lovely colours in here. Very bright. Great for a kid's bedroom. Well, that's yeah. just it. So this could end up being a play mat. Aww. And that's the sort of thing. A play mat, snuggle blanket, anything like that. But I just love the colours. So if you've got little ones or you've got, you know, a little one on the way and again the colors through here work for boys girls it's just a look at that yeah. leopard print any love child it. big or small old or young who likes animals fabulous actually jungle paradise i love that in the green so you've got it in the two colorways so the sashing the contrast sashing is either going to be in the green or the pink yeah love so the you pink. get to choose it's not well it's a nice strawberry color is it or yeah. raspberry color yeah uh it's not too pink if you know what i mean um again great colors in there with all of those different designs two payments of 20 pounds what a fabulous price your next option along is your Janet Clare Botanicals. Remember, the layer cake sold out, so I'd get this into your basket pretty quickly. Maybe you went for the layer cake version. Um, go for this as well, and then you've got two quilts. You can have one in the window. Um, quite literally, you could put it up in the window if you wanted to. Uh, two pence of £20. Again, a beautiful, beautiful um, fabric um, 
pack there with those beautiful birds on there. Look at that, your missile thrush. Oh, your mistletoe thrush. I love that. Beautiful. Uh, right, nice vintage colours in that one. And then the final option is your... Cozy, cozy up. up. Oh, yeah. cozy up. Yeah, you would do, wouldn't you? I'm cozying up to this wall, can you tell? <laughs> I did. Do you know what? We couldn't fit everything I brought even on the on the set, Janice, so there's a whole load more for, for 11 o'clock. I feel quite comforted, actually. Oh. I, I, can't, I, I can't go any further to the next set. So I'm kind of leading up this morning. Um, beautiful. Again, great price as well. What a terrific project to take you through into the spring. 823704 is your item number for that. Let's head to the website. Brand new website. Brand new Ooh. website. Looks great, doesn't it? So you can go and have a look at the popular brands in there. If you see a red banner, it means there's a flexi buy option on there, which means you can divide the cost into two payments, two equal payments, which is a fabulous idea and a great way to shop with us here at the craft store. Now, uh, let's go back to Tash um, and let's see what we're doing now, Tash. Right, so we'll have a look at those folded stars because I know they look, they're so impactful to look at, aren't they? But it might look a little bit daunting, like, oh, crikey, it really is a beginner project, I promise you. Um, so you've got the calico in the, in the, in the kit, which you'll cut into a square, um, and then you mark it into your quarters, and then you go diagonally and for each line you're going to line up your fabrics so there's my line there and I'm going to line up my fabrics diagonally now this is when I say the cutting is actually the bit that takes the time on this it is the cutting that takes the time um, and here's why because you'll cut them out and then just fold that top over uh, and just press it but do line these up in the same order that you do all of them so There. And can you select the fabrics randomly? Would yeah. you say don't think too much about it? I would say go for contrasts okay. because that's what's going to really show that star. And that's you know what I've tried to do when I've layered these up. I'm just trying to rearrange the counter because we're having sellouts. Oh, sellouts. are we? Gosh, well done. So well, you arrange those like yeah. so, and then you're just going to mark, get yourself a, some form of marking device. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, what have I got? That'll, that'll do. And then you want to put your walking foot on. So, now you can pin or clip all of these into place so they stay where they are before you stitch them. But what I would just say is I'm just going to change my foot over so that I can put my walking foot on. Do you do? -do. Or what you got? Mm -hmm. Yes. It's a guy. We've had a sellout, Tash, oh, of my the goodness. table runner. Um, it is the top option, the new vintage option, the one that we thought was Little House on the Prairie. Mm -hmm. Knew that would be busy. I'm afraid, I don't even know why I'm flicking through it. I don't want to tease you. Um, the cranberries and cream, limited stock on the cranberries and cream. Oh, my. Right, let's pop that away. So limited stock on the cranberries and cream. That is an absolutely fantastic option. It really is. Um, your cranberries and cream um, is uh, down the bottom there, which, again, it still has a vintage vibe to it. It really does. It's um, it's like, red. you know, if you're into red work, Tash? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. For example, this would be absolutely perfect. Gorgeous. You've got beautiful tones of... Would you say it's, it's not a brown, it's like a fawn colour, isn't it? A taupe. Taupe, that's it. Taupe. Your taupe colour and your red, which goes so well together. Look at that. So that's still available, everybody. $54.99. Um, oh! Your murder, do you know what I thought our lovely Meg said? I thought she said your murder cranberries Ooh, is gone. Uh, your murder cranberries have gone. I don't know why I keep... <laughs> cranberries are red. I'm just thinking about blueberries. Is that one gone? <laughs> oh, what a shame. Do you know what? I think it's my 
cowgirl style shirt that you're all thinking those really nice western style but i don't know maybe maybe i'll change my shirt later we'll see <laughs> we'll see I am, we'll a bit see. Like, I am calamity jan oh right so we're just layering these up again trying to get them in the same order I was quiet for a moment because I was concentrating, Janice. <laughs> it's an unusual um, situation, I know. We've, uh, <laughs> sometimes uh, we've it has to about, happen. We've only got about five minutes left, Tash, but okay. you're back later. I am back at 11. At 11 yeah, absolutely. And we've got Tilda monkey kits. We've got Rav we? yeah, we've got lavender ravioli and Tilda and Tula. We've got all sorts of goodies for you. We've also got some Liberty Fat quarter sets that if you've got, if you buy the uh, Tilda toy book yeah. you can make the whales out of in there so, so we've I'll got show more you liberty that. coming we've up we've got more liberty it's already loaded like it's already on the show so you can we just couldn't fit it on the counter right so just go to the website and have yeah a look basically at that. Because, basically because we've had lots of sellouts it might be an idea to go and have a look at that the early bird catches the worm well and haven't they just this morning so all i'm going to do now is just stitch on that line that i've just drawn straight up to the middle and then we can get folding But what you can do is just flip these out of the way now that they're all where they should be. You know, like your hairdresser does with the clips. Yeah. Keep it all out of the way. Those, yeah. I don't um, my hairdresser doesn't clip my hair up anymore. Doesn't she? Probably because it's too short. But I, rem oh. I remember the clip days. So you want to have it so that um, you've got your stitch line there and then we've got those like that. Okay. And then you fold the first one. So your first fold is slightly different to the others. You fold it down in line with the cross, um, and then you fold it across, and then back to that line. So uh, fold it down to there, and just finger press across and fold it back to that line. And do just finger press that down, and that's going to give that lovely center. And then after that, you are just going to um, fold down like that and across, down and across, down and across. And then after you've done sort of three of those, take it to your machine and just down here, put a very low stitch okay. just to hold everything in place. And that's what I'm going to do now. Would you hand stitch any of it? No. Well, you, I mean, you could. You could if you want. But it's better doing it with the machine. And I think once you get the hang of it, once you've done it once, what a great technique to continue then and make other projects with. It's so easy to do. Yeah. It's so easy to do because this is all you now keep doing is fold down to there and across. But and it doesn't matter if you go if you start from the right. So I fold right and then left. Yeah. And I'm going to do that three times, but just be consistent. So always fold from the right and to the left. And you Got can you. start to see that star is already starting to take place. And then again, I'm going to put that low stitch just to hold everything in place. Yep. It's so effective when it's when it's, it's so quick and easy. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I've got one just here, and I'm just taking a look at it. I mean, that's this. Yeah, I mean, it's, this one. It's, yeah. it's absolutely incredible when you look at all the different folds. You can see how Tash is putting it together and folding away and then stitching and folding. But the end result is absolutely spectacular. And it's going to be so impressive, whether this is on a cushion or a table runner, for example, or a decorative piece for the wall. So very, very impressive. It is actually incredible. I don't know how people come up with these ideas. It's I don't amazing. know. Jane, Jane is amazing. She's yeah. um, and she's she's worked with us from from day one at Natasha Makes. Our very first show that we ever did uh, was with Jane, oh. and she's just she's a, she's a quilting genius. I just I, I just adore her, and she works with us and she does a, a quilt a week for us. Wow. 
and, and all of and that's the other thing so any of the patterns that you're buying from us um, and there's a full pattern pick and mix as well on the show uh, all of those have got full demonstrations on the Natasha makes website as Excellent. well and they don't get taken down after 60 days or anything like that they are always there and there's the links for them and what we've started doing now is at the bottom of the patterns saying when we demoed them Excellent. so you just go to the date of the show if you don't want all the chatter because we do have a chat and a giggle then just just scroll past that and get to the actual making bit but it's it's all there for you so that you can make along again because I know that everyone varies how they how they learn fabulous we have ran out of time Tash if you want to go for your tablet case that's been very busy this morning you've got all your different options to choose from we will be back at 11 o'clock for you can buy in between the shows thank you Tash that's a pleasure lovely, a lovely, lovely way to start the day Right, we've got more antics coming up next with our Anthea and Yanis. So enchanting after that, and then nice crafting pets at play stamps. Hi, I'm Jo, and I have the pleasure of demonstrating for That's Crafty. That's Crafty are a family run business that started online in 2005. I hope I can inspire you by bringing along my experience together with the That's Crafty products. So make sure you don't miss the That's Crafty shows. Did you know you can watch the Craft Store 24 hours a day, seven days a week, using the Craft Store app on your Amazon Fire Stick for free? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Amazon Fire Stick accesses the Amazon App Store to add new applications. By downloading the Craft Store app, you'll be able to access your favourite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Amazon Fire Stick. If this is your first time using the device, follow the on-screen instructions to connect it to the internet and log into your Amazon account. Once set up, you'll need to open the search bar. To do this, simply use your remote circular directional dial to scroll to the search icon and select it. Now simply type the Craft Store into the search bar and this will take you to the Craft Store app. All you need to do now is select download and remember it's free. Once this is added to your Fire Stick, you can move the app for easy access. Press and hold your home button on any app and then select the apps from the menu that appears. Scroll to the Craft Store app and then press the button with the three horizontal lines on your remote and select Move to Front. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Abs from Orange Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colours, textures and creating depth and dimension. Orland Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We proud ourselves of high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dies, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different sizes and formats. I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Orland Create shows. Good morning everybody and a warm welcome. I hope you're having a fabulous start to your Sunday. We've got our one day special. Uh, first look at the one day special today and my goodness we are busy. So we are talking quilting antics. We always know whenever Anthea comes to visit us she brings something special but uh, because of course, it is part of our ODS. We've tried to bring you something even more special. So, uh, been really busy. I think a third of the stock, I don't think I know, a third of the stock has gone. So, I'm going to go through the one day special in just a moment. Before I do that, let me introduce you to the wonderful Anthea. Hello. Hello. Good morning at home. How are you doing? Well, I say it was, it was lovely. I did tune in uh, yesterday and saw your launch. Very busy. Thank you. Yes, it was, wasn't it? Well, you bring us beautiful things. And uh, talking about the one day special. So, the way I see this, You've got your project booklet, 
Now, all uh, you've got the beautiful quilt. <laughs> Look at that. That, uh, we're going to get into the actual fabric for that in a moment, but these are all your instructions. And on top of that, we've also got the 10 inch tweed squares as well. So these are a great stash builder, have them in. We can uh, do uh, beautiful projects, we can applique with them. They're just a great thing to have in our stash. Absolutely. It's a great, affordable way to start your wool collection. Um, so, yeah. Oh, and uh, so when you watched yesterday, did you see Adam has done it again? He's managed to get me to increase the book, put more stuff in, to work with your 10 inch squares. Well, that's our Adam. So <laughs> He's a tinker. What did, what did he get you to do? Well, um, so he does it to me every time. He like, gets my arm and he just does that and it hurts. Right. And, uh, and he did it. And so I agreed by the end of the show that um, I would resize some of the drawings so that they work on your 10 inch squares. So if you don't like the quilt or you like the quilt but it's not for you, yeah. you can actually switch it and do just a block quilt with your 10 inch squares with the 10 inch squares so that again. is like when we launched yesterday that wasn't on the cards but yeah. now that's like yay so that's, uh, that's a great shout from adam though well done well, him. He, he does it to me every time he's a total tinker he's, yeah he's really no resting around with adam <laughs> uh, no that's actually a really good thing so uh, i've got to say adam well done buddy okay so we're going to get the 10 inch squares as anthea just said within the booklet although you're getting the pattern for the quilt, which we're going to get onto, there's also going to be some additional elements added to the project booklet as well, which will incorporate the 10 inch squares too. So it means that we can do this. Now, the booklet uh, has a huge saving carried over. I want to put that into uh, context. So if you're buying this by itself, it would be $23.99, saving £28. That £28 is carried over, so it's already factored into the price. And then on the one-day special, on top of that saving, you're getting a further £7. So when you think about it, the £28 saving that you're already getting on the project booklet, and then that £7 saving on top, and then you're getting all of these beautiful 10-inch squares with your tweed. And I've got to tell you, the colours will vary, but Anthea, and I, I can hand on heart stand here and say this confidently because I've worked with Anthea for years and years uh, and I feel I'm saying this a lot with, with uh, guests but I consider you a friend you're not just a guest you're likewise a friend. I like, agree well we were in the kitchen and I love to hear about Leon and your whole life uh, Leon's Anthea's son so uh, whenever Anthea comes here the quality of the tweed this is where I was going with this the quality of the tweed she brings is exceptional so it's always very 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 good uh, now, uh, we've just got some examples of how you might want to incorporate, and this thing, Anthea, so with tweed, when you put it, say, into a project, onto a cushion, this looks so expensive. Yeah. Hey, I'll tell you what I didn't tell you. Go on. It's £55 a metre. Yeah. Wrong. It's gone up. It's now £63 a metre. And today, right, this stuff is yeah. at the old price. So I'm trying my hardest to hold that price down as long as I can. Okay. But it's, yeah, we'll the reps came around to see me and the price, like everything at the well, minute. Everything's, everything's I couldn't believe it when they told 63 me that. But 63 pounds. pounds a metre. So, and I know I said this last night and I'm really hammering the point, but if you want to try wool, get it now before the price like rockets. So that's, that's another a, reason to, that's a if great you factor point. that in, the savings even bigger. Well, okay. Now look, if you think about it, just how much fat and also it's the diversity of fabric here because you've got lots of different bits imagine if you had to buy all of this by the meter how much you're spending and even if you're just buying fat quarters how much that would cost so a really good rule of thumb and that you're absolutely right Anthony. i actually said this on air um a, well it would have been like last week we were talking about tweed and i said Normally tweed is about £55 a metre, but I'm sure that price is going mm. up, and obviously it has. has yeah. So just for the value alone, if you were to stitch all of these 10-inch squares together, uh, the fabric that you'd have, how much you'd pay just for that to, uh, tweed, you know, it's serious money. It's pretty much covering uh, very close to what you're getting with the one-day special. And then, of course, you've got the project booklet as well. We're busy for this. Now, within the project booklet, we're going to get onto, because of for the quilt, we're going to get onto the fabric for the quilt. Uh, and that actually, going back to the price of tweed, that's where it really comes into its own. So we are going to have a look at a Highland Spring quilt. Just having a look here. It is stunning. Absolutely. It's Highland Fling. Sorry, I said spring. Um, you always tell such stories. With, your quilts are heirloom pieces. Yes. They really are. Thank I you. mean, one that jumps straight into my mind is the owl and the pussycat. 
But uh, <laughs> I don't know why, Alice. You, 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 know why. That goes we, you actually got a mention at New Year's Eve about that because I actually brought it back and we oh, told really? your story. Yeah. That goes down. A, I know we, we're talking about the Highland Sprint fling, but, but just to give viewers at home some context. So Anthea brought in this one, and it is a wonderful quilt. It was the Alan Pussycat. And within the pattern, there's the actual, uh, it's the Alan Pussycat verses. And I start reading it. All I would suggest is just go online, try and find the Alan Pussycat, and read it yourself, and then you'll know why I was, I was in tears of laughter. Tears of laughter. It's the second verse that got me. <laughs> uh, anyway, we'll move on. Now, uh, this did sell out overnight, but we've got it back. Uh, so we've got it back. It's going to be dispatched on the 3rd of February. That's not too long to wait. So I want, I want to point out, look at the amount of tweed that you are getting here. And Anthea said something really important just a few moments ago, and she talked about the relevance of the fact that the tweed has gone up in price. So, and this is something you can establish yourself. So tweed typically was 55 pounds a meter. It's gone up to 63 pounds a meter. Anthea, with the price here, it's still at the old price. So she's trying to keep that price down. Now, as quilters, you know for a quilt full kit, how much you'd be paying for a quilt. This is tweed. I mean, we, you see like quilting cotton and you buy kits for say 200, 220 pounds. Look at the price we have on the show and your first flexi payment's exceptional, 76, uh, 33. For the sheer volume of tweed and that quality tweed that you're paying here, I think mean, that is incredible. The price we're seeing on here for everything that we have all cut for us as well, mm -hmm. that is a very, very good price. Yeah, and I mean, I've got one here like this is, as, as you'll receive it at home, it's a chunk. Yeah. That is a heck of a chunk. And, uh, and I say to people, even if you don't think the quilt's for you, if you like the colours, that is a fair brick to have in your stash. Oh, yeah. So just for the fact of this, without even interpreting it into the quilt, is absolutely worth it. You've, you've got bits of all sorts in there. Mm. Uh, you know, all these lovely moorland, heathery colours, you know, perfect. The and just looking at it here, and you talk about those lovely colours that you're getting there, so those beautiful greens and those wonderful purples and lilacs and heathers coming through. So the fabric is incredible. And if we can just have another look, go back to the actual quilt. If um, looking at the quilt, you'll see that the story it tells, and imagine working this, imagine this in your home as well. It is such a lavish quilt. There are so many beautiful elements going on. As we look at the top, you've got those beautiful rolling hills and mountains, and then the wonderful sea, or it could be a lock going on there as well. The forest line, the houses, the lighthouse, all of these elements, stunning absolutely beautiful as a quilt everything works together and this is a statement quilt it's an it's an absolute heirloom quilt yeah and everything in there is in for a reason yeah. and you've got like you said the lighthouse that's the bell rock lighthouse oh. yeah built by robert stevenson oh really yeah 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 okay uh you've got tobermory there you know <laughs> so you, t you know there's some provenance there's absolutely a story you've got even the um the little boats with the red sails they're like um, key to the Hebridean Islands, yeah. and I hope I'm pronouncing it right. It's like Berlin. <laughs> Say it again. It, it's like Berlin, but with a Scottish accent, so Berlin. Berlin. Yeah. I can't do Scottish. No, I neither Scottish can I. So poor. apologies, north of the border, <laughs> but that's, that's my best effort. <laughs> your, your, your pronunciation is a lot better yeah. than mine. Um, the mackerel it, in there. Yeah. Uh, in fact. So a few years ago, I was actually exhibiting at a show, mm. and uh, a lady came to me, and she bought a herringbone tweed, and uh, she said, oh, she said, I need this. She said, because I, I have just designed the new banknotes for Scotland. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What? I was like, like, this is my life. <laughs> she said, and uh, she said, the £10 note, it yeah. was a brown, obviously, tenor, uh, with otters, because yeah. they're kind of, you know, um, prized in Scotland. Yeah. The, the fiver, the blue one, they put mackerel on because apparently they'd surveyed people in Scotland and mackerel are more important in Scotland than salmon. It's a bigger industry really? and they'd use the mackerel on the five pound note. So that's why we've got mackerel, the blue fish, the blue and silver yeah. ones, mackerel. This is interesting. Yeah, I mean, how bonkers. Absolutely. But it shows the amount of thought 
that you put into this quilt, uh, quilt. you've got the lighthouse, mm -hmm. Robert Stevenson, yep. the connection the standing there. Standing stones, you've got your Kelpies, you've got your um, yeah. Aria is the, the lady at the bottom. Oh, um, the so if anybody, if, if, like, if you're travelling on the M18 Scotland mm. near Falkirk, have you heard of the Falkirk Wheel? No. Oh, Yanis, yeah, so you I let know, me down sorry, there. It's my so it's where two canals meet, but they meet like that. Oh, okay. And there's like it's like a water wheel for boats. Oh wow! And you get on at this one, and then it lowers you down. Oh no, to I have seen. One. I didn't know yeah, you yeah. made. Oh, sorry, but I have the seen kelpies, it. But the kelpies, they're a yeah. hundred feet high. The horses, the horses' heads, and you can see them off the motorway. And at night, they light them up all different colours. Each night, different colour. And uh, I mean, I don't know if they change colour throughout the night because I've yeah, never yeah. hung around lot for long enough. But they're absolutely mega. And the kelpie is yeah. uh, sorry, I'm waffling away. It's okay. It's um, symbolic of it's on the canals where two canals meet yeah so years ago you'd have heard the heavy horses yeah. on the canal but also um you know when you're in the sea and there's the waves and the white horses yeah 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 kelpies oh we see that learning yeah. absolutely learning uh the more i look at this quilt the more i love it and i think as quilters if you're looking for your next project, if you want something that is really, really special, it's right here now. And I love the fact that we are offering it on three flexi payments. So if uh, paying it as a whole, two, over £200, pounds, you're thinking, well, maybe not today. Uh, today, what's leaving your account, 76.33, you get everything. Now, you do need the project booklet, obviously from the one-day special that's at the bottom of your screen. Uh, but remember, with the project booklet, you're getting the added 10-inch squares of tweed uh, in there too if you've gone for the one-day special, or you can go for the project booklet by itself, uh, which we're showing you. So you either go for the one-day special or the project booklet. Okay, so that is the quilt, and it is a special one, the Highland Flings. Now, we do have happy hours for you as well, just in keeping with the project booklets. What I love about the project booklets that Anthea brings is the characters that are coming. These are amazing. We need to talk <laughs> about this. They're incredible, aren't they? So um, as you're holding in your left hand there, can we give a shout out to somebody in reception here? Because he missed him last time he was there. That's Doug. Oh, that's... <laughs> <laughs> it's... Now, I've got to say, and uh, if anyone's near Doug, please tell him, uh, well, I'm sure he is, he, we, uh, we have uh, obviously Look, the channel He had a four-hour tea break yesterday, so we're hoping he's still there. It looks, <laughs> I mean, that is the spitting image of Doug. Do you Doug. not think, when Doug pulls his hat down? Yeah, I've seen it. <laughs> oh, I can see that. So there we go. So, uh, affectionately inspired, Doug. Uh, now, this is your myth and mayhem. So, uh, you've got... A huge saving on this, 65% saving. And I'll tell you how Anthea comes up, uh, we, we, how we get the uh, usual price. <coughs> if you were to think about all the patterns in here, and how much, yeah. how much do you sell typically so sell a pattern £6 for? £6.50 each. Yeah. So if you times the number of patterns by £6.50, that's the top price. So it's a genuine price. So you can buy them individually off me, but you can't buy these books. Currently, we are not. Um, offering those for sale they're only available here and the thing about the books here Yanis is mm. I whack extra bits in so if you buy the patterns individually you don't get the extra bits you only get the extra bits with here. the booklets and that's when yeah. usually you're working with Adam and he forces you to add more into the project oh, booklet. He's, oh yeah he's I'm just rocking in a corner when I'm with Adam <laughs> <laughs> so with the way. project booklet you're getting <laughs> nine different patterns in here and real characters and we're just exploring some of the characters so uh, imagine making this Th this would be such a great doorstop i love him um he, he, he's been on display at home and i absolutely love him you, you just because at first I, I worried i thought oh he's all one color and he's gray people aren't going to like him but actually having him on display at home yeah it was a bit unintentional. I went in and I put him down and never moved him. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I'm like, oh, love him. Absolutely love but him. But then when He's we come... And just um, to say, these are by Roberta, these figures. So um, so thank you, Roberta. You did a great job there. I did a fantastic job. So just having a look. More characters. And uh, hey, who's this? Abraham. Oh, Named after Abraham Moon. Yeah, OK. <laughs> the tweed is all Abraham <laughs> Moon. He's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. When oh. she was making him, and she was a bit nervous, and, uh, she said, I want him to be grungy. I said, well, look, just get the pink and roll it around in your backyard. She went, can <laughs> I do that? I went, of course well, you can. Get some soil and rub it. She says, can I do it? Can I? I'm like, yes, of course you can. Of <laughs> course you can. 
There's Abraham, so I'll leave Abraham there. He's great. Uh, all right, we're getting characters. Uh, 19 99 is your price. You're saving 65% there. A huge £38.50 saving. Nine projects, and this gives you an idea of uh, the projects and the kind of things that you can be making from one pattern booklet. I mean, seriously, you could pay £10 for a pattern. It's not unrealistic. I know, Anthony, you're saying £6.50 on the site, but I've had viewers that have gone to shows and bought a pattern for £10. So think about the kind of quality of patterns and characters you have here. For that price there, come on. Uh, 820476, your item number. But these are happy hours. So these prices are only around for this hour. At the end of the hour, price goes back up. Another monster saving, £37 saving here for your Quilting Antics spring, intro, uh, sorry, spring into summer uh, pattern booklet. So having a look here, uh, and again, I'm just going to open this up and show you all the different patterns that you guys. So these are the projects that you're going to get. Sorry, I'll say patterns. So those are you're going to make. Look at this: two, four, six, eight fantastic projects. What I'm going to do? There's, if there's I, more, Yanis. Is there more? Because the one on the front cover is actually behind me in the corner here. Oh, so nine. Okay, I apologise. Like yeah, I say, you always yeah. throw more in. Um, this in there? It is. Yeah. Let me just show you here. This is what I mean. I mean, just for this alone, do you know what I'm thinking? You know with the one day special, the 10 inch squares, you'd probably have enough to make that, would you? You would. The reason that I've left that out is because this hour I wanted to look at all the, the like, bits and bobs. Like the ragged gold. And that gold is made and, yeah. from the, okay. the bits and bobs, yeah. Well, I'm just going to show you here. Now, you go a tweed bag, if you go to a department store or a little boutique, Think of the price tag on something like that. I'm telling you now, it'd be serious money. We so went, that's just one of the projects. I was going to say, we went to a, a Harris Tweed exhibition. Now, this is Yorkshire Tweed. It's not yep. Harris. Uh, but it is, you know, quality-wise, quality. it, there's, there's nothing in it. Um, and for the small bags, you were looking at 250 quid. What? Plus. Yeah, what? for the small bags. <laughs> what? Yes. Yes. And that's a few mm. years ago. This would be about a grand. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and it's it's like a big carpet bag, that one, isn't it? Very quickly, I, I was working um, in previous guys. I was working on a channel. It was a large channel. Uh -huh. And one of the other presenters, obviously doing quite well, she came in and she said, oh, I bought a vintage bag. And she told me, she spent, said it, it cost, it was thousands. I think, I can't remember, it was either two, three thousand. Pounds. Yeah. It looked like an old bag my granny would have had. Uh -huh. I didn't have the heart to tell her. <laughs> you spent thousands on that bag. Are you kidding? Uh, okay, so anyway, that's just one of the projects. Now, uh, over here, just really quick, because I know we're going to move on, but that's just another one of the projects as well. I mean, beautiful. You're getting nine projects in one. Nineteen ninety-nine is your price. 434-532, your item number. Okay, so... Uh, let's jump onto the website and have a look at all the goodies. Uh, do shop ahead. Have a look. Look, five-star reviews. Five-star reviews. These are reviews left by viewers who've purchased uh, and loved and felt compelled to leave uh, a review there. So loads of great reviews for Anthea. And Anthea is worth every one of those reviews. So well done. Uh, okay, now we are going to be heading to our first demonstration. I apologize. I feel we've, uh, we've had... Oh, over here. Um, We've, we've natted on. I'm looking at the time, so I apologise. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> should, we, um, should we get to demo? Well, um, yeah, but I also wanted to say before demo, it might be good if people know just what we've got. Yeah, so they please know do. Because the, the demos might not mean anything. Okay. So, um, so I'm going to show this throw here mm -hmm. that Mikhail kindly made for me, and that's using these bundles. Okay. So these are the, the 300 so, gram bundles. Yeah. Um, so I'm like, I'm like, I'm <laughs> short circuited at the minute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, just like what for what and all the rest of it. Mm. So um, yeah, anyway, sort me out, Yannis. That's okay. <laughs> so just showing you here, uh, those are the three one inch rolls that we were just alluding to. So we've got those on the show. Uh, we did have the raggy gold dust that sold out, I'm afraid. So we have got these Ooh. that Anthea's going to be working with. Details on your screen. Twenty six ninety seven is your price. So. Each one of these, 100 grams, it's a 300 gram bundle. Contents will vary as to the colorways, but whatever you get is going to be quality. And half the stock has gone here, 842723. Very quickly, you've also got, so the Raggy Gold Dust has sold out, but we still have, uh, uh, this is the Patchwork Gold, patchwork gold mm. right? So we still got that in stock, but once it's gone, it's gone. Twenty-four ninety-nine your price. Whenever raggy gold dust, patchwork gold dust comes in, it sells out very quickly. So if you have been waiting on this, if you just want to bolster your stash, 
2608586 uh, item number. And again, just think back to what Anthea was saying, the cost of tweed now 63 pounds per meter but everything we have on the show is still at the previous price at 55. Uh, over here we got the wobblers so the wobbler it is uh, effectively a strip roll it's one of the larger strip rolls you'll be familiar with it other companies have different terms for them but here it is an absolute thing of beauty so look at that all of that with the tweed have been really busy now 39.99 i think it's a great price on this 60 percent of the stock's gone you could you could pay just for, say, a quilting cotton, and again, I'm really conscious of that not to say brand names, but um, just a normal sort of strip, think of the larger strip rolls, you'd be paying sort of a, a, a similar price. But for tweed, that's incredible, Anthea. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, was, it wasn't until you said when I first started bringing these, when you compared them to um, your, your other cotton ones, yeah, yeah. I got in terrible trouble last night for making a slip up there. <laughs> Um, that I realised actually, yeah, these are a really good buy because these are a similar price yeah, to your cotton tweed. ones. And if you think, I mean, I don't know how much cotton fabrics sell a metre at the minute. Yeah. What are we about? 14 quid? Yeah, it, quid? I mean, it varies, but say about for a quilting cost and about 14 pounds. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And this I mean, it is, can be more, but this is 63 pounds a metre. Yeah. And you've got, you know, okay, there's not as many strips, yeah. but actually, size wise, it's the same size. And I never thicker, actually one, thought yeah. about the comparison. And again, it wasn't until last night, another comparison. Yeah. So one of these uh -huh. is worth six of these, right? Uh, okay. So if three of these is 27 pounds, yeah. six is 54, and that is 40 or 39. So actually, I didn't realize until last night that okay. these are a cracking. Um, they are a good it's yeah. funny, Anthea, because the minute we started breaking down and actually comparing this, because it is the same size, really, as a uh, sort of similar concept. Different companies have different names, but for, say, a, a quilting cotton, the reason why you've got less strips, obviously, it's thicker, but the actual size-wise is the same. Tweed, 63 pounds a metre. Cotton, quilting cotton, what, 14 pounds a metre? So when you see it that way, this is an absolute bargain and the minute you said that <laughs> wish I could like literally we've got up you know it's spiked so a lot of you taking advantage uh, once this is gone yeah. is it gone yes uh, th yeah you've got everything okay yeah you've got, uh, so you've got the lot please don't miss out because a lot of viewers and really do mean is a lot of viewers have realized the value of that and this is absolutely flying uh, you've got two flexi payments as well which will open up a flexi basket so your first flexi payment of 20 pounds 491 660 item number finally we've got the octopus everybody loves the octopus so much so that we are limited stock for the octopus they are endangered species they are indeed <laughs> yeah. Very so, cool. and also it might be worth mentioning that um, how I come by these and how we come by them at a great price is because I'm buying up when the mill are making sample books, I'm buying up the leftovers yeah. from that job. So it isn't a case of contents may vary, contents will vary. Okay. And I've tried to bring across the whole lot a bit of all the colours that I've got this time at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, but you get a lot of fabric for £17.99. Even when I look at some and I think, oh, I'd be disappointed if I got that one, let's say. Yeah. And then you start looking and I'm like, oh, no, maybe I wouldn't. Ooh, ooh, yeah, and yeah. so none of them are disappointing. No. Even when at first glance you might think, I don't know, let's say you're a pink person and you got that and you think, oh, oh no, it's not me. But once you start using them and you put in these kind of duck eggy tones with the beige tones sure. and you're like, ooh, ooh, exciting. And <laughs> working with tweed, there is something so special about working with tweed. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, the colours, in some ways it's irrelevant because do you know, the, even the plain colours, you wouldn't mm. believe how many colours are mixed in to get a plain... Cool. You know when you go to the DIY store and you ask them to mix paint, paint. and you're like, and how on pink can you put in black in? Yeah. You know, like that. And it's kind of the same, yeah. the same thing. But because you've got all these different coloured fibres in there, I mean, this one here, for instance, I'm looking at it. We've got gold in there, we've got blue in there, we've got brown in there, we've got all sorts in there. And I've just yeah. realised my glasses aren't in here, they're over there. Yeah. <laughs> and it's the same with all of them. Uh, Anthony, I'm conscious of time, so we better yep, start yep, yep. having a bit of right. a play. But any yep. questions, do get them in studio at thecraftstore.com. We have got some bargains on the show this morning.
Okay. Right, so the bag that you held up over there is called the Abbey Bag, and it's in the Spring into Summer book, which I'm just going to grab. And the reason that it's not an accident, oh, it suits you, mm -hmm. it's not an accident that this book is on this hour. The reason that this is on this hour is because yeah. in the middle, what I did, I put you some ideas in to use with the these, like the... the the wobblers, the, the, you know, all the different ones. So um, just ways of making a little piece of fabric, so like you've got your, your uh, long raggies here, you know, a little piece of this into a new piece of larger fabric. Mm. So you've got lots of ideas in there um, and things, things to do. And in fact, I've got here some of the things that I've actually done. Um, okay. So this one used the the raggy gold dust. Oh, I like that. Yeah, it's, um, I would say, it's, uh, my ironing board wasn't flat, so. <laughs> <laughs> so, I've used raggy gold dust for this, but there's that no reason amazing. why you couldn't use this. And all I've yeah. done, I've started with a, um, what have I, I've put it on a pile of stuff so it isn't going flat. I've started with a little snippet in the middle and I've just gone round and round and round and round, joining bits together and mm. just making this bigger and bigger and bigger. And you know, a lady came to me at a show I was doing and she uh, started with the Abbey bag, which is essentially a log cabin. Mm. And she'd gone round and she'd made up these log cabins, which were roughly this size, and put them together. And if you're watching, please, please send a photograph in, because it was stunning. This quilt, the colours mm. were just all over the place. There wasn't even a colour scheme. Yeah. It was oh, it's all worked together. You would together. have paid hundreds and hundreds of pounds for it. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so this is the kind of thing that you can do mm. with the long rag. I used the raggy gold dust because I thought if I use the one that's the smallest piece, mm -hmm. whatever you get is a bigger piece, so then you can you can do at least the same. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. So um, so this is one of the things that that I've done, okay. and uh, and other things I've done here. So well, we've got a little log cabin. It's wonky. I don't care. I quite like it wonky uh -huh. um, because I've made no attempt to um, yeah. to to cut them. It's deliberate. It's absolutely it deliberate. Once you've finished, if you so teeth in now because I'm I'm getting so excited. That's the problem. But I like your enthusiasm, Anthea, <laughs> because you genuinely you love tweed. You're passionate oh, about yeah, tweed. Oh yeah, yeah, and I I love mucking about as well. Yeah. You know, like not just ha ha ha. I love mucking about. So um, yeah, and so putting it all together and just making a bigger piece of fabric. So a friend of mine called Janet, she does what you call liberated piecing. Liberated, liberated piecing, piecing. Okay. and I really like the idea of that. If oh. not now, obs, Google it afterwards. Liberated piecing, okay. and it's so like we've just watched Natasha yeah. making stuff, and she's got all those wonderful quilts, and she's followed the precise rules. Yeah. Liberated piecing, you don't follow the rules when you're making your blocks, but once you've finished your blocks, as long as you put them together following the rules. Yeah then you get the most wonderful I like this. effects. Liberated, Liberated pieces. pieces. Do you know I see? So a flag made out of the <laughs> princess you've had, yeah. like Les Mis, someone yeah. waving a flag so, around. So, let me demonstrate. If you were going to do um, a star block, yep. and you might be going, oh, I've missed all my points off there. I've, yep. I've cut my points off. Don't even worry, because Liberated Piecing, uh -huh. yeah, you look at this. None of them are the same. Can you see? That if I put them in a row to begin with, there's a piece missing somewhere. But can you see? None of them are exactly the same. Look at yeah. this one. It's totally wonky. Uh -huh. Now, if you're with the quilt police or whatever in your class and you're doing it all perfect and your teacher will go, nope, do it again. Nope, because I'm doing liberated piecing. So what happens is, Good out. If, I, if I put these together, as they're supposed to be, uh -huh. can you see all of a sudden? Oh yeah. Somewhere the, the spare ones around, but all of a sudden it doesn't matter because I followed the proper rules of assembling the block. Yeah. They're all cut to the same size. All of a sudden it's begun to look lovely. The grey and the brown, the, and sorry, green and brown aren't making the best contrast on the camera, are they? So I have to remember that for next uh -huh. time. But liberated piecing. So I've given you some just basic ideas in, yep. in the book about how to do it. Brilliant. So yeah, you just join them together, perfect. Would you like to see how it works, the liberated yeah, piecing? Yeah, 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 let's have a go. Let's have a go. So um, 
I'm going to, um, what shall I use? Some colours that contrast well. So, uh, I need a darker one. Oh, no, now, just while we're finding that, <laughs> and we knew this there. was going to happen, the Wobbler were 80% of the stock, and uh, once it's gone, it has gone. When Anthea broke it down, and genuinely, we just saw a massive, massive spike in viewers putting this into their basket. When Anthea was saying, it, it makes sense. Look, the size of the Wobbler, there are other brands that is the same sort of premise, the sort of strips of fabric of this size, and they call it the... Um, different names and we you know what I'm talking about alluding to now that's made with a quilting cotton this is a similar size you get less uh, strips because obviously the tweeds a little bit thicker but um, same size now considering the tweed is 63 pounds a meter quilting cotton what 14 15 pounds a meter so that gives you an idea value for money in this strip why would you not get it into your basket and it is such a good way to add a huge amount of diversity so really really busy for this very busy for the patchwork gold as well with regard to uh, all the tweed on the show the octopus i was limited that's going to be going soon when this is gone it's oh is octopus gone Octopus is oh. gone. That's all right. That was Thank a bargain. You. Everyone got hold of that. It's weighty. So octopus has gone. We've still got our three, uh, sorry, our 300 grams of uh, tweed. So 100 grams of each there. So we've still got that in stock. We've still got the patchwork gold, and I cannot stress enough, the patchwork gold. What a good price this is. Because Anthea, if we were to sew this, and I, I know you do it by weight, but if we were to sew all of these pieces patchwork gold together how much how big a piece of fabric do you reckon we well get? Mm, i don't know is the honest answer but yeah. um what we can do is in a little while lay it out on the desk should we just yeah let's do, do, do it now well demo yeah, let's, do, tell you what, let's do, do it now because right. that's getting very busy and while we lay it out uh, i can tell you the wobbler is limited stock I promise we are going to be doing liberator pieces as well but i think it's really worth while doing this only because we've only got this and once it's gone it's gone so wobbler's gone sorry the what uh, what Wanted lim limited, so I apologise. Wob Wobblers limited, um, and I apologise to the team because I'm going between the two here. But the patchwork uh, that we're going to lay out here, it's just good to see a sense of scale from it because that, like the Wobbler, is exceptional value for money. So Wobbler looks like it's about to sell out, uh, and the patchwork gold, trust me, once we start laying it out, it is going to go. I promise you that. So um, the patchwork gold is, as I've said, wh when... Um Abraham Moon are making their sample books. I go along and I buy up all the offcuts, and that's why we get mm -hmm. this ridiculously fantastic price. Yeah. Okay, now the patchwork gold, when we're sorting through it all and we're grading it into the different things, it's anything that's bigger than what goes in the, the little bundles, but not like a, you know, a huge piece, mm -hmm. and that's what these are. Right. Now this time, what I have got is the mill have been discontinuing certain lines. Right. So instead of just picking out the one that's discontinued, all the stuff that was cut to go in the sample books, they've gone, oh, discontinued. So these, it's always Fun. good, but in my opinion, this is the best patchwork gold I've probably ever had. Oh, that's yeah. a big statement. Now, there's all different colours in, in all the boxes, so this is looking quite dark here. So I'm going to try and put... Oh, in fact, look, you've got a bigger piece there, um, which is... That's kind of an exception, not the rule, that one. But you've got all sorts, and every bag's different, and we're, we're working together here, guys. Um, you know, it, it's all going to look fantastic. I mean, you've got a totally different set of colours yeah. over there. And so we've got to stress I mean, that obviously just the contents will vary, but when you start yeah. seeing the, um, <coughs> sorry, the, the amount of fabric you're getting, and here's the thing, it's that diversity, like we, we're still, and you haven't even touched the surface. No, if you, I haven't even got half of it out yet. No, you're actually table. nowhere near. I'm seeing how much fabric's in front of Anthea and still in the box, and, you know, that gives you an idea. So just bear in mind the the tweed the standard going rate for tweed now 63 pounds per meter and look at how much you are getting as part of the patchwork gold and the diversity as well if you were to buy each one of those what's the smallest amount we would get is say a uh, fat quarter think how much a fat quarter would be for each one of those so well you're looking at 16 stash. pounds i think in the new price aren't you well, four yeah. 16s is 40 64 pounds yeah 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 you're so good with the your new, maths. Uh, quilters, you say. Mm -hmm. So £64, pound, uh, 
16 pounds would be the new price okay. of a fat quarter and you i haven't even put half the the bag out now and, and i mean look the, the table i'm running out of space i'm gonna have to ditch ditch everything else just to there get is, it on and if you just it's, lift up the the box the crate next to you look how much so still has left and there's it? all this i mean <laughs> what would you say but, i've put out half of it if that i not I'd, i would say not even half yeah I so mean, i mean there's still a huge amount left over so we just wanted to show you the amount that you are getting as part of the patchwork gold we are busy for the patchwork gold i can tell you the wobbler i'm afraid that's gone now so the wobbler has sold out so you can't get hold of the wobbler you can't get hold of the octopus the patchwork gold a third of the stock has gone are we on for an early brew yet? Uh, well, <laughs> I tell you, we can stop. Going? You can stop there now. You can stop there. Uh, but we just want, and I know this just from doing shows with Anthea in the past, and I know how good a value this is. I say, when you lay it out, even if you were to just lay it all out, stitch it all together, the size of the fabric you have for twenty four ninety nine is a great price, and it is that diversity too. So it's a nice little stash builder. Very busy for this. Options are going, and once it's gone, it's gone with something like this. We can't get any more stock, so don't miss out. We're going to jump onto the website, have a little look. The website is your friend. Uh, lots to explore on our website, so do shop by brand. Have a little look. As I say, we're having a lot of sellouts this morning, so make sure uh, you don't miss out. Uh, we've got lots of reviews, you can check them out as well. And we've got happy hours. Oh, we've got the two project booklets on happy hours. So that price is only around for this hour and this hour only. So please do not miss out. Okay, we're going to talk about the one day special very quickly just to remind you because we're aware it's Sunday, you might have had a lie in. A lot of viewers are joining us now. So, good morning, welcome to the craft store. Uh, with the one day special, what you are getting is this phenomenal project booklet featuring the Highland Fling, the most beautiful quilt. Now, we have got the quilt bundle with the fabric to go with the project booklet. So that's Anthea. Regular viewers and fans of Quilting Antics will know that Anthea will bring you a project booklet and then you can get the fabric to go with the project booklet. Or if you have your stash, that's fine. You can use your own stash uh, and create that wonderful quilt. So you're getting the booklet. Uh, booklet on its, by itself is $23.99, saving £28 with the uh, one day special, that 28 pounds has been carried over. It's factored into the price. So you've saved that 28 pounds already straight off the bat. And then you're saving a further seven pounds on top of that. And look at all of these beautiful 10 inch squares. So uh, you've got some lovely designs in here as well. Contents will vary, but I mean, it's stunning. Really, really nice. Uh, 278160 item number. Let's have a look. When you talk about 10 inch squares, the kind of things that you could be making. So think about it with your applique. So onto a cushion. That looks very good. That looks stunning. Or what about this? As a okay, so this is so achievable. Now you've got your 10 inch squares, and I would say you'd be able to make at least, Anthea, what, a couple of cushion fronts? With the oh, 10 inch yeah. squares? Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, right? Definitely. So I imagine mean, if this as a cushion. You know, if you're patchworking, you'll just go to the nth degree. Yeah, you'll yeah. get the absolute most, most out of it. everything, yeah. Well, you think about this. The cushion that I'm seeing now, just for the cushion front, how much would you be paying if you saw this in a department store? Being a, a tweed cushion, I mean, you could be looking at what, 60 quid? So I've seen them, and it's just a fat quarter of tweed with yeah. something cheaper on the back, yeah. 55 quid. Okay. That seems to be a standard price. Yeah. So once you've started doing what you do mm. and you've made it beautiful and it, it's no longer just a, a fat quarter of tweed, I mean, value-wise, you, you know, if you yeah. were to commission a piece of work like that, you would easily be looking 150 quid, oh, yeah. easily. So just with this, and it's really achievable, with your fat quarters, uh, sorry, not fat quarters, your 10-inch squares, to make two cushion fronts, and then you can put whatever you like on the back, actually a nicer batik on the back, or whatever it might be, but just for your two cushion fronts. So making your cushion cover, as Anthea was saying, cushions, you go onto the high street, go to department stores, uh, for tweed front, cotton backed, you're looking at about 55 pounds. Just to make two of those, or even one, you've, you've covered your one day special price. Just for one. You'll be easily able to make two, and then you've got the project booklet as well. Now that, is by itself 23 pounds but that's on a special price because the full price uh for the project booklet would be 
51.99, is it? Uh, so 51.99, and that's a genuine price because think about what you're getting in there, the amount of patterns that you are getting uh, within that project booklet, and that's where Anthea excels. She gives you maximum value for money. Oh, I've got to point out as well, and we've got to thank Adam for this. And I wouldn't have thought to ask this question, so Adam, well done, buddy. So Adam, um, he kind of coerced um, Anthea into adding some designs within the project booklet to help you use your 10 inch squares. So the project booklet, you'll also have some designs that allow you to use your 10 inch squares if you choose to. So that's the one day special. You've got two flexi payments there if you want to split the price. 278160 is your item number. Right now, the happy hours, busy for our happy hours. So what you're getting here, it's a very special price, but just for this hour. Please don't be complacent, because I know uh, we've got some really good price on the show, and you might be thinking, well, you know, I might tune in later on. Look, this price goes back up at the end of the hour. It will revert back to 58.49. So you are saving 28, oh, sorry, 38 pounds and 50 pence. You've got so many characters in here. This is our myth and mayhem. Look at all of these. So nine projects in total. There's Doug the Gnome. You've got Dave the Gargoyle. <laughs> Dave the gargoyle. Why else do you call a gargoyle? <laughs> oh, what do you call a gargoyle? Let's call it Dave. Um, you've got Kirk the dwarf there, Abraham the troll. Uh, so those are your character dolls. You've also got your trolley dolls in there as well. Uh, no place like gnome or gnome is there. So you know all of these beautiful projects. Gnome is where gnome <coughs> is where the heart is. I think you've got so, the cushions by your knees, Yanis. Oh, so we get. Oh, there we go. So we're getting these in. Oh, these are cute. They are cute, aren't they? We yeah. like these. So I, I've got to retell a story. Sue made these in lockdown and she came up to my house to drop them off. Yeah. And she went, yeah, gaff. And I went, they've got no clothes on. <laughs> she said, how? She was like, dropped on. She oh. said, how do you work that out? I said, well, the round and the pink. <laughs> she went, it's not naked. It's, it's got an apron. <laughs> And I actually had a, a workman at home at the time, and he went, they need some dungarees. They do, they <laughs> so she do took them away and put some dungarees on. They do look like they've got no clothes on them. That's very funny. Uh, so you are getting the characters in. You, you can have your gnomes. They're, they're just naturist gnomes. Uh, nineteen ninety nine is your price there if you so want to get onto this. But just beard. for this hour. So all the characters. There's Dave the Gargoyle, uh, affectionately Dougie, our, uh, our character. Abraham's in there. This one, who's this one? Kurt Douglas. Good name. Come on. Good the name. most famous Viking. There you go. Kurt Douglas in there as well. Also made a good Spartacus. Okay, That's so the one. let me uh, just leave him there. Uh, 1999, your price, 820476, your item number. Now, we've got our other um, happy hour deal as well. So this is your springtime pattern, uh, uh, spring and summer, sorry, pattern. So within this, again, look at. The amount of projects and patterns, that is a beautiful quilt. That's behind me. Uh, but you've got bags in there as well, table runners, cushions, all of these projects in one pattern booklet. And the way Anthea was saying, so typically the, the $56.99 for a full price, the way you get that is, and it's very reasonable and it's very achievable. So one pattern with you, quilt now at six fifty. Six pound fifty, yep. So when you think about the amount of patterns that you're getting here, that's where we get to the fifty six ninety nine. So for nineteen ninety nine, how much and how much just Meg, it's it's early and I'm doing a lot of talking, so you can help me up with that. Uh, is it two pounds twenty two per pattern? Yeah. Well that's good. That's yeah. good in anyone's I don't even book. think you can download them for that. No, no, that's that's Oops. good in anyone's but I'll just show you. There's one of the bags, and this is actually used. Uh, well, I think it's either if you've gone for the patchwork gold or the raggy gold dust or uh, yeah, that, the wobbler. That's raggy gold with some red added in. But yeah. if you can do it in raggy gold, you can do it in all of them yeah. because the raggy is the smallest. Okay, brilliant. Okay, so that's the second of our happy hours. Now, happy hours, as I say, around for this hour, and then the price will go back up. That thirty-seven pound saving will disappear. <coughs> so. Do take advantage, you won't regret it. Okay, Anthea, we're going to have a play now. What yeah. You're going to show so, the liberating. Yeah, so the liberated piecing. So we're going for this friendship star. So I've just started the first one. And basically, if you're doing your, your points and stuff, you've got to measure and you've got to cut and you've got bias. No, I've just roughly, with my scissors, cut a square. I laid a piece on there at an angle and now I'm going to lay another piece on 
at an angle because I want it to open out. You can see little holes there because these, as I say, it's a scrap product because it, it was going to be the um, the sample books. Just lay it on. Uh huh. Stitch down your line. Right. So I've just laid it where it's landed. There's no lining up corners and making sure it's perfect. Now with tweed top tip, I would. Um, top stitch on your seams so if you push all your seams to one side and then sew through right. not only is it going to mean you don't have to um, iron or press but it's going to reinforce that seam so it'll avoid any um, any possibility of fraying mm. so there we go so that is as simple as that and now I've got this uh, apologies because I'm putting my mat out so I can't cut it but if I just use the the things here so I'll just square that up to uh, a two and a half inch square is what I probably would would use let's have another couple that aren't involved in the thing so we're just kind of virtually squaring it up can you see the block appears in the middle oh yeah and if say if you don't mind wonky if you're sewing if you generally find it's wonky and you're like ah oh, you know your sewing's so perfect and mine's so wonky and how do you get those perfect points don't. <laughs> that's that's the answer. There's nothing Don't wrong, there's tell, nothing wrong tell your perfect friends that it's liberated piecing because it, it, it actually is a thing. So just by you know cutting it there, if I wanted to like make that point pointier or whatever, you just cut it a bit higher. You know, cut it a fussy cut out your shape in the middle so that you've got your two and a half inch square. So um, I'll show you again. I'll do another one. Yeah. I'm going so, to employ this liberator piecing yeah. for every aspect of my life. It's fab. So when I at home, if I haven't tidied up properly and my wife oh, suddenly no, has no, a go, no, I'll no, say to no. her, "Look, this is liberator tidying up." And no, you told me, we're not, no, no, we're not having like that. that. No, that, okay, that doesn't right. work. Like I said, you've got to follow certain yeah. rules. Okay. And I'm afraid you're grungy on the floor. Ah. No. I'm going, to have to, I'm going to have to do the proper tidying up then. Yeah, my definitely. My wife would be very pleased to hear that. Yeah, definitely. So, again, I've got my square. Don't forget, because the first temptation was to put the fabric on on that way to make the, you know, to get my point. There's another piece. To get my point. Uh -huh. But then once you've sewed the seam, you'd be opening it out that way. So just roughly lay it on and then turn it over so that you've got your your raw edges and right. it actually is a thing I couldn't believe it when I heard of liberated piecing I just think it's wonderful um, I think a it, lot of look it I, takes I, the stress out yeah and I, I understand there are perfectionists and there are some sewers who really enjoy getting everything on point which is fine and that's, mm. that looks fantastic but then there are a lot of crafters out there that are going to embrace the liberated piecing but, for me, one of the best things about liberated piecing, when you're buying on a small scale or a limited scale, like the patchwork gold, uh, not the patchwork gold, the, the raggy gold dust, um, this is allowing you to get proper blocks, proper things out of something that's not a proper size. Yeah. So I'll just put another one on and then I think we've done enough of this sort that's and I'll fine. move on to the next sort okay. because I've got a couple of other things that I wanted to show Brilliant. you. Brilliant. What have you got um, about? Eight minutes. Go. So down we go again. Oops. Sorry, I'm not, I've not used this machine before this weekend. And oh. uh, anybody who sews will tell you that, well, it's like driving somebody else's car for the first Could time. It takes, it. you know, like a few miles to get into it. So um, there we go. And that is it. That's another block done. Liberated piecing. As you can see, I've got no ruler. I've got no cutting mat. But I'm making a friendship star. And that's it. I just need to cut that down, square it off however I like, yeah. and that's it. And that is essentially your liberated piecing. Love that. Now something okay. else that you can do with the small, um, yeah. the what small about seven pieces. Minutes. Adam. Seven minutes. We'll get oh, time. right. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be quick. Um, join your fabrics together. So here, um, where are they? Yep. Join them together. Make a bigger piece of fabric. Add in some um, good fabrics. Now this would have been. Sorry, okay. this would have been not like that. Come on, Anthea. Sorry. Oh, wait, you get the idea. Um, you know, join them together, make a bigger piece of fabric, and then cut it into something else. 
that is taking what's essentially a scrap project product, mm -hmm. well, recycled, because it's posher to recycle, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and you've made a piece of fabric yeah. that you can then use. So we've got the, the log cabin that we did before. We've got right. some half square triangles. Can you just hold triangles. up the quilt on your lap, just to give oh, everyone yeah, yeah. an idea? This right. is so this is the bundles here. So four bundles. Michaela made this. This is how much four bundles would get. Three, oh, we're getting three bundles there. Well, you are, but she used four. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> just, okay. just to sex it up a bit. All right, okay. So it gives you an idea, though, of the amount. Yeah. Uh, so you're getting, uh, if you imagine, three of these. I'll just show you, actually. actually but you know actually, we should do? Anis, Go on. Um, that is roughly one bundle. Now, she did say she'd got some squares left over, but not enough to do another strip. But that is one bundle well, made up. That's a cushion front. Yeah. Beautiful cushion front. Yeah. So you can effectively get three cushions, tweed cushions out there. Yeah, nine pounds that would cost you. And there's no way, no way, no how, you would get a tweed no. cushion for nine, nine pounds. pounds. No, not well, a you chance. just wouldn't. Not a chance. And actually, I think this is more interesting than just a plain piece. And... Um, I don't know if you remember in lockdown, we did some cushions, we did a panda and we did a sloth. Yeah. And what we did was piece a bundle and oh. then put the applique on top. And it looks sensational, okay. absolutely first rate. Oh, yeah. Because what it did, it took a plain background and added interest to it. Yeah. So it kind of gave it layer and texture right. and it just looks Fantastic. Well, the three 100 rolls that we were just showing here. So, if uh, Auntie, if you hold that up again, yep. uh, just that's uh, no, the, what you're showing for 100. So oh, one sorry. Those, yeah? Sorry, many apologies. So, one of these 100 grams uh, would give you that amount that you're seeing yep. there. So, Auntie's yep. showing you uh, that amount. There you go. Yeah. Now, Auntie, well, I've had a little idea. Just a slight bit more, actually. Okay. Yeah. That's right. Um, we give you. It's yeah. better to under promise <laughs> and over deliver. But <laughs> okay, I have no other idea. So, what Anthea is holding there, now imagine this. If you've got, say, six chairs that you wanted to reupholster, imagine having a beautiful cushion uh, with the tweed. Would look incredible. Incre I'm, I'm thinking about upcycling some chairs at home. We're now 70% of the stock on here. Yeah, really, really busy for that. Something else we've been immensely busy for. So just to anyone who's tuned in, I'm sorry the octopus has gone, the wobbler has gone, the raggy gold dust has gone. The only one remaining is our patchwork gold. And half the stock has gone here. You are getting a huge amount. If I just start dipping in and showing you the amount you are getting in one, and it's that diversity too, so whether it be beautiful, hot pink, you've got lovely teal in here, you've got more earthy tones coming through there, or what about here? You know, you start to appreciate value for money what you were getting, and that, I haven't even scratched the surface of the amount that you're getting within this. Just to put it into context, that um, Anthea was saying, I'm sorry to sound like a broken record, but I think it's really important uh, to get this across. So the price of tweed has gone up. It is now 63 pounds per meter. 63 pounds per meter. Now look at how much you're getting there. If you were to spread it out, if you were to sew it together, but it's also that diversity too. So it's an instant stash builder. Really, really good buy. Always popular. 24.99 your price. And you made a big comment, really big comment. I think it's worth repeating. You were saying that you feel this particular incarnation of the patchwork gold is probably the best you've ever brought. Yeah because the sizes are more regular, mm -hmm. um, the, the colours are more varied, and they're a better size as well. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I, don't, I just liked them. Yeah. I liked the size in these, and I, I felt that I could work with this. Um, yeah. they, they'd all got something in common, she says, picking up two pieces that aren't the same. Yeah. But, you know, they, they're a nice piece, so whether you're an appliqueer, whether you're a patcher, whatever it is, you're going to get something out of this. And mixed media as well, mm -hmm. fantastic for mixed media. Well, it's a great way, if you've never worked with tweed before, and maybe it has been outside of your budget, and I understand it, £63 per metre, I think it's going to be outside a lot of people's budgets. This is a great way uh, to play with it, as is the one-day special, because with the one-day special, you are getting your 10-inch squares, so you're getting all of these beautiful 10-inch squares, so 10 10-inch squares, you're also of tweed, of course, and you're getting 
the uh, project booklet as well for that wonderful Highland, uh, Highland Fling quilt. So two flexi payments of 22.49. Now what Anthea is going to do within, because you've got the quilt, and obviously that is a, a comprehensive patterns and instructions, full full size patterns for the quilt. But Anthea is also going to add some additional work in there, which will allow you to use your 10-inch squares. So she's going to adapt uh, some of the designs to allow you to use your 10-inch squares as well. Just very quickly, and how it kind of made sense to me, going back to the cushions. So within these 10-inch squares, you could easily make two, three cushions, say, with tweed, front, front uh, with the tweed, and then the back just cotton backed. All right? Now you go to a department store, and this is something that Anthea has done, and she has seen the sort of going price for tweed cushion, and not one like this, by the way. This is, look, this is exceptional. I'm just talking about a very plain tweed cushion would be about 55 pounds a cushion. And don't believe me, the next time you go out shopping, have a look for yourself. So let's think about this. With the amount that you're having here, even if you were just to make one tweed cushion, so you can make front and back uh, with tweed, but let's say just one tweed cushion, you've covered the price of the one day special if you were to go and buy that cushion. I think you could probably make about three, so tweed front, cotton backed, and then you've got the pattern booklet. Now with the pattern booklet, and it's also worth mentioning, you can buy this individually for 23 pounds, but there is a 38 pound saving. That 38 pound saving has already been factored into the one day special. Uh, tw I apologize, 28 pound saving has already been factored into the price. And then on top of that, you're getting a further seven pound saving as well. So just to correct myself, it was a 28 pound saving, I apologize. Uh, so that is a one day special, being really, really busy for this. Unfortunately, time has beaten us, but the good news is Anthea will be back at 12 o'clock. Whether the patchwork gold will be here, we'll have to wait and see. So it's one, and also the uh, 300 grams of tweed as well. So uh, lots to enjoy, one day special. The happy hours, you've only got a few more minutes left on those happy hours with the project booklets with massive savings too. Anthea, thank you. I've had oh, fun this morning. Thanks, Do you know, I've really enjoyed catching up with you. It's Yo, been great. You too, thank you too. Well, thank should we you. do it again at 12? Yeah, go on right, then. It's a date. All right, I hope you can join us at 12 o'clock. Thank you so much for tuning in, but do not go anywhere because Janice has a big smile on her face and I know she's looking forward to the next hour. I hope you'll join her. Oh, we've got a great hour. We're so enchanting. After that, uh, you've got nice crafting pets and play stamps and then Natasha makes. So lots to enjoy here at the Craft Store. Hello, I'm Hayley. I've always been an avid crafter behind the scenes and have been given the opportunity to share some of my favourite products with you in a monthly show called Handmade by Hayley. I'll be covering lots of areas of soft crafts like quilting, dressmaking, sewing, knitting, even printing your own fabrics. Flexi order. When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. Hello, I'm Sue Trangmar and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. Back in the day there were very few quilt patterns in the marketplace and so uh, I started to bring patterns into the UK from America and Australia and along the way I've been lucky enough to work with some fantastic British designers and that is what really the essence of Daisy Chain Designs are. 
At Daisy Chain Designs, we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start, and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design shows. Very good morning to you. I hope you're enjoying yourselves with us this morning here at the Craft Store. My name is Janice Phillips and it's great to have your company. Now we're talking all about soft crafts. We're talking about beautiful fabrics from a company that sells fabrics from designers from all over the world. Yes, so enchanting. And someone who is so enchanting is our <laughs> lovely guest today. It's our Marie. How are you this morning, Marie? Good morning, Janice. I'm very well, thank you. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Really looking forward to the show. I love all of your kits because we have quality in the designs, but also quality in all of the different fabrics. Can you tell us what to expect in the show today? Right, yes, a bit of a lightning flash, a bit like of a starburst. Oh, lovely. <laughs> lots of pre-printed stitcheries. Um, uh, going back to the quality of the fabric, lots of moda to be showing you. Um, I think there's something for everybody, especially at all different price points, nice handbags, again, the stitcheries, which we're quite renowned for. Yes. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, we have got lots and lots on the show, including some magazines. I don't think I've presented a show with you before, uh, Marie, where we've actually had magazines as well on the show. So super excited about that. Yes, the Australian homespuns, yeah. Perfect. Now, a lot of the prices you see will be on FlexiBuy, if you see the red just there. That means you can pay over two payments. It's interest-free payment. And as we are in our Flex Stravaganza event, that means anything over a pound is available to divide into two payments, two interest-free payments, which is great. There's also another little uh, cheeky promotion on at the moment. If you are spending £20 or more, and it's the first time that you've used the code WELCOME, then you're welcome to it. If you go onto the website, just put it in just before you check out or give us a call and they'll be able to give you £5 off a purchase of £20 or more. So it's an absolutely fantastic day to be stocking up and buying and introducing yourself to some wonderful kits that we've got from So Enchanted. So you can head to uh, the website for that. And actually, here's a game. Count how many times I say so in the show. <laughs> so there you go. There's another one. Um, your first kit that's available to you, a beautiful magazine. Lots of different patterns in here. Let me just take this down to show you. And you've got lots of inspiration and ideas as well. I'm not going to take you through every single page of the magazine because we want you to get this kit. But you've got lots of projects in here, don't you, Marie? Yes, of course. So you've got the Starburst, which is our largest quilt on show today. Um, and also there's a further nine projects for you within the magazine. So that is probably the largest project in there. Um, and there's various, there's bags, there's toys. And also included are the templates, which are full size templates. Yes, they're in the back just there. Going to the zoo, zoo. Sue, oh, that'd be great. Um, a brilliant magazine, but it's not just the magazine. The price that you're seeing there includes the pattern, of course, for the Starburst quilt, and you've got the fabrics as well. Now, these are very, very enchanting, aren't they? They're beautiful. They are mode range, and they're very, they're very light, very airy, um, and sort of, I suppose, to get you out of the, these dark evenings sometimes, it goes on a little bit too long, doesn't it? But yes, we are, it does. The, the evenings are, are pulling out, so drawing out. Um, but yeah, for, it's, it's beautiful, especially with the spring on its way. Aren't they beautiful colours in here? That lovely duck egg colour. Uh, moving over to the, the smaller ditzy style patterns with the roses. You've got those beautiful floral bouquets right there with different pinks and blues and greens. Such wonderful fabrics. Really nice to touch as well. Top quality. Marie, absolutely. And this is going to create the wonderful quilt that I have 
there. Beside me? Yes. This one just here? Yep, absolutely. Now you can see we've got our chin. When I have a set like this, I was gonna Marie, say, all, so I, huge. all <laughs> I want to do is just, just go back and just snuggle myself up in all of these fabulous quilts. But this is your Starburst quilt just here. And this is going to look absolutely fantastic. Maybe, you know, in a bedroom, you could put that in a lounge over a sofa. How gorgeous is that? Would it take a long time to create that, Marie? No, because bizarrely enough, once you've got the the first uh, the hang of the first two blocks, the, the blocks are the same. So you've got what you've, you've the bare paw, um, and then you've got your two and a half inch squares. And once you, it's just what you've got to think about on on that particular quilt is how you're going to arrange your fabrics that's down to you yes obviously there's a photograph in there which you can follow um, and to put it out but it, it's it's entirely up to you you might like to have more dark borders you yeah. know or you, you might not necessarily like the yellow with the pink but it's down to you it's your there's no right there's no wrong the full instructions are there all the fabrics are there and you can make it exactly as you want to um, but the pattern for each block is the same it's just that you've turned the fabric a different yeah. way love that now the actual pattern is on page 98 of the magazine you get 21 fat quarters of assorted fabric in that beautiful mode prints uh, you get two fat eighths of dark prints that's right two yeah. fat eighths Eight, yes. I've never heard of that one. It's just half the quarter, in fairness. Yeah, yeah Go, you... going back to your cake and at school and your fractions oh, and yes. all that business. <laughs> oh, that was a very long time ago, Marie. Well, you and me that both. That was a very <laughs> long time ago. Uh, you get 60 centimetres of your black grunge for your binding and your 70 centimetres for your extra white fabric for your background. So um, that is an incredible deal. And, of course, that is the quilt just there. That's on page uh, 98 of your magazine. What a a fantastic kit that is 144 pounds and 95 pence but you can divide that into two payments uh, so it's really easy for you to set up and you can also get that extra five pounds oh it's on three payments sorry that's even better isn't it 48 pounds and 32 pence today another payment in a month's time and another payment after that right we're going to move on because we've got lots to get through on the counter for you and every single item is absolutely oh beautiful um this is a great little project and i really like the colors in this particular kit it kind of reminds me of a mixed media grungy tim holt style uh, which is the lovely browns and the blues so you've got the feathers here this is the monkey buttons <laughs> This is the monkey. <laughs> Ahoy! Oh, Marie. Our Marie's all the way down the other end of the studio, everybody, because we've got so much on the show. And Marie, we've got a screen in between us. So Marie's like, which one are you at now? now? So if I accentuate anything, it's for you guys at home, but really it's for Marie. This is and your to monkey give me a buttons. Clue. Yes, to give me a clue. <laughs> uh, your monkey buttons Fedianess kit. Um, what a wonderful, love the fabrics in here, Marie. The, yes, they're actually uh, Kim Deal designs. Yes. Uh, they're Henry Glass. The fabrics uh, are all from the same range. And what's lovely about um, that particular kit is, oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what's super about that kit is you've got your little purse as well, which fits quite snugly. It's incredibly secure. You've got the two zips on the purse, and you've got the two zips actually on the bag as well. Um, and it's it's all coordinating, and and it's just. I just think it's fabulous. It's lovely in the bird applique. And again, it's raw edge. Um, so you can either do the raw edge applique or if you so wanted to, um, there's nothing to say you can't do needle turn. But the fabrics go together wonderfully. A little bit of paisley. Who doesn't like paisley? Oh, paisley is wonderful. Absolutely. Um, love the colours on here. £39.95. pence. My goodness, that is exceptional value for money. And because it's flex extravaganza, you can divide that cost into two pounds just under 20 pounds how about that uh, what a wonderful gift this is going to make for yourself what a talking point it'll be as well when you take this out uh, for the very first time where are you going to go it could be your first outing for a long time so why don't you have that bag and the purse to go with it it's payday here tomorrow so i think we could all do with a little purse <laughs> like that i say little <laughs> and i mean it with your payday uh, 39.95 is your item number but remember you can divide the cost of that into two payments so brand new today let's move on we've got more for you we will get the demonstrations in but we want to take you down through all the different kits 
Now, this is your lightning flash kit. Again, a magazine in here, but also the opportunity to make this fantastic quilt, which is at the right of me. I had to wiggle my hand there, Marie, because I don't know my left from my right. <laughs> so it looks like I'm waving at you. I'm just trying to work out which is my right and my left, and that's how I do it. That's right. That's over there. Um, magnificent quilt, this Lots is. Lots of French general moda in that one. And for a beginner's quilt, it, it's fantastic for a beginner's quilt. Lots of half square triangles. You, you probably hear many of us talking about them. But yeah. it, it, again, it's just a case of laying it out so before you stitch it so that obviously you don't get a light where there should be a dark or a dark where there should be a light. Incredibly easy instructions. You, and you always add up pretty sharpish. Really? Mm. You know, I'd look at something like that and think that was advanced because it's absolutely marvellous but you're quite right if you break it down into the squares you if you just visualize that square and then you make the next square it's going to be easy to do absolutely, so yeah. yeah absolutely love that it's very striking as well and look at the fabrics my word aren't they beautiful well it is especially if you're not ready quite for the spring you still like to snuggle up that yeah. is a classic yeah you've got some spring colors in there with the greens and the blues something that you can have out all year round i think and would be, look great in the summer the springtime the autumn and the winter as well wow isn't that gorgeous quite now timeless yeah you also get the magazine as well so inside your magazine you've got all of those wonderful projects and it is different from the uh, the one in the other kit so this is your homespun uh, color this with stitches yes again you've got the um, the lightning flash quilt pattern in there along with <coughs> between eight and nine other projects oh wow look at this uh, again great pictures as well and there is that lightning flash quilt and all of the fabric to make and create that fantastic quilt as well so in that kit i'll read off the back of here because uh, then it'll let you know you get your 11 5 wof width of fabric well, i'm glad it's so that. working out working on a standard um patchwork fabric bolt between 42 and 44 inches depending yes. if you're including the selvedge or not yes i mean sometimes you can use a quarter inch of the the selvedge if if you need to be you know quite frugal with fabric but that's not what i'm saying about this kit you know yes. there's no point wasting it for wasting sake so um so you've got all the fabrics for the quilt top um the borders and you've got the binding so to finish it you would just need the wadding and the backing fantastic it is absolutely sensational all the fabrics that you've got included as well they're all there ready to go for you uh, you can divide the cost of this into two payments two payments of 40 <laughs> pounds and 48 <laughs> pence <laughs> really ought to learn to do a bit of math um, it is available on FlexBuy. 013429 is your item number. Right, let's move on another project for you. If that wasn't enough, we've got more for you. And remember, you can add as much as you like to your basket. Divide the cost on FlexiBuy, or of course you can pay by PayPal as well. Uh, right, another fabulous kit, £96.95. This is your home from home. And I can already see that we've got some panels in here as yes, well. Yes, you have. So there, there's eight parts to the one panel sheet so this one is probably going to be the quickest quilt that we have on the show today for you to make up because it is basically um, the panel and then you've got your borders and your squares then another border and then an outer border so you can I mean one or two ladies actually have mentioned on previous panels that you, there's no reason why if you wanted to stitch those I was just about to say that yeah yeah and yeah. you could use because it's a dark colour in the background, would you use a dark thread? Would you I, use the I same would colour? probably use yeah. black myself, but there's nothing saying you can't use a red. Silver, as long as, yeah. silver would be nice. Yes. Because yes. that would bring the black out underneath. It would, but sometimes stitching, doing the stitcheries with a lighter, yeah. it looks nice when you've done them, but when you actually put them up, you can't necessarily see true, them. True, true, yeah. Um, that's, so yeah. I think it's one of those things to play with, to be quite honest. Yeah, yeah. you could and I mean, stitch if, some, not stitch some. Exactly. And the other, if you wanted to be a bit more creative and sort of expand, um, there's, you know, multimedia, there's, there's nothing to say that you couldn't use, you know, fabric paints or yes, pencils. Good idea. The bit in the middle that we're seeing just down there. Yes. 
are they appliques? That's applique. And now, so again, um, you can either raw edge them, as I have done there, yeah. um, or if you wanted to, if you're very good at your corners on needle turn, you could needle turn them too. Wow, that is impressive. It's quite, um, you know, I don't really like using masculine and feminine, but it's the terminology we've got for now until they come up with something else. Um, it is quite <laughs> a masculine... It is quite a masculine quilt. Something I'd go for actually, because I like those strong colours that you've it got. It is. It, although there's <coughs> a lot, you know, there is a lot of black in it. Mm. It is striking, and, mm. and I would, it's, it's, I would say, in some ways, it's, it's contemporary. But then in others, it's very homely. It's. I think it's quite regal. That um, wouldn't look out of place in a stately home, on a double bed. Well, maybe. <laughs> you don't look too impressed with that, Marie. <laughs> well, I hadn't thought about it actually. It's, we'll it's just we'll very send striking. It off to Prince just Charles and Camilla mm. and see what they think. All I say. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it could be a present for the Jubilee. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> uh, it's a fabulous kit. It really is. £96.95. pence. Divisible, though, with Flexibind to two pence of 48 to 48 Absolutely fabulous. Love that one. 718530. Right, another adorable kit for you. I say adorable because I'm, I'm loving these colours of the browns and the blues. And this is another monkey buttons kit. Um, so, a bag... And you've also got, is that for the handles? Yes, it yeah. is actually. Yeah. Um, we've to strengthen them. So what you would do is you would make the handle, then you would feed through the piping. Um, so whether you have the, the, the tube or, or the, um, the clear piping. And it is, again, it, it's open at the top, So, it, but you've got lovely pockets at the, actually on the outside Ooh. at the back. Oh, let me turn yeah, that around. The outside because at the back. Actually, you could have the pocket close to your body, so you yes. keep everything nice Especially and safe. Especially because they are, it is divided into three, I think, yes, if it I remember. Is. Yeah. Um, and you can actually, they put your phone in without fear of somebody else's hand going down to borrow it maybe. that's right by yeah. the time their hand got to the bottom it wouldn't be getting there any longer <laughs> would it no. you'd have it um yeah that's really nice that looks, no, it's, it's, that looks it's like beautiful. a fake arm doesn't it <laughs> <laughs> it does doesn't it yes. it's a fake arm um, it's a beautiful bag though beautiful bag has it got some wadding in I've used um, Bosal okay. in that one. I mean, yeah. there's nothing to say that you can't use yeah. wadding, yeah. Um, but I do love the effect that the Bosal gives to the bags. It, it makes them look more professional and, and yeah. quite, you know, quite a keeps bit stunning because it, it keeps the shape. Yeah. Yes. Really like that. Very, very impressive, uh, especially with that applique on there as well. You get, uh, right, 10% of the stock gone already. Very, very busy for that one. It's a good size bag, isn't it? And it's a beautiful bag as well. 39.95. That is an amazing price. And that's divisible into two payments under Flex Extravaganza. So maybe it's going to be a Mother's Day present, a Valentine's present, or just a gift for yourself. Absolutely fabulous. 600614. 10% of the stock already gone, though. So we're busy on that one. Right, we've got another project for you. Uh, I really like this one because this could involve some stitching, some embroidery yes. with the panel that you're getting that goes on the front of the bag just here. How beautiful is that? All ready for the spring. All ready for the spring, yeah. yeah. Pre-printed for you, ready to go. You've also got the template so that you can recreate it again in, in the future using your own stash, your own oh, fabric. Nice. Yeah, so it actually is incorporated in the pocket. So the pocket's in the front um, and then you've got the... Yeah, you've got the loop and the button fastening. So you've got all the fabrics there and the lining. You just need wadding or bosal to complete your projects and threads for the stitchery. Love that. Nice and fresh. Nice and fresh. Absolutely beautiful. You could put your yarns in there, your crochet kit, for example. It could be a bag to go away for the weekend, uh, maybe on your travels or just a day-to-day -day bag. Absolutely beautiful. And I know you're going to really enjoy stitching that. You might have someone else in the family. How about this? If you've got a granddaughter, grandson who they, they perhaps love stitching or a son or a daughter, they could do that for you, and then you'd take a little piece of their work around with you oh, wherever yes, you go. Yes, be a nice yes, idea. Yeah, be nice. Five five zero two seven eight. Your item number. It's only twenty nine ninety nine. You get the pattern, and you get all of the fabric as well. Don't forget, you get the template, so you can recreate that if you want to. Twenty nine ninety nine. Fabulous price. Five five zero two seven eight. But you can cut, spread the cost of that into two payments. It'd be fifteen pounds today because we've got flex extravaganza. It's also over £20 as well, so if you're not used your welcome code yet, it is one per person. You can use it here on the craft store or over on Create and Craft, our sister channel as well, but it's only one time, but you can use it on both. So anything over £20, 
it's welcome in the code just as you check out your basket uh, or just give us a call and go welcome um, right now we have another kit for you again sensational colors in this and I do believe we're going to be seeing this demoed in, yes, in a few yeah, moments with time the, with the applique and also for those who are a little um, afraid of zips yes <laughs> oh lovely we, lo we like that uh, let's open this up and have a look so uh, you could keep your crafty items in here you could keep your personal items in here if you want to the two zips on each side you can see just there and then you've got the pocket in the front that is a beautiful beautiful design as well and then you just simply fold that round fold that back and you've got the buttons the buttons come included you've also got the uh, elastic which is included as well and all of that great fabric including the pattern <coughs> 19.99 what a great price yes, yes wow imagine going to buy something like this in your boutique shops i think it would be a lot more than 19.99 so having said that could i sell this if i made it Yes, of course, yes. Wow, yes, right. Yes. 158 211 is your item number, uh, 19.95, or just under £10 a day and £10 in a month's time because you can divide the cost of that into two. So it'd be 9.97 today. Right, let's move on. Uh, let's talk about the founder of the craft movement, William Morris. Mr. Morris, mm. yes. Beautiful fabrics here, and this is to make a quilt. Yes, yeah, so what you've got there is you've got 20 by 5 inch strips with the fabric, so again you're 42, you're 44 inches, um, and you have two quilt patterns in there. So although that fabric in itself won't make the kit for example, uh, the quilt that's behind me, yeah. you would need to add probably about 2 metres of a coordinating fabric, like you can see the cream there, yes. um, for you to complete it. So you have options. Okay. Um, and it's, this is replicated by the Victorian Albert Museum. So is again, it? it's mode of fabric. And if you say that one there, do you see you've got, I think, uh, is it bunny rabbits on? I can't see. Is it sort of this one here? Yes, if you look a bit further into it, there's owls, there's squirrels, oh, yeah. there's bunny rabbits. Um, and you look at it oh, again and you yeah. see something else. Yes, it's pretty... Yeah. I can see butterflies. That's right. Birds. Yeah, yeah. They look like cardinals. Yeah. Uh, you've got more little birds there, perhaps a budgerigar. Let's have a look. You've got a squirrel down the bottom, haven't you? Yeah. Um, you, it, and you, you, you tend to see something different every time yeah. you look at it. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. That really is. In fact, just go here. There. You can see a face. Can yes. you see that? Yes. Two eyes, a yes. nose, and a mouth. Um, but our producer, he's seen another face. He really, ought to, he really ought to pay attention to the show, though, don't you think? Come on, Ross. Pay attention to the show. Don't be looking at faces. <laughs> um, oh, absolutely fantastic, beautiful fabrics, William Morris. You know you're getting quality. We are actually really busy for this. So coordinating fabrics, you could purchase those. Uh, you might have some already in your stash, for example. And then that is going to make the quilt... Uh, with your coordinating fabrics that you purchase yourself that is actually behind Marie. 20% of the stock already gone. Uh, I think we had you at William Morris, didn't we? There you go. <laughs> there it is just behind uh, Marie. Looks absolutely incredible. Busy for that one. Only, wow, 22.48 today and 22.48 in a month's time. That is an incredible deal. Get it whilst we've got it. 176669 is your item number. Now, more stitching projects. Lots of you like to embroider. Um, and here we have a beautiful quilt to put together with the embroidery um, panels in there. So these are really nice. I do have a quilt behind me and it's been stitched in red. So red work. Yes, it is, yeah. yes. So the the kit actually includes, you've got four stitcheries and a pattern to recreate that quilt right. if you so wanted to. There's nothing to say that you could use them in a table runner, a cushion, sure. but that's an idea for you to use your own fabric to create the quilt. We've actually put the templates in there for you to recreate it at another time. You'd use a window or a light box to, to transfer the stitcheries, but the first four there are printed for you. It's a permanent ink, so again, hand stitch, um, um, two strands per lay, uh, uh, just look, see, use what you've got, you know. Um, do, you know I, do you know what I do with that? Just had an idea, because it's Christmas themed, and you might have it out all year round, or it might be one of these that you mm. get out at Christmas, like mm. a tradition. Yeah. I would turn those into pockets and put little gifts in there. Oh, that's so a good it could idea. be your Christmas 
gift quilt instead yeah. of a stocking. Yeah, no, it's a good idea. Yeah, I like that. And also, really, really I mean, pretty. to do it in blue, I think it'd be quite pretty in blue Ooh, as well. Yeah. Very more of a winter theme as opposed to Christmas. Yeah. Do it in blue. Yeah, I, I guess you can use any colour cotton if Absolutely, you want to. The traditions yeah. is the blue work and the red work is and black and black, and black work. yeah, I thought yeah. So. but I thought it's so. it's you, you know we were at a show over the weekend and they said oh do i have to do it in red i said no of course not no. you can do it in whatever colors you want there's no again there's no right or wrong it's no. yours exactly it's your project do what you wish um so the panels um here we go let me just show you one of them right there it's so very clear to follow so those are the panels you get uh, four of those and you get the pattern to make the quilt right there you can use your own fabric to pad that out and create 22 pounds and 95 pence wonderful price there for you you can divide the cost of that into two payments and it'll only be 11 pounds Oh, if, I, if I may add, sorry as yes. well, the calico uh, muslin is actually 200 counts, so it? it's beautiful to work with. Do you know what, it, it, it feels lovely. It, yes, yeah, you yeah. can. Yeah, lovely. Right, we have got a few more projects to show you, then we will get to demonstration, but we did want to go through everything that we've got for you. Now, this is fun, it's funky, <laughs> it's wonderful. Um, anyone that adores dogs or just loves bright colors is going to enjoy making this and gifting it or keeping it for themselves and again it's another wonderful price 29 pounds and 95 pence um, we've been very very busy for this already actually so you get uh, an orange zip in the case yes, is it that is, right? yeah it's just when i made the sample unfortunately i only had a beige one yeah um, but you are getting and as you can see Janice, if yeah, it goes yeah. superbly. It really does, yeah, doesn't it? it? Yeah, it goes superbly. That gives much, it much better. It's a, it is a double zip, so yep. you do have two tags on it, so you can open it from two ways. Um, it's very strong, well made as well. Again, I've used Bozal creating yeah. it. Okay. Um, inside, if you do open it, there is a bit of stuffing in there. But um, what you've got is the fabrics for to make it complete. You just need wadding and general sewing supplies to yeah. finish it. Um, if you what you can whip that out if you want. To. Um, but the binder, you've got, um, you've got fabric to create the binding as well. Oh, so I'll tell you, there's quite a lot in here. <laughs> well, Father I didn't want to Christmas, get it crushed. I Father had Christmas has had a shave, away. everybody. <laughs> and this is what he's done that, with it. That is what an old pillow looks like, you know, when you recycle them. And that's, you, whatever you do, you always put a bit of wadding on, on a cushion when you're using upcycling, you know, you do your Look doing, that. because otherwise it's lumpy and it's yeah. horrible. Um, it's beautiful, isn't it? I mean, you might be using this for your makeup, for your craft gifts. You could be using it for your little dog. To, well, don't put your dog in here. Here, but no. you know your little bits for when you when you go traveling with your dog they always have a little bag a quarter of the stock has gone knew that would be popular isn't it fabulous 29.95 is your item number you get your pattern and your fabric marvelous gift that two more to show you oh this is gorgeous oh this is beautiful uh, i love lilac such a such a wonderful wonderful it, it uh, is tree. isn't it yeah, yeah. And the greens but you've just you've got to get the colors right though the green yeah. and the lilac that yeah. you choose you've got to get them right again it's mode of fabric um and you've got the two two reels of um thread there the pearlay to obviously stitch the yes. embroideries now as you can see with the sample which is further up <laughs> <laughs> yeah. up the wall. Um, the, um, we've actually, I've actually expanded a bit more since I, I created that and yeah. I've actually incorporated more little butterflies and Ooh. birds than what's actually you see on there which is much, much prettier and I, I think it makes it a lot softer. I don't know if you've got the pre-printed yes. underneath. We'll see if our director Hugh can get over there. It's the second quilt along. Here we go, look at this. <laughs> it's a live pan, everyone. Keep going. I'm going to come down with you. It's, there's the hand. There it's we that go. Just, there's that false hand yeah. again. <laughs> Does look like a false arm. So you've got, it? you've got a double pinwheel in the five blocks there to do, yeah. and then you've got the embroideries. So I've softened, although you won't see it on the embroideries there. I've actually softened them. So when I've create, when I've done the prints, which is in the kit, they've got little butterflies and little birds and little bees all over it, and it's softened it up and it's made it sort of very cutesy, much softer, much nicer. Isn't that lovely? And I think it's forty by forty. Uh, inches, so good sight, beautiful fabrics. 
Yes. Absolutely stunning. Yeah. Quite right. You do need to get the greens and the purples right together. <laughs> and you've done that. That lovely vintage vibe. £59.95. £2.29.98. 218827 is your item number. So all of these wonderful fabrics. We're getting really busy for this. Uh, a quarter of the stock has gone. You're really liking these colours. I think it says we're heading towards the spring. You're thinking about flowers. You want the garden to go into bloom again. So this is a wonderful project to take you there. You've also got that thread. And that matches and goes perfectly perfectly doesn't it uh, with your lilac and green and uh, beautiful fabrics two payments 29.98218827 is your item number uh, for that one now the william morris kit that we've got for you on the show uh, we're limited stock so the william morris fabric to make that beautiful quilt adding your own um uh, fabrics to that we've been really busy and knew we would be with William Morris it's such a popular popular design 44.95 the last few available pop it into your basket and then you'll be able to check out but you can divide the cost of that into two one more kit to see uh, and then we'll head over to Armory I've got a little bit closer to you now Marie <laughs> I'm very far away up there. Now come a little bit telescope closer, but away still, now. <laughs> e but still distancing yes. uh, to to the requirements. Uh, right, um, this is nice because this is something you can enjoy making now in the midst of you know the the end of winter. Yeah, yeah. Uh, ready for um, next Christmas, dare we say? Uh, but look at this. Let me just pick this panel up just here. Now this is really nice, and you've got that lovely pattern in the background. You can see that. Um, it almost looks like like a cross stitch pattern but it's actually it's actually in the fabric itself it is it's, yeah. it's what we would call a, a white on white janice Very clever. Um, and so what although you see the cushion what you've actually got is the pattern and the pre-printed stitchery to recreate that particular cushion um and it's it's absolutely I would have sort of done it on the silver again, yeah. the glitter, but unfortunately we didn't have any more of that and that I wouldn't be able to get any more. So we've yeah. done it on the white. I thought, oh, shall we do it on calico? And I thought, no, it needs to be on white. Yes. Yeah. Um, and Beautiful. what's super about this cushion, as well as you having the, um, the embroidery, the pattern for the embroidery, you've got, again, and I've done these raw red because there's no way I'm going to do needle turn snowflakes like that. Forget <laughs> about it. <laughs> um, and you've... And you've got the um, foundation piecing for the Christmas trees, all the fir trees. Yeah, just around um, the and top. It is very, for a beginner, foundation piecing, it is very, very simple. Is it? Very, very simple foundation piecing. And the instructions, of course, are in with the pattern for you yeah. to recreate that. So it's a lovely little project. Great price as well. Fourteen ninety-five or... Seven pounds and fifty pence today. That's all you need to pay. One nine zero seven seven four. That is a fantastic deal. It could be your first little soft craft project like that. Uh, now William Morris has sold out. That's now gone. Um, that's why we were telling you how busy we are. That's what we do. If it goes limited stock, it means it's. Uh, I don't know why I'm rubbing my hands together. I don't know whether I'm cold or I'm just. I'm just happy that you know. You're thinking of payday so tomorrow. Payday. <laughs> oh no, it's all. It's payday at midnight. All gone by one right. minute past. <laughs> uh, right, so your William Morris is sold out. And the cushion panel, a third of the stock has gone of that. A third of the stock has gone of that. Right, any questions or anything you want to show and share, then please email in. It is studio at thecraftstore.com. Marie. Hello. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. Right, we're going to be looking at the S Sunflower Organizer kit. So, um... We'll start with the raw edge. So what I've done, and I very naughtily forgot to bring, this is a project I would make with wadding. Um, viewers will notice that I've actually, I am actually working with Bozal. Um, that's what do the youngsters say these days? That's my bad. Yes, my that's bad. all right. <laughs> we'll let you off. So in, in the kit, you've also got photographs of, uh, photocopies of the original. So you can use these as a placement guide. And as you can see, there's two sunflowers. Um, and you will get, uh, if I can open this up, yep. So you'll get your template as well. So you need to cut two sets of leaves, a center, and the petals and the stems. So I've done these earlier, as in a good old blue peter fashion and so as you can see i have i've said that word how many times now janice 
Which so, one? The so, so I think it must be at least <laughs> 560. Uh, if you're counting at home, let us know. So, back yes. to Marie. <laughs> you wait to say it then. <laughs> wait to say it then. And because of how we're folding, we need two of the sunflowers together. Okay, so if... <laughs> oh, no, no, no. No, no. Hope everybody's joining in and having a giggle at me yes, now. Yes, you so. must clap or ring a bell every time we say it. <laughs> oh, dear, dear, dear. So I have already placed... I have already placed one sunflower yep. there. Okay, and so very, very quickly... <laughs> I am going to not bore the viewers, but you've all used um, either heat and bond or yeah. bond or web or to to draw on and and don't forget to reverse not necessarily these, but when you're using that product to reverse should you need if there's a left and there's a right. So draw on. <laughs> I'm going to stop. No, 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 no. Jeff, stop laughing. He's at home today, by the Is way. He? He's at home. Morning, Jeff. <laughs> He'll go, no, <laughs> no. I made these earlier. I'm, I'm peeling off the back. So very, very quickly. And I'm going to give my eye a twiggle because it's probably gone to sleep. <laughs> So when it comes to when it comes to uh, ironing them, they're not going to stick, and it's just going to all minute. fall apart badly. Your iron goes to sleep. It goes to sleep. Yes, if it's not used after a little while, it goes to sleep. Is that your iron or every iron? Um, that's my iron, I think. <laughs> well, wow, that's, <laughs> that's, <laughs> it's quite a good safety feature that's for sure. Quite a and energy, thing. especially with the energy bills going Gosh, up. I just, just go now. to sleep when I'm told to do the ironing. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> I have a wonderful ironer at home. Do you? Is that mm. Jeff? <laughs> <laughs> Love you lots. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> They'll think we're bonkers, I tell you. And so I have placed everything now. So I have my two, my two sunflowers. Oh, this is terrible. Mary Quilter, you'll be sending me an email. I know you will. <laughs> It's not sticking. It's not hot enough. There we go. Just leave it and burn it. <laughs> Scorching. It. Don't burn it, but uh, <laughs> it'll stick. We've got about how long have we got? We've got, yeah. we've got about twenty-five minutes. We haven't got that long. Left. I've got to put zips in as well yet. <laughs> oh, bonkers! Absolutely bonkers! It's the Leicester girls, isn't it, That's Janice? That's right. So there we have our two sunflowers. Whoop whoop, and. Uh, Janice did allude to the fact of these loops being elastic. Yes. They're actually cotton fabric. Are they? Which oh. they are, yes. Are they're they? cotton. And you will cut them into strips, fold them in half, and then fold it in half, and then inwards to the middle, and then you would stitch down so that your raw edges are actually turned into the centre. And that you would place them as per the photocopy you have there. And you have your two buttons, which again, you'll use the photocopy as a placement guide for you to stitch. And you do get this um, particular sheet in your kit. So what Marie's doing here, you can do exactly the same at home. Absolutely, with, without any fear of getting it wrong right of the fold and so on. So <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be banned. They should take it out of the dictionary. I'm not using it anymore. Well, do you know what? It's funny how many times you say a word when you're actually conscious of it. You know, when you're not, it's like so, 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 so. But now we're conscious of it and hope you're clapping along at home every time. And I bet, so. I bet you, a pound to a penny, Jeff will be doing the tally chart now of how oh, many good. times I'm doing it. Jeff emailing towards the end of the show <laughs> so we can let everyone know at home how many times so they've said so. So that's your placement guide. We've also, also, uh, that was SO, not SEW. Okay. Yeah. Um, put in a little bag of beads here. Now, I've not taken them out, obviously, because they would just go everywhere. Um, and you get a very fine needle and literally sew them on into the centres there. Oh, wow. Yeah, the, yeah, little, I've got bags that on the, yeah, the little bags of beads. We had fun doing those, yes. <laughs> and they look, I've, I've got one just here in my hand. I don't know if you can get a shot of that, just to let you know uh, what that looks like. Just here. There you go. Um, 
it's, it just adds that little something. There you go. It just adds that little something to the design, doesn't it? That's really And of course, when the, when the light catches this, it gives it that little bit of sparkle. Yeah, it does. Well, I like that. It makes it special. So having got your, um, your top fabric and your backing fabric, so to speak, and you've put your applique on, now it would be your option of how, what style of a stitch you want to do. So if you wanted to hand stitch this, you could, especially as I recommend um, that you're using wadding to make this. But because um, as I've got the bosal here, I could hand stitch that, but I'm not going to. What's, what, <laughs> I'm what's, not going what's to. the difference between using bosal and wadding? Is it just the, the, like the rigidity of the... Definitely, the yeah. yes, definitely. Um, th there's no reason why you wouldn't use um, what, uh, sorry, the bosal on it, but uh, I, I don't believe it's necessary. No. I, th I, I think it stands quite... I guess quite if you're storing things in it, which it's uh, made to do, yeah. you don't want it to be too thick, uh, as it were. So using uh, your wadding in there, you can see there when I open this up, um, it's, it's more malleable, could be a word, uh, more usable, which is nice. And it, it sort of, especially with the handbags, the bosal tends to, um, I think, give it longevity. Yeah. It's, because it's not sort of scrunched up, mm. it's not folding in on itself. Um, oh, yeah. I'm using quite a large... Um, ooh, OK. Machine, 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 me mechanical. Just bear That's with me. That's OK. Just why you... Um, um, get that set again. Let's just give you a reminder because we're very busy. A third of the stock now gone of your organiser. I think it's absolutely terrific. I love the colours that are in this and I love the design of it. You've got the flower on the flunt, a uh, flunt, uh, flunt. <laughs> Uh, the flower on the back, you've got these lovely beads that you can add to it. The stitchy detail as well around those leaves and up the stalk just looks fabulous. Uh, yes, this is cotton, not elastic, but you've got that, you've got that little bit of a bounce in there. Love that. So it's very easy to take off. Um, open it up. You've got the zip pocket just there. You've got that lovely button pocket and then another zip pocket as well. I think that is fabulous. You could be keeping uh, your bills in there or maybe your, um, uh, if you're going travelling, or it could be your crafty items. You could be keeping your crochet needles mm. in there or maybe some pens, you know, if you're going out sketching. £19.95. We have more for you on the show. We have got your winter wonderland that's also proven very popular. Half the stock already gone. You've got your panels like so with these lovely winter scenes depicted upon them and with that you can stitch onto them so you can do some embroidery. You see this one here, snowmen melt your heart. Oh look, just as it's melting. Take <laughs> that kind of tells a story. The snowman is melting, so the kids are stealing his hat and scarf. Is that, what this, is that what's going on here? They're pinching his scarf, are they? Yeah, sorry? pinching his hat, yeah, pinching, pinching his scarf because it's melting. Scarf, having a right old giggle with him before he melts away. Yeah, yes. you're not going to need this anymore. No, it's the opposite. They, they're, they're, putting the, they're putting the hats on. He's not a puddle just yet. Um, beautiful design. Look at this one. Isn't that lovely? So you've got one of the reindeers. It's either Panzer, Glancer, Tancer or... I don't know what their names are, Rudolph. Um, oh, what a shame. I have got um, a pattern for a cushion that's got all the reindeers of on. their names on. Oh, <laughs> that that's would help. An that's another story for another day. <laughs> <laughs> that would cushion the blow when I need to say all their names. Um, we've got um, those um, particular panels set in a quilt because you've got the pattern to make the quilt. Um, here it is. All you have to do is just add your own fabrics to that. But you can see here, once they've stitched, um, they look absolutely beautiful and they really stand out as well. So you've got the four panels, you've got the snowman, you've got the lovely couple that are in the sleigh with the love hearts at the top with their horse, uh, probably called Roger, pulling them along. Uh, and then you've got your carol singers just there. Well, we've got carol actually. Um, so you've got your carol singers there and then you've got your reindeer down the bottom. So you've got all four of those. Uh, it's a great little kit, £22.95. Very busy for that. Um, I've got one metre stitcher 
have we got that on the show? Yes, we have. It's oh, a stitchery stabiliser. Sorry, I popped it there. It was my oh, fault. Right. Sorry, I think it's Janice. quite a it's <laughs> worth a mention. <laughs> what we do with the stitchery stabiliser is incredibly popular for the ladies not necessarily using the hoop to mm. give the fabric a little bit more stability ah. when they're hand stitching. So yeah. it would be perfect for any of the hand stitching pre-prints that you've got to iron it on the back. It's Great. very, very fine, very soft. You could quite easily tear it and put your finger through, so you've got to be gentle. Yeah. And also, it's one of those products that please don't put your iron on the gritty bit because that gritty bit will go black and you won't be very happy when you've got it on your shirt collars. You I know. know. <laughs> okay. That's just, uh, just, just to remind Jeff when he irons brilliant. it. <laughs> That's on end of call, everyone. So when you go to check out your baskets, that'll be offered to you. It's only 4 dollars That's a good price. A good price. Right, back to Marie. Back to you. Is it back to me? It right. is. Right. My machine is not being very happy with the thread at the moment. Okay. Um, so I've changed the bottom spool and I'm, I'm going on the, on the blanket stitch. And as you can see, I'm using red um, just so that you can see it. But at this moment, my machine, you can't see it because it looks absolutely horrendous. <laughs> my machine decides today it doesn't want to play. But you would hand stitch or machine stitch yeah. um, going all around the different parts. And with, I'll just trim that off the back there. Um, and generally, the zigzag stitch or a blanket stitch, I normally have no problem with my machine, but it obviously is not enjoying the thread. I'm, hope, I'm wondering if sometimes, if you haven't got the same thread on the bottom or the top, but I tell you what, you won't be bringing that machine out for a run again, will you? Pardon? You won't be bringing that machine out for a run if he's playing you up. Well, normally, this is the one I always bring with me, <laughs> and I was using it sort of this morning, and it was fine, um, but it's just... Probably camera shy. Well, maybe I didn't get enough breakfast. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Cup of coffee, maybe. <laughs> yeah. So I think you're getting the gist. You're, you're either hand stitching it or you're machine stitching it. Yeah. And also with the leaves, what I would do, and also on the template, you'll see that there's a line down the centre for you. So if I'll just stop that there because I think we all know how to do that. <clears throat> And it's artistic license, really. So I would just put it onto a straight stitch before I start zigzagging a, a vein of, of a leaf. And so... I think it looks really effective with the stitch going around the leaves. I like it. And what you could do as well, if you were feeling quite adventurous, you could put your free motion foot on and have a play. And, and so therefore make the veins a little bit more curvy um, to create, I mean, on, on the template, I've just done the centre vein. But if you, you know, you want to make the, and sort of give it a curl as you're going, if you move it slowly. Now on the sample that I've got here, Marie, Mm -hmm. Is that a, is it a zigzag stitch that's on there? Because this looks really effective. I don't know if we. Why can... are you trying to say, Janice, that you don't like my stitching no. today? <laughs> I, no, I love your zigzag. I love I love zigzag. Uh, but I was just looking at this one. Um, I didn't know whether that was a zigzag or another. Stitch no, I style. think actually I've done blanket stitch on blanket that when I've stitch. done that. Oh, I think so, you, so you, when I've done that. There you go, like Marie says, it's artistic license, isn't it? Um, you could zigzag, you could do blanket stitch, running stitch, you could do whatever you like. Um, but they do, it, I think it finishes them off really, really well. It does, yeah, it does. And then, what, as I say, you would get your, your beads and you hand stitch those on. So you need to do the applique before you do anything else yeah. with regards to our organiser here. Um, don't, I wouldn't put the buttons on till the very, very last. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, only because you're going to be moving it around. You've got the binding on. The last thing you want to do is catch your needle on it because yeah. you're going to be breaking your needle on. So yeah. they can be put on. You can either be very brave, take your foot off, and you can put the buttons on um, by the machine or it was just as quick for you yeah. to whip them on by hand, to be honest. Terrific. Okay. So what I will do, if you want me to continue. <laughs> well, I tell you what, let's give a reminder 
of the poor baby's bag because this has been very very busy what a fabulous bag lots of us have our fur babies that we like to take care of and sometimes we take a little fur baby to doggy daycare so they need a little doggy daycare <laughs> bag with all of their treats in because they might get an upset tummy if they eat someone else's treats uh, you might want to put some comfort break bags in there as well not after they've had the comfort <laughs> break but you know before before uh, it could be a little travel bag that you're going in the car so you could put their food in there the drinks you could put some little comfort break bags um, and some uh, maybe a little towel in there as well just to make sure their muddy paws don't go into your car it's wonderful, isn't it? But of course, you can use it for all of your sewing items as well. It's a really nice size. Turn this all the way around. So it's, you can use it for whatever you like. You can use it whatever you like. And it's got a really nice flat round bottom, or roundish, um, like an oblong bottom. $29.95. You get the full kit. Let me just show you this because the zip that you get included is orange. And I think that looks absolutely terrific, doesn't it? It makes it pop. 182. 416 is your item number. Very popular, that one. Uh, now, something else that's been very popular is your Lilac Ridge. Uh, love this. Three quarters of the stock has gone. Beautiful fabrics. Absolutely gorgeous. The greens work with the purples. You've got that lovely vintage vibe. You're going to make this quilt just here. And uh, we've got that in the studio, second one along. I think you had a look at that earlier. And you've also got the threads as well, because you'll need these for the panels. You've got four panels in there uh, to stitch. So you can see there, you've got those wonderful uh, pieces of thread. Do we get, we don't get the panels already printed, but we get the templates to... No, you do get the panels printed. Do you? Yeah, do you, do they, you? Should be, they should be there. They Janice. should be yeah, there. Yes, there they, they are. They are there. They are underneath. They are underneath. There you go. So they are included. I didn't see those, uh, which makes it even better, doesn't it? So your panels there, the four panels, they're included. And all you have to do is just simply take this wonderful thread and then do the embroidery. That is a beautiful quilt, and it looks sensational with the greens. I mean, you've got it spot on with those colours. Yeah, it's fortunate that they are from the same range, so they tend it tends to make the job a little easier for you. Yeah. Um, when you get to sort of like the lightning flash, you're very lucky on on the reds, and you have to have more of an eye and think about it. But definitely with um, the lilac ridge there. I'll just move this bag out of the way. We're just trying to get a shot. <laughs> that was the stand, not the back. Uh, but anyway, there's that quilt. Close up, beautiful. Look at those fabrics, how well they work together. And then you've got those panels. 80% of the stock has now gone. It's proving to be very popular. Are they pinwheels? Yes, they are. It's, it's, I'm learning. Ooh. Do you like it? <laughs> oh, yeah. Get it on. Move over, Marie. I'm coming in. <laughs> well, the way I've done today, it won't be very hard, I have to say. <laughs> don't be daft. You've done an absolutely incredible job. You really have. Um, super, that. Uh, but 80% of the the stock has gone very very busy for that and it's a great price as well and then the final one something else has been busy as well I don't know why I'm acting surprised because you know I know we've just had Christmas but people start to create for next Christmas now don't they they do I remember one year we were we've been doing the shows for years um, what 10 years at least yeah and I remember one particular year I thought oh I'll put all the Christmas away in January because people are fed up with it you know they don't want to see it um, and as it was by chance I was given more space on this particular show and I thought well what am I going to put in there I thought I'll have to put Christmas up and people were thrilled because when I hadn't put Christmas up because I thought oh, it might be just the one off I didn't put Christmas up where's your Christmas because you're quite right people are wanting to get ready for it now yeah they are and it's well it's a terrific price isn't it 14 pounds and 95 pence that's your pre-printed uh, stitchery and then you get your instructions to make that um, cushion but it could be a table topper. I'm just looking at the shape of that. Yes, a cushion, but you could also have that on the top of your table at Christmas time, put your mince pies on it. Yes, you could. I mean, mm -hmm. if you wanted to add additional borders, um, and it's, you know, if, you, if you're one of these people that are pretty good with maths and, you know, you know how to increase or, or you know, double up the size or put another border on, um, then yeah, you make it yeah. bigger. Yeah. Terrific idea. Or even put three three together to make you run across hey, that's the table. That's a good idea, concept. yeah. Fabulous. 190774 is your item number. Now, we've only got four minutes left of this show. Um, do you want to carry on with your project? I will. Show I will. I will, I will, Okey I will. Dokey. <laughs> now, because, of course, you've got your replique, and then you're going to think, oh, gosh, that's a terrible mess on that side. It isn't, because it's going to be covered up by pockets. 
what you will do, and it's the instructions are given, you will cut the fabrics and you will place, and again, I'm very sorry, I've used bosal as opposed to wadding. Um, you will put, fold the fabrics and you will have your fold on one side and you have the raw edge on the other. So you've ironed your fabric in half, you've put your wadding inside and then you would place it the raw edges to the raw edges of the background. But first of all, of course, you need to put your zips in. Now, you've got two zips, one each end. Um, don't be frightened, don't run away from them. They're not scary. It's just my sewing machine that's scary at the moment and I'll talk to it later, but we'll see how it gets on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the zips put in for you are slightly larger as well. Because it's not a fitted zip, what you're doing basically is st stitching two strips of fabric to each side of your zip there. I've made it more difficult for myself using the bosal, but it shouldn't be a problem. So that's what I'm going to do now. Put my specs down and off we go. You don't want to play today. We're not having fun. <laughs> now, we've only got three minutes left <laughs> I'm ever so glad. <laughs> Don't worry, Marie, if it's not working. We've it got the idea. It doesn't want to play, does it? No. Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't we have a look at the first item? Because uh, we didn't see this for a while. This is your Starburst quilt, but you also get the magazine as well, full of inspiration. And in the magazine, let me just drop that down there, you've also got your templates in here as well. So you can do all your different appliques. But lots of different projects. Um, uh, for you to go through, make and create a beautiful magazine, actually. It's really nice just to sit down and read for a while. Three payments of £48.32 and pence because you are getting all of your fabric to make this fantastic quilt that we've got here in the studio. We're very lucky, actually. Marie always brings uh, samples of just <laughs> lush. They are absolutely beautiful. Uh, and I just, I just want to lay back because you can see all the comfort that you get with quilts, but also uh, that wonderful design as well. And you can see that there, all the different panels. Isn't that lovely? That is a huge quilt. It's 72 inch square. And in the kit, you get the pattern, of course. It's on page 98 of the magazine. But what's great, when you read in a magazine, you see a pattern. What we've got here now for you is the fabric. So you've got 21 fat quarters sorted fabric. That's here in this particular kit. You've got your two fat eighths of your dark prints because you can have those as borders. 60 centimetres of your black grunge binding and 70 centimetres of your white fabric for your backgrounds. Um, sensational deal. Beautiful fabrics as well. I hope you uh, can see that. It's beautiful. Um, you can divide the cost of that into three payments, £48 or 32 pence for each month. Uh, another one of my favourites on the show. Oh, I love this. Uh, this is your monkey buttons bag. Um, and I think this would be great for um, anyone, you know, female, gentleman, uh, young or old. I just think it's a superb bag. It's really handy. You've got that long strap on there and you've also got the pattern and the fabric to make that great purse. But it looks brilliant, doesn't it, with your bird on there and the feathers. It matches so well. It really does. Uh, head to the website. You can see all of the items available to you at those great prices. So that one uh, is a brilliant deal. Now, we've only got 40 seconds left, so I'd like to say a huge thank you to our Marie. Did you? It does help if you don't have it stuck on reverse. Too it? little, too late. <laughs> <laughs> Did you if, they, if, if they don't mind taking a quick photograph of this, I have got the zips in. Aww. So all you would do now is cut off the end with a bit of a yep. pair of crabby scissors. Yes. Okay. And you you repeat that for your pocket that's going to go down to the other end. Brilliant. Your raw edge here. Marie, we've got nine oh, no, seconds I'm left. So sorry. I know. Uh, <laughs> Marie, thank you so much. Oh, thank it's you. It's been an absolute joy. We'll see you guys in a few oh, moments' time. Oh. So, did you get that, Jeff? There's one more for you. Uh, nice crafting pets at Play Stamps is coming up next. Wonderful show that. Natasha makes after that. And there were quilting antics with the one-day special. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have. So we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. And we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion, and we hope to transfer that passion to you. Shopping online with the Craft Store has just got easier with PayPal's Pay in 3 plan. 
Spread the cost of your basket, whether there is one item or many, with three interest-free payments. Simply choose Pay in 3 at checkout and pay for purchases between £30 and £2,000 over three equal instalments for the next three months. No fees and no interest. Spread the cost of your shopping with PayPal's Pay in 3 plan at the Craft Store. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Hello, I'm Barbara and I'm Julie and together we're Scarlet Rose Crafts. We're a family run business and our aim is to bring new and innovative new products to the crafting industry. We've both been involved in crafting industry for many years and we're continuing to move forward with our new company now. The Easy Mat Plate is our flagship product uh, followed by our innovative Easy Shim product. Our range includes diamond trail plates, ultra-sized dies, cards and sticky sheets. We're constantly developing new and unusual products, so watch this space. On our shows, we hope to inspire you with our products so that you can carry on crafting, because our motto is, because we can. everybody and a warm welcome I've got a big smile on my face because not only are we gonna have a, a lovely hour with nice crafting and some beautiful designs but I couldn't think of a better guest to represent nice crafting because she is one of the nicest people in crafts it's our Karen hello mm. hey, oh, how are you I'll pay you later no you are lovely oh, yeah. <laughs> you're lovely and you you come in and you look out for everyone and you're, you're lovely uh, now Thank Karen you. Before we get into anything, uh, we have got a happy hour deal that's going to put a big smile on your face. I know you love this. I love so it. We love decided it. in our meeting, I'll tell you the story behind this. In our meeting um, with Karen, we, we said this is going to be happy hour and said the price. And your eyes nearly popped out of your, your skull. You're like, what? So we thought, okay, we'll start with it. You're saving £20 and look what you're getting. 50 sheets of masking. So it's A4 masking sheets, perfect for your stamping, for your techniques. Look. As crafters, paper crafters, you need this in your life. I would imagine we can die cut this, Karen? You can die cut it. Uh, yes, you can die cut it. You can cut it out free by hand. You can stamp on it, cut it out. It's very simple to cut out and it's uh, re removable so you can stick it out. Yeah. Repositionable. Yeah, um, I've been using it for about three weeks now. I think mm -hmm. Ni uh, Nigel gave it me about three weeks ago. And they're just starting to want replacing. Okay. But wow, that, and you use it a lot. I've been yeah. using it a lot with yeah. these, yes. Yeah, so well, that's good. Yeah. What yeah, I definitely. tend to do with masking sheets, if you've got stamp sets, and we've got some beautiful stamp sets for you, stamp, cut out, and then what I'll do is stick the mask to my stamps, uh, so not to the actual stamps, to the packaging, so you know you've got them there to reuse. No, you can reuse them a few times, and then obviously in time do some more. But you've got a lot, so you don't have to be frugal for them. We are getting very, very busy for a happy hour deal. <laughs> no. Already 10% of the stock's gone. We're a minute into the show. Uh, happy hour deals, the price is around, that £20 saving is around for this hour, or while stocks last. Considering we've lost 10% of the stock in a minute, I know. I think my money's on it's going to go. Uh, so we always say, what's going to go first, the stock or the clock? I think the stock. Okay, so that's our happy hour. Now we're going to move on to some stamps. Oh, these are good stamps. Oh. We were talking about the designer of the stamp. The artist. The yes. artist, yeah. Yes. In, I mean, incredible artist. He's an incredible artist. He's a very well-renowned well artist. His yep. name is Peter Undale, and he has. And I've been absolutely privileged. He's contacted me and said that I'm doing real. He's loving what I'm doing oh, with his stamps. Nice. So it will, like, you know, <laughs> all, all day. Yep. Um, he's a lovely guy, but he's he's well-renowned. 
for um, a company called Heritage Crafts. So he does a lot of designing for materials. Yeah, yeah. So you will see, you will recognise his kind of style yeah. in, materi in, in materials uh, uh, that you may have purchased and cross stitches. It's worth, I say, Peter, uh, Peter... Pete um, Underhill. Pete, sorry, Pete Underhill. And it's worth looking him up and just seeing the kind of stuff he's done. He is absolutely top of his game. Uh, and if Peter, if you're watching, buddy, we love your work. We really do here. Because you, you put a smile on our face, like instantly with all of the designs and the artwork that we have here. You can't help but smile. I'm looking at Karen and she's like beaming. But also, I have to say, these stamps are incredibly Moorish and when you're crafting with them, Karen was saying she couldn't stop using them. And I'm going to show you an example why. Look, when you've got artwork like this, stamps like this, so if you are a cat lover, if you know somebody who is a cat lover, come on. We love this. He, he's got a very distinctive style and he's kind of captured the essence of, of the cat. Yes. That playful yes. nature. Yeah. But we're not just talking about the cats. Oh, I see what Meg, my producer, went catches. I got, I, I was slow on the uptake there, Meg. That was very good. Uh, but we've also got our little uh, poochies in here as Co well. Dogs and cats, yeah. I mean, there is an awful lot. This, uh, by the way, do you do all of these? or just No, there's, uh, there's Caroline Donnelly yeah. and there's Sam King. Uh -huh. uh, they were the ladies that came with, that have come with me from previous oh, people. Okay. Uh, they've, they've had... Uh, the, the stamps the same time They're as me and then there's myself but they've been absolutely what? amazing whoever made this that's mine oh, okay we know name on that's mine genius Karen, genius it. so click just it. get in the little bit of wobble just, because just, we all know this is what cats do they find something like this and then they'll spend hours playing with it it's You're throwing good. it off the top of the basket yeah. that was my idea You're very and if you good. just flick it it wobbles i'm so pleased i'm going to put this down for a second i'm so pleased we are busy here because uh, nice crafting uh, relatively new company to the craft store, but it already uh, built up such a large fan base. Now, you can go for the complete collection. We've got details on the screen here. Uh, three flexi payments, so we're spreading the cost over three months. So for $28.98 today, that's your first flexi payment. You are getting everything. And when you look at this, I would say on this occasion, You'd want to go for the, uh, and I'll explain my reasoning behind it, because you've kind of got your feature characters in these sets up here. Now, with the complete collection, you're getting everything. But when you start looking at the other elements to it, you're then able to scene build uh, and get more for your uh, money. So let's start with the dogs. You can just start by the dogs um, as a duo together, prices on your screen, saving three pounds. So we can just go for the dogs. And that in itself is strong. You'd be very happy with that. Uh, actually, I've got some boards for you, so let's just have a little look. Here are the dogs. And when you look at this, now come on. That's very, very cute. So we're going to say, I love this one. Actually, I love them all. I'd be putting him on the back of an envelope, because I'm big into my envelope art. So I like to put whatever stamps I've used with a card, I'll put on the envelope. I just love this little fella here. Oh, look, waiting to be fed. Oh... Oh, someone's been naughty. You know, they're cute. They're having a little snooze. So already you're starting to fall in love and get an idea of the dog. But then, oh, it just gets even better. Devoted companion. Look at that. And that, that reminds me very much of Taz, our director, at our Christmas party. And then you've got... So I can see how he's dancing. Look on his back. So really cute, right? That's the dogs. If you want to go for those, and you can see how many stamps you're getting across the boards there from both sets, because they are A5 stamp sets, so they're sizable stamp sets, saving three pounds, 30 pounds, 98 pence your price there, uh, 277168. So we're just breaking down the duos. Now we're going to look at the cats. <laughs> now I want to make sure I've got the right one here. So the armchair, yeah, okay. There we go, have a look. So here we got cats for you. So that's Cats 1, uh, set 1 in the kitten parlour. So Pets at Play, sorry, it's a kitten parlour. So here, another duo. So lots of elements, but this is what I love about the artwork. You've not only got your cats, but it's the elements to play with, to build up. The, I would say, Karen, they're scene builders. It's an absolute scene builder, yeah. They, they, I would say that 
it's limitless it's only as, as what your imagination would think yeah. there's the, everything everything fits together uh, you've got kits, kittens that go around corners you've got kittens cheeky that you can little mask kittens off, cheeky, yeah. cheeky kittens ones that you can have popping up you've got all the scenery you've got everything in the house you've got all the pictures you've got furniture uh, you've got baskets, boxes, you know, everything that cats and dogs like to play with. We love it. Okay, so that's uh, the stamps that you're getting with this duo, £30.98, your price saving £3.973582. And then, if that's not enough, we've got Cats 2 for you as well. Look at this. There is, this is why I was saying if you go for the complete collection, the amount you have, the little characters you have to play with. And I love the artwork on the wall and, you know, building up those scenes. You've got the box. Cats love their boxes. I love just peeking around the corner too, laid out there, two friends together. Cute. So, so cute. I am an absolute cat and dog lover. I would be going for the complete collection. Now, you see the savings, the three pound savings, uh, nine pounds in total across the uh, three options. So three pounds here, here, and here. That nine pound saving has already been factored into the price. And then on top of that, you're saving a thir further six pounds. So 15 pounds saving in total, if you factor in the two. And you've got your three flexi payments, but you've got so much to play with. So I would, and this is just me speaking as a crafter, I mean, absolutely, and I, I understand if you just wanted to go for one of the sets. Actually, though, you know with your three flexi payments, and I understand it's three flexi payments, but in real terms, the money leaving your account today, if you went for your first flexi here of the complete bundle, it's actually less than you'd pay for just one of the bundles. Just saying. Obviously, that is your first flexi, but I fully understand then you've got uh, two further flexi payments. But, uh, oh, unless you haven't used our, what I've got to say, we've got a spend and save event. So if you haven't used the code welcome, you'll be able to get a further five pounds discount today as well. But this is what I love about the sets. And we talk about scene building, Karen. So we've got the couch, the cat sprawled there, the artwork. You know, you're able to build, build it up. Or how about, oh, that's nice. That's using, um, a stat, uh, you know, the... Stampering. Oh, from uh, Pearly Winks. Uh, yes, yeah. there's one from Pearly Winks, and there were one one on here from Gina K. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I hadn't. Uh, the reason why I said Pearly, I hadn't seen the Gina K. Yeah, one, there's a so Gina K. One and a Pearly Winks yeah. one. There you go. Oh, that's now. Come on, that's that is so cute, and we've all seen the videos of cats stealing the dog beds. That's a nice one. I really like that. It's going to put a smile on your face. That's hard. Again, you've got to fall in love with these characters. Look at the cat. The cat. This is it. The cat about to get in the chest. And the dog's like, no, we shouldn't really be doing this. Yeah, but look what's underneath at the bottom. Oh, it's another. It's another. <laughs> squash it's squashed the cat. <laughs> that's right. That's very naughty cat. There we go. How about this? We've all got. If you ever know. Or if you have a cat or know a cat. It's that little eye just peeping out. Like, I'm asleep, but I'm not asleep. I'm watching. I'm, I'm watching. seeing if you're getting any fish yeah. out. I know. Well, they're just endearable, uh, um, such endearing characters. Oh, I've just dropped a load of inspirations. All right, I'm going to stop there. Only because I've dropped all of these. We are very, very busy. <laughs> There's loads you, of samples, isn't there? Loads, there are loads. Uh, oh, sorry, I've got to give you an update. 10% of the large bundles already gone. I'm so happy. We're 10 minutes into the show. 10% of the bundle's gone, but it is a bundle that instantly, all I will say, as crafters, I like to work with stamps that put a smile on my face, and I guarantee, I guarantee you, you will not be able to work with these stamps without smiling. And if you're looking to put a smile on someone else's face, because I understand not everyone has pets. We're at home, my wife and I, my little boy, we don't have, uh, at one point, we would like to add a little fur baby into our family. We don't have one at the moment. But if you don't have a pet of your own, listen, you can still enjoy this artwork, or especially if you're making a card for someone that does. So I'd be looking at this. My parents have got a little cat uh, called Snowy. She's an absolute, she's, she's a diva. But, uh, you know, they love her. And uh, so I say, if I'm going to make a card for my, especially my dad, I think I'd put, use the cats and build up a cat scene. He'd love that. So anybody in your life likes their pets is set for you. Put a smile on your face, have some fun, and build up the scenes. And that's where this really comes into its own. Busy for our complete collection, 430-565, your item number. Just going to give you a reminder of a happy hour. No, it hasn't.
You're kidding. We've technically sold out. I didn't think it was going to sell out this quick. So uh, happy hour has gone, I'm afraid. And I did say that it's around while, uh, for this hour while stocks last. Now, we are, we thought it would be busy. We really, and genuinely, I'm not, don't you want you to feel I'm just playing up to the camera. We didn't think it would sell out in 10 minutes, well, 12 minutes. So what's doing, our lovely producer Meg, and I've got a lot of time for Meg, I think she's exceptional. Um, she's making calls and she's doing, I promise you, she's doing her best to try and get some more stock. So she's going to do everything with her own power to try and get some more. Obviously, it's not ultimately up to us, but we will try our best to try and get some more. But as it stands, happy hour has gone. Uh, okay, now somebody who's going to make this a happy hour for you is our lovely Karen. So we're going to go to demonstration. Karen, what you got for us? Oh, I've no idea. What do you want to want to do? <laughs> I love that. Karen, before the start of the show, she was like, I, I, I don't like, know which demonstration do to do. I don't know where to start. Why don't we start? I'd love to start with the dogs. Start with the dogs. Yeah. Right. So um, we'll do something with the dogs and a scene. Could so we, now, because there are some real characters there, could we incorporate... The, the sheepish one, you know, the one that looks a little bit... The, little bit... the very, very sheepish yeah. one, we certainly can. So, um... Cause you... Only because I, I love that dog. Yeah, do you remember when I first started on the show about three years ago? Uh -huh. And I was making books for uh, my dies and everything else. Yeah. So I have done it again with for, for my stamps. And I brought two, we've got two uh, two different kits together. We've got the, the original stamps. And don't forget, these will work, work with them. I've got a demo prepped up for the second show. Nice. that works both both together but we will start with the dogs so what I thought I would do is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my stamping platform okay. I need the stamping platform and what you do need is to have um, masking the, the masking well, the masking. we could have some good news on that I know it's sold out just hold fire uh, we're seeing what we can do there and actually one thing I want to say as well Karen and because I just this is what I dropped on the floor <coughs> and only because Karen was mentioning about the book uh, please follow Karen on social media and also nice crafting on social media these are little ATCs and I know you do ATC swaps we're still we're doing our very first swap in in February it's Karen's ATC design and swap and swap is spelt wrong Okay, for a it's reason. It's spelt with a S W O P because when I were a kid, I used to watch a program called Saturday Swap Shop, and that's how I remember it being spelled. Uh, okay, fair enough. <laughs> it's okay. I like that. So it's, put, a, it's technically great, yeah. yeah. but when you want to put swapped, you have to do an A. But coming from Yorkshire, I call that swap. Okay. <laughs> so it's technically but, spelt wrong, but yeah. it's right to me, and I'm Fine. not going to change it. I love that about you. Please follow Karen. Get involved in the ATC swaps. Uh, say because you're doing great a follow. live every uh, every week with we, ATCs and everything. Could I put in a request and a yeah. reason to follow Karen? You see the storage that you create there. Have you already done this, or could you do a, maybe a social media do a, a little uh, session? I will we do show something regar regarding yeah. the storage. I think a lot yeah. of viewers just say how you can house your stamps. Yeah. So if you've got, yeah. and I know how busy we are for the complete collection. If you want to house them the way Karen has, just follow her on social media, and I'm sure at some point she'll do a video. Yeah, I will do it. I'll get that announced. I'll do it. Get, uh, give you about a week to join, and then we'll do something next weekend. Okay, cool. And I'll do 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 the storage and how I've done it. Perfect. Because uh, the inside of the storage, I've not used acetate this time. I've you used like. Out sticky back stuff and it's like so easy okay but yes cool. right uh let's so. do it we'll put some dogs and some cats yeah, into let's it yeah together. let's build a scene and build let's do a it scene. off the fly so, so we the haven't really planned what we're going to do so here. the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to use my stamping platform and the reason is because if i'm doing masking and you want to double stamp you want to make sure it's it's all in place my stamping platform i'm making sure it goes right into the corner okay uh, just and to let everyone, and Karen, I'm so sorry, I right. just started. Just very quickly, give you an update, because obviously masking sheets are important and integral to the demonstration. Well done, Meg. Uh, she's worked her magic. She's a charmer, our Meg. She's managed to get some more stock. So uh, the happy hour now is back in stock. It's going to be on extended delivery the 4th of February. Uh, get it while you can. It's sold out in 10 minutes the first time, and it's already absolutely flying. Massive, massive saving on this. And I promise you, I guarantee you, you will use it. If you're a paper crafter, I know how many times I go to my masking sheets and you need this in your life, you really do. Okay. So what have I done with my inks? You know, I was so, I've got really, really excited and I'm so disorganized because I've just got so excited. Uh -huh. I was like a big kid, weren't I? 
Yeah, I've been like this for weeks. <laughs> it's lovely to see you genuinely. Uh, I genuinely embrace the artwork. love these. And uh, Karen, if Peter's watching, Karen was saying to us in the meeting, she just couldn't stop using these stamps and coming yeah. up with different ideas. And you can see it actually from all the design team, the ins inspirations they've made. If you look at the, ca the, sample, the cards that I've made, they're basically pictures and just matte and laid. Yeah. Because I, do, I wasn't making cards, I was practicing my watercolouring and, um. and I was doing scenes. And then I come through to, uh, you know, to come to the show. And I thought, they're all just little scenes, these. Well, it's a good point because you can colour the colourings for the cats or the dogs. So if you've got a certain colour cat or dog, you can absolutely reflect that to make it a bit more personal. You certainly can. And also, if you wanted to go just holding up this little inspiration here, the only reason I do this, I'm doing this, let's say 10 o'clock, you should be watching my little boy. There's a little cartoon with, uh, or a series with a, a blue doggy. And uh, that's the one. Taz is a dad in my ear. He said it. <laughs> so look, you can, you can do that. So uh, that's for you, Watcher, because I know you like, you like the dog. Okay. So what we've got here is I've got the chest and I've got some uh, masking, some of the masking, and you can see it stamps out absolutely beautiful. I'm going to pop that one on. Now, when you're cutting your masking out, please make sure that you cut on the inside of the lines. So where your lines are, just get it so it places on the inside. If you cut it round the outside of the lines, you yeah. can end up with a white lining. If you do, it's not a problem. A line of a, a black liner will just just do that for you. I'm going to take that one off and pop that back on there. See, that's a really good starting point, and it's... where I've got to commend Pete in in his designing of the characters because he's really thought about giving us different character different poses to work around all the other elements. So, say the cat or the dog just peeking around works beautifully. Yes, yeah. Whatever you stamp first is going to be first in, in, the, in, in the foreground. Okay. Whatever you mask up, then when you, when you start masking it up, it goes further and further and further back. Yeah. So you see this little cat here, he's got his little claws out and uh -huh. I gather he can be put on. If you can draw curtains or anything like that, you can have him hanging down the curtains. Oh, that's cute. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop him and I want him squashed okay. coming out of there so <laughs> I'm gonna now stamp him <laughs> squashed oh what's happening you can have a dog looking very chuffed with himself and then we're gonna do the dog okay. in there I've got a nice email here from Lynn do you mind if I Hello, read this Lynn. out? Is that okay if I read this out? Are oh, you working? Perfectly. Okay. I'm just we'll, stamping away. We'll carry on watching you. So, uh, Lynn's saying, good morning, Yanis and Karen. Good morning, Lynn. Good morning. Uh, great to see you back, Karen. Was wonderful. Um, I was wondering where you were. Oh, we always, we always love it when Karen comes to visit us. Have to say, Karen is one of the loveliest guests on the craft store. Hope to see more of you. During lockdown, you certainly kept me cheery. Oh, you are, as it, and I can just speak on a personal note, forget being a guest, you are part of the family and you come in and... You do. You've always got a smile on your face. You are lovely. You're lovely. It's because I Thank enjoy. You, I enjoy coming coming in. Yeah. I enjoy seeing everybody. I get uh, virtual hugs, and yeah. it's it, it's lovely. Well, you know, my son's deserted me, don't you, for a woman? So I, I live on my I own. Mean, the rotter. And it's, it's, it's the awful. Rotter. I told him. <laughs> I says, I only had you to look after me, me old age. Oh, dear. And he's, he's gone, he's run off with a woman. Oh. Run off with a woman. But no, I love coming here and it's always nice to, to catch up with everybody. Yeah. And I think I'm extremely excited because it's two weeks since I've been here. Oh. And I'm extremely excited. So it looks a lot, a lot of a mess, but don't yeah. let that oh. worry you too much. We're going to get your favourite one here. We're going to get your favourite one. And he's going to go and he's going to just be looking behind there. So we're popping him in there. And just a little bit. Popping it there. We're just doing a quick scene and then I'll do a little bit of colouring if you want to. But if not, it's not, not so worried. I'm not so worried. So he's coming behind. And then what shall we have? Ooh, we, can, we can mask him up. And have another one just round him. So, an yeah. And I'll be honest with the viewers at home. The reason why I'm going to pull away from Karen is we need to speak to Karen about stock levels. So I apologise. We wouldn't normally do this, but uh, we're just so busy for everything. So we want to try and ask Karen, can we get hold of some more stock? So I, I do apologise because I know you want to see a demonstration. But very quickly, while I do have uh, some time with you, we're going to have a quick recap of our complete bundle. Nice crafting. 
a new company to us. Only had, I think it was one or two previous shows in the past. But instantly, and it's so nice to see how quickly they've been embraced uh, by everyone at home. Very, very, very popular. Um, you can see why, and it's a level of artwork. So beautiful, beautiful uh, drawings here, but just characters. I mean, absolute characters coming through. So uh, you've got your dogs, you've got your cats, but not only that, and this is where I think Pete has been so clever, because the artwork's incredible, but you get the characters and the scenes to really bring everything to life. And let me just show you, because it's one thing to see the stamps, and then it's another thing. Yeah. Look, this is why I love this collection. And we're only using, effectively, three or four, because well, you've got sentiments in there as well. That is such a lovely card. But so simple. Huh? I mean that as a compliment, so I'm not diminishing the card. Look, you send that to any animal lover. And just, if we look around the building, I know Taz has got uh, two lovely dogs, Leone's got dogs, Paola's got cats. We are a nation of cat lovers. But not only are you getting the dogs and cats, you've got personalities, you've got little elements to build up. So that cardboard box is a great one. I remember the first Christmas my parents uh, got Snowy, their cat. I spent a lot of money buying her a load of toys, which she didn't play with any of them. She just uh, fixated on a cardboard box that we had. And I was like, are you kidding me? I could have saved myself about 40 pounds. Um, so here, again, look at the cats. But it can be uh, love cats, but take out the cats there. That could be a Valentine's Day card. Or, oh, this is cute. Design team, design team have had fun here. And that's what you get. The sign of a good, I'll tell you a little secret, the sign of a, a, a really good collection is as a presenter when you come here and you've just got stacks and stacks of inspiration because it shows the whole design team of like, yeah, we get this, we love it. I'm going to have to come back to this one because copy this, copy. I know that Karen won't mind you doing this. Such a clever inspiration. Any, any, uh, anyone who's owned a cat or knows cats, or they just love anything that moves. So that, you can just imagine the cat literally pouring out that the little lid of the basket. And you're getting the basket in there. Uh, a quarter of the stock has gone for our complete collection. Uh, things to point out with the complete collection. So you've got a nine pound saving that's already factored into the price and then six pounds on top of that because you can get the sets as duos with a three pound saving on each. So your actual saving really is 15 pounds uh, if you look at it that way. You've also got three flexi payments. It's like the rule of three. Uh, so three flexi payments in here. Where, where my mind's at, and I'm very conscious in how I phrase this, but today, you could go for, say, one of the duo, and it's 30 pounds, um, so, well, I'll go show you. So, the duo together, 30 pounds and 98 pence, okay? So, you can just see at the bottom of your screen, we've got one of those. But your first flexi payment for all six sets, and they really do all mix and match and work well together, uh, is effectively one pound and two pence less. Now, I am, the reason why I said I'm conscious of how I phrase this, I'm fully aware that is your first flexi payment of three, but it just means in real term, the money leaving your account, obviously it's under 30 pounds there. And then uh, we send it out as soon as we get the first payment, so you pay that, we're literally gonna get everything out to you. Where I think on this occasion, um, and I keep on mentioning Paola for this because I've, I've stolen her term, but I love it. Paola is a completionist. She says she loves going for a complete collection. Everything in here, and I'm just thinking from crafty terms, you would use together. So, you know, the cats, the dogs, the furniture, all those little elements, everything just mixes and matches. To, they need to be together. So you can say you put one element from here, mix it with here and here. You know, that's why I would go for the complete. Uh, and a lot of you are agreeing with me because we are very busy for our complete collection. Okay, going to head back to Karen. And apologies for uh, just um, interrupting demonstration. But uh, Karen has helped us out and she's helped you out as well. So uh, thank you, Karen. Well, I think we're, we're good on our uh, stock. That's not a problem. So I've masked the cat off, I've masked the dog off, and I'm going to do, um, I will tell you exactly where I've got things from. So what have we got? From uh, the kitty's parlor, I'm going to use the carpet, the rug. So the cat was literally lied onto, l laid, lied yeah. onto the rug. Okay. We've got the kitten, the, the, the uh, pets, Cats, Pets That Play collection set two for the cats. Right. 
uh, cracky. This, these, uh, have, the, we got, have we got curtains in there? Are there cur do I see curtains? Well, I wanted to use it as a curtain, that, but I if you pop that. it on the side of the uh, basket, oh. it's actually a towel. Oh, but, but if you, you drew, if you drew a small window, you yeah. could have them as okay. as curtains. So what I'm thinking is you could have the curtains and then the rugs, and they could match. And you know, yes. yeah. yeah, 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 definitely, definitely. Okay. And then we've got the doggy friends. Uh, for the for that one and that one and then we've got uh, doggy friends set two and we're doing the guy that's jumping about and we're doing someone that's just laughing but if oh. you can see here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do three while you've been talking I've been playing this scene together okay and I've now got three there oh, that's I'm on the stamping cute. platform I'm making sure it's not too bad because I've masked everything off, but as long as I make sure everything's in corner and keep my magnet there, and you've got, oops, never mind. That's these, my Australian card. <laughs> I put it together wrong. These, I, these characters, Karen, are I mean, beautiful. Dogs, you love can't them. help but fall in love with them. They're so playful. My dog was a German Shepherd, but I, I look at that, you know the one with the bowling? Yeah. And, and I can They're see that, and I can see the one that's jumping up on two, two legs, and I can see this one here. That's, that was his personality as oh. well. He, well was, he was a character, my he's dog. He's been very good, because what he's done is kind of given us the essence of the dog, rather than focusing so it's really distinct of one breed, it's kind of a best of, it's so a, it's catching catching everyone. But it's got that personality, the essence of both the dogs and the cats. He certainly have. It's not a craft. I don't think this is going to be a craft that you that you rush. You can just do one pair on its own. Yeah, yeah. It'll stand alone on its own. You can do one pair. Don't forget for your, um, uh, buying and selling. As long as you've had made something, you can sell as many as you want. So that's the, the, the angel policy. Yeah, we like that. These would be fantastic for dog charities and cat oh, charities. And excellent, excellent. Absolutely, yeah. because there's the there's the fun element into it as well. What was the name of uh, remind me? I did know this, but I've forgotten the name of your German Shepherd. He was Saber. Saber. Yeah. That's a great name. Yeah. Sorry, I did know that. I, I did find that. out our Sam had a, 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 a dog called Saber as well, but oh. spelt just differently. Um, There's um, something about both dogs and cats, and that, I think it's clinically proven now. Now we also we always got to be careful of medical claims, but apparently owning a pet it does lower just the act of stroking a pet lowers your blood pressure. It certainly does. Yeah. I've had to resort to teddy bears now. Oh. Yeah, I've got a lovely little teddy bear, and it's uh, it was um, it's one that's been named, bought yeah. as a name, and it's a Jacob one. So oh. I'm like, you know, the Wicked Witch of the the, the South now, thinking <laughs> Jacob. <laughs> Because I've not got a dog. Got, I've not got a oh dog. Bless. You know, we've got the world's biggest teddy bear here at the craft store. I've seen that. Yeah. Is it still here? Because it used yeah. to be all over about three or four oh, desks, didn't not that it? One. I was talking about Taz, our director. Oh, he right. Is, uh, oh, yeah. Uh, everyone loves our Taz. Oh, he's gorgeous, his Taz. <laughs> yes, yeah. So let's get the cat off. Now, I'm very... Uh, I don't have any nails, so... Okay. And we're going to pull him off. I think you trim your nails for TV and then realise, oh, I needed them. No, I just break them with work. Oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> break mine at work, unfortunately. And I'm not, and, uh, I'm not so much into these uh, false ones because I've seen some uh, things that have happened with them. Fair but enough. let's look now. We have got the masking, um, the masking sheets now. We're really busy. They are a happy hour. Oh. Man, they're busy. So just showing you how effective they are. To look at them here, and we just got—I know we're going to about to show you a quick picture of uh, the masking sheets. To look at them, you think, "Oh, okay." It's when you start using them, creating your mask for your stamps are invaluable. I can't stress that enough. But also, you can get creative as well because what you can actually do is die cut. So use your dies. Think about your nested dies, say an oval nested die. Cut those out, and then that's effectively a mask that you can start brushing and inking through for backgrounds. There is so much you can do with the masking sheets. I'm going to just let you in again on behind the scenes. I don't want to feel like I'm, I'm being a bit sycophantic and uh, keep on saying lovely things about Meg, but she deserves it because she's got a lot of stock of this. Because the initial stock we had, was it was generous, but we sold out in 10 minutes. So I, I could hear Meg on the phone, and she's, uh, she's a shrewd negotiator. She's got an awful lot now. So uh, we're hoping it will last the hour. We'll see. But uh, yeah, it's 
Oh, OK, maybe not. Already half the stock's gone for the oh, extended. Wow. We are very busy for that. So if you do want to go for the masking, it's repositionable masking paper. The price is incredible. You will absolutely use this. Please die cut it. You can obviously, if you don't have a die cutting machine, you can cut it by hand, but you will use that. Uh, got an email in here. Karen, shall I read this to you? Yes. This is from Maggie. Oh, Maggie. Cool cat, Maggie. Hi, Maggie. Love Maggie and Kay. So Maggie's emailed in saying, morning all. Um, oh, she loves these stamps. They are because Maggie's got, she's got beautiful cats as well. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so Maggie says, yes. love these stamps. They are beautifully drawn and stamp perfectly like what you do. Yeah. Uh, and you can do so much with them. And they work brilliantly with the previous set. That's it. That's a good point, Maggie. And what an amazing samples. And that's from our Maggie. Maggie, you are lovely. So thank, thank you, me. Maggie. I'll give you the kiss and a cuddle later. Yeah. Oh, and Carolyn's uh, emailed in. Keep your messages coming Hi, in, Carolyn. by the way. At studio at thecraftstore.com. So Carolyn's saying, good morning, everyone. What can I say? These stabs are just amazing. Uh, such great quality and such fabulous images. I loved working, playing with these, and only stopped when I ran out of time. Crafty hugs from Carolyn. And that's Carolyn from the design yes, team. Yeah. It's nice to hear, and you could see it, actually, yeah, in the world. Yeah, you can see it. You can always say that you've got a lot in when you've got a lot of samples. And I know yeah. I counted mine up. I've got 20-odd. Wow. And, OK, ATCs and everything else yeah. to mix in, but they were Even absolutely still. gorgeous. So there, what we've done is we've now got we've got the cat sat on the mat lied on the mat oh. and these it, it, it was his responsibility he yeah. decided that they were going to push that to uh, push that I know what happened there he was over. good friends with the cat and then unfortunately something happened with the chest and the cat's underneath and he's like oh no well all these have jumped all over and made yeah. the chest fall on top of him and now Poor we've cat. got a squat cat, cat. he'll be fine though can we just stress no cats were harmed in the making no of this no cats were harmed but into I love it. I love the character. Look at the characters behind him. This is why we were so busy for this set. And this is a small fraction of what you're getting. But each one has their own personality. So we've got the, uh, the one just dancing away there, the one peeking over, the little playful one behind, and then the sad one. And fortunately, the rug and the, the poor smooshed cat who, who bounced back. He was absolutely fine. Yeah. yeah. I love it. Yeah, but good opportunity. Now, you were saying about you stamped out and just used this as an exercise to work on your colouring. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's some yeah. right. Real, real good fun with it. Should we take colouring with this? So, do you want me to do alcohol markers or do you want me to do water? Uh, what, what would you prefer? I'll let you pick. I don't know. Oh. Let's go alcohol markers. Alcohol markers. Yeah. Right, so they're not a brand mm -hmm. that we've got here, but the ones that are working for me. So, oh, I'll keep okay. them down. Down, down. Uh, but, I mean, we've all got alcohol way. markers at home, and we we've all alcohol got markers. alcohol markers. We all have our favourites. I like a brush one, okay. so I've got a nice brush one. So let's do our little, little, little man. We're going to first, and I haven't used the correct ink, so I'm just going onto the inside of it, and <laughs> just doing the first coat here. I have got the jelly bean super smooth, and yeah. I'm going to. Put a piece of paper underneath, or put a mask, piece of mask underneath, because that's not. If you stamp wrong on these, don't yeah. ever worry, uh -huh. because you've only got to make sure you cut it out. It doesn't matter whether oh, it's stamped it right not. or wrong. Yeah. And the beauty of the masking sheets, anyway, is a lot of the time, the technique with masking, you're going to be stamping over whatever you've done anyway. You so certainly They're not there are. to look pretty, they're there to mask. They're there to mask, so I'm just bringing a bit of darkness into this. Right. And then I will go back and I'm going to go over and blend it in. Now, it's not blending really, really well at the moment. That's okay. But don't worry about that because we'll that it's when it dries. Right. So do you want to hear a cute dog story as we're doing yeah. this? Yeah. I got home last night and my wife took little Archer out, so that's our little boy, he's just turned one, and they went for a little stroll in the pushchair, and there was a dog in front of them, uh, it was a uh, cockapoo, and I'll tell you how we know this, because the dog kept on stopping and looking back, and then walk a bit and stop and look back, and in the end my wife had caught up with the lady who was walking, and um, the lady was saying, oh I'm really sorry. She wants, to, she wants to play with your baby, so she keeps on stopping to have a go. My wife ended up walking with them and talking to her. But what a lovely little dog. Unfortunately, Archer was asleep because he loves dogs. He would have loved to have uh, seen her. So there we are. That's blending in. That's lovely. My dog used to frighten people. 
We think German Shepherds are lovely. Oh, but I think some amazing. people are a little bit intimidated by them. But I have to say, as dog breeds go, they are a lovely dog. Very faithful, too. If somebody yeah. knocks, I used to have to keep my gate locked because yeah. the, with the kitchen, I've got the, the sink unit is at the side of the back door. Mm -hmm. And when he used to go on two legs, he was this big. Well, <laughs> you know, I'm only four foot 11 anyway. Yeah. So we were about six foot. Um, and if you know, anybody knocked on the back door, oh, oh, oh. Uh, yeah. no. Oh, really? He'd go and he'd put one foot, one paw, onto the kitchen sink unit. Uh -huh. Then he'd get his claws and open up the kitchen the, the kitchen door what? and walk backwards on two feet. And you'd be, he'd be there with a six-foot dog wow. on two things. I tell you what, Karen, no one's ever going to be going to your home uninvited. <laughs> they, they, they didn't. <laughs> they didn't. Oh. Nobody ever came to my house uninvited. Wow. I remember somebody running and hiding behind me. And so, oh, <laughs> says, it's all right. He's just making sure that she's going to let you in. Because as soon as you get in, over on and his back and have me tell it tickle his dummy. Yeah. Would oh. you like to? I, I feel I've, I've been saying too many stories. Can I do one more? You certainly can. It. I love cat and dog this, stories. This is a German Shepherd story. I have told it on air before, but it's one of the cutest stories that I, I, I have. So I was at a Christmas party years ago, it was when I was in my early 20s, and there was a little lady um, sat by herself and no one was talking to her. And I felt a little bit sorry that no one was talking to her. So I went over and started speaking to her. And she was an amazing person, and she was telling me about her life. And she said that she owned a, uh, she had a German Shepherd that lived to about 17 years old, which is a great age for a German Shepherd. But then she told me she had a cat that lived, I think, into its 20s. And then she told me the story between them. So what happened? The German Shepherd, they got a cat, and they were friends. So when uh, the German Shepherd, the cat was a kitten, what the German Shepherd used to do was find the cat, pick it up, take it to its bed, and they'd have a little sleep snuggled up together. Which is cute, right? Yeah. But the story gets so much cuter, because when the German Shepherd, obviously it lived to such a great age, um, it went blind towards the end of its life. Oh. What the cat used to do, and this is so cute, the cat used to put its tail on the German Shepherd's nose and guide it around the house. So it'll take it everywhere. I mean, come on, how oh, cute is that? Yeah. So, well, I learned to walk with the German Shepherd. What? You, yeah, well, I was born in the 60s. Right. And my dad's always had German Shepherds, and we had one, and it was Alex. Yeah. And he was lovely, but he'd got one ear down, and they'd tried all sorts of having operations yeah. to have him. He'd got one ear up, one ear down. Oh, but that's cute. And he used to hide under the settee, and I used to drag him out with his scruff of his neck. Yeah. Bearing in mind, I'm only six, eight, six, eight months old. <laughs> and instead of a baby walker, I used to get hold of his tail, and he yeah. taught me how to walk. And the, it, it, uh, people say German Shepherds wow. are right vicious, but oh, our legs were beautiful. So wait, this is why it runs in the family, because you're saying your lad, he started walking when he was, what, eight months or something? He was six months when he was found him at the top of the ladder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You were a family of early walkers. At nine, at nine months, he were undoing baby game, crawling upstairs, our Jacob. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so we're, we're bringing it in. Mm. Now, the other thing that we're going to do, it's, I'm just sat here having a good time and chatting away about dogs and everything. Um, a lovely thing that you can do with them mm -hmm. is their noses. So when you've got, um, can you see how that's now dried, Yanis, with, with the... Oh, it has blended, it's yeah. It's blended beautifully like and drying yeah, lovely. Really so like I've got that. a Posca pen now oh. and I'm just highlighting his nose. Hey, I've got a question for you. Yeah. Out of those four dogs, if you went, you know, if you went to say a home or somewhere to to take a dog back at, as you know part of your family for your forever home, which one would you pick out of those four? It's it's a hard hard question, I know. Well, I had I had um, bef before uh, before oh. I um, in the early nineties, I wanted a Lazar Apsa. And oh, I went yeah. to a place in one with the long coats. So the, the long, long coats, coats. Yeah. yeah. And she was half the one that I chose was half sister to a a Crufts winner. Oh. But there was a runt, uh. and nobody wanted her, so I ended up with two. Oh. I called them sugar and cold go, so I would take half all. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. I think I agree with you. Just yeah. as we're colouring in very, very quickly now, Maggie touched on something. Maggie Cool Cats, who emailed in and was saying how well uh, our new set works with previous stamps. We haven't had them in this, uh, this bundle before, but we have seen the uh, designs previously. If you do want to get a hold of both of these, you are saving £3, uh, 21 stamps in total. But again, just really embracing the beautiful cats. So this is your fluffy felines. I'll just show you the uh, artwork that you're getting to play with here. But it goes to show, if you are building on your sets, you might already have these and then going for our new todays, or 
you might want to start exploring these stamps together. So I love that. So those are all the beautiful stamps you're getting. I like these sentiments to go along with here, and it's, it ties in with previous sets builders, scene builders. So 30 pounds, 98 pence, your price there. And very, very, very quickly, we've just got another duo for you as well. We're just conscious of time, so we feel we hadn't shown these two. This is your cushy, uh, cushy kittens and your crawler, uh, no, caterwauling, sorry, there we go, caterwauling. Look, oh, I love that one. He's had a good, he's obviously, he's gone to a few houses and getting fed by the whole street. I, we know the cats. And then you've got the cat cushions, which are awesome as well so there we go that's another set for you 22 stamps in total 332177 and some great examples i'm just going to show you literally a couple because i think it's worth uh, seeing these look at that cute right or this one oh, just, this one's my favorite that big old cat so yeah lots to play around with here it's worth exploring okay we're going to head back to karen how are we getting on karen well so we've done a little bit of watercolor it and um, what i can do is i will get this done in between the shows rather than you sat watching me coloring yeah. i'll get this done in between the shows okay and we'll produce that at two o'clock as, as an opener okay what i would like to do is just do some more stamping if that's please okay do. with you please yeah? do yes yeah so i'm going to need a and they do have greetings with these. There are some beautiful greetings. You've got playful, devoted companion. If I just show you that my best friend, oh. you can then colour it inside in between the lines as well. That's nice. So if you've got some um, eyeliners, some, not eyeliners, yeah. some lighter pens. <laughs> <laughs> I like fine liners. Fine liners, that's you know, the one. Karen, yeah. this would be a lovely card. You know my best friend? If you want to make a card for your best friend and just find the dog or cat, that really embodies you. So if you know a best friend, the one that's dancing, I think we've all got friends like that. So they don't necessarily have to be pets. They can just be embracing a personality of, say, your best friend. Certainly, certainly. And also what I'm thinking with these is, you know, like uh, my best friend, you could have that with the dolly tots, mm -hmm. with the little girls. You uh, can intermix them and, you, and all the boxes can be intermixed and yeah. the cushions and everything else. They don't have to be all pet things. No, of course You've got not. all your ornaments You've and tables and really all nice sorts characters. in here. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. So what we're going to do, I'm going to cut a piece of card, five and a half by... And I'm going to have to do it watercolour. I've got watercolour here in a big, okay. in a big one. So I'm going to do it five and three quarters and I thought I'd bring like a stamper ring in so that you can see how some of them yeah. them go together is that all right yeah, with you Yanis? Yeah, that'd be yeah. Nice. I think I've just got a little bit over excited mm -hmm. <laughs> sorry it's a good thing it shows that you enjoy what you're working I on. really really have yeah. absolutely loved these and I'd have I can't wait to take photographs and get them all get mm -hmm. them all up so my stamper ring uh, I've worked, I've got the Gina B one, I have got the, the other one uh, from uh, Pearly Wings, from Pearly Wings. Yeah. but this one just did, uh, just waiting for uh, Pearly Wings to do one with a five and three quarters, theirs went up to five, yeah. this is a bigger, you can okay. do a bigger card with this one, okay. so if you're listening uh, Donna and Simon, we need a bigger one, All right. and all I'm going to do with this, because I'm going to use my masking tape to to pop it down this is a lot what they call a large wreath builder I don't want this to move so I'm just taping it down and making sure that it's gonna stay into my, my stamp block mm -hmm. so you can see there and what we're gonna do would you like a cat or a dog well we feature the dog so we let's let's look so at we'll some do of the a cats. cat yeah. so what you can see in here and you look how messy this is look how messy I am I don't mind yeah. Uh, we can oh we'll, yeah, that that, one. we'll do that, that one. one. We'll do that one. That's cute. So I don't know how this is going to measure out, but mm -hmm. I think it may it may be, be a little bit too big. But have we'll you ever do. Have we'll, you had, had any cats? Have, have I any? had a cat? Yeah. Have you ever owned a cat? Well, uh, when I was ten, we had uh, two German shepherds. Mm -hmm. We had one called uh, Jan and one called. He was called Vendy. But he actually was named Wendy. Oh. It was um, he was a, an ex security guard dog, wow. and it was um, a Polish guy because yeah. they pronounce their v, uh, yeah. W's as v. v. He pronounced it Wendy. 
So he, we ended up calling him Vendy. Okay. And he would, he, his eyes were yellow when we first met him because he was really like well, well trained. Yeah. Uh, and they had puppies. So we had seven dogs at one time. Oh, wow. And a Siamese cat. Oh. We lived in a pub and we, we used to have them on the top of the stairs. Yeah. But to make sure that things were safe, because like you lived upstairs, mm. so to make sure it was safe, he was always put onto a chain that would give him all the run of, of, of everything, yeah. but not be able to get through the doors to go downstairs or anything. Uh, okay. And the, the Siamese cat would, would learn exactly how far it could get to where this chain went. Uh, and this Siamese cat, Suki, used to sat, sit there and our Vendy would go up and it'd just be enough for him to go down his nose and scratch his nose. Oh. And it, he used to Poor tease Vendy. the living days and day, daylight out of him, yeah. But cats all and do this that. is like a 47 year old memory. Oh, wow. You know. It sounds like it sounds like a cartoon. It does. It does. The poor dog. But that's probably why I love dogs and cats yeah. and everything else. So okay. we, this is watercolour. It may nice. not stamp straight away. Oh, but it's stamped beautifully. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Now you would normally do uh, go go there mm -hmm. and do another one. But what we can see because it's a big one, it's going to overtake it. Yeah. So I'm just going to do the four to start with, nice. and we probably another one that would work perfectly on the back of an envelope. The back of an envelope, oh, be great. definitely, definitely, and we're just going right. to pop in there. So we're actually going to get a square out of this one. Right. So when my parents got married, yeah. they, uh, they got a little cat and they called him. They didn't know what to, initially what to call him and it was uh, around about Christmas time and um, they, they were sitting down, I think they were doing the, putting up the tree and my dad left a drink on the coffee table and the cat put his nose, this was like the first night or so, I think it would have been the first night they got him, put his nose in the drink and had some and got a little bit tipsy and was staggering around. So they ended up calling the cat Tipsy. Tipsy? That was his name, Tipsy, yeah. Carolyn's just got a cat. She's yeah. just done a sample there and she's given you a little this book one. for cooking. Oh, that's yes. Carolyn's new kitten. Look. So that's Carolyn who emailed in from the design yeah, team. Oh, yeah. that's sweet. So what's what we've oh, got? This is good with the, the vet good. and the All pet the insurance. Vet, she's made it with the jelly bean card and. Oh, because the cat's and cookie. It. It's cookies. It's cookie. You know, we said cook. I thought it was like a cooking book. No, sorry. No, oh, that's it's great. Cookie. Vaccinations the kid, the in there. The new kitten that she's got. That is very clever. I really like that, Carolyn. Yeah. Now we have got jelly bean cards uh, coming up today at one o'clock. So that's going to be uh, a nice hour. Actually, you're going to be you're going to be on that as well. I'm going to be on that as well. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. We, but we'll carry on playing with stamps on it as well to show yeah. how things, how, how good the card is. But uh, what I'm doing now, it's got little lines here, so I'm just completing them in to make it look like a table. Nice, linking that up. Now, we enjoy watching you craft, Karen. Word on the street is that viewers at home, if they're in Newcastle, are going to get to meet you in person because you're going to be... Oh, yes. Uh, Stamparama? Yes. Uh, Stamparama, the, is it the 13th of... February, the weekend we'll of the, the 12th, put the details, because you can buy tickets. Uh, it's the 12th to 13th. Oh, sorry, no, we've got also Alexandra Palace. Uh, we've got, oh, I'll show you, we've got we've Craftorama. That's going to be on the 12th and 13th of March at Alexandra Palace. So we'll just show you the details. I have to say, come on, Fiverr, that is so good, considering uh, the amount of time and fun you're going to have at the event. I'm so glad uh, that we're going to be back at Ali Pali. So uh, there we go. If you want to go to your Craftorama at Alexandra Palace, five pounds a ticket on Saturday or Sunday. You can find that on the website. And as we were saying, there's also Stamparama. Now that's going to be in Newcastle in February, and we will just show you the details. So it's going to be Harrogate the 1st of May. So if Harrogate works for you, and then we'll show you the uh, Newcastle. That's going to be February the 13th uh, there as well. Uh, and that's, for, again, four pounds. So big things happening. The, the yep. 25th of February is one to put in your diary. Because big event happening on the 25th of uh, February. Do you know what it is? The amalgamation. No, it's my birthday. Is it your yeah, birthday? Yeah, there we go. It's my birthday. Yeah. Uh, and also, yeah, it will be uh, the amalgamation of uh, the craft storm. Looking to see forward yeah. to seeing what's going to happen go. with that. Yeah, the uh, the ones that the the craft uh, the stamp addicts do, the stamparama. I will be there for a company called uh, a crafty place. 
Oh, okay. It's Adam Michael, absolutely lovely company. And I get to work with things like John Next Door stuff. Oh, and so it's really, yeah. really good. What I have done here mm. is I've cut, uh, this, you've got a little stamp that does you your kitty bits. And they've oh. even even got the writing of the kitty bix onto it. That's cute. And it's, it's really, really cute. So I'm going to do that. Mm -hmm. I've stamped that out. And then I'm going to cut that out. And then I'm thinking we'll turn this into a table. Mm. We've turned it into a table. Oh, nice. And these four little kitties, all from the same litter, we'll yeah. do them all different colours. Do you know what? I, I've just had an idea, just going off of what you're working with now. I'm sure... Have we got a fish somewhere? We have. Okay. Do you know what I would be doing is stamp out a fish, I'd put it in the middle of the cats on a brad so it spins, and it's like the cats are spinning the uh, fish around. And I'm just thinking about doing it with some acetate yeah. and one of those little uh, things that it wobbles so they're, they're banging at it. To you can have a lot of fun. Great minds think yeah, alike, yeah, don't go. they? Yeah. I'm going to have to do that in a, in a slide, but let's okay. get some, uh, shall we get some eco-lines yeah. eco out and show okay. how they, how they colour. It is a nice watercolour card, uh, a nice watercolour. And, oh, I've got, I love, it's uh, Lou, uh, Lou Sims that you've got to blame for this. Oh, that Lou. Yeah, that she Lou Sims. Bringing too many good things she's to the she's unbelievable in how much she's, yeah. it's, it's cost me in uh, colouring. I get very little done in house, I know. Well, I think well, you don't make a mess, do you, when no, you live on so. your own? <laughs> so we're going to just go around the outside with a nice little dark one here. Okay. And I'm not worried. I want people not to be worried about how they colour. I've got a nice... Got about four minutes. Four minutes. Is there anything that you want to see, Yanis? Oh, we're just happy watching you. No, we're just happy we're having a bit of a... I think with this kind of set, it's just nice to have it's... a play. Because there's so, you're getting so much, we wouldn't be able to show it all anyway. Oh, no. I've got done loads of demos, but yeah. no, I don't know why I've just decided to play. Well, let's have a play. This is what crafting's all about. Yeah. Oh, that's a cute cat. He's cute, isn't he? And the more you look at... See, once you've stamped them out, and it's interesting, actually, seeing the cat from different angles, you discover different things, but what a beautiful face. That looks like a very a very uh, kind cat. Do you follow Paolo on social media? With her kittens? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Aren't they gorgeous? It's worth following Paola on Instagram, because it... she posts about her cats all the time, Fuji and uh, Kabuki. So Kabuki is a bit more, I actually mentioned this story yesterday, actually. Um, Kabuki's a little bit braver than Fuji. Yeah. And has been edging closer and closer to the bath. So while uh, Pal's been having a bath, she sees Kabuki, Kabuki's fascinated. And she did post about a week ago, she's going to end up in the bath one day. It happened, like, I think two days ago. Yeah. She posted pictures of a very wet and sorrowful cat. who I don't think is going to be falling in the bath again anytime soon. <laughs> I only put savoury yeah. bath once. Yeah. <laughs> it took me a week to drag the rest of the house out because <laughs> he jumped out of the bath and ran around the house. <laughs> yeah. Oh, can I mention that yep. on Nice Crafting there is a giveaway. Oh, please this, do, yeah. Um, Love giveaway. Uh, it's uh, going to be uh, one of the stamp sets from the from the the first collection, yeah. and the the quite it's only a simple little question. Uh, Caroline and Sam will be there too uh, if you want to join. Mm -hmm. um, it's a simple question: Is it dogs or cats? Okay. Which is your favourite, dogs right. or cats? And then there'll be a giveaway, and it finishes at midnight tonight. Cool. So, so if you want to find... just nip on there, it's just yeah. like a little freebie. How do uh, we find? How do we find? It's called Nice Crafting. Just Nice Crafting. Just Nice on Crafting. Facebook. On Facebook. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Don't ask about Instagram because I don't do That's things fine. like that. Well, nice Crafting on Facebook. Give. I always love a giveaway, so why not? And yeah. It's, it's a, there is no right answer there. Cats or dogs, we love them both, but it's just to share your opinion. Just share your opinion. And if it's both, it's both. Yeah. Yeah, there are some people that like both. Yeah. Look how this is just water, uh, just colouring in. Yeah, and I then when I'm it's both. dry, I'm going to, I'll be going back in. I've got loads to do. I will show you one that I, uh, well, it's the one that fell down, but uh, where's, where's my sample? Oh, here we go. So, what I did, with, I did do this with a dog. Oh, okay. And I got a piece. What about a minute? Left? I'll show you some, a finished sample. 
So I got a dog, and I've yep. done the dog. Oh, that's cute. And then I've done that with a little bit in there and a bit in there. Now, I thought Karen, I, I like would that. get a brad in the middle, uh -huh. put that onto foam pads, and then you can turn it and turn it. Yeah. And that's like a finished sample. When If I did it round the outside, I'll just get the finished one. So I have done brad, but that's watercoloured. Okay. There. So, and all I've done is, is put water into it and Just then dropped it, up, Karen, hold it, dropped it, dropped it into it. Yeah. So it's like made it patchy. And if you can see, ideal for, for glossy accents Perfect. on your noses. But Karen, my best friend. Time has beaten us, I'm afraid. Sorry. Thank you. Hey, but when are you back? So Jelly Bean? I'm, I'm back at one o'clock with Jelly Bean, but yeah. back at two o'clock with these. Brilliant. And so I will, I will have a strategy and I will do it. Neat. Great. I've got to tell you, with regard to the happy hour, so you've still got about three minutes left to take advantage. Been immensely busy for our masking sheets. Half price saving there, so uh, do take advantage. Also, so busy for our complete collection, and why wouldn't it be? The artwork is fantastic. So if you love your fur babies, cats or dogs, this is the collection for you. Thank you so much for keeping us company. Big thank you to you, Karen. Thank you very Enjoyed much. It. Plenty more, though, coming up here at the Craft Store. Oh, we got the dream duo coming up. It's Natasha and Janice with Natasha Makes. After that, quilting antics. Uh, Anthea will return for the one day special and then Jelly Bean Crafts. Tickets are on sale now for Crafting Live at Sandown Racecourse. Featuring exclusive offers and competitions. Over 800 make and takes. Stock up from over 50 exhibitors and meet and greet our craft presenters. Plus, craft members save 25% off their tickets. Book your tickets now at creatingcraft.com and search for Crafting Live. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want, and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dies, that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders. We have decorative dies, we have coloring daubers, we have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping molds, where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers, which are absolutely stunning. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. My crafting journey has taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking, and loads of different things. I really hope you can join me and continue your crafting journey with me, and we can see all the new ideas, tips and techniques that we can do together. Hi, I'm Charmaine from Dolly Dimples and I've been crafting since I was a little girl and I have a massive passion for anything crafty related. Our products are all hand drawn, that makes them quite unique because you've got that quirkiness about them. We have decoupage, backing papers, we have templates for 3D objects, stencils in the mix, we have dies and lots of other things are coming to you soon. Make sure you tune in for the Dollar Dimple shows and have some fun. Good morning everyone, I hope you're well and I hope you're having a lovely day with us here at the craft store. It's great to have your company. Now, Flex Travaganza is an event that we're running at the moment where anything over a pound 
can be divided into two monthly payments. Interest-free, really easy to set up. Anything on the website, anything you see, if you're buying on the website, you just tick the box, Flexi Buy, and that's it. That's all you have to do. We've also got another event running if you are brand new or maybe you've been with us for quite some time but you've not used the code WELCOME before. You've still got a chance to put that in as you buy from us. Anything over £20, get £5 off. It's really easy to do, but here's a tip. When you're on the website, go through all of the process and as you go to payment that's when it will ask you for the code then you put your code in and then you check out with that five pound discount but it has to be over five pounds that's one per person so if you have used it already you can't use it again but you can use it on create and craft or sister channel so it's one on the craft, craft store channel and the other on the create and craft oh it's like a tongue twister isn't it uh, but we are working together now we're all under the same umbrella Ella uh, right, we're not under an umbrella, but we are under the studio lights. It's our Natasha with us. You're right, Tash. No umbrellas here. No. no. Not We've unless got we a screen instead. We have, yes. Yeah. <laughs> stroke, stroke, stroke. And these are all cleaned down and washed afterwards as well. You know? <laughs> not that we have any spittle on them, but because we've touched them. Uh, anyway, oh, anyway. Morning, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we had a busy show we earlier did. on today, didn't we, yes, Tash? Yes, we absolutely did. We have got some gorgeous fabrics, we've got some great patterns, and we've got some amazing prices on all of the kits. Now, if you didn't see the show earlier on today, then everything is going to be new for you. But if you were with us at 7 a.m., we do have some more items on the show, so do stay with us. Shall we start again with this fabulous pattern yeah, go for on then. your technology? But it could be for anything, really. Do you know what it could be? And you could even add a handle and have it as a little, a little pouch that yeah, you, you, you know. Yeah, you could do. Um, but technology, it's something that we need to keep safe. And it occurred to me that, um, well, I don't know about you, I have children and they always have sticky fingers. And the number of times that tablets end up with sticky fingers on so I thought well we'll do a pouch for them that has velvet on the inside Ooh. and it just cleans that screen as it goes in and out so that's absolutely perfect for that the pattern shows you how to measure your own device because all devices are different sizes so this isn't a case of one size fits none yep. it's a case of you know <laughs> measure like your device make it for your device um, which is why I've said these kits would probably do two depending on the size of your you know if you're doing like two big laptop bags yeah. then maybe not but absolutely two tablet cases yes and with stuff left over so you um, you're going to get a full half meter of the designer fabric it's all K facet collective fabric on the show for you today and then a really big um, fat quarter of velvet because it comes off a much bigger bolt Brilliant. so it's much bigger than your normal fat quarter size Fantastic. so it is really rather large you're also getting half a meter of H640 so you are going to get a lot of that left over and it's really handy just to have in your stash you also get two of the handmade labels as well I think they're a nice touch. I do. I really Just, like them. You know, people then know that, you know, it's handmade yeah and yeah. you've taken the time and then the effort and you didn't just go to a shop and just buy one like anyone could yeah. you actually took your time and then the buttons the buttons will vary but you'll get one flower one and one of the others but they're just they're all really beautiful buttons and then your elastic as well there's plenty there so that you can make more as well fantastic price 24.99 so if you want to make two 12 pounds and 50 pence each and then you can sell them if you want to Natasha said that is absolutely fine to do so let's go through the different options that you have right let me just hold this to one side so we're starting right here with the first one this was the uh, most popular one in the, the earlier fury. show yeah. mini fury the Millie Millie fury Millie fury um, limited stock on this one are we limited stock beautiful I'm not surprised and with the royal velvet, velvet. Wow. Yeah. so this is cotton velvet 100% cotton velvet you can uh, you can iron it but iron it from the back if okay. you need to press then but beautiful. I just thought it pulled that blue through in the Millie fury yeah, it works so well. Yeah. The next one. Tickle me fancy. Oh, why not? Let's do that. So this is a Brandon Mabley design for the K Facet Collective, and he always brings the joy and the fun with yeah. all of his of all of his designs. So we love a bit of Brandon Mabley. We love a bit of tickling of the fancy, yeah, don't you know, we? Yeah, and it's we, just bright and fun. It and is. Um, got to tell you the Millie Fury that has gone and sold out so okay. we will be removing that that's now well gone done. right tickle me fancy let's go on to the next one Quite like polite. this one do you know I'm just trying to think what this reminds me of it's it almost reminds me of it like a Greek style pattern yes. I don't know why but it no does. I know exactly mm. as you said I that. Think I think it's the like blue. That. yeah I know what you're gonna say and it is and uh, Brandon just brings the fun a lot there's yeah he He's just he's just a lot of fun, yeah. and um, and to bring that in, you know, if you've got someone that likes a bit of fishing, 
Yeah, could be. Absolutely yeah, perfect. Yeah. Or just love the fun design. You know, they're they're very happy and fun and smiling. We have this design a little further down, but in a different colour. So do so bear that in mind. Delft. That's the Delft. Yeah, so blue and white china is your Delft china. So there's that love that. that nod towards the Delft colourway. Next along, is absolutely Cloys sensational. Look Cloys at this. Cloyston, Cloyston, Cloyston. Cloyston and the Cloyston. Do you know what? I did learn how to say it, but my yeah, French is just so, so dreadful. I'm so sorry. If you are watching in Europe and France, I, I, I'm really sorry yeah. if we got we'll that just wrong. Just apologise, but it's beautiful fabric. Yeah, it is absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful designs, and then you've got that the dark in the background that really pops. It's N not quite black. No, it's not. Is which it? Which is why I've got it with the midnight velvet. It is. It's almost like a really deep. Midnight blue. Yeah, which gorgeous. Is why I put it with the midnight blue. Uh, right remember, now, all the kits good. do come with your uh, wadding, and you've got your elastic. You've got your buttons and your handmade um, labels in you, there. You just need to add thread and That's your pattern. It. So often you do. You find you buy a kit and there's like, oh, and now you need to add your interfacing or yeah. your wadding or anything like that. And I didn't want to do that for these. I wanted you to have everything. Right, we are getting very busy now. I like this what one. What about the size mum? I like that. The, hock the hocker size mum. Have I missed the hocker size mum? Yeah. There. There's the hocker size mum. There it mom. is. Now, I That's want to one we made. That is the yeah. one you've made. Um, here we go. Hi, mum. Hocker size mum. Um, beautiful. Now, this is with uh, made with the um, black the black velvet. just tilted over at the top. That's a new phrase, tilted over, um, and it looks spectacular. And it that's looks why, like a faux binding. Yeah, it does, and that's mm. why all the um, the velvet goes with all the different uh, coloured patterns that you're getting. Uh, right, so that's a Hokusite mum. Uh, next along, you have got that koi beautiful poloi again. fish. Yeah, your hoi poloi, um, beautiful. Koi poloi, not hoi poloi. Yeah, koi poloi. Koi poloi. Um, got different fish in there actually. That could be a koi. That could be a hui hui nuku nuku aqua. I mean, uh, yeah, is, that's what I see yep, when I look at it. Yeah, definitely. How that's a Hawaiian you say fish. That in a row? <laughs> yes, who, uh, nuka nuka huka 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 It's a Hawaiian fish. Hawaiian fish. Uh, and then we've got the various other shapes on there, but we've got the blues in the background. And then that is uh, with the, is that the dark? Midnight. Dot? Midnight. Yeah, midnight. Yeah, doesn't it go well? Next along, nice red colour. This was popular at 7 a.m. in the Dorothy. morning. This has gone and sold out. Oh, has Dorothy it? Red, oh, gone gosh, and sold okay. out. Well gone and sold out. Next along, Cloyston. This is Hocker Size Mum um, in Cool. Hocker Size Mum in the Cool colourway. Cool colourway. With the um, again with the royal blue. Yeah, I like that. Very nice. And then I love this octopus. with the octopus. Yeah. Is it octi pie? Um, or it would be octi I would believe. I think it's octi pie. I think so. I'd like it to be. If there's more than one. Then it's octopi, and I think you've got a squid in there as well. Why not? Somewhere, yeah. Giant why not? or otherwise? Uh, I think it could be a giant squid. Let's definitely. Do that. Let's say and there's that. and there's some of the ink from the squid that is yeah. just squid out. Um, I think that's the terminology I'm going to use. I love the <laughs> colours in this, <laughs> and I love that black background. This is superb. Yeah. Really, really like this one. And remember, you get the wadding, the labels, and everything to go with it. And then your final one. This one has sold out, so let's not oh look at that gosh. one. Okay, that well, one well has done. sold out. So very, very busy across the board, Twenty four ninety nine. If you want to um, divide the cost into two, you can do. We've also sold out of the hockey size mum in the natural and black, that one. That's one, yeah, that's uh, the natural. Yeah, the hockey size. Yeah, it's a sellout, so I'm going to fold that over because I don't want you to see that anymore. Sorry about that. We'll get that sorted for you anyway. So busy, busy, busy on that. Um, I would recommend if you have seen one you like, pop it in your basket. If it's not sold out, grab it uh, because they are going very, very quickly. Right, we've got more for you. We've got Liberty. We do, we do, we do. We've got lots <clears throat> on this show. Um, now, Liberty, let's talk about this because normally if you were going to buy Liberty fabrics, you would have to buy a lot of Liberty fabrics to make a quilt, but you have come up with a great solution. Yeah, so for this quilt, with, this is the Calmscript quilt designed by Jane Alcock for Natasha Makes. Um, it is a beautiful, beautiful quilt. It's a beginner's quilt. It's really easy and it's basically made with a layer cake, but Liberty don't do layer cakes. Ah. They do not do 10 inch um, square packs of fabric. So we cut them ourselves. Okay. So you can't get it anywhere else. The design is exclusive to Natasha Makes. The fabric choices are exclusive to Natasha Makes. You cannot get this anywhere else. But you will be getting um, a Liberty quilt. And you've also got all the planes. You've got everything that you need there. 
to make it. Yeah, you've got nearly two meters extra of fabric just in planes. Now that quick, do we have that? Yes, we've yeah, got the, the quilt. quilt. It's, it's behind just, you. Just to my uh, left, left. Yeah, <laughs> that's my right. That's my left. Um, <laughs> You were saying this is an easy quilt to put together. Yeah, yeah, really easy. Yeah. Really, really, really easy. Yeah. Um, and it is, it's just straight line stitching. Um, it's, Jane's made it incredibly easy to do. And then you can make it as, as, as difficult or whatever with your quilting as you want. But you can see in those plain squares, you can see just a little bit of a quilt design. That template is in the back of the pattern, so you get that template as well. If on those plain squares you want to embellish with some free motion, uh, then you can. Um, or you can just you can just straight quilt. Oh, it's yeah, up to I see you. that. That looks nice. Yeah, that's it's just a little detail that's in there, which I really love, and that's on the back page, uh, yeah. the actual template. And then you see um, the template there. just there. Yeah, yeah. but Fabulous. also on that back, the next back page, yes. the penultimate page. Let's, let's, let, there we go. Jane's put three oh, other yeah. layouts, so effectively you've got three different quilts there. Brilliant! What a great idea. And you can make your first quilt with your Liberty fabric, and then you can make your other quilts with other fabrics if you want to. Great. Uh, I'd say a golden opportunity, actually. £66.99. That's actually a really nice price because you've got the two sixes and the two nines. It's like, um, yeah. like a mirror image. I don't know why I find that fascinating. £33.50 today and another £33.50 in a month's time. Fantastic. We also have another option for you. I really like this oh, option. the vintage blues. I adore the vintage, the vintage blues. blues. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, again, you've got your Liberty fabric here. You've got your extra fabric as well with beautiful, like a sage colour and a cream. It's misty blue, so you've got 75 centimetres of misty blue and a metre of your um, ivory fabric. Wow, that is beautiful. Is this misty blue? Yeah, it looks green. Um, we've, we always have arguments over this, but that is what the manufacturers call it. They call it misty blue, but it basically is like a sagey green. Do you know what? I can see the blue in there. I can actually visually by eye. It's, yeah. it's almost like it's, it's woven one way, then you've got the green the other way. It, it's sort just of. one of those fabrics that goes with everything. It is a yeah. magical fabric, and if anything that's sort of vintagey, you w you want to whack a bit of that with it. But there's always um, people go, it's not blue. No, it's just called misty blue. We didn't name it. The manufacturers yeah. do. Yeah. So it is but like a sagey green, but it's called uh, misty, misty blue. blue. Just in case you're buying that, but it goes perfectly yeah. with these liberty. Who cares uh, what fabric. it's called? I it don't just care. Works. I just want it. Yeah. Thirty-three pounds and fifty pence today. Another paint in a month's time, and the quilt is one thirty-six by. No, 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 that's, that's, no, that's a square. Uh, the quilt is 57 by 65. Yeah. 57 by 65, so you a get good size quilt. You get 36, 10 inch squares yeah. in one. Do you know what? What a great hand-me-down. What a great heirloom. Oh, Liberty absolutely. quilt. I mean, 18 amazing. different Liberty fabrics in each. That is superb. Right, so let's move on. More Liberty. More Liberty. Yeah. Um, now, we, I don't think we did see this earlier, did we? No, we didn't because we didn't touch on the book. What I brought in today is Tilda's Toy Box okay. book, which is absolutely glorious. And she does, I do a lot of Tilda toys with Liberty fabric as yes. well as with Tilda fabric. Okay. Um, and she has in there a lovely design for whales. Oh. And this is the little whale, and you've got two sizes Not in the book. Not whales the country. No, whales no, no. Animal. So this is this is the size of the whale. So I thought if you wanted to do both sets of whales, um, then you could have three different contrasting blues, which would look absolutely gorgeous, because his tummy, look, his tummy and his oh, are no. a different colour. So you'd have the big whale one one colour, little whale the other. You could use it as a pincushion. Well, you could use it as a door stopper. You could mm. put weights in there, hold it as a door stopper. Um, my daughter tends to generally use it as a mallet to hit her brother. Wow. Not going to lie. Yeah. That's what happens. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I wouldn't recommend that no. so much. She's only three, though. Oh, bless so, her. So, you know, but that's so, yeah. So it, I need to stitch it up a little bit because it's been <coughs> used well. Well, oh, I said it there. Um, our producer has just said, whale, whale, whale. This doesn't surprise me. We are busy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it, look, there's, you don't have to do anything with a whale with that if you just want three beautiful fat quarters of Liberty fabric. And they are English fat quarters, so they are the full 20 by 22 inches. They're not American. American would be smaller. These are UK fat quarter sizes, 20 Can inches I open by one 22. Out? Yes, please do. I I'll love open, that you've got, one. So you've got three different choices. The first choice is that the bowl... Uh, that one, I want to say, uh, I, I can't remember. We'll have a look. We'll have a look on the website. The, Let you've me just got, um, open this out you've for you. You've got the Caribbean the there. Yeah. This is the Caribbean I've got. Yeah. Yeah. Well. And then one is Baltic and one is Pacific. I think the yeah. Pacific the first one is, is uh, the specific Pacific. Pacific. 
We're going to be very specific about the Pacific. We are yeah, certainly. Yeah. Glad you and said that. And then the Baltic. Baltic then the Baltic. Blue, there we go. Yeah. And then the Caribbean. Look at that. But that's what's... how big your fat quarters are. That is a fabulous size. You don't Look have to do that. away with them. You can just get some beautiful fabric. It's entirely up to you. This is from the latest collection of Liberty Fabrics, wow. um, which is the Artist's House, and it is beautiful. That is beautiful. Really For beautiful. Fourteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. You get three. Um, and you get the different fabrics, but that's the size of the American fat quarter. No, they're UK is, fat quarters, they're bigger. Uh, sorry, UK fat yeah. quarters, that's yeah, yeah. right. Uh, so that is bigger for you. An amazing deal. Now, if you do want to go for the book, you might want to um, make some of the creations with this fabric. You might want to make the whale. Details at the bottom of the screen, sixteen ninety nine. That's your Tilda's toy box by tone. Tone, um, Tuna Fernanga. Tuna Fernanga, there Tuna you go. Tuna Fernanga, and uh, she's lovely. She's absolutely lovely. She's a little bit of a recluse, a very, very talented lady. She's absolutely lovely. Nobody really knows that much about her, but I have been very lucky and been able to interview her. So my interview oh, with Tuna is oh, on our website. Um, so it's just absolutely glorious. You've got quilt patterns in here. There's one of the whales. There they are. Oh. They're, they're having a whale at the time. <clears throat> they certainly are. It's a good size as well. <laughs> but you see, yeah, so that's the small size that I made, and then you get a larger one yeah. there, and they're just, they're absolutely perfect. They're such an easy make. Oh, um, and the book is just book. gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Um, and you also get, so you also get the templates so that you can make, like, the wooden clouds, yeah. and um, for the jungle animals, and all the templates are in the back, by the way, oh, as well. Brilliant. Full size templates in the back. Um, this is a beautiful quilt to do just with a jelly roll. Great and then we've got we've got the monkey we've got monkey kits for you on the show today as well. So if you fancy, where are the monkeys here? Here are yeah. little monkeys. We've got those coming up next. Actually. We have we have we have because it's quite hard to get hold of that colour fabric. So yeah. I put that fabric in the kit with um, some fuser web. Perfect. So Six. that you can do the monkey faces, and then it's just that. There you go. That's what your monkey face is going to look like. Um, and then it's up to you. Again, we've got many of these in our house because the the limbs are just little hand size. Oh, they're beautiful. What a great book. Sixteen. Oh, bit my tongue then. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. What a great book. How can you bite your tongue when you say the word book? But <laughs> oh. I did. Uh, sorry. Uh, £16.99. 985638 is your item number. It's fabulous. It's going to bring a smile to your face, if anything. Uh, so you've got your Liberty fabric, if you want to go for that. You've got your book. And then we've got the fabric so you can make the monkeys. Oh, this is gorgeous fabric. Now, all of them come with your, you can see here, your fusible web. Mm-hmm. And you've also got the fabric for your little cheeky monkey face. Yeah, that would do two monkeys, actually, yeah. that, that fabric amount. We've been a bit generous with it. Oh, it's wonderful. Now, you have a choice of fabrics. You have a choice of fabrics. Um, you've got the... Teal. Teal. Then you've got the blue. blue. Coral. You've got the coral. Look at the flowers and the detail. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? Then sand. you've got your sand. And then you've got your grey. These are beautiful. Fifteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. Half a meter of fabric, and you get your ten-inch fabric square and your fusible web. What colour would you go for, Tash? Um, I've started one in the teal. Have you? Yeah. They're yeah. The, yeah, they're my colour. I love the teal, but then I would. I, it's really hard, isn't it? Because it, is they, it just all works, and yeah. I guess it depends. Like if you want a neutral colour, then you've got the sand and you've got the grey. But if you're making for a little girl, then the coral is beautiful. Um, mm. I've already got one in the blue, so that's why I didn't go for the blue. Well, a bluey, a, a different bluey tone from Tilda, so that's why I went with the teal and also because it's all Look the at those colours. flowers. The detail is just it's really beautiful, isn't it? Her fabrics yeah. are gorgeous, absolutely yeah. gorgeous. Uh, Fifteen ninety nine at five six three five six. No, I'll start that again. Five six three seven five six is your item number for that one. Now, fancy a bit of ravioli? Oh, always. Oh, why always. not? Why you can't eat it? Unfortunately, you can smell it. It's, I can smell it from here. It's gorgeous, isn't it's it? It's beautiful. Now, in the kit, you get your fabric. You get your Yorkshire lavender. Yeah, Yorkshire lavender smells oh, I can absolutely smell that from here. gorgeous. Oh, and wow. um, it's not cloyy. It's just really, really beautiful. So, um, of all the lavenders, Yorkshire lavender is my favourite. Uh, so, lovely. it's very, very lovely. This will make you 16 ravioli little bags there with your lavender. You've got oh, um, some... 
Uh, you've got some lovely ribbon there. If you want to, then you can do um, a ravioli, bit of ribbon in between, hang it on your hangers. Aww. So this is going to keep either your drawers fresh or moths out your cupboards. Moths or, out your drawers. Yeah, moths out your drawers. <laughs> Nobody wants a mothy drawer. Um, and, oh, and these, these are, are just fabulous. But also, I put these in book cushions. And then What's when you're on? reading your bedtime story to your little... And Freddie just used to... My, my son, when he was little, he just used to get the ravioli and he just used to sit there and smell oh. it and it just used to relax him when he went yeah. off to sleep. So lots of uses for them, but they're also in all of their, their pant and yeah. sock drawers all over the place and they hang in the wardrobes and it just keeps everything fresh. When you want to reactivate the lavender, just give it a little rub between your hands and that will do that. And just don't keep it next to a heat source because it will dry the oil out. Yeah, now you've got a choice. You've got a choice of your Tilda and your Tula variety. Are those the two that are here? So they are, they're two of the um, Tilda Okay. <laughs> I've, I've got to put my teeth in. Choose the tilde. So yeah. So and then again, the fabrics will vary. It's just whether or not you go for them by tilde or by yeah. tula. I've got some tula over here which I can demo demo okay. with. Fabulous. Um, and it, they're just gorgeous. Yeah, they really are. And they're only nine ninety nine, or five pounds a day and five pounds in a month's time. Because and you can you've got your pattern in there as course. well. Yeah, so you can always make it with any leftover scraps of fabric. You've got your lavender. Again, this is another full kit so that you've got everything that you need. This is something you can make with your kids, make on your own. Great little gifts. And if you have to make for kids' um, school fairs and stuff like that, yeah. they're an absolute hit. Great idea. 163032 is your item number. Now, something else that we were busy for earlier on today, and we sold out on one of the options, but we've still got this beautiful purple option for you. This is your folding star. Uh, now, it does come with a pattern, so you'll get the pattern to do that. But it is quite remarkable, isn't it, when you see all the different folds. We did a demonstration for this in the earlier show. £54.99, and you get three metres of fabric in this deal. 730464 is your item number. Uh, a wonderful technique for you to learn uh, and use for your cushions and your bags, uh, maybe the centre of a quilt or it's something just underneath, like that. just underneath the counter. Underneath, you, yes. The table runner. Runner. So the pattern that you get shows you how to make it into a table runner with your three stars and all also into a cushion so it's again it's multiple uses for the patterns um, and again the pattern comes free so you can use any of your own fabrics yeah, and look have at we this. sold out of both those colorways yeah yeah we did, did we? so oh we've, my we've got the purple left but this is the kind of effect that you can make uh, so this is uh, on nice red fabric but again you know when they're all next to each other it looks amazing you can see how they're folded just there Wow, what a great technique. Something different to learn. And again, if I just lift that up, you've got another colourway there. So you can see it looks great in, in all the various different colours. But you're getting the purple one there. Two payments of £27.50. 730464 is your item number. Fabulous. Right, one more thing to show you. And then we'll get to demonstration. Through the window. No, don't go and look out through the window. <laughs> You never know what you might see. Um, this is called Through the Window because it's a through the window quilt. And Tash has it behind her, but you can also see it on the pattern just here. Now, you've got choices. You've got choices. And you've got some great designs, haven't you? Um, so you can see there in the background, that's Through the Window. And with your choices, where are we? Uh, you've got this fabulous jungle um, set of fabric this is this is a lot of fun maybe for a child's bedroom. do you know what this is perfect child's play mat size absolutely perfect or if you're, it's also the perfect size for a picnic blanket or anything like that oh yeah um, or just to throw over your sofa um, and it's got beautiful beautiful fabrics throughout it and what i've done is i've put an ivory fabric for the borders and then I've taken um, one of the pink fabrics at, that is part of the collection i love the frogs yeah. and um and done that for your border, for your um, your colourful border around the outside. So you just have to decide whether you want the pink border or the green border. But the fabric borders, the border fabric rather, um, the pink and the green, is from the same collection. So that's mode of fabric that you've got for that. Excellent. All you need to do is choose whether you want to go for the green or the pink. And it's £39.99. Or, of course, divide that cost into two payments of just under £20. Now, same item number, but you've got different options here. Um, now, I do like this. This, mm -hmm. I think this, this is, is your colours, isn't it? Yeah. For sure. Colours and also the feature on the actual fabric itself with the birds. It's absolutely beautiful. You've got some really nice tones to go with so that. So this is from Janet Clare. She's a UK designer uh, living on the south coast of England. And she's always inspired by nature. And her work is absolutely exquisite. I used to work with her at Crate & Craft quite a lot. She's really Did lovely. You? 
Aww. really lovely. Look but she got picked up by Moda, which is one of the big American design houses. I was absolutely thrilled for her. Well, good for um, them because, yeah. you know, th these designs are... And these talents shouldn't be missed. No, they, they certainly shouldn't. shouldn't. They certainly shouldn't. Uh, right, £39.99, 823704. We are very busy for that one. I knew we would be. 80% of the stock has gone of that one. And then your final one is cosy up. And I, I, I like to cosy up to the wall. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I We've love run this out wall. Studio, I love the I love you all. Love you. Love that wall. Love that wall. Uh, right. I think you like this as well. Cozy up. Beautiful. Modern. Yeah, design. you've got beautiful spring colours in there as well. So if you're looking for something that's going to take you cheerfully into the springtime, um, maybe a little Easter blanket, something Aww. like that, then it's absolutely perfect colours for that. Again, Moda Fabrics. Beautiful design, throughout. love that. Just going through the different colourways yeah, in here. Yeah, and I've teamed it with a coral for your border. You've yeah, got that's ivory a good idea. and coral, which yeah. just works beautifully. And it picks out, yeah. Yeah, it certainly does. Two payments of twenty pounds. If you want to cosy up to that, eight two three seven zero four is your item number. I really like the way that they actually package um, their fabric because you could use that as a ruler if you wanted to. The measurements. Yes, yeah. it's all good fun, isn't it? But yeah. it's not just the charm pack. You're getting the instructions, yep. and you're also getting um, a huge amount of other fabric as well. Yeah, let me just bring that in to show you. There you go. So you can make that quilt. 823704 is your item number. You choose, you decide, but we are busy across the board for all of those. Right, you can see everything on the website. And we've got a new website launched yesterday. I didn't know that. It's I don't know where switched, I've been. It's isn't it? It's, do you know what? It's really posh. I like It's very smooth. Um, and it just moves. Does it move by itself? My goodness, Ross isn't touching anything, he says. Isn't he? And it's just scrolling along, so you can oh, just sit there singing and you a can song. keep looking at the different designs. It is very posh. Very posh. It's a very posh website. Very proud to be part of it. Even though I had, I had no idea it was coming. <laughs> um, but uh, I'm very but pleased. But had well, you known, you'd have been I, equally proud, absolutely. I'm sure. Absolutely. Yeah, One minute past midnight, I'd have been there. Um, but I'm there now anyway, so it looks fabulous. And there's a lovely picture of Yanis on there as well, so go and have a look at that. Yeah, let's have a scroll up. Let's have a look. Where is it? There he is. Look at that. Do you know what? If I, on my tablet at home or computer, I would just have it open on that and I'd just have the picture of um, Yanis. And then if you go up, you can go to the one day special. Oh, no, we, yeah, and then there's a, yeah, a bit about presenters. Let's move on. Let's come back to Tash. <laughs> You're worried. No, don't find it. No, no, oh. be, I don't like seeing pictures of me, but Yanis, perfect. Brilliant. <laughs> um, yeah. Handsome man. Uh, and very talented. Uh, right, <laughs> Tash. Right, here we go. Let's have a look at this Jungle Paradise fabric. This is by, um, yeah, I really struggle to say her surname. So a lady called Stacey who designs for Moda. Let's Stacey. just leave it at that, Let's shall we? Let's leave it at that. Um, I think we're, we're realising that linguistics really is not my forte this morning in any way. Shape it's not mine ever. No. Um, so with your fabrics, you get lots of different designs in here. And when you are laying these out, look at the elephants. What I would really suggest you do is work your way through and sort of put them in lights and darks. And if you need to squint a bit to see which ones you think are lights or darks or just brights, and not so bright. Okay. Um, then that's that's what I would really encourage you to do because what looks great with these is if you can have kind of opposite. So you'd have a light a light one with a darker one and opposite. Oh, but there are just so many to choose from. It's really hard to know because they come in all the colours. Look at the monkeys there. And then you've got your leopard print, you've got more toucans, um, and the frog. Oh, I love the frogs. Hang on. Wait, what are we going to do? Which ones we would we choose? This is the hard bit. And so what I would do is lay out all your blocks of four, because that's all we're starting with. This is a beginner's quilt, and I think that a charm pack is a really great place to start, especially if you're just starting out, or if you just want a really quick make, then you're laughing, really. So maybe we'll go with that one and that one. And then maybe we'll have... Ooh, decisions, decisions. Sorry, Tash, it's I'd like to help you, know. I'm just trying to rearrange everything because we're just selling out of Are everything. We? Oh, my goodness. I'm going to put in a frog. I, th mm. I love hang frogs. On, hang on, there's a dark green frog that can go in there. 
Okay, so that makes my pink sort of the lighter one, but you just want that contrast as you work your way through. I would lay everything out and pick which ones you want. Although I do rather like that leopard print there. It's rather fabulous too. There's some great fabrics. There are and, and lovely fabrics The nice in thing here. about um, getting a, a charm pack like you've got there, you've got a little bit of everything. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And, and they're really it. Oh, look, ha, ha, look at these oh, little chaps. Oh, yeah, I like that. They're rather yeah. fun, aren't they? They are. Um, so it's all in there, all in your charm pack. Um, and I just wanted it to be a kit that would set anybody off yeah. who maybe was just starting out. Because I think that people get very worried about, have I matched my corners, my, you know, made perfect points and all mm. that jazz. And actually, just get sewing. Tash, I've got some news. What, what, what? We have had another sellout. Which We've one? had another what sellout. Uh, your Janet Clare. I knew it would go. Uh, we did say we were busy for this. So I'm not going to tease you with that anymore. That has sold out. If any bounce back, I'll let you know. We do still have uh, the pink and the green and the cozy up um, available. So you can go and have a look at those. That's for the window, through the window quilt. Now, if, when you use the charm packs, you will have um, squares left over mm -hmm. that you can then make a cushion with. Okay. So you can ma make a matching cushion. Oh, lovely. Which is really lovely. So when you've laid everything out and you're happy with your layout, then, and I do, I lay it out on the floor and then I take a photo of it. Good idea. Because then when kids, dogs, cats, anything comes Gust of wind. charging through, all yeah. of the above, then I just know that w exactly how I wanted it, it's going to be. Yeah. And then I would chain piece. So if I was doing the whole thing, I would chain piece. But just keep yourself organized with this. That's what I would say. So when you chain piece, it's just putting them right sides together, a quarter of an inch seam allowance throughout, unless otherwise stated, in all of my patterns, um, just to keep things really easy. I'm just going to put the iron on for a second. There we go. That should heat up now. And um, because there is a way that I really want you to think about pressing these that just makes life really, really easy. So I might be teaching a lot of you, you know, who've been quilting for eons, you know, the very, very basics, but there will be new people who haven't. All the and time, Tash, You yeah. just, you never know, do you? You never know yeah. what stage people are at. And sometimes it's just a good reminder. So just snip those. And you can see that that is going to go that way. And there they are. Oh, wow. So they're, we're already part way through the block. Now, the way that we press them, I'm going to press one seam so that it goes that way. Yes. And one seam so that it goes that way. Oh, okay. Okay. And the way in which we do it, the way that I do it to remind myself is I set them out like that. Good idea. Okay. And then I just get my pressing mat. Now, we might have some irons on the website. If you haven't got a craft iron or anything like that, you can go and have a look on the craftstore.com. Set your seam. Okay. And that's just placing your, your iron down. That just sets that stitch into the fabric. And then just knock the fabric across like that. Okay. And that opens it up. But now you've got your seam that way. And then with the other one. Why do you do this? I'll show you in a moment, okay, but it's okay. quite clever. So with patchworkers, they like the points in the middle to match. Right. So that they all line up really, really beautifully. And um, the way that we get them to do that is by what we call nesting the seams. Okay. So I've got one seam going that way, the other seam going that way. And when I put them one on top of the other, can you see what happens is that fold of the fabric means that they just nest into each other there. And so we're going to put those up against each other there. Pop a few, whoops, pop a few pins in. And, and then I put them on build, a diagonal. Mm. Okay, so okay. that then I can get my foot all the way up practically to there before I have to take that pin out. So this is the only point in it that you, you know, you want to try and match. But again, it doesn't matter. No. no one's going to be looking at that. But if you were doing a whole patchwork square, you know, you'd be like constantly thinking, oh my goodness. Cool. So if you are just starting out, that's why this is a really lovely, easy one to do. Some great so tips. Then we go to the machine. Now, if you've got any questions, please do email in. I'll try and ask as many questions as possible, uh, or that are relevant. Uh, email in. It's studio at thecraftstore.com. If you've got any makes that you've made with um, Tash's um, patterns or previous shows and fabrics, send them in as well, because 
I'm sure Aunt Tash would love to see what you've been up to and it's always a nice way of inspiring others. Uh, we have a lovely Community Makes mm. page on the Natasha Makes website and so if you do want to send in or if you just want ideas for any of the patterns that we've done, you know, what, what have other people done in different colourways or anything like that, it's just a really nice, like you say, inspiration. It certainly is. And so there you can see that we've got all of our points meeting perfectly Perfect, yeah. in the you see middle that just now. by that one little thing that we've done and the other thing is to press down not mm, 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 with your iron got you just press it okay and we're all we're all good and then the next thing that we're going to do is sash around it now when you've got them all laid out you'll have strips that you sew top and bottom then you sew your next block onto the bottom yeah but I'm just going to very quickly just sash around so that you get an idea of what this is going to end up looking like now I will rough cut these all of the um, measurements are there for you okay. in the instructions so top and bottom and I just tend to do, cut a little bit long a uh, longer so that you can always just trim it back yeah. um, so you'll have that up there that down there and then we can do one out of oh, that yeah and then oh. it starts to come together and we'll have to get a new new piece there and it does it and it does come together quite quickly as well and then we'll trim them back in between and then you see the next round would then be your pink got you so that will be your sashing around around the whole thing so this one was a tilde one up here and so I've done I've just got a blue border got you there um, and again, that was a proper Tilda fabric, so I got exactly the right yeah. blue with that one. Um, and then the William Morris one there, it's kind of in reverse. It's got the darker um, yes. sashing and then the light grey, the silver grey that just picks up around yeah. it. And that's just so that it didn't, it just framed it. It was just kind of looking at the opposites and the contrast that we have. Yeah, it's brilliant, isn't it? And it yeah. just means that you can do it differently as well. We've had an email in from Angela. Thank you for emailing in, Angela. Great to have your company this morning. Um, Angela says, I want that jungle fabric right now because she's working with it. Oh, she's got it. Oh, She's got fabulous. it and she's working with it right now. Excellent. She's making bunting for her granddaughter's oh, third birthday next perfect. month. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Oh. It's beautiful, beautiful fabric. We've, um, I think, actually, we've got it cut to order oh. that Natasha makes. And, and it's just by the half metre. So yeah. it's just... It's one of those things, but I, I do love a charm bag. It's gorgeous, yeah. We've had another email thing. from Christine, is it? Uh, morning, Christine. Christine says she has bought, she, the cat's mother, sorry, Christine has bought Natasha's folded star pattern a couple of weeks ago. Fabulous. Just got round to doing it. Excellent. And I must say, it's absolutely beautiful. Oh. I'm going to wait, make it into a cushion. Perfect, perfect. In you know, fact, oh. I'm thinking of making more to match, says Christine. Oh. Isn't that lovely? I'll oh, keep your emails coming in. It's really nice to hear from you. It they really, make really is. lovely gifts, yes. those folded stars. And Jane, whose pattern it is, she's, she's just so clever. So, so clever. And, um, you know, she's, she's taught me so much about quilting over the years. And it's lovely to have her, you know, in, as part of, part of the Natasha Makes team. I'm very lucky with the people I work with. They're all rather wonderful. So I do top and bottom first and then side to side. How you want to sash it, again, this, this is basically, this would end up being the cushion. I'm not going to do the whole quilt, but this is just how you would, how you would sash. And again, all of this is in the instructions. The instructions are coming for free. The instructions are part of the quilt. Pick and mix as well. So if you've got a fat cord, if you've got a, a charm pack at home that you just don't know what to do with. Look at we've got them. We've all got them. Yes. I love the way with charm packs as well, you can randomly just bring those colours together and they work. Yeah, Normally if you're worried you might not about put pink like that. with orange and green with the cream against a darker orange and a red. Maybe those are the colours you think, no way, but they work so fantastically. And it gives you the encouragement and the confidence to do that because you've got the charm pack ready cut. Now, normally we would say you press to the dark side. Yeah. Okay, but with this, I kind of like pressing to the lighter side because it's meant to emulate the window mm. frame. Okay. That it's kind of like you've got another another layer. You know how window frames yes. do? So I do, I will often do that. Now, I just want to talk about trimming back your sashing okay. um, because it can be something that people worry about. 
and again all of the tips if I can ever ever share when you get your ruler out to trim back line up one of your lines on sort of the middle got you the middle bit not the top end right. bit, but go for the middle the middle seams or that bit there but don't line it up on the very end bit because okay. you might just be a little bit out and then just line up those edges along there and then just trim back and then you see you're, you're flush and you're good to go with your next round and I'll do that on the other side again lining up through the centre there do we have any of these rulers on the show? Oh, you have them yeah. on the website, We've for got sure. On the website. The, this is the Creative Grid 6.5 by 24.5 okay. inch ruler. Really it's my grids. absolute go-to. I adore it. That and the Stripology are my absolute favourite rulers in the world, Janice. Super. The made world. in Leicester, is that right? Um, they, I don't the know if they're still made in Leicester, but they certainly started out being made that way, uh, which is why there's the fox yes. on the... Um, good on the stuff thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pedigree. And it's a family run business. Um, Rachel's absolutely lovely. I've got a creative grid show on Thursday. Oh, lovely. This Thursday coming. Yeah. Super. What's Two the day fact? today? It's Sunday today, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's the end of uh, January tomorrow. Would you believe? It is the end of January tomorrow. Which happen? means it's the beginning mm. of February. Oh, yes. February. Yeah, 3rd of Feb, I'm back in. Just 11 months to go until we're at this time again next year. It's nuts, isn't it? I don't know where the time's going. Do you remember the days when it used to take an absolute age to get round to being your birthday again? Oh, yeah. And that year just used to... And the summer holidays were like... And now it's just skipping over. Yeah. Skipping over the ocean like a stone. Only Hugh, the really director, skipping. got that reference. <laughs> Lovely Hugh. He's, he's good for that. He's good for a good reference. Can I, can I just ask, Hugh, is this your um, last show with me today? That's nothing to do with me, by the way. If you think, oh, he's gone out of that one lightly. Can I just say a huge thank you to Hugh, because he has been absolutely amazing. Yeah. And he's our uh, director. And it's also Hugh's last show with Ross in the gallery. We're going to miss oh. Hugh tremendously. <clears throat> Such a gentleman. He's he is. a proper gentleman, is he? He is. He's a wonderful man. So thank you, Hugh. Thank you for everything. Thank you for always getting my best side. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you always want to be friends with the director, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> and we're all friends with Hugh. He's lovely. There we go. So again, we're going to press those seams back. Get me that out. Perfect. So is there a special way of pressing these or? Just um, pressing pressing the seam yep. and then just pressing away. Again, if you want to press onto the dark side, just press it the other way. Okay. It's got quite a short lead this time, so I'm just, I should be a little bit cool there well. and I'm leaking. Doing very well. well. And there. then this creates your block. Yeah, this is the block. It's, you know, and this, well, this can go on to be a cushion, uh, yeah. but this is your basic block. And... Um, so on the actual quilt itself, what you will do is sew those on, yep. then sew your next block onto on there. Got you. Same again. Um, and then you've got long sashing strips that go all yeah. the way down. That could even be the side of a bag. You know, well, like do you know what bag. it could be? It mm. could be. And I have done, um, I started doing a series of, if you've got a block, we call it the orphan block series. Aww. So um, if you've got orphan blocks, you know, something that you started or you tried a new ruler or you did whatever, or you've got something left over, yeah. um, what to do with them. And we've got, um, we've got the orphan block series, which shows you how to make it into a bag, into a cushion, into something just useful in its own right. I've just had a great idea. Go on. I don't know whether to share it because I might make millions from it. Oh, okay. Well, you know those bits you're cutting off? Yeah. And we don't like to waste fabric. Chip off the old block. Hey. Chips off the old block. It's mine. I've said it live on TV. I should be doing it later on when I get home. <laughs> Chip off I the old block. Save them um, all. Yeah, apparently it's in the schedule half next week, so oh, I better hurry up. Yeah, come on. Um, yeah, so it could be in front of a bag, could be a cushion, part of the quilt. So it's a great technique to use to build and create. Remember, in the deal you get in your charm pack, and the pattern, 39 99 823 
704 is your item number. Now you've got three options, the pink and the green, which comes with the jungle, which is the one that uh, Tash is uh, using at the moment. And you've also got your cozy up as well, which is a really nice modern uh, look to it. So if I just stitch this one on, then you'll get an idea of what it's going to look like when you start getting that sashing on um, for all the way around the quilt. And again, you will have um, enough out of your out of your charm pack to do a cushion as well. You might need to um, top up a little bit on your plain fabrics, but we do have a half metre sail on it, Natasha makes, so if you need anything like that, you can go and it's look. always good. Super. Now this is the final show today yes. with uh, Tash. We had one this morning at 7 a.m. that we were busy for. Um, final show today. So anything you see, it's a good idea to get it in your basket and check out and make sure you've got the patterns, the fabric, and all the different kits that you require. They will still be available after the hour, though. Yeah, no, absolutely. So we've got over 50 patterns on the pick and mix, yes. and they're they're there all the time. They're there all, all the time for you. Yes. So whenever whenever you're ready, they're always there we've also got a quilting pick and mix as well for some of Jane's quilts we're Excellent. adding to that um, all the time by the way so that's that's being updated we've got a load more to add into there um, because like I say Jane does a quilt a week for yeah, us that's she's, amazing. you know she's incredible absolutely incredible um, so there's yeah there's lots there that we, we're gonna start to bring to air for you because you know there are lots of there are lots of quilters yeah. joining us here it's great yeah. so there that is what that will look like and so then you'd have your your last strip of sashing around there Perfect. And Look it's just going to bring all of those, yeah. all those colours together. It looks great, doesn't it? It's just, it's simple, but it's really effective. Now, I did want to talk about the Tilda Monkey and also the Ravioli very, okay. very quickly, okay. if I may. Can I have a quick recap yes. of your um, tablet case of and course. the fabrics yes, that go yes. with it? Um, because we've been very busy, we've had sellouts, and I don't want anyone to miss out. So, you get the pattern to make your tablet case. It's got a beautiful velvet fabric alongside it as well. That goes inside, so that gives you the opportunity to clean your tablet as you take it out. It also comes with the wadding. You've got your buttons, which will vary, and your elastic and your uh, wadding, and the handmade labels. Uh, and this is what it looks like when it's completed. I will um, actually sew the label on straight, by the way. It's just yeah, tacked I, on I was at trying the not to. Yeah, I was, no, I was no, trying don't, to don't. sort of like pull it me. up here, like <laughs> pulling up your trousers. There, no one notices. Um, but you do have that gorgeous... It's been annoying me all show. <laughs> didn't, I didn't like to say. I didn't like to say. <laughs> but it is. It's a fabulous case. You'll be able to make two out of the kits. Let's take you through the options that you've got. So every kit comes with your pattern, comes with the wadding, and all of the rest. Right. Um, t oh, tickle my fancy. I thought that was just a suggestion. It's actually yeah. a pattern on the fabric. Actual fabric. Um, this is gorgeous, isn't it? I think this style is really coming back in this year. That 80s uh, fluorescent style bright colours against that dark background looks absolutely gorgeous. Uh, then you've got, let's open that, you've got Koi Poloi. Koi Poloi. Koi, koi Poloi. Yeah. Koi Poloi. Well done. Um, and that is gorgeous. <laughs> we do have another one of these in a different colour, uh, but it comes with that Delft coloured um, uh, velvet as well. Then you've got your beautiful designs with your floral. This one is your Hox. Ho Oh, no, that's not the Hokkasai, that's the Cloison. That's the Cloiston one. Cloison. Cloison. I don't know. Cloison. 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 Yeah. As in Inspector Cloison. <laughs> maybe. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I'll let you, maybe. <laughs> uh, you've got your velvet there as well, which is beautiful. Next along, you've got your Koi Poloi, and this one is in the blue. I really like this one. I, I, something about those colours, I really, really like that. That's lovely. Uh, your next along, oh, it's stunning. That's your Hokkasoi. Uh, That's Hokusoy's your Hokkasoi mum. Uh, mum in the blue. Mm. Uh, in the cool. Well, it's in the cool, but it's, it's cool, but with it's predominantly blue. blue. Yeah. Beautiful. And then your octopus. This is lovely. I really like this one. Lovely. You've got mint green in there. And then you've got like a, like a peachy colour against the black. And you've got a rose black. pink in there. Quite yeah. a deep rose pink in there as well. There's Works all sorts really of colours well. in there works really really well and that comes with that gorgeous black velvet my oh my aren't they wonderful right busy across the board you can divide the cost of that into two payments two payments of 12 pounds or 50 pence five four seven seven one zero is your item number now we've had a sellout in the liberty uh, the vintage blue this one 
vintage blue has gone and sold oh, well out. Done. So, so that's two sellouts. That's there, two sellouts for the, the Liberty the Quilt. Pink one as well. Yeah. So let's move that away. So the one we've got available for you. <laughs> I'm really laughing because the swords talk back open and it's click click clicking in my head. <laughs> um, <laughs> so you've got this beautiful blue. You've got these great colours in here as well with all those different patterns. Uh, these are cut by Natasha, so you can't get these anywhere else cut in this format. Two pence of £33.50. 487 484 is your item number. Uh, right, it sounds like someone's knocking on the door in my ear, so I'm going to hand over to you, Tash. Okay, all right, perfect. So um, the monkeys, this is, well, this is my daughter's monkey, and uh, it's been, whoops, very much loved because they do that because they hook on to everything and uh, yeah this gets dragged around the house dragged everywhere but they're just fabulous so she's generally seen with a monkey being dragged around the place and you can hook them and hang them and all sorts of things so they are really great fun and lovely to make and in the book as well if you've gone for the book there's also how to make the cushion the whale it's all in there but I just wanted to show you because you've got the patterns in the back and you will cut all the pieces out now the way that Tilda does her toy making is is quite different so I'm just going to explain you will use that template onto your fabric and draw around it the dots there are your um, turning through gaps you're going to leave that turning through gap and then You'll, so you'll start sewing there and you sew on the line. You do not cut it out yet. You map everything onto your fabric and you draw around all of it. And then you will stitch on that line because they're so narrow. Yes. And then you cut it out, your seam allowance. You cut your seam allowance out Beautiful afterwards. Fabric. Because otherwise it's just too hard yeah. to do. But yeah, it is absolutely exquisite and then for the faces we've put that um, fuse fuser web in there yeah. so that you can put that onto there and then when you stitch it don't worry if it doesn't match because you're going to satin stitch or just zigzag a tight zigzag stitch around the edge gives it a really lovely finish you can see there just how that's just going to hold all of that together there and then you can get fabric paints for the eyes but basically I go in with a with a permanent permanent like Sharpie or yeah. something like that. Or if you've got, I have also used um, alcohol markers because they're permanent as well. What did you use on, on the one at the back? Um, that one, the one, this one, I used alcohol markers and that was a Sharpie. Yeah. And then if you just get a little bit of, a little bit of rouge Aww. for the cheeks, actual rouge. They are so So cute. yeah, a little bit, a little bit of your, your lipstick or a bit of your powder um, for the cheeks yeah. works an absolute treat. Um, and so that will be the face. So stitch on the line. Yeah. That's the thing that you want to do. Okay. And then the other thing that I wanted to show you, how much time have I got? We've got five minutes left, Tash. Okay, so yeah. the lavender ravioli. These kits are just, it's a complete, it's, again, it's a complete kit for you so that you've got everything that you want. Either Tula Pink's fabrics or Tilda's fabrics. Tilda's are so, so pretty. And they're all from this collection okay. here, the Windy Days yes. collection. Oh, so that's lovely. what all those fabrics are from. Um, with Tula, it's from the Lineworks collection, so it's all sort of black and white with a hit of rainbow colours. So, to, and again, these will, whichever ones you get will vary, but you're going to get two of the 44-inch strips. So you can see you've got the rainbow, but it's all kind of black and white. And all you are going to do is... Do you want me nice on that rainbow one to add some gems? Oh, well, you could, yeah, couldn't you? you? Could. You absolutely could. So all I'm going to do is find my area, And you could, with your stripology ruler, you can just go along and just cut into two and a half inch strips, uh, pieces. That's all you need, but because we're short on time. And I'll yeah. just I'll show you how easy these are. So you're then going to take that to your machine and you're going to sew round. Okay. Such a great idea, isn't it? Something like this you could you could even have in your handbag, really, if you just wanted one piece of ravioli to take yeah. with you. You know, it's such a lovely smell, lavender, isn't it? You know, for me, it's a calming smell. Yeah. So it'd be nice just to, to have with you and just have a sniff every now and again. I know that sounds weird, but, um, you know, you might have it wrapped up in some handkerchiefs or something like that. Absolutely. Yeah. So I would stitch around three sides, or if I chain piece, if I do all of them, then I'd just chain piece down one side, then across yep. the other and then just snip them apart and then you're going to get a little teaspoon of lavender and it's yorkshire lavender it's it yorkshire lavender it's gorgeous beautiful. isn't it um and you've got a big bag of it and you only need like i say you only need a, a like teaspoon Catherine. she's from yorkshire hey yeah pop it pop it in it really does smell great 
You'll do it with a teaspoon or something, but obviously, you know, I didn't think to bring anything useful That's like all that. Right. So I'm just going to make a mess everywhere. You can pop it in with your fingers. But it is literally just a teaspoon's worth. And then go back into the machine, stitch that shut. So there's no right sides together or turning through or anything like that. If you want to, this is a great chance to use your decorative stitch on your machine. Yep. Because how often do we actually use those or have a project where that can actually be used? So just go in, stitch straight across there. Super, super easy. Are the pieces of fabric um, cut with pinking shears? So, yeah, then I yeah. would get the pinking shears. So the tilde ones are cut with pinking shears. These aren't. And then okay. I would pinking shear around and that so just trims all like your thread so it looks like the ravioli yeah. so you've got the fabric that's yep. already got pink pink is already pinked on two yeah. sides but just get your pinking shears out and uh, and trim around and they're lovely and if you want to then you can when you're sewing just pop in the pop in the uh the ribbon yeah and have it hang it's such a lovely idea and it is a beautiful gift to give someone it really really is just that little gift Maybe Mother's Day, Valentine's Day, or just a gift for somebody, or yourself. A uh, lovely little kit, and a nice project as well that you can actually sit down and do with your children or the grandchildren well, as well. Well, they can do the pinking bit yeah, afterwards, they or yeah. they, you know, they can do the sewing or, or whatever, or, or the filling the with the lavender. My, yeah, my mum and I made a whole load of these for my kids' school, because they're always after stuff for fairs and things like that, back in the day when we used to have that. Yeah. Um, and so we did, we did a whole load, and we just spent an evening, but we made loads Aww. and loads and loads. Uh, and just chatting as we were stuffing with lavender everywhere. Oh, it was really lovely. companionable and it was yeah. just nice. And a very, very easy, simple make, but very effective. They smell gorgeous. Yes. Yeah, stick them in your drawers. And they come beautifully packaged as well, so great, giftable. Nine ninety nine. Yeah, you, you can divide the cost yourself. Of, yeah, you can divide the cost of that into two payments if you want with Flip Stravaganza, so it's only five pounds a day and five pounds in a month's time. Um, and you get fifty grams of lavender, you get your fabric and your ribbon in that kit, one six three zero three two. Uh, have a look at the website, the brand new website. We're loving it. Do you love it? I'm sure you do. Uh, it makes it very easy to navigate around, which is great. If you haven't used your welcome code, you can use welcome just before you check out and get £5 off a purchase of £20 or more. If you've used it on the craft store, you can go over to Create and Craft and you can use it also on their um, website as well. Tash, you're back on Thursday? I am. I've got I want to say four shows. Yes. Block of the month. Ooh. So, um, yeah, so we've got the next, and it's a very, very beautiful one from our Oriental Baltimore quilt. Ooh. Look forward to that. Block of the month, block of the month. Block, 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 block of the month, block of the month. <laughs> bump, bump. Uh, it's the Asta block. That's the one. Yeah. Uh, Tash, thank you so much. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Do check out your basket. We'll be back. Right, Quilting Antics One Day Special is coming up next. You don't want to miss that. We've been very busy today. Jelly Bean Crafts Inspiration with Karen after that. A nice crafting pets at play with Karen as well. It's Flex Stravaganza time. From Friday the 21st at 6pm until Monday the 31st of January at 6pm, we're giving you the chance to spread the cost of your New Year's projects by bringing you our Flex Stravaganza event. Over the course of a week, if you add any items to your shopping basket worth £1 or more, online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flex Stravaganza Flexi Basket offers. This means you can spread the cost of your entire order into two equal interest-free Flexi Buy payments, offering you a more cost-effective way of shopping with us. Pay the first payment when you place your order, then the second payment a month later. Flexible payments for everyone. Join us from Friday the 21st of January at 6pm to make your shopping experience with the craft store even easier. Hi, I'm Jo and I have the pleasure of demonstrating for That's Crafty. That's Crafty are a family run business that started online in 2005. I hope I can inspire you by bringing along my experience together with the That's Crafty products. So make sure you don't miss the That's Crafty shows. Hi, I'm Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly and I'm really excited to be working with you guys here at the Craft Store. 
We've been here since the very beginning and hopefully we'll continue to bring you lots of new and exciting soft craft projects. We've got everything from things like our Fabazine, which contains 12 different projects that you can do either in one go or split them up separately. Um, and that's a journey through all types of different soft crafting. And then we've got things that are really specific, like our stitchery, which is a journey through all kinds of embroidery as well. So make sure you join me and craft yourself silly here at the craft store. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the craft store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. There's not long left to take advantage of this flex extravaganza because it ends at the end of January. So uh, literally tomorrow will be the last day. Thank you, Kirsty. Uh, so we've got the one day special coming up now. It's the penultimate hour of our one day special. Half the stock has gone and it has been such an utter pleasure to get to hang out with Anthea and Quilting Antics because she brings us the most beautiful tweed. And we've also got our booklet as well. Let's introduce you to Anthea. Anthea, hello. Hello. I really Hello. enjoyed this morning. Yeah, do you know, I had great fun. I'm looking forward to this hour too. That's well, what it's all about. We're going to have yeah. some fun. If you do have any questions for Anthea, we would love to hear from you. Studio at thecraftstore.com. So let me break down what you're getting with the one day special. Firstly, you've got this beautiful project booklet. Now, individually, this has a £28 saving by itself. That's been carried across and factored into the one day special. But on top of the project booklet, and you're also going to get 10 10 inch tweed fabric squares you can do an awful lot with that you can see and feel the quality for instance this two oh, what we're going to do this hour we're going to look at bags so we're going to be exploring this bag just using the um 10 inch squares are we going to be putting in instructions for this with a pattern book we no. are indeed so oh, all the are. things that are by your knees down there yeah. Um, you know me, Yanis, I like to give value for money. Yeah. And uh, and I just felt that because it's an applique quilt, I thought we haven't given you enough here. So we've given you uh, the bag and a couple of cushions Sweet. as well. And Everything then, course, down here yeah, will yeah. have instructions. Oh. Yeah. Okay, stop. I'll, I'll, I'll show you. Don't worry. So you'll be able to, with your 10-inch squares, you could maybe explore making this beautiful bag. You'll have the instructions there. Then if that's not up your street, or you could make all of them, how about this? For a, for a tweed cushion. Now, come on. You imagine that sitting in your living room or in a conservatory or an office. We were having a chat, Anthea and myself, earlier on. And you were saying, Anthea, you've been, been out and about department stores. Uh -huh. A tweed cushion, not of this quality. I mean, this quality, this is first rate. But an ordinary tweed cushion, a simple tweed design yep. with a cotton back. How much are we looking yeah, at? Fifty-five pounds for like a fat quarter. Uh, in yep. fact, it wouldn't even be a fat quarter, would it? Because you, no. your cushion isn't twenty inches square; yeah, it's yeah. a bit less. Yeah. So it'd be less than a quarter. And the, so, for a good quality tweed cushion, you're looking fifty-five quid. Okay, fifty-five pounds. Uh, and this is good but not quality like this. tweed. I mean, you, a, besto a bespoke tweed cushion of this quality, you'd be paying absolute premium. So a lot more than that. But uh, you are going to get the patterns for here. Now, out of the ten-inch squares that we have. Could we, because obviously we're breaking up the blocks, a bit of applique work, could we make two, maybe three cushion fronts? Well, I think you could keep going. I mean, you're going to get different colours. Yeah. You won't get identical colours. Um, but, yeah, you, you just keep on going and going and going until yeah. it's, it's used up. Is it out of the realms to say, for, if you just used your 10-inch squares for cushions, mm -hmm. could you make this design, say, what, two, possibly three times? Two? I would say two, because you're, okay. you're cutting it up and joining it back together, so you always lose a bit on the seams. Okay, don't let's you? say that. Let's say two.
going off of what, and you can see this for yourself when you go to department stores for a tweed cushion or go online, do your own research uh, for a quality tweed cushion at that. Now, considering if we can make two of these with the cotton backs, so we're just talking about the front. Go to a department store, you're looking at standard about £55 for just an ordinary, not, not with this beautiful applique work uh, cushion. So if you make two of these, you've, well, just one, you've covered the cost of the one-day special. And then, of course, we've got, oh, there's one more, actually, thing to show you. You're also going to get your pattern. Now, that's cool as well. That's beautiful applique work. So what we wanted to do there, Yanis, is, in fact, I've got another um, thing to show you here, mm -hmm. is take elements of the quilt and yeah. show you how, if you don't want to make a quilt, how you can take the elements and make something else. So you're getting the instructions for the bolster cushion, mm -hmm. and then you can, you can do like we've done, or you can put anything yeah. else on, and we've got another oh. version here. Oh, let's so have we've a done, um, sneaky peek. Yeah. Well, I want get a close-up, because so the, the cameras the are with me. So the cottages... Yeah, you um, can see that on the kind of the islands here yeah, that's pretty um sue's just done this little um is it oh. better like that or laid down no, we can see no we can see that that's lovely yeah. so uh, you know you, you could use that in a cushion you could maybe use it in a bag just pick different elements out so like mm -hmm. if you're um making something for someone who loves lighthouses yeah you know the bell rock lighthouse that's like you know top draw oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah. You that's... can create special things. We are busy for our one day special. Thank you so much for choosing to join us and keep us company this afternoon. Uh, it's afternoon yet? Yeah, afternoon. So, uh, details on your screen. Now, remember, you're getting the 10 inch squares. You're also getting the pattern, pattern booklet for a quilt, and we've got the kit for the quilt as well. That is how quilting antics works. I know we've got a lot of new viewers joining us from Crate and Craft as well. So, good morning. Our sister channel, of course, Crate and Craft. Don't forget, if you haven't already done so, you can use your code WELCOME. So the way it works is part of our spend and save event. So spend £20, as long as you've got £20 more in your basket, which you have here, then you're able to apply the code. So uh, enter welcome and then you'll save £5. And the best part is, if you have a look at flexi payment on this, because you can split the price in half, we're still over the £20 mark. So because you have to have £20 or more, if the flexi basket was less, then you wouldn't be able to apply that code. But we can do that on this occasion. So welcome is your friend. You're welcome. Okay, now we're going to have a little look at the kit. Got to give you some updates here. It actually sold out in the morning, in our morning show. It's back on extended delivery the 3rd of February, but there is a big, big announcement on this because we were chatting with Anthea and she was saying, that is it. Once this is gone now, you will not have any more stock of this. So just showing you all the little elements. You've got the gold for the little applique detail. The amount of tweed you have here. And for those of you that didn't watch the show earlier on, Anthea was telling us, and she's absolutely spot on here. Anthea is an expert when it comes to tweed. Quilting antics, that is their USP. Their area of specialty, uh, speciality is tweed. And you were saying the price of tweed's gone up from 55 pounds yeah. to 63 pounds. Yeah. What you're seeing here is still at the old rate, and I apologize, I know this sounds very selly telly but I think this is important because it, it's the truth. The price of that quilt, now you've got to think quality of a quilt, so any quilters out there, how much would you be paying for a quilt, just a quilting cotton? You know, you can get quilt kits around about the same price, but with a quilting cotton, might be a little bit bigger, uh, obviously it's 40 by 60, but the difference being, a quilting cotton works out at 14, 15 pounds per meter. Obviously, it can be more or less depending on your brand. But let's let's go for the sort of uh, average, say 15 pounds per meter. Tweed, 63 pounds per meter, and worth every penny because it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, so having a look at the quilt. Now this is the kit to go with our one-day special project booklet. And if we have a look at the quilt itself, it is breathtakingly good I mean this is an heirloom piece that you have to see and it tells a story and I'm gonna get Anthea actually to talk us through the story of the quilt so Anthea we'll start at the top tell us all about the quilt right so you start in the mountains which you know the highlands that is what you go for isn't it those yeah. beautiful mountains yeah, yeah. your purple heather mountains and you've got your golden eagles there yeah so um, because they've been reintroducing them up there nice in Scotland yeah, yeah. so we've got two there nice and simple so we, we've gone for more stylized and then you know you're not out first yeah um, then you come down and you've got your Scots pine oh. which which of those trees is the Scots pine Yanis I'll tell you the what tall ones with the sort of dome 
Yeah. Yeah. Because in because if you just say oh Scots pine, yeah. people do think of like your Christmas tree shape. Oh, okay. It's no. actually really not, is it? It's it's more a tree like yeah. we think of a tree, but with the. I'll be honest with you, Andy. <laughs> I was guessing, but uh, I'm glad. I mean, beautiful trees though. You've got the stag. <laughs> I love the fact it was like yeah. Andy was playing a game of charades with me or charades, however you choose to pronounce it. <laughs> You're doing the a actions, <laughs> so we've got. She's like, like this. Uh, so we've got the trees, but as we progress down, and there's something. Look, the castle in the background. Yeah. That Balmoral, beautiful. Balmoral, no less. Balmoral. Oh, is it, what's that? Balmoral. Ba that, that's our little stylized Balmoral. Love then that. you've got Tobermory. Do you recognise that viaduct? What? Yeah. yeah. Glenfinnan yeah. viaduct. Which one? Glenfinnan. Oh, which that's have what you I ever thought. watched a certain wizarding film? Oh. Yeah. Now yeah, yeah, I yeah. remember it. The curved it. viaduct there. Ah. And so. When we were putting this together, yeah. and in the centre it was very blue, and yeah. I'm like, oh, there's just something not right. There's something. And we were talking, and I went, how about a bridge? And she went, I'm not doing the blooming fourth bridge. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, well, why? It looked really cool across the middle. And then we came up with that one, which, as uh, soon as she put it on, I'm like, wow, it just. Nice. I mean, just a little puff of smoke to yeah. kind of suggest a steam train on there. You got the oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You got there. It looks so good. Yeah. And it actually gives you a sense of scale. I love the houses. Uh -huh. then you've got I love the Laird's the house. Bird, uh, the the lighthouse. Tell us about the lighthouse. The Laird, oh, the Bell, Bell Rock lighthouse. Yeah. Now in the book, I'm not going to go into all that stuff now and get trip yourself up and get wrong. In the book. But I have actually, because you know, geeky me. I've written in the book, there's a little thing about everything, mm. and I've also put my sources in there, so if you want to go and have a better look yourself, oh, you're good. you can, uh, one, one tries one's best. <laughs> I love it. Okay, I've just got to tell you as we're looking at this, and look at the detail, the lighthouse, you've got the seals in there as well, the boat, the birds, uh, that wonderful sense of scale and depth with the house in the background too. We're really busy for this, and I've got to point out, and just to reiterate, once it's gone, it's gone. That is it. We will not have any more stock. And there is a very real possibility we will be selling out this this hour, which means, I don't know, oh, was that an otter? I said seal. I'm so sorry. There were seals at the <laughs> yeah, bottom. Yeah, the seals are at yeah. the bottom. That's an otter. I apologise. Um, that that so, yeah, you've got your seals, seals there. Which you've the got dogs your of the sea. Pardon? They're the dogs of the they sea. They are indeed, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. as I say, we might potentially, I'll, I'll, I'll keep you abreast of what's going on, but if we carry on at this rate, there is a real possibility we'll be selling out of this this hour. I am not saying that to scare you into buying. Uh, I just want to tell you, because I know some viewers, and I really get it, you like to enjoy shows, and you might think, okay, I'll enjoy the demonstrations, maybe by next hour. It might not be here next hour, so I just want to arm you with that information. You have got the three flexi payments, 76.33. That price, and I understand you're looking at, and especially anyone channel hopping, you're looking and think, oh, okay, that's a considered purchase. It is, but as quilters, you will easily pay that just for a beautiful quilt with a quilting cotton. And to reiterate, tweed and quilting cotton are very, very different. Quilting cotton, good quilting cotton, can be anywhere from 15 pounds a meter plus. Tweed, you're looking at 63 pounds per meter. So that gives you an idea of the kind of quality that you're working with here. And when you look at the design and hear the story, which is explained in the pattern booklet, how can you not want to get involved? Imagine that in your home. It is going to be a statement piece, and it is going to be something that's going to stimulate a lot of conversation. We are so busy for this. Uh, so details are on your screen, 812-688. Uh, we're going to move on to some happy hour deals. These are different to the deals that we had on our earlier show. So uh, welcome if you have tuned back in uh, for the show today, or this might be your first time looking at the one day special. This is a really, really good pattern booklet. If you love your bags, it is a pure celebration of beautiful bags. Um, so we are getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight bags in total there. Eight bags. <laughs> wow. For $19.99. That's right. Yeah, yeah. You've got some of them by your knees okay. as well. I'll have a um, look. And you've also got uh, in the middle pages there. There was like a creamy coloured thing. That's a stitch guide because some of them are decorated with stitchery. So we've given you a stitch These guide. Are beautiful. Thank you. I've got a question for you. I'm going to show you this one bag. I think this is a stunning bag. This is just one of the eight projects in there. Okay. Now, Anthea, with our ten-inch squares. I know we wouldn't have, it would be a mixture of designs, but would we have enough fabric to make this Do bag? Do you know, I've never even thought of it until you've just said, but if you hold that on one of the squares, you'll soon find out. All right, well, wait one second. Ooh. Well, I think the answer to that is yes. 
obviously you'd have different because with the 10 inch squares uh, would, you'd have maybe a different front and back and with the binding but it wouldn't matter it yeah. wouldn't matter but um, with the pattern that we've given you if uh -huh. you're struggling for size you could just um, shave off a quarter inch and you, I don't think you'd even gonna, notice go for it I'm gonna put it on yeah. be careful on my that's mic. called the Athena bag do you know why well go on do tell us because Athena is often pictured with an owl oh. or as an owl I felt I should be putting on a, a a, oh, a, yes. more, a more uh, Greek style pose. I can see you there oh. in Olympus. Yeah, well, there we go. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Olympus suits you. with my bag. Yeah. Let's, let's talk about if you went to a shop, let's play this game. You went to a shop and you saw this bag made out of tweed. How much do you reckon you'd be paying just for this one project? And remember, if you've gone for the one day special, you've got enough fabric to make this. It'll be different colorways uh, throughout. How much would you say, Anthea? Well, I would say at least 100 quid, at least. Yeah. For tweet, because, and we're basing this off of, if you think Anthea's just pulling figures out of her head, you went to a shop and you saw so, a smaller bag. Yeah, so, like, that probably a bit more intricate than this one. Okay. But, um, yeah, 200, 250 quid for, like, the, the tweed bags that you buy in the department, you know, the, the good tweed. Cheap. I'm not talking about the, like, the... No. The We're talking the quality ones. stuff. I'm yeah, talking yeah. the, the top-notch ones. You're, e you're talking three figures. Let's leave it at three figures. Okay. And what the start figure is, just, you know, let's get carried away, because <laughs> basically you can. Well, um, I can say, Katie, our producer, is shocked. Her jaw hit the table, because she was saying she's never spent more than a tenner on a bag. So then, come on, mm. you're shopping. You're obviously well, not shopping in the same actually, kind of shops yeah, as Anthea. And I know we're here to sell tweed, yeah. and, uh, and I don't want everyone in the gallery to be going, shut up! But, in actual fact, our pattern books, yeah. you can use any fabric you want. Of course, dip into your stash to yeah, make. dip into your that's stash. So, I mean, lovely yes, with tweed. We, we want you to buy tweed because that's what we love and we think it's fab. And if anyone's never worked with it before, it's way yeah. easier than cotton to work with because it's just a bit more forgiving. Yeah. Um, now, so it's extremely easy to work with. I'm conscious of time, but I think it's worth just really quickly. I've just got one. Uh, I've just got a couple more bags to share with you because when we say you're getting your patterns and the structure for bags, bags of this kind of quality. But then that's not just a bag because you've obviously got your patterns uh, and your instructions to make that design. So then you can go on and translate that onto a uh, cushion cover or it could be part of a quilt. I mean, imagine that as a center of a quilt and then building your blocks around it. That's a beautiful bag. Or what about this one? <laughs> Look at that. Look at that as a bag. So if you're going to class and you want to wow everybody, yeah. That's the one you need, isn't it? I mean, that's a, that's a good size. Got a zip in the top, but you know, that zip, you don't have to put that in. So if you're yeah. feeling a bit zip shy, mm -hmm. just totally omit that part. Or cool. equally, if you want to put that zip in one of the other bags, the instructions would allow you to um so many pockets. That. So yeah. that's a beautiful bag. And then just one more to share. Remember, you're getting eight bags in total. I'm just showing you a few of them. And again, look, this is when we say a bag. It's an absolute work of art. It just happens to be on a bag. And you've got your instructions to make eight bags, but the reason why I was so keen to show you the actual bags is because when you see a bag, I mean, there are bags and then there are bags. And look at that price. You're saving 32 pounds. Uh, 19 99 your price. It's, come on, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you not want this in your stash? Uh, 524 177, your item number. Uh, we've got something else a little bit different for you now. This is out of Africa. Once again, it's a happy hour deal, which means the price is only around for this hour. Tell us a little bit of the story of this. How did this come about? Right, so, uh, so last year during uh, lockdown, we had yeah. a virtual trip around the world. And uh, one of our virtual trips, we had a jaunt to Africa. And so this is this is the quilting Af quilting Ooh. antics does Africa. These are stunning. So we've got African dancers, <laughs> yeah. the African yeah, silhouettes. Yeah, again, you've got some of the projects by your knees in, okay. on the shelf. I'll get those. Uh, but these are all kind of inspired by Africa um, and so. different projects. So you've got wall hangings, you've got bags, you've got cushions, you've got a tablet case there, okay. and all the the different motifs. They will just, you know, mix and match. Do you know? I love that. And when that I made it, can I can I confess? Go on, you confess away. Because that is just on, on some fabric. I um, I was really really behind for coming here, yeah. and I stayed up all night the night before I was coming. Doing your homework late. I didn't late. drive. Gary yeah. drove me down. But that wall hanging and the one with the silhouettes. That's so beautiful. At three o'clock in the morning, very bleary eyed. I'm like, oh, I've got to do the it, wall hangings. It's worth. And they look I mean, fab, it. don't they? <laughs> no, I mean they absolutely stunning. I loved it. It's actually worth seeing these. Yeah, because the, I these couldn't really believe nice. how well they looked. Um, <laughs> they were that. the quickest things I'd ever done.
Like um, so that one, you actually get a tree silhouette as well. Uh -huh. So you know that iconic... Tree of life um, type thing. No, no, I'll get the African sunset with the tree and the animals. Yeah. So you've got in there all those different animals. Mm -hmm. So you could do the whole load of animals. There's, there's a hippo well, as well. I, know, I, I like that. Or you, you could kind just of... repeat one animal. Yeah, you're looking at... The, it's an exploration with those animals. It's like a circle, like a circle yeah, of yeah, life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I wanted to give you kind of that yeah. that iconic African sunset thing. He's oh, great, isn't he? Come He's on. He's just fab. Look at that. <laughs> I love Do you know that. our new building is called the Giraffery? <laughs> yeah. what you named it. <laughs> I love the bag. So, I mean, beautiful projects. There is actually one more chair, but you've, you've got the um, cushion in front there. And then... This beautiful bag too. So all those projects in one pattern booklet. Uh, 1999 your price here. And again, you are saving uh, 25 pounds, 164, 810 item number. Okay, speaking of saving, value for money, patchwork gold. So earlier on, I'm so sorry, we sold out of our raggy gold dust. We sold out of our wobblers. We sold out of our octopus. This really is last man standing uh, and three quarters of the stock has gone here. Want to just put this into context with regard to how much you are getting. Um, actually, Anthea getting poised to show you, it's worth seeing this. If you were just to stitch everything together, now remember, tweed, and this is premium tweed, would set you back 63, uh, 63 pounds per meter. So the price has gone up from 55 to 63. This is still at the old price. Colors will vary, but if you weren't watching earlier on, Anthea did say that this is possibly, oh, it's not possibly, she thinks it is the best patchwork gold she's ever brought to you. Uh, she loves the size of it and the colors. So we're just going to start laying it out. So just bear in mind just the amount of tweed and the diversity of tweed that you're getting in one pack. Because when it arrives, it's absolutely brimming, Anthea. Well, I was thinking as well when you were going through those bags, I think this would sew up really nicely to make the bags. OK, you might want to alter the applique, but you've yep. got lots of options in the book cause just because we put okay. this motif on that bag, etc. Um, but wouldn't that make a good centre for um, an applique motif? You know, you can just piece them together. So you see, there, there, a lot of these are quite regular shapes. Uh, I think that's two stuck together there. And a lot of them are really nice, friendly colours. Nice. And, and I just haven't got enough desk touched. to get them all I mean, all that right is the tip on. of the iceberg. There's still yeah. so much more left. So I, I would say you've got at least a metre here, at least. Um, what? And it just goes on and on so you can you can join them as they are you can cut them down and make smaller squares so when and obviously we we're just giving you a rough idea because uh, with it it just comes as a pack but laying it out stitching it all together you got a, a meter possibly more uh, of fabric remember tweed 63 pounds per meter look at your price down here now obviously that would be if you made a patchwork, but how incredible would a patchwork be? Or if you just wanted to add a load of different variety into your stash for your applique work, or, or to create a patchwork cushion, a patchwork bag with tweed. You work with tweed, you instantly know you're working with something really special. $24.99 is your price. 260-586, your item number. Really busy for that. Uh, don't miss out. It is really cool. And once it's gone, there you go. Uh, going to say if yeah. if you've never worked with wool before and I'm saying it's easier than cotton to work with yeah. and it definitely is but it, it is expensive yeah. we can't deny that this is actually if you just fancy having a go this is a really cracking play around option pack. Yeah. play around pack yeah I like that yeah. <laughs> because it's what is it 20 quid yeah 24 you know you're 24 pound you're not going to it's not yeah. a massive outlay if you what? do it and then you think oh, it's not for me, and that's, or you're probably more likely to go, oh, give me more, yeah. <laughs> I want more. <laughs> you, and actually, you touched on a really good point. Now, apologies, because I know we're moving on with the details, but just very quickly, going back to, well, both options, really, but the uh, gold, uh, patchwork gold at the bottom of your screen, or what we're about to show you here, you couldn't have picked a better time to dip your toe into Tweed if you've never worked with it before, because you don't have to pay $26.97 or $24.99 today. We've got a Flex Bavaganza event. We would never normally split the price with a Flexi payment traditionally uh, on a product under £40. But during Flex Travaganza, as long as you have one pound or more in your basket, you'll be able to split the price. Equally, with the gold, the patchwork gold, 
or if you go for the 300 gram bundle, you're over the 20 pound mark. Now I apologize because I know we're coming towards the end of our spend and save event. A lot of you have already used your welcome code. But for those of you that haven't, if you have not used the welcome code, as long as you've got 20 pounds more in your basket, you enter the code welcome at checkout, we'll take five pounds straight off the price. So again, that price suddenly going down to 21.97, or here, the 24.99 at the bottom of your patchwork gold, that'll be the cheapest that's ever been offered, because that'll be down to 19.99. So have a look at that code welcome uh, there. Right, we are going to talk very quickly about these. Now, 80% of the stock has gone here. This is your Quilting Antics 300 gram bundle of tweed treasures. Contents will vary, but guaranteed, whatever you have, you're going to fall in love with. Yeah, I, I love these. Have you got They're the like you, sweeties you, for quilters, aren't well, they? That's crafters. a good description. Yeah, yeah sorry, that's what you've got in front yeah, of you there. So, Michaela's made this. Now, she's used four bundles for this, mm -hmm. and that's so if you like fold it into quarters, this is roughly what you'd get in one bundle. Yeah. So, there would be a little bit more because she did have some left over. Okay. Um, but that's that's roughly what you'd get from one. So that if that's sad. a cushion front, yeah. by that premise, you could yeah. make three incredible cushions, patchwork yeah. tweed cushions. Yeah. Again, going off of how much we see tweed for quality tweed yeah. for a cushion front, even if you just made three cushions, you're winning. Definitely. Yeah. But you can't lose. No, you can't. Well, you can't one lose. tweed cushion. Do your own research on this, but we have, and Anthea has seen it, and we are talking quality tweed here. We are the, the, just actually, tell it, explain, where do you source your tweed from? Well, this Anthea? is all from the Abraham Moon Woolen Mill, which yeah. if you've never heard of Abraham Moon, um, if you ever see these documentaries in the Chelsea Pensioners Home, the yeah. settees, yeah, um, yeah. Made of it, Downing Street, Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, I mean, you're saying big names here. I didn't here. see the recent Prime Minister sat on one, but I have seen past the sat yeah. on them. Okay. All over. It's everywhere. It's yeah. absolutely everywhere in the posh places. It's world renowned. Oh, gosh, yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah. Um, and it, it's great. I mean, these are, like I said, these are sweeties for crafters. I like that. So if you. With no calories. That's even better. Yeah, yeah even better. <laughs> I think your free. Slimming Club advisor will be. Yeah. Um, you know. uh, we are limited stock for our tweed treasures. If you do want to get hold of them, twenty six ninety seven your price. Use the code welcome if you haven't already done so, and you will save a further five pounds. Uh, you can only use it once, but you can use it once here, and you can use that welcome code once on our sister channel, Crate and Craft, as well. Hey, that's I think good. It's about time, should we have a play? Oh yeah. Because I know you've got your yeah, demonstration yeah. set. <laughs> We're going to look at the uh, bag, right? Yeah, the little wee thistle. Yeah. Okay. Um, so let's pop that pop that there so I'll just bring the sewing machine in a bit closer so have you got the bag handy to remind everyone I this? have uh, just give me a moment and we will show everybody uh, by the way if you do have any questions for Anthea we would love to hear from you studio at the craftstore.com so get in touch anything you want to see this is the bag we're going to be taking a look at now Anthea was explaining with the uh, 10 inch squares you can make this bag the gusset so around here you might have well you will have to maybe stitch two pieces together that's just for the length there but it is possible it just we won't be able to use one continuous piece but definitely possible Janice, i would piece those together oh yeah the treasures the treasures if you piece now, that those would look together, amazing yeah so you would get the effect of oops let me just grab this again yeah so oops um you would get in like one one row on this yeah that's the effect that you would get going round that Very would look nice. sensational wouldn't it thank you oh there we go i'll just show you with our tree uh, tr treasures so uh, you could absolutely be working with those to create such a beautiful effect for that gusset so uh, just something to consider okay i'll hand over to you anthea right i've just got my posh ironing board out nice <laughs> and i need my iron sorry um right so the little bag there um, one thing that we like doing we like experimenting and we like seeing what fabric can do so on the bag that uh, that Yanis uh, showed up the other end there's the little thistles now these are the thistles that are at the top um, corners of the quilt so we just wanted to take elements of the quilt and kind of give you an idea of where else you could take them and what else That's you pretty. could do and Sue came up with this natty little idea because oh. your thistles yeah. have got the fluffy bit at the top. So straight off, I'm just going to show you how she did that. Okay. So she got a piece of tweed. Very clever. Yeah. And so just if, for those of you who don't know how tweed works, you've got the, the warp threads which go top to bottom and you've got the weft which goes left to right. And basically it just kind of weaves, weaves in and out of itself. So if we pull one of the threads out... The opposite thread stays in place. Oops, didn't want to fray for me now. But as you pull these threads out, 
Can you see I'm starting to get a little fringe? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we're going to use this fringe to help us. Now, on this particular one, it's a heather colour right. and a green mm -hmm. woven. So on this side, can you see I'm pulling out a heather coloured thread? Yeah. And I'm getting a green fringe. Oh, and if you pulled the other way, it would be yeah. the opposite. A little um, heather coloured fringe. So nice. what Sue did, she made that little fringe and then she'd drawn the, um, the thistles. Mm -hmm. Where's my scissors? Just cut it out. Place the thistles on just below the frayed bit. Uh -huh. And then when you cut them out... Oops. Oh, she's clever. Oh, she's, she's not bad. Good. She's shaping up all right. Don't <laughs> tell her I said that, though, will you? <laughs> Now, just to let you know, uh, with regard to the Tweed Treasures, I'm afraid they have sold out. Just another sellout. It's been very popular. Uh, now, this is the exception because everything else that's been selling out, I'm afraid we were not able to get hold of more stock. But on this occasion, just for these, we can get hold of a little more stock for you. And not long to wait, so they will be dispatched on the 3rd of February. So sold out, back on extended delivery, 3rd of February, worth the wait, especially at that price there. 26 97 saving £3. Your item number, 842723. Okay. Do you know why we have to wait five days? Go on. Because our silver has to roll them. Oh, okay. Well, that's fair <laughs> enough. That's fair enough. I only charge my dad £15 an hour for occupational therapy. Oh. <laughs> Come and spend some quality time with you, aren't you? Right, so I've just peeled the paper back in off there. And... Um, Get your iron. Now, mm -hmm. differences between using cotton and using tweed, for jobs like this, steam iron works a lot better. Um, just go down in short bursts because you don't want to scorch your fabric. Yeah. In fact, often what I do is I'd hold the iron above, just let the steam get in there and get it gummy, and then just a quick touch, mm. and, it's, um, and it's properly stuck now. Oh, yeah. Nice. So can you see they look like they're floating? Yeah. All we're going to do, really, really simple. Um, I'm not going to put the, the pattern on, but basically Sue's just like gone uh, ziggy-zaggy all over the place. Mm. That's a technical term, by the way. Mm -hmm. So um, And you can use your quilting rulers for that as well, and little guides if you want. Um, on something this small you wouldn't, but in the mm -hmm. next hour um, I'm going to look at um, layering, quilting and binding the finished quilt. Oh, so so we can talk stuff like that rulers. then. Okay. Um, but uh, but for this one, no, not not really for this, this tiny scale. Yeah, okay. yeah. It doesn't actually matter if you're not precise. So just um, oops, sorry, I'm got used to this machine yet. Just go around. Now we do raw edge applique. Um, the reason we do raw edge applique is because we work at such a rate of knots, we haven't time to do anything else. If you prefer to do blanket stitch, zigzag stitch, um, absolutely fine. If we, we use the fusible web method, if you prefer another method, oops, absolutely fine. I'm just going to go. Now I've got to tell you, with regard to the there. one day special, 60% of the stock has gone. A lot of you are enjoying this and we're so pleased to see that. So uh, with the one day special, you're going to get the pattern booklet. Now that in itself, if you were to buy that individually, you would be saving £28. That £28 has already been factored into your price, the saving, and then you're saving a further £7 on top of that. And not only are you getting the pattern booklet, with the patterns for the bag that we're working on right now, so the bag uh, that we're demonstrating, you're also going to get the pattern for this beautiful uh, cushion in there as well. And then this is taken from the quilt which I'm going to mention in a second so you'll be able uh, to make that too. So all of those projects but the real star of the show is the fantastic Highland Fling quilt. You will get the pattern for that. Um, we will talk later on the hour about the kit, but that is very busy, and once that sells out, that is it. Uh, and you're also gonna get the 10-inch squares with the one-day special too. So 10-inch tweed squares and the pattern booklet for 22.49. It's a very, very good price. 278-160, your item number. Okay. Right, sorry, I just thought I'd get another one done while you mm -hmm. were chatting. There. So the stems on your thistles, really easy. So either just sew an arc line or if you get a heat removable pen or chalk or whatever, mm. um, just draw a line as a guide that you can follow. And if it's a removable pen and you don't actually hit your line, does it really matter? Um, so there you go, draw them on and then just, oops, just stitch down your line. Now. Um, in fact, if you go down to the bottom, 
needle in, turn it round and come back up to the other one. And then turn it round and go back again. And I would go on the same line at least twice, possibly even three times if you thought it needed it. And don't try and be too neat because these look a lot better if you're slightly wonky. So sort of sketchy. Yeah, they, lo they look a lot better. Yeah. Um, so there you go. Perfectly now, imperfect. Yeah, now this little uh, thing here was done just as a little demo for, for the thistle, you know, to show the frayed bit. But actually, as I've been sat here, I was thinking, so as my mock-up of the bag, if I, I could put that on there and it, I could fray that back round the side and then just sew it on as a panel, oh, yeah. I thought that would look actually really good. Useful. So I'm not going to fray this one now, it would take too long. Okay. But yeah, you it shows can, what we you can know, do. Just, yeah, just well, cut it a bit nearer to and then just fray it out. Mm. And, and where you've sewn it on around, your fray wouldn't go beyond that stitch. Yeah. Because nice. that's not going to get any wear and tear on the bag, is it? No. Okay. So, right. Now then, let's just push that out the way for a moment. So we won't get the whole bag done in, in the time we've got left, but it's the elements of the bag that I really wanted to look at. So what, what we've used is, we've used the Bosal in our form. Now there was loads on the website, I don't know how much is left yeah, now. I'm afraid that's all gone. Is it all gone? Yeah, all oh gone. my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> right, so we've got the Bosal in our form as our wadding. We've got the outer tweed and we've got the lining fabric. Ours is double fusible, so what that means is it'll stick to both sides and it's a bit of a low tack. You know like your fusible web that, that we use to put, oops, to put these down, mm. that one sticks and it's gummy, it's, it's always going to leave that gumminess. Mm. Where this, it, it's quite alright, you've got a bit of play with this. And I know lots of people are quite scared of using the double fusible because they're like, oh, I'm doing this on this side what's happening on the other side yeah. so my advice is put your lining piece just there I mean you don't have to initially put your top piece or see so your outer piece the one that you want to look the best put that on first get your steam iron mm -hmm. and just go over it beautiful All right so the steam iron here is, is good. I, don't, I think it sticks okay to cotton without the steam, yeah. but for the wool you really do need that steam, otherwise steam. it's just not going to, it's not going to stick properly at all. But once you've used the steam iron, and I'm keeping it moving, I'm not staying in one place long because I don't want to scorch it. Although if you do scorch it, and I'm not going to lie, we have scorched many, many things. Yeah. So if it's just a mild scorch, yeah. Yeah. just scratch it with your nail. If it's a bad scorch, you'd need to put one of them over the top okay, or right. a leaf. There's always a Anything way around like it. Anything like that. Yeah. Anything like that. Lots of our projects, when you look closely, have got that, oh, blooming neck look about them. <laughs> right, so that has actually, the, the lining has gone on okay. But if it hadn't, all I'm going to do is, like um, pulling back a plaster, just pull it back to where your crease is, put it back on yeah. and reapply. And Perfect. that way, you're going to get a lovely, a lovely finish on your double-sided bosal. Now, I've cut this out. I used, the, I cut the bosal, and then I used the bosal as a template for cutting everything else. And that's a bit big now. So as I've got it all sturdy, I can just trim round. Okay. So that is just really, really easy. Don't cut your bosal because your pattern shape would alter. Mm. But, um, you know, anything that I'm not just, just au fair with. Now, when we've, I did show you last night, but I'll just give you a quick look again. When we assemble the bag, mm -hmm. in fact, no, let's go, let's go to doing the seam before we come back to finishing the seam. Okay. Right, so you, whoops, you're going to have a back and a front, and then your gusset, which the gusset, I'm, I would redo with them. I think they'd look fantastic. And then you've got a flap. We'll come to the flap separately in a middle, in, in a middle, in a minute. And what you need to do is tack it. Now, Sue's top tip, instead of tacking like a running stitch, for a job like this, she over sews it. I don't know if you can see the stitching I've already put on. All right. And starts from the middle. Yeah. Because if you start from one end as you're going round, you're pushing the whole thing. Whereas if you start from the middle, which is the thickest part. That's a good tip. Yeah. And then just go around. Oops. 
over sew it and as you're going round with your hand mm -hmm. it's easy to get that curved shape and take oh, nice. that off now. Now I've got to do an update just Oops. while we are uh, sewing, uh, sewing around there. The patchwork gold it's limited stock and once it's gone that is it. We do not have any more stock categorically. If it sells out it's gone. Very very busy for this. We were saying, and I just want to put this into context, you were to take everything out and sew it together you've got, and it is approximately, but you've got approximately a metre of tweed. Now think about that. And I just go, and I'm, I'm sorry to sound like a broken record, but we always get new viewers joining us. So $24.99, I know it's obviously be patchwork, you've got a lot of different designs, but I think that's kind of the allure of patchwork gold. Here's the thing, a metre of tweed, typically now, the standard price, uh, Abraham Moon, I know the, the top tweed that we work with here, you're looking at about £63 per meter. The price has gone up from 55 to 63 pounds per meter. And what's even better, at the moment, you're able to split that price. So you can use your flexi payment to split the price in half, pay 12 pounds 50 today, and then 12 pounds 50 in four weeks time. So hopefully that helps. If you haven't already done so, use the code welcome. Just type in welcome in the code section when you check out or quote it to our lovely call center staff and then you'll get five pounds off the price, which will mean that for your patchwork gold, I think that is, and I have to ask Anthea, but that would be, if we did save a fiver on this, that would be the cheapest you've ever sold yeah. patchwork gold for. Absolutely, mm. definitely, yeah. Okay, well, a lot of you are doing that, and it is going to go. So say, once it's sold out, that's it. The gold dust has sold out. Uh, the wobbler sold out, the octopus is sold out. This is the last option remaining on that form, and it is about to go as well. All right, Anthea, how are we getting on? Right, we're getting on all right, but do you know what? As I'm going round here, the needle that I've chosen is quite sharp at both ends. Right. And I thought to myself as I'm doing it, oh, I thought, set yourself up to fail, why don't you? And then I thought, well, actually, if I'm doing that, some of you at home are as well. Mm -hmm. So um, if you don't want to use a thimble, I'll tell yeah. you what I do. Put my needle in and then use the table just ah. to push it through. Oh, that's a good and, idea. Uh, so if you don't like a thimble, and lots of people don't, it's a good way to do. Now, I won't go all the way up because it's just a bit boring watching me do the same thing again and again and again. So um, I just want to point out, though, we've given you the gusset here a smidge longer than you actually need. Mm. So you're going to follow the instructions. I know. And you're going to start from the middle. So at the ends, it's going to be a little bit taller there. Right. So once you've got it, you know, even at both sides, just snip those off. Okay. And that's going to be fine. And that's going to make sure that it's lovely and square the whole way on. Because what you don't want is to get to the end and one side down like this. Yeah. Okay. So we've done it. We've done it deliberately. Okay. So, uh, and that's giving a nice shape now, isn't it? Oh, that's lovely and this, shape. this in our form, you know, it just stands up beautifully. Mm. So once you put the other side on, obviously you're looking at the line. I thought I'd give a nice bright line in so you get that contrast. Yeah. I thought if I do matching colours, it won't look the same thing. So that's your back and your front, and okay. then you've got your flap. Now the flap you can do in exactly the same way. Oops, just to um, mm -hmm. finish off here. Would you ever decorate your flap? Um, I do like a decorated flap, Yanis. Right. So I know because with the bag here, the design we have, obviously the decorations down here, but there's nothing to stop you, obviously embellishing further on that flap. Do you know what flap, would look too? lovely on there? Go on. On that covered button, a little yeah. embroider bumblebee. Oh, that be nice. Mm. Oh, you could just embroider a little thistle on there. Yeah, pretty. And, and use that. Like that. That's a great so, idea. Yeah. Um, I meant to say as well. Mm -hmm. When you've sewn that, so it's tacked now. Sew it with your quarter-inch seam. Mm -hmm remove your tacking and at that point if you want to cut back the um, the inner form out of the seam that would mean you've got less bulk in there and makes it easier to then work with so that's that's a, a good tip so sew your seam round and then you don't want an ugly seam like that in your bag mm. so we'll just have a look at, at my ironing mat oh which happens to be a bag and uh, so we've done the same thing here you see it's the it's the same method and all we've done is bind the seam and because it's inside your bag and no one's going to be inspecting it machine both sides so I wouldn't I wouldn't be hand stitching it right now I'm gonna look at binding properly in the next hour but basically you're putting it on one side and you're folding it over and then machine stitch it that side and it's all nice and, and neat that's it so you flap you can either do in the same way just like I have here so you've got your outer 
and you line in and then you bind round. Or what you could do is this, the iron over there. If you, oops, iron the outer fabric because you want that one to look its best. You don't want to be compromising with that. Iron the outer fabric onto the inner form. Mm -hmm. Right sides together, put your lining on. Don't sew the flat bit there, but if you sew round, let's just give it a whirl. nice project to make and just to remind you all what we're doing right now this is going to be one of the projects included in our project pack for the one day special two-thirds of the stock has gone for the one day special you're getting your project booklet which includes the main feature of the project booklet is the Highland fling but you're going to get other projects added to it for instance the bag that we're showing here that can be made using the 10 inch squares you've also got this cushion that you'd be able to make again using your 10 inch squares if you want to create the cushion front uh, a beautiful tweed cushion part with the applique or if you wanted to make this speaking of applique and cushions all included in the project booklet but the star of the show has to be the quilt uh, the quilt the Highland Fling quilt is spectacularly good we're actually going to take a look at it and just show you so that is the quilt it tells a story there are so many individual elements and that story is explored the viaduct in there it's iconic and it's in a well-known movie invo involving a, a boy wizard you've got the uh, lighthouse in there as well uh, the row of houses the seagulls the otters the seals all within as your eye gazes around flows around the design uh, even down to the mackerel that was included because I'll, I'll let Anthea tell that story but it's just such a wonderful piece just to remind you, so that's the one day special, if you do want to make that quilt, we have got the quilt kit, but, and there is a big but here, it's sold out, we brought it back on extended delivery, once the extended delivery has gone, that is it, we cannot, we categorically cannot get hold of any more, I think it was this larger piece it's you were saying It's the border fabric that yeah. um, there's no more left at the mill. Okay. So if I buy more, it will be at the higher price as well. Yeah, so that's it. We're leaving at that. We won't be adding any more stock. So if you do want to go for this bundle, oh, there you are. If you do want to go for this bundle, as I think that everything disappeared, uh, just make sure to know. Well, I'll keep abreast of uh, the updates, but, I mean, once that's gone, it's gone, and the extended delivery has proven very popular. It all boils down to the fact, as quilters, and you can instantly you get aware of the value here, because... If we were to offer you, say, a quilt, and this is the price of a quilt. I know anyone channel hopping would be like, okay, that's a considered purchase, but quilters will know this is what you pay for a premium quilt, but typically you'd be normally working with a quilting cotton. Anthea works with tweed, and the difference being tweed is 63 pounds a meter, a premium quilting cotton can any, be anywhere from 15 plus pounds a meter, but let's say around about 15 pounds a meter. So 15 pounds a meter quilting cotton, 63 pounds a meter for tweed. And look at the amount of tweed that you are getting here, an awful lot. So this is, uh, I mean, that's huge. So just thinking at the end of it, you're gonna have the most iconic quilt that you hang this up, it's going to be a talking point. This is a special piece. It is absolutely an heirloom quilt, and you can split that price in half because $228.99 today, okay, a little bit scary. But when you're paying $76.33, just a little bit more digestible. So there we go. Busy for that one. And I say when the extended delivery has gone, then I'm afraid that is it. Oh, and just to remind you, it will be dispatched on the, I'm right in saying it is 3rd of February. Okay. Sorry, Anthea. Yep, that's absolutely fine. Right, so I've just stitched round the flap, and I thought, actually, I can show you um, what I do with the inner form. Just, I've just peeled it off the outer fabric, and just mm -hmm. put your scissors on the side, Oops. so they're flat, and then they're only going to um, cut the inner form. And you see that the, the seam allowance now is being revealed. Yeah. I'm being, as we say up north, a bit cat-handed, because I'm trying to show the camera and cut properly. There we go. So that's the seam allowance cut away. And then all we're going to do is turn it through. And once it's turned through, take a few minutes to get your seam nice and straight. And then you can use the iron to iron that flat. And what I would do is, once you've got it straight and you're happy, yeah. um, top stitch 
around the edge and that'll keep it nice and sharp okay i mean you know i've just done it quickly there yeah that'll go on your bag and that's that's probably all we need to see really Yanis, yeah. of this actual bag okay but i've got some other elements if we've got time of well, other we bags have got time so can... actually let's move on yeah. to that i will just give everyone a little reminder this is the bag that we're working towards you get your instructions to make this beautiful bag within the one day special and the project booklet so if you do want to recreate this it's in the one day special and you can use uh the uh, 10 inch squares you're getting now let's jump onto the website because we have got a couple of happy hour deals and there is ooh, about 12 minutes remaining to get hold of them so happy hour deals firstly I've got to say um, the happy hour with oh we're gonna see it actually in action so we'll I'll just I'll show you live because it's worth seeing but go online and you'll be able to shop at your leisure and see all the products on the show this is a great project booklet a really good one because you're getting t um, eight beautiful beautiful bags full patterns detailed instructions how to make the bags I mean they look great on on the pictures but wait let me just show you here so I'm am I right in saying eight there are eight bags in there uh, yes yeah, it's, it's however many are on the back yeah oh it is yeah sorry I'll show you on the back so we had to, those are all your projects that you're going to be able to make there we go so there are eight okay now let me just show you here because I think you have to see them live to appreciate when we say bags now look at the price 1999 you're paying it will be what two pounds thirty per per pattern so look at that look at that bag and it doesn't have to be in tweed obviously in tweed it's just next level but even if you want to make this with your your cottons your quilt and cottons you can that is a stunning bag or how about that as a bag now interestingly enough and we actually measured this out you could absolutely use your 10 inch squares from the one day special if I grab one here you'll see the size of those so you could be using your 10 inch squares from the one day special to make this bag here and just imagine that look at that bag so that's beautiful or what about this bag I mean when Anthea brings you bags this is the kind of quality of bag we are talking about you know they what, are Janice, incredible sorry to interrupt no, you as you pick that one up then your 10 inch squares yeah. you could replicate that Marland Heather kind of look on With that, that bag it would look fab so use your ten. That's why Anthea was so keen to bring you the ten inch squares with a one day special to be used. And then over here, if you are a sewer, come on. This is such a great bag. It's actually really well designed. It is brimming with pockets, but you've got lovely applique work. Can you imagine going to a class with a bag of this nature? My good. And if you had to buy this, how much it would cost? So 19.99 your price there. You're saving 32 pounds, but only for the next few minutes at the top of the hour that 32 pound saving will disappear so please if you want this be quick and I just want to put this into context because if you're thinking oh what 51.99 where are they getting that price from Anthea sells her patterns for six pounds fifty so you've got eight patterns in there and that's where we're getting our price from so that is a genuine price you got six pounds fifty that is not unreasonable that is actually a very good price in itself the price you have in your screen what two pounds thirty per pattern next level uh, 524 177 your item number we are sticking with the same theme of value here so this is out of Africa I've got to be super quick I'm just going to show you a couple of examples because it is worth seeing if you want to create just bear with me it's worth this so if you want to create something like that you can this is one of the patterns included within the project booklet or if you want to create something like that come on with the meerkats <laughs> Or if you want to have a go with the parrot, you've got the parrot in there. And I just want it. Last one, I promise. And then we'll get back to Anthea. Yeah. I Look love that, that one. So that is your Out of Africa pattern booklet. 1999 your price there. Saving £25.50 here. Uh, 164810, your item number. Anthea, you've got about four minutes. Right, that's fine. So bag handles, easy peasy. Get a piece of uh, fabric, measure it to whatever your, your pattern is that you're working on. And we've got this natty little way. Mm -hmm. Turn one edge in, and we're like we're always pricking our fingers with pins on straps. Yeah. Just sew down that edge All so right. it's sewn. And then if you put your other row edge into the middle and come onto the top with that edge that's already finished, ah. just sew again oh, that is simple. through all the layers. And then what we would do, because it can look a bit odd if you've just got one layer of sewing there, yeah. is just do another couple of layers of sewing, then you've got a nice kind of ribbed effect. Pad, yeah. going, and it, it just adds to the strength as well. Just watching so, you do that, I kind of find tweed, it looks like it's obviously 
designs vary, but the tweed mm. especially you have here, easy to marry up as well. You know when you oh, fold gosh, it over, yeah. you can line yeah. it up really precisely. Definitely, definitely. I mean, with the cottons, you're always like, ooh, stay away from stripes, mm. oof, oof. But with tweed, it's like, give me stripes. Yeah. It just, uh, somehow, point. it's just different. Yeah. So yeah, neat and one edge, fold the raw edge into the middle, put your neat and one on top, sew through your layers. Oh, Perfect. here's one I've got earlier. So um, if you want to put a rectangular, um, you know, what not in there yeah so easy so make this as I've just shown you fold it in half and mm -hmm. you would trap it between your lining and your bag so basically you're going to put your all edges together as you put your lining in mm -hmm. catch it in well you'd catch it in and and that's it done and to attach your strap at the top just loop through now you would want to um, neaten off the edge yeah loop it through you can see there and then if I put it under the machine that I can't use, okay. um, just go around and yeah. so, you know like um, the house that you draw without taking the pen off and it's got a cross in the middle? Yeah. Just with your machine, go around and do that kind of, that kind of thing. Go through the layers. Now, at this stage, if you go over one line more than once, it doesn't matter, but just do make sure that you've pulled that ring back out of the way. So just round, oops, and uh, back round, oops, and then do a cross in the middle. Now I won't go further than that because otherwise it's all the time used up. Yeah. But that's that's your that's your bag handle, isn't it? Oh, there perfect. But the other thing I wanted to show you that we're yeah. all scared of is the zips. Oh yeah. Okay, you've got about over a minute. A minute. So so easy to do the zips. Um, like in the top of the bag. Mm -hmm. So here's one, one side that's finished. On this side here, raw edges together. You want your outer, your zip, your lining, and your inner form. So because of the finished thing, we want the lining and the outer to be seen. You need those two to be next to your zip. Mm -hmm. Raw edges together. Mm -hmm. I've no idea how to put the zipper foot on here, so we just have to go for it. All the raw edges together and just sew down the line, oops, down the go, there we go, open it out, it hopefully is going to work, that's a bit roly poly isn't it like that, mm -hmm. again cut your inner form out of the seam, open it up, top stitch and if that's a bit wonky you see there it bows mm -hmm. when you top stitch if you just bring it back to straight you'll get a lovely straight edge and no one will ever know good. that you weren't perfect good tip there you go that's I my bag's that. finished and I'm peaked yeah. now <laughs> thank you so much i've had a lot of fun oh thanks likewise oh, well auntie you've got one more hour at four o'clock what are you going to yeah. be doing it for uh we're going to look at layering uh binding quilting hmm. good news is you've been back with adam so i'm sure he's going to give you more stuff to add no. to the project booklet no he's been making notes no <laughs> I can't, can i not have you please i can't cope with him well bless him. <laughs> you guys are going to have fun thank you so much thank, thank you, you. Uh, thank you for your company as well i hope you've enjoyed it and you know this is what we're all about here at the craft store and our sister company create and craft we want to inspire you and anthea is so good at that so anthea will be back at four but the fun is not stopping don't go anywhere oh jelly bean craft inspirations is coming up next after that nice crafting pets and play stamps and then we've got spring in the forest with funky fossil hello i'm hayley i've always been an avid crafter behind the scenes and have been given the opportunity to share some of my favorite products with you in a monthly show called handmade by hayley I'll be covering lots of areas of soft crafts like quilting, dressmaking, sewing, knitting, even printing your own fabrics. Did you know you can continue watching the craft store 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. 
Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If it's not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember, you'll need your router's password at hand whether you are on a wired or a wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the center of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type the craftstore.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcasts and access to previous shows. Now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite TV shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly and I'm really excited to be working with you guys here at the Craft Store. We've been here since the very beginning and hopefully we'll continue to bring you lots of new and exciting soft craft projects. We've got everything from things like our Fabazine, which contains 12 different projects that you can do either in one go or split them up separately. Um, and that's a journey through all types of different soft crafting. And then we've got things that are really specific like our stitchery, which is a journey through all kinds of embroidery as well. So make sure you join me and craft yourself silly here at the craft store. It's like an airline advert, isn't it? <laughs> fly off somewhere oh my goodness um, I think some of the items on this show will be flying out the door because we have got terrific deals for you now we've got some happy hour deals for you where the price will remain the same for this hour and this hour only and we've got some great prices on some new items as well which are a fixed price so you can buy them after the hour if we've still got them. Now, I'm not on my own for this hour. We've got the lovely Carol with us. You're right, Carol. I am. I'm just having a fiddle. <laughs> well, I <t> <laughs> quite what to do with that one. Well, um, how are you, Karen? I'm fine, thank you very much. You had a busy show earlier on with your puppy dog. I had a lovely one when we yeah. got my puppy dog. You didn't need any therapy there, uh, did No, they? you did. Uh, it's, are you doing another show with them later? Straight after, back to back. Excellent. Well, that's a stamp show. With stamp shows, you might need some cardstock and some envelopes and some folded card to go alongside that. So, it's a great show to start with, isn't it? Yeah, we're going to have a play, aren't we? You're just going to throw and things at me. And we're going to do some it. crafting as well. <laughs> we certainly are. That is a play to me. It Everybody is. always laughs at me when they say we're going to have a play. That is my kind of play. Yeah. Do you know what? That's what we're going to do. We've got nothing really in mind for our demos. Nothing at all. I've, got, I've got one little thing in yeah. mind with some acetate. Okay. But out from there, anybody got anything they want us to try, Ooh. give us an email in. Yeah. We'll do it. Yeah, it may not work. I'm not saying that everything will work. We'll give it a the try. The cardstock may not do exactly what you want to do it but that's what I'm here for just to see whether it's going to do exactly what you want it to do. It's a little bit like me I don't always do exactly what you want me to do <laughs> but I'll try. Uh, right, that's mostly you... like you I think yeah, from I what think, I want. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you can email in it is studio at the by the way if your basket comes to 20 pounds or more and you've not used the welcome code then just before you check out, go through the system, just before you check out, put welcome in, it will ask you for the code, you'll get £5 off. That's on a purchase of £20 or more. Good, isn't it? Uh, you can use that on Create and Craft as well, our sister channel, if you want to. It's only one per person, so use it here on the craft store, and you can also use it on Create and Craft as well. Why are we talking about Create and Craft? Well, the craft store bought Create and Craft, and now we work all underneath the same umbrella, Ella, Ella. Now, let's start off with the first item. We're already busy for this, Karen. It's a great little kit, and the quality of the cardstock and those envelopes, or envelopes, however you like to pronounce it, um, are just quite 
Brilliant. They are, yes. The cardstock is absolutely gorgeous. It reminds, uh, you remember last happy hour we had a white cardstock like this, and I presume this will be like a mixed media cardstock. And then your envelopes, 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 just depends what I'm thinking about it, what I, what I Me say. Me too. You have to, if, you, if you think about it, you say envelopes. If you don't, you say envelopes. It's a funny one, isn't it's it? It's weird, weird. But this has got a linen texture onto it, so you'll be able to uh, ink through to it and uh, get some nice texture onto it and you know it's not a bill when that comes through yeah but <laughs> hopefully not a hundred cards and envelopes yeah it's exceptional value for money ten pounds and 99 pence seven four one six seven five you can divide the cost of this into two payments so five pounds fifty today five pounds fifty in a month's time that's our flex extravaganza event that we've got running at the moment super busy for those um already nearly 20 percent of the stock gone of them and we're only three minutes into the show right black card stock you can do so much with this it could be your background you can matten there with it uh, and you can see here we've got this gorgeous deep black and it's really important uh, this is your jet black card if you're die cutting um, or if you're just cutting into the card for example it's really important to have that black go straight through to the core and out the other side because when you're die cutting you don't want to have that white mark going around it's acid and lignin free so it's good for your scrapbooking nine pounds and 99 pence 90 sheets in total a4 sheets 90 sheets so it works out to be possibly about 11 pence per sheet yeah 11 there you go right off the top of my head that karen you'd be that proud of me. me i know i was still trying to work that one out that's a, that is actually a shock have you been uh, swallowing a logarithm book or a um, no book? no not been doing anything like that i have found out my dna this morning so maybe that's given me a little bit of a perk <laughs> you sent my dna off and now i know where i come from you're related to einstein <laughs> I wish. No, no, but I'm not related to Jane, so we're all good there. Other geniuses. Uh, yes. Add another two more, yeah. Yes. <laughs> right. So, with your jet black card running at 11 pence per sheet, um, it's, it is important to have card that goes all the way through, you know, through to the core. Yeah, the beauty about this one is if you look onto the screen, it's acid and lignum free. Yeah. 220, that's going to be ideal for doing all your, all your uh, journaling books, yes. making your books. Yeah, yeah. Because it's not too thick that it's going to gonna bend and it's going to be sturdy once you start adding your papers onto it. But that is the, between 220, 240, the absolute perfect um, journaling and scrapbooking weight paper. Yeah, it is, isn't it? It is. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's a nice feel to it as well. So if yes. you are popping that on the outside of your books, superb. Uh, but you could make sheets for the inside of your books for this. You can make pockets. Cut them in half, ring pockets, binders and things like that. Pockets, everything else, yeah, definitely. Love that. 999-994-968 is your item number. Love that. Jet Black 220 GSM. Right. Let's move on. You know I love this wood it's effect. It's um, lovely, isn't it? There's something about it. It's just absolutely gorgeous. It reminds me, Karen, of like a very thin sheet of cork. It's not. It's paper. But you'll see what I mean if we have a closer look on that. You've got that lovely wood texture. And that goes on both sides. But I don't know how they've made this, but it's actually quite remarkable. It's very remarkable. If you look it up to the light you can see that it's like thinner so it, it to me i think that's an emboss it's not a cut through they're not they're not slices through it but it's been it's been embossed and it's like an embossing that's done in a bark a bark Effect. once you start putting yeah. color onto it then you can start oh, seeing all the knots and everything else uh, but you did absolutely gorgeous you did a great demo uh we'll, we'll try and do that again where you scored down the card you, you kind of made um like, Planks, like, uh, flooring. like flooring yeah, yeah it was it was brilliant it really was we'll try and get that done for you um uh, this is a happy hour deal saving 10 pounds 9.99 553 is your item number and it's 130 gsm so and that will go through your printer love like yeah it will won't it yeah you could print on here it's you a could good print idea. on it so you like printing on there uh, you know oh you know when you go into these like uh, these these public places and they've got like what oh you, yeah what, what public places well, well i'm going to say a pub but you know like uh, a public place and, yeah. and they've got the wall done all and they have all these like signs on them ah 
yeah. And you could do it, you yeah, could you make could. it, you could print it, yeah. and then do the, the panel effect, yeah. and it looks like it's painted onto oh, wood. That, yeah, I know what you mean. That would look mm. fabulous, wouldn't it not? Uh, right, so happy idea, which means the price is going back up at the top of the hour. If you want to get that, get it in your basket. And, of course, you can multi-buy as well. Uh, so you've got 52 minutes and 5 seconds to get those deals. Right, we have got your antique gold. I've not seen this before. Uh, it's a great colour. I've seen, like, you know, your gold card. I don't know whether you can... Get, I don't know whether I can show you this because it's the... Yeah, there you go. You can just about see that. Can you see the reflection that you've got on there? That's with the lights here in the studio. But it just goes to show the quality that you've got with this uh, antique gold. 350 GSM. You get 60 sheets in total. Saving £7 with that happy hour deal. And... It's almost got like a texture to it, Karen, as well. Yes, yeah. Uh, if you've never seen this one, I'll tell you what exactly what it is. On, you then. know when you get your posh chocolates, chocolate yes. boxes, and yes. they line it? That's the actual cardstock that they line. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Gavin's like a, uh, a used car a, a carpet salesperson. Ah. He'll go and get ender rolls, you know <laughs> what I mean? And he's managed to get some of this, and it's, it's what they actually use. So... Um, it's it's really coated, yeah. You know, because you don't normally get a mirror card that's that's three hundred and fifty. But if they had it as a shiny on the yeah. inside of chocolates, where it was all smooth, yeah, it would be completely covered with fingerprints and yeah. what have you. So having that texture on it's having a, a foil without yeah. tra without the possibility of getting fingerprints stuck onto it because you know, you'll not see some, them. If you've got some like black ink or gilding wax and you put it over there, would you be able to highlight any of the texture? You certainly would. Or if you've got that. some uh, black paint, yeah. um, gesso, yeah. paint it over it yeah. and then wiped it straight off, it would yeah. go straight into all... Oh, you got any gesso with you? I haven't got any gesso. Yeah. I haven't got any We might have some paint. black ink that we could try that with. Give I've it got a black ink. Hey, we'll, hey, we'll give got, it a go. I've got ink. You know. We'll give it a go. Um, that is a superb deal. Nine ninety nine. It's a happy hour deal. Sixty sheets. Don't miss out on that. It's apps. Look at that. Look at the shine on it. Three double one eight nine seven is your item number. Talking of chocolate, we've got some chocolate colour card for you. Um, now this is lovely. Let me put one of the jet black next to it so you can see the contrast there. There you go. It's a beautiful, beautiful uh, chocolate colour, isn't it? A brown. It is. And it's that one there. So I just wanted to show you the contrast. There you go. Um, in fact, if you're going for the jet black and you're using the um, the chocolate brown, they would work well together. They would work together, but look at the the weight of it. It's a 550. You don't get a 550 GSM very often. Oh it's my it's, word. it's no, like you don't. board, but it's. Um, I'm not saying that it will cut all die cuts, but it does die cut. Um, well, if you've got a big die, for example, a big die, yeah. well, you'd be able to cut grey board and everything else yeah. with that. But you can use uh, the the um, slim dies with that as long as they're not too intricate you wouldn't be able to cut to obviously go through a lacy yeah. one but if you were cutting shapes or yeah. you were cutting uh, uh, something that's quite of a light material with yes. dies with material yeah. that you can cut cut big shapes do you know what i'm thinking i'm just going to grab a bit of that antique gold if you've got the chocolate with the antique gold and you could matte and layer it up how lush would that be and quite apt really bearing in mind this has been used in chocolate boxes it hasn't it's not pre-used but look at that doesn't that look lovely it would be nice to if it, it were pre-used you'd have a smell do you know it, what wouldn't, oh, wouldn't that be a great job eat all the chocolates and then you could just sell the card <laughs> uh, <laughs> you wouldn't be able to get out of house eventually no but they do look great together don't they so do consider of that but with that weight yeah great for your constructions as well love that 70 sheets 9.99 what a price what, what a about price. chocolate chocolate colored base for a box and yep. then the, the uh, antique gold top oh yes with a, with a brown a chocolate brown ribbon around yeah it. with a little chocolate cake inside yeah or a green or a cream ribbon yeah oh i like it uh, it's a happy hour deal for this hour this hour only zero four three one nine nine is your item number right we have got some rainbow card for you all the colors of the rainbow and then some we're busy for this already yeah we are yeah yeah, that's right, Lester. Um, yes, we are. So you've got your yellows, your greens, you've got your pinks, you've got your blues in here, lilac colours, beautiful lemon as well, £9.99, saving £16. Should be £25.99. So it's a fabulous price, nine pence a sheet. And the great thing is, it's there in your craft room now, isn't it? So if you need a little bit of card to add, maybe a, uh, an appl applique, you know, if you're cutting something out, flowers, yeah. um, or if you want to matte and layer this, it's there in your craft room. And what I'd recommend, 
because you're saving £16, why don't you buy a couple of these? If you do, and it comes to, well, it comes to just under £20, so you can divide the cost into two months, interest-free payment. So £9.99 this month, £9.99 next month. You might as well do that and buy a couple, and then you'll get both sets delivered to your door, so you'll get 200 pieces. And if you're going for this times two, because it is a happy hour deal, the price will be going back up. If you add something else to your basket, you can get a fiver off. Yeah. As long as it's over £20, if you use the code WELCOME, if you've not used it before, you can get £5 off. I know. We've got some great deals, we really have. Uh, 904455 is your item number for your rainbow car, but I do need to tell you, we are busy, busy, busy for that one. Right, we have got some spots and stripes. Well, I've got spots. Oh, I thought I'd grown out of it, but I have. Anyway. You grow um, back into it at a certain age, I'll tell you. Yeah. <laughs> and then you grow back out of it again. <laughs> and then you go back into it again. Uh, right, you've got spots, you've got dots, and you've got stripes here. These are nice, Karen. They're beautiful. It's a, it's a standard for our for our Gavin on Jelly Bean. He has this, and he has it printed. So it's like though printed, yeah. which is the top class in a printing where it's it's put over in in, in different stages. Um, what he'd normally do is is get a palette. More often than not, is the super smooth that's underneath it. Yeah. And he has it printed specially, but it's a real popular. We've even got uh, Carolyn who uh, Carolyn and Sam who both do. Uh, the design team for yeah. me for, yeah. for what I do they use it uh, the spots and stripes they love it I love it you can make anything with it you've got a cake at the side of you it's like a six is it a six oh, tier I thought you meant I had a proper cake no no Go no, no. I'm, always, then. I know, I'm too busy watching your figure for you that's a cracker that is a cracker that's <laughs> well a John's and it, 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 even though it's like 300, 300 GSM you can see how well it's uh, oh it's one just of John's gone round. it's one of John's ah, crackers right Love that, yeah, the dye. The dye, it's one of John's dyes, so it, it even it shapes around. But that cake there, yeah, when you price it up, that cost me, I think it was £3.60. It's, it's written underneath exactly yeah. how much that, with the, with the cutting of the flowers and everything else, I think it was £3.60. Flowers, that's amazing. You could put little gifts in each one. Um, I really like that. Isn't that Beautiful. Think about a, a wedding and a, the, oh. when you, you know, when you pay a lot for your centerpieces, your yeah. table centerpieces. That would make that, a you, you could have piece. those on each center of them. Love that. It's a huge saving of twenty pounds. It's only nine ninety nine for eighty sheets, three hundred GSM, and of course that means you can multi buy as well and divide the cost into two payments. It's going to work really well with that uh, rainbow card. Doesn't matter what colour, but I've just got some blue here. So maybe you don't want too many of the dots, but you could use it again, you know, against your colours to matte and layer like that. It just makes a really nice border, doesn't it? Whether you're using the dots or let's grab that and put that underneath, you could be using uh, the stripes in such a fashion as well. 999-690-748 is your item number. It's a happy hour deal. It is a cracking deal. It really is. 690-748 is your item number. Now, we've got some acetate for you. Um, it's over there, so I'm going to shuffle this way. Are you coming with me? Are you coming with me? Oh, that's nice. Acetate. Um, there's a lot here, Karen. What do we use acetate for? Um, all sorts really. You can do it for apertures. You can uh, um, shake cards. You can. It's nice thick ap uh, acetate. It's 220 micron. Yeah. And um, you can make cards with it. You can make card bases with it. Oh, you yeah. can do your boingers. You know, yeah, your, like boingers, for your pop out cards. For your pop -out like cards. Um, we. I, I am. It's, it, that is of construction weight. Yeah, it is. It's very That's good. That's construction it? weight. Very, but, very good. Uh, Look at that. It's always uh, you can stamp on it. Yep. I've not tested this one, but I doubt that you can heat emboss on this one. Okay. I I, Gary says he doesn't think it is. Okay. However, we could, if needed be, we can get an heat gun on it and see how it crinkles. Yeah, we could try. We could try it. Yeah. Uh, you stamp on it with acetate. Uh, sorry, with stays on, and then you colour on alcohol links at the back. Yeah. You can do all the glitter yeah. windows. You can put glitter onto it with uh, glitter glue and stuff like that. Fabulous idea. Oh. It's always something, isn't it? It's quite difficult to show you on TV, but when it's gathered together like that, you get a hundred. Uh, you get forty sheets of that. It's one hundred and ninety by two hundred and sixty-five millimeters, to be precise. But you know what? If I just held one up like that, you just wouldn't be able to see anything, would you? <laughs> 
You just have to trust me that I've got that in my hand. Uh, two, uh, 9 99 It is a half price deal. It's a fantastic deal as well. 498972 is your item number. Right, now, to stick everything together, we've got some glue for you. Well, you've got, you've, you've got part of the glue. Cause I've oh, used you're the actually rest. getting three, yes. I, I've got to say that Karen has one of my glues. Uh, but you're getting three in total. They've also got the little protector that you can pop on the top like so. So that is your applicator. Just give it a squeeze and that's going to come out, which is fabulous. You get three of these, 125 mil each, 11.99 for all three. All three. Just to show you, that's three fingers there. Uh, 197471 is your item number for that. It's a great deal. We're saving nine pounds. It's a happy hour deal, so the price of this is going back up. Don't miss out. You need glue. It's a consumable. You use it all the time. So that's that is a terrific deal. Great glue for everything. It's a very, 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 very strong glue. If um, I, you, I've also made, um, if we'd got paint, we could have done some crack, some crackle paint with Ooh. it. But I haven't brought paint with me today. Okay. okay. Sorry. Well, that's all right, Karen. We'll let you off. Um, we've got some envelopes, envelopes, envelopes. Uh, for you. Um, these are lovely, top quality. Uh, really like them. You can never have enough. Envelopes. They're exactly the same as the uh, the, the textured ones, aren't they? Same as yes. what's on the uh, the the C6 one. So you've got them some in six by six. And if you think about it, this two uh, this two hundred there. Yeah, two that's a lot. Two hundred, it? it's a lot. Nine ninety nine. It's a half price deal. One two four six two nine is your item number. How many times do you run around the house thinking, has anyone got an envelope? Has anyone got an envelope somewhere? You must have. You search all the drawers trying to find one. Now you've got 200, so you shouldn't be searching too far. You can multiply those as well if you want to. 124629 is your item number going for those, which is a fabulous deal. Um, and that's a happy hour deal, so the price is going back up at the top of the hour. Uh, right, Karen, what are we going to have a look at first then? What would you want to have a look at? Do you want to have a look at the wood? Oh, shall we? Yes, yeah, please. Do please. the wood. Let's get the... Uh, let's get my... Uh, Scoring What's board, yeah, that's scoring it. board. There you yeah, go. That's it. That's the scoring board. It was this morning when I woke up. Anyway, I'm just grabbing. Just while you're doing that, I've just got um, a tray from the back of the set, and I'm thinking, you know, if you did have like an old tray or an old box or something like that, cover it with this paper, and you could turn it into into like a really cool wood effect. You know, mm. if you've got MDF or something like that, Karen. Certainly. Certainly, yeah. and also you can make your envelopes with it. This is my uh, ATC envelopes, but you can make envelopes with it. It, it glows absolutely beautiful. Um, I will start with this. Do the um, do half a sheet of uh, of flooring. We'll do them at a half half an inch, so you can turn it that upside down. Is whichever way you you do it, it goes all the same. So I'm going to just bring down, and I'm going to I'm using. Um, a metal embossing tool. Karen, is I'm there not, a right side and a wrong side? Not really, no. Okay. No, if you pop it like that, it's just that the... I can't see a right side no, or a wrong not, side. No, there's not, so you can do it on any side. Yeah, yeah, it just depends how the light hits it as well. So the light was coming at it and I just wanted to decide I wanted to do it one side and not yeah. the other. No reason, no reason at all. As paper, it's... Uh, it's it is paper, it's not cardstock. You wouldn't be able to make a card from it. It's got a lovely feel to it. It's I don't know whether beautiful. that's the texture. And uh, you know, I've, I've said it's like thin cork. It's not cork, it's paper. But it's it's that that like soft feel. Does that it, make sense? It, yes. Yeah. Yes. It's it's like raw wood. Yeah. It feels like yeah. raw wood, yeah, it you does. know, before you sand it yes. down. That's what it feels like. So we'll go up to six inches, and the uh, and we've just done them all at half inch. Then I'm going to turn it around ninety degrees. Now you wouldn't just score it and have your planks going straight down. No. So we're going to go one, three, you know, every half okay. one. Like like brickwork. Like brickwork, yeah. yeah. So I'm going to do it at two inches and just keep going down every third one, and I might need just to. Uh, does help if you keep things straight, Karen. I'm going to go down two inches and then we'll go down at six on the same ones and it's every every second one that we're going to do. And then the middle ones, let's do it at four. So it's it's we've done the odd ones, now yeah. we're going to do the even ones. 
Like a postman. Like that. Is that what a postman does? I don't know. I just made that up. I thought you'd had a job as a postwoman as well. No. So you've got like it going odds and evens, and if you turn it over there, don't know whether you can. You can't possibly. Oh, I think we can. You can see it a little bit, but wait while I do the magic. Okay. Let's do the magic. What's the magic, Karen? So I've got a distress oxide. A distress oxide. Oh, we're gonna do a distress. No, we'll do a distress oxide, and we're just gonna go over it oh, very lightly. Yeah. So we're going to go over it very lightly and it brings all that embossing out but you can see now it's more like wood yeah look at that oh that is absolutely yeah. fantastic what a great idea if you've got a doll's house or if you've got like karen said you know make a sign for the for the wall uh you could make it look like planks of wood you could do the planks of wood larger or smaller it's entirely up to you just getting a little bit of ink like we're doing now you can start to see it's bringing out that wood effect on there so have a go with that with your different ink inks maybe your gilding waxes on there maybe a bit of gesso and all those kind of things as well but that is such a terrific look isn't it and the actual wood grain the actual wood grain is already in the paper it is, and what Karen's yeah. done is just scored uh, like the, the, the floorboards or, or the um, like a wall effect it's yeah. brilliant the um, the oxide is a bit a bit of a uh, because it's an opaque one yeah it's not so uh, maybe taking a little bit off can you see there now Yes. Just see it. Yeah. It's like a wood grain. Yeah, got you. So maybe go on, um, not directly from the ink. Maybe get a blender or something. Get a blender yeah. or do, or do it with a, 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 a distress ink yeah. as opposed to an oxide. Yeah. But you can get, you can see it through through there. Yeah. I'm just trying to think of any. Ah, look, let's have a look. I've got a bit of dry ink on this okay. one. This is yeah, you know what? It's just Even normal, a tiny bit. normal ink that's on there. Yeah, love that. Look at that. You can see the. It looks like uh, the knots in in yeah. the trees. Do you know what? That is absolutely superb. I love that. Nine ninety nine five five three two two nine. I've got some news on our first item that we showed you. Been really busy. You love this. Uh, is it seventy percent? Three quarters of the stock, my word, very busy for this. When we had a look at what was on the show, we thought this might go first. So you've got the lovely textured card, you can see there, which is beautiful. And then you've also got your envelopes as well, which are beautiful and also slightly textured. What's nice is you've got the two different tones there, so it's not exactly the same colour. I don't like something to be the same colour as the envelope. I don't know why. I just think it looks a little bit posher. It looks like you've made a little bit more of an effort if it's two different colours. That's exactly what these are. 1099 741675 is your item number. They're all pre-scored as well, so you don't have to use a scoreboard. All pre-scored, which is perfect. So busy on that. 75% of the stock has gone on three quarters. Three quarters being bigger than 75%. Is that right? No, I'm, that's I'm exactly ju right. I'm just, I'm so bad at math. I always just, get are that you bad confused. in percentages? But, uh, yeah. Fractions and percentages. If, if you put those two together, I'm, I get all mixed up. Yeah. So, I will do, shall I do a quick one of, of this? Oh, give us a quick one, Give Karen. you a quick one. So, right. I've I folded all five in half. What I am going to do is put open them up, put them back onto my scoreboard, and then we're going to measure it. It's, it's 21, as we know. Um, it would be 21 for that, uh, for a, uh, b -b 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 a C6. I'm going to score at 5, 5, and 16. So I'm scoring 5 from each end, yep. and I'm just doing 5 and 16. Okay. Opening them all up with the centre fold going to the front, doing it at 5 and 16. We're doing this very, very quickly before they sell out. And the same again? Yep, 5, five and 16. And 16. And again, this is going to be a star card. Okay. So if you're doing it at 5 and then you're doing it on the 16th, will yep. that make it even each side? Yep, because you've got 21. So not to five. Yeah. Twenty-one. Take away five. Yes. Sixteen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so glad you're here, Karen. You see, it's it's really difficult for me with with, with maths because I just you're a genius I at just maths. Whack it over. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Whack it. <laughs> I bet you do. I um, was I was known for being a cruel mum. 
uh, to well, Jacob's okay. school because I want him to have a cup later. Well, do you know what? That's not a bad thing, is it? You know, it's good. It's good to get the old grey matter working. And, but you know, it's, it's all about. It's, it's just rhythm, isn't it? And, and um, what's the word? Not method. What's the word? What's the word? What's the word? When things just work out, not a plan. I'll think. I'll think of that word in a moment. No idea. No, no, idea. no idea. Words fail me. Numbers never do. <laughs> <laughs> and this many a time I'm doing things and I'm like blah 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 blah. Uh, but uh, numbers never do. So I did pinch a glue. What did I do with it? It's here. Now the, the the textured card that we're working on at the moment. Limited stock, everyone. Limited stock. So if you want to get it, we'll carry on demoing until it's gone. Uh, seven four one six seven five. Remember, you can divide the cost of that into two months interest-free payments. So five fifty today, five fifty in a month's time. If you are a Freedom member, no P and P to pay. That is a great deal. And if you are going for this at ten ninety nine, and then you might need some more next month because you're making cards. Why don't you go for two? Get two today and only pay. Ten ninety nine today, and ten ninety nine in a month's time. It's entirely up to you. I think these will be beautiful for wedding invitations. Well, actually, yeah. And if you've not used your welcome code, you buy two of these. That takes you over twenty pounds. You'll get a fiver off. That's even better, isn't it? It is. It, it is. I've used mine. On both. <laughs> but very good. Very good. You know, me and a bargain. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the one that we folded, and this is the one that we have. And you can put an aperture in aperture in the middle. If you're going to use your die cutting machine, just put it on halfway. And we're going to Ooh, use we've the technically glue. sold out, everyone. Technically oh. sold out. If any bounce back, we will let you know. Um, but we have technically sold out of that. Can we finish the demo? Or Meg, if you can do it quickly. It's just, very quickly. Yep. Just give the glue a couple of seconds to to dry. We're and decorating we're actually, the glue. We're using the glue that we've using got on the, the show. Glue. Yeah, so, so there I'll you go. We're using the glue, which is good. So like you get that. three of the glues. We'll bring the details up for that, and that means we can carry on demonstrating. Shopping TV governs to, as to the point that if we sell out of something, we can't actually keep showing you on screen. But because we're using the glue... Then we can. We need paper with glue. So that's what we're doing now. Yeah. Eleven ninety nine, saving nine pounds. This is a fabulous deal. You get three. I've only got two here because Karen's got the other one. She's using that. It's 125 mil in each one. It's PVA glue. So um, that is a terrific it's bargain. A, it's an ultra, th it's a full strength one. It's, uh, it. I've stuck uh, MDF and all sorts with it. Obviously, you have to let it dry. Yep. I'm not saying it's a, a, a 10 second dry yep. or anything, anything like that, but it's a real good full strength and we'll just put two together okay we are using the glue yes there we go and i'm popping that into there right up to it because these have all been uh, when you're doing a when you're doing a project like this you'll need everything to be cut uh, to the same to the same size you can make these yourself so popping the glue and all i'm doing is burnishing it to make sure all the air goes and everything else and what we start doing is you get a couple together we would normally do five of these okay but you've got two like pop out ones there that just need time to to dry and then the rest of the glue what we're going to do is we're going to put the glue on here and we, we always recommend, well, I always see um, our crafters wiggling the glue rather than blobbing the glue. Yes. See, I'm a blobber, and I don't want to be a blobber anymore. If, I want to wiggle it. If you blob, you can run the risk of... Uh, over blobbing. Over blobbing, yeah. And seeping yeah. out. And seeping out, yeah. So then we carry on and pop that to there, and that's where the start of a star oh, card I is. Oh, I see. So if you put five together yeah. like that, yeah. it becomes a star because there's five points. Yeah, isn't so, that So and then they open up, and you have it so that one of them, yeah. uh, the top, the the front one and the back one, you don't have them uh, stuck together. Yeah. So you you can send them flat, and you have like a a, a mat and a layer on it and a ribbon, and then when you bring it round, you've it's got a, a five-sided. That is a great idea. Shape. 
And just you can like use that. that full PVA, uh, the PVA full strength glue with that. Those are the details on your screen, 197471. Let's talk about spots and stripes. Um, we've been very busy for this. It's a great deal, it really is. Lovely colours. And you know, you've got Easter coming up, so I think these will be absolutely perfect for any kind of Easter card because it's just got that fresh look about it. You get 80 sheets in total, it's 300 GSM, so if you did want to actually put together your constructions like this, or the boxes that I've got at the side of me, then this is going to be a fabulous deal. The boxes are just here, makes a great table decoration, or you might want to put gifts in each one. Wouldn't that be a really nice stacked gift box kit there you go that's a tongue twister um, now your stripes and your dots you've got the smaller dots you've got the large stripes you've got the thinner stripes and then you've got like a tartan I'll hold this up I don't know if you can see this it's got like a tartan effect on there that's really nice it's subtle but it's really nice. Can you see that? Just turning that forward, yeah. And again, if you want to start matting and layering on there, it just highlights it, doesn't it? $9.99, it's a happy hour deal. Price is going back up at the top of the hour. Uh, lots of you multi-buying with this. It's proven to be very busy. You're saving £20. That is an incredible deal. 690-748 is your item number. Now, if I was to hold this up, you think, what are you holding in your hands? So I'm going to hold all of it up at the same time. This is acetate, and it's only $9.99. And it's clear acetate, it's 220 microns, and uh, you're getting 40 sheets in total. So these are great for inking on, where you put your, it's not your inks, it's your, um, your dyes, your dye inks on there. Is that right? On your acetate. Dye inks? Dye inks, or your inks. Oh, you Just mean as a, as, a, as a blending mat? Yeah. Yeah, you or, can use or them as a blending if put, mat. If you put your alcohol inks on there wouldn't it dry it dries yes, yeah you make, can yes. do your alcohol that's you, it. you can do your alcohol techniques that's it that's what i was trying to say one. so you could have those really cool techniques on there and color it um it's a great deal lots of people use acetate for all kinds of different projects so to get 90 in this particular deal for 9.99 is a fabulous deal 498 972 is your item number but nearly a third of the stock is gone nearly a third of the stock is gone i'm glad we've bought you that uh, it's a happy hour deal the price is going back up at the top of the hour but i don't think that's going to last <coughs> the hour uh, can we do some demonstrations with the acetates oh karen we can um in the earlier show that i did for nice crafting um i was asked about the uh the the, the book that i've got for, for doing it. Okay. You remember when I first came to the, the craft store, I yes. was doing books like this for dyes and yes. that. So I was looking at the acetate, and I, I will do it with card on, yeah. a, uh, on a Facebook Live, but I was looking at the acetate and thinking, well, if we make one out of acetate, you're not going to have to stick acetate in it to stick your stamps in. No, and it's all see-through and clear, so you'll be able to see the page you'll before be you even get there, it. maybe. So I've got a piece of acetate, and I measured it. I've measured it on the centimetre side, and this is where, if you think of measurements as numbers rather than inches or centimetres, yeah. I can see on the centimetre side it's 26 and a half centimetres. Well, that doesn't... That's not going to mix not. nice for me. No. So I thought I'll have a look at the inches, and this is ten and a half, so it's slightly smaller than an A A4. So I'm going to use um, because I'm doing acetate, I'm using a metal scoring tool. I'm going to do it at five, yep. and then five and a half. And the reason for that is it that makes it ten and a half. So I've got five at that side, five at that side, and a half in the middle. Okay. And if I fold that over and use my Cool Cats Teflon tool, this is going to be this is going to. Um, it's not as going to be as tidy as a piece of card because you are going to see what's what's in it. Yeah. You could on the inside of it. So there, you've got like a book already. Perfect. So I will do. Shall I do three and put three together and and so up we can see how they go. Does that make sense? Uh, Say that again, Karen. If I do three, yeah, and you can see three going together. Absolutely. And I probably extend this for for more. What you can do in between here as well is like with a card. When you're making a, a card with it, you would make sure when you pop it on, you, you don't use glue because it's it's going onto a 
a plastic surface. Yeah. So, so what eventually, would you use? use tape. Okay. Use your, your like red line tape, tape yeah. or your sticky paws tape that uh, that I'm using. Make sure that fits onto the back. What and over that... over to make sure that. Is that one of the cards you made in the earlier show? It's one that I've done for a sample, but I've done Aww. it with the acetate. Isn't that lovely? Right, it's cute, isn't I it? I like that, because it's, it's almost suspended, isn't it's it? It's suspended, yes, so now, you Karen, can make cards with you it. You could. How about putting a picture? Instead of a card, putting a picture, you've got like an instant picture frame, haven't you? And it's you going to just sit. Just sort sit of like there. a floating picture. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Oh, so you know when we did the star card, yeah. what you could do is score them straight down the middle yeah. and put one, a picture back to back yep. in between one, stick it together. That's a good idea. And then another one on and you could have... Yeah, it's almost like laminating a picture, like, isn't it? Yeah. How would you stick it on though without it ruining the picture? Without it ruining the picture, um, you put one picture on back to back yeah uh, you can use put the pictures together using the photo glue that you can get yeah so you don't ruin that that's a good idea cause and the photos, then yeah. perhaps some red liner tape yeah very very thin and then perhaps some gold a gold to cover uh, it up a gold great uh, peel idea. Off to cover it up great idea there's I always love ways it. to cover things yeah up. there certainly is um the acetate 40 sheets 9.99 we're really really busy for this i don't want anybody missing out on this i really don't so if you want to multi-buy this you've got the golden opportunity to do so now with it being um a happy hour deal the price will be going back up at the top of the hour but I don't think the stock's going to last 9.99 40 percent of the stock has gone 498 972 is your item number Number for those great little deal that is uh, now uh, we have got more items for you on the show we've got the rainbow card which is just beautiful it really really is so you've got that lovely color one side and then it's white the other side there you go so it really makes it pop isn't it if you're going to work those together you've got lemon you've got a lovely uh, like um, it's like a peach melba color isn't it and then you've got purple in there you've got lilacs you've got some lovely raspberry colors orange Orange colours, or oh, sound like a fruit and veg lady. Um, absolutely beautiful. Nine ninety nine, saving sixteen pounds. It's a phenomenal saving. And if you want to multi buy this, we'll send it all out at the same time. You can divide the cost into two payments. If you're only going for the one, it'll be five pounds fifty today, five pounds fifty in a month's time, because we are in the midst of our flex extravaganza event where you can divide the cost of anything over a, over a pound. Which is an amazing deal, isn't it? 904-455 is your item number for that one. Now another popular one is your chocolate brown paper. 70% of the stock gone already. Let me grab some black just to show you the contrast. Now when I say paper, it's card actually, isn't it? It's card 550 GSM. That is super duper strong. It really, really is. Great for your gift boxes, great for maybe making a cover as well uh, of your journals, which I think would be a great idea, really. It really would. Uh, just to show you, let's put the black up against the brown, and then you can see the contrast. So you've got the brown on that side, and then you've got uh, the black just there. If you're watching on a black and white television, <laughs> that's the brown. That's the black, so that's the one you're getting there. Uh, 999-043-199 is your item number. 75% of the stock has gone. 75% of the stock has gone. I remember the days, if you had a colour TV, you were very posh. Yeah. We used to have a TV that had a 50p slot in the side of it. You had oh. to put 50p's in it to make it work. Wick Falls. <laughs> With what? It was Wick Falls. Pay as you buy. Yeah, it was. You yeah. as you buy as you view. Yeah, you had to put you had to put your fifty p in to keep the TV running. Yeah, there you it go. was buy as you view words. It then were the balls. days. Then were the days. Then eh? were the days. Uh, right now, this is rather special. This is your antique gold card. Let me just turn that to the side. You might be able to see the reflection on there. There you go. You see that? What a fabulous reflection. Now, over a third of the stock has gone. This is actually um, a. Brilliant idea. So, when there's cardstock left over from making those chocolate boxes, um, that's when Jelly Bean Crafts have gone in and said, Do you know what? That would be great for crafters, thank you very much. And it really is. I mean, it's a lovely finish and it's almost got like a textured finish to it that you can see there. Absolutely marvellous. It is single sided. Just look at, you know, when I turned it there, look, see that? Oh, wow. That's with the light reflecting. That's with the gold reflecting from there. 
on the table up with the light. So imagine those two together and making and creating something. That's sensational, isn't it? Nine ninety nine, sixty in total. Magic. Love that. Uh, three double one eight nine seven is your item number. We are actually going to take a look at this now, Karen. What are you doing? I'm just going to finish this off, if that's all right, with of the acetate, with the acetate. Yeah. I've put the uh, sticky paws onto there. Now you will see see the the um, adhesive through it. Yeah. But it's just to show you how quickly it'll go together. So I've put tape right to the edges. I didn't realise how silly is it when you're thinking you're doing it with acetate and you can't see it, can you? No, you <laughs> it looks can't. like I'm. <laughs> no, you the, can't. Uh, the Empress. Uh... The Empress new clothes. That's it. Yeah. That's it. I'm showing me age, can aren't we, I? I'm, I'm sure we can still talk about that nursery rhyme. There's all these kind of nursery rhymes that we can and, and, and can't really talk about. I think that one's okay, but if it's not, I apologise. <laughs> Just in case. So I'm going to pop that one in, in together. You can use your scoreboards to, uh, to match it up to make sure that you get it level before you start bobbing it together, before you stick it together. Um, beauty with acetate is it'll come undone and then if you burnish it so you'd I would probably stick a piece of paper in between those yeah. two while you're doing it okay but it's just giving you a nice little book and let's get the last one on if that's all right and then if I pop it together you and with some some stuff behind it you'll be able to see what I mean but I love acetate. You can uh, score down it, wrap it round cards. Yeah. So if you've got some nice decoupage on there that you don't want to ruin, or you don't want it to get crushed, or yeah. it's to, it's, um, it's 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 keep it safe. Super. You just uh, make it a little bit bigger than the card, yeah. and then you wrap it round so it goes into a, an arch around it. Loads that you can do with acetate. Pop that down there. We're gonna. You're very clever, Karen. Oh, thank at you. All the, uh, at, at all of these construction pieces, you're very clever, yeah, Karen. Oh, uh, where did you learn it? How can people learn how to do all of these different folds and techniques? Can we follow you? You can follow me on uh, on Facebook. Yeah, yeah it's, uh, I've set up a, an ATC group, Karen's ATC. ATC meaning Artist Trading. Trade. trading Card, yeah. yeah. Um, used to mean area traffic control when I worked for the oh, BBC. Oh, was yeah. it? ATC Live. And Here's Janice Phillips. Yeah, I did it. I, I did it with the Cool Cats, uh, an ATC show. Yeah. And um, I wanted to read. Leona used to do it years ago yeah. and had a real good swap. And there's quite a few groups setting oh. up now on ATC oh, trading. Fabulous. So I've rekindled it. Oh, but well there done. you go. So that's just you, that's nice and sturdy. And what you can do with We're then, really busy for the acetate. Three quarters of the stock has gone. Um, as we're demonstrating, I think it, it's bringing back some ideas uh, of what you can use your acetate for. It's a fabulous deal. You're getting 40 sheets for 9 99 Only five pounds and uh, 50 pence today. No, five pounds today. If you want to take advantage of our Flex Travaganza event, anything over a pound. Um, and it is clear, and just to show that this is all together, uh, but let me just hold one sheet up. Yeah, you can hardly see it, can you? Uh, because it is clear. So there you go. So that's just putting them all together to show you how many you are getting. 948972 uh, uh, is your item number. Which is a great deal. So great all little deal, that. All your stamps stick to it and your, uh, your masking tapes, masking as well. Oh, so you don't need to put any tack or anything on there? Just no, sticks it's just, straight to it's it. just your normal stamp that sticks yep. to acetate oh, and you'll be able to store them even if you only just did one one sheet at a yeah. time yeah fabulous love yeah. that right busy for your acetate don't miss out on that pop that one into your basket it is a happy hour deal it's a fantastic happy hour deal as well right your antique gold your antique gold we're going to do some demonstrations with this now just to let you know it's a great deal it's a fabulous deal and this is from uh, chocolate boxes 
uh, what's been left over at the factory. I'm afraid there's no chocolate in there. No chocolate has been near it. Uh, but it's a great way of just utilising cardstock that was left over. Nine ninety nine. When I say left over, it was of course bought by Jelly Bean Crafts and then brought to you in the craft market. You're getting sixty sheets. It's three hundred and fifty GSM. So great construction weight. Uh, you can make little mini gold bars, can't you? Nine ninety nine. Uh, saving seven pounds on that. Marvelous deal. Love that. We're going to have a, a demonstration with this now, aren't we, Karen? We are. So first of all, I get an A4 sheet, um, eleven and three quarters, or. Um, uh, 297 millimeters now if you've got a scoreboard and you've got one with um, inches you can if it does the eighths of an inch that's five and a half five and three quarters if you make yourself a line on five and seven eighths yeah that'll give you half an A4 score near enough I believe you yep yep and if you want it on centimeters You've got, oh, I can't do it on that one because it's not. So if you've got inches, you can you can half score it. And I'm going to just use a score tool. I'm not using too big a tool. A tool. Okay. You can see that there's a, a one mil and a two, I think that's a two mil. So I'm going to use the two mil because I believe a one mil, with it being a very thick card, you know, 350, I tend to use score up and down a couple of times, yeah? Is it the 31st of January today? Tomorrow. Is it tomorrow? Yes. Okay. It's the 30th today. 30 days has September, April, April June, June, and, and November. November. 31 all has the all the rest, apart from February. That's what I'm just trying to remember the yep. beat to it. That one. <laughs> that one. What have I done How many months have 28 days? Uh, just ignore everything that I said. February. Everyone. 12. All 12 months have 28 days. Oh, you know years. that one. Okay. Yeah. All 12 months. That's only through my work because when I'm putting in a sell by date in it, ah. we always put it down as the 28th because it's always ah. there. So please just excuse that it's, it's that because that, there's not half an A4. Okay. So I say I do get things wrong. However, well, you can always trim it. You've got a trimmer there. You oh, can I trim can off always the, trim it. But the... what I did want to show was yeah. the fold. Ah, that, right. that was the main thing. Okay. So thanks for boosting me up and me fail. <laughs> <laughs> Now, what's so special about the fold? Why did you want to show the us that? The fold, can you see, it's not buckled or creased no. or anything. If no. I do it like that, as long as you treat it with, treat card with respect, yeah. it'll do virtu a lot, yeah. virtually what you want. A bit want. like yourself. <laughs> treat you with respect and you'll do everything we say. Yeah, don't, <laughs> I always say, don't, if, if you can't say out oh, nice, don't say no to doll. Exactly. And that's, yeah. uh, that's my motto. Well, I, I don't know what I'm going to say now for the next ten minutes. <laughs> You're not going to say out oh, nice? Why, what have I done to all say? <laughs> yeah, nothing at all, Karen. You know, I love working with you. Great demonstrations from Karen, really highlighting what you can do with the different card stock that we've got on the show and that acetate as well that's been very, very busy. That's your gold, your antique gold. It is lovely, Karen. It really is a beautiful finish. And just bending it like that, look at that gold colour. Yeah, all we said we wanted some ink on it, didn't we? What are you going to do? We were going to put some ink on it, didn't oh, we? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can try that. Just we're to see if it brings it. out uh, the texture can that's I on there. Can I just ask for some of my uh, towel, paper yeah, towel? Yeah, of course you can. To be brought course you can. Over. We'll get you some of that. Um, now, we're 80% of the stock gone already. You are getting 60 sheets in total. Uh, it's Thank a good you. strength as well. You can see that. Good strength. So, yeah. for your construction, for your boxes and things like that, it would look absolutely marvellous. Very posh, very posh for your boxes. 9 99 you can multiply if you want to. Um, and you get 60 sheets. It's a happy hour deal, so the price will be going back up to 16 99 if you purchase it after the hour, which is in around about nine and a half minutes. You probably could also tell whether you eat butter or not. Everybody always ate butter. It was <laughs> just, just natural that it reflects. Oh, no, don't say that. I really thought that was a thing. Well, I did up until about four. Okay, well, let me ask you another one then. Years ago. What about smelling dandelions? Does that make you wet the bed? I, don't, I didn't remember that one. Do you not one. remember that one? Yeah, I do now. That's what they used to say to us when we were kids. If you go around smelling dandelion flowers, you'll wet the bed. That's what we were told. See? All these things we had to put up with as, as, when we were kids. So I don't think the ink works onto it because it's, it doesn't work. 
unless you did it with paint okay. and got it in, let it sort of half dry. Yeah. But with an ink, it, it comes, just comes straight, straight off. It comes straight do you know off, what? So that's a great demo because it shows us. It shows what we that can, that's not going to work. But I can do. see, I can see there yeah. where you can see all the texture. But if if that if you think of it about it with it being a chocolate box, if that was smooth, then you'd see everything in. I tell it, you what, you? this would be good for embossing, 3D embossing folders. That would be amazing. Oh, hang on! Have I'll you tell got you any what embossing we'll folders there? I've I know not you've got, got embossing machine. folders, but uh, oh, you could do it with a stencil. I can do it with my Should stencils. We give it we'll give it a go. We'll yeah. give it a go because 3D embossing folders, my days, would look amazing in we'll this gold. Cut piece um, down. Now and give it has it a gone go. limited stock, so we We've will be quickly quick. get that one done for you. Limited stock now it means we've only got a handful left. Three double one eight seven nine is your item number. Look at look at that. You know, it's, it's like a real gold bar, isn't it? That's that amazing. Is I love that. It's not really gold. It's not real gold. I won't be able to I'd imagine be if it's real gold. I'd, I'd be off. Um, but it's but not that quick because it would be heavy. Um, but it's not real gold. It's just gold coloured. But it is the card that's used in chocolate boxes. So that's fascinating in itself, isn't it? Top quality. Three double one eight nine seven. We've got four and a half minutes left of your happy hour deal. You can head to the website and see all the other items we've got available for you. And you've got mm, three and a half minutes. Three and a half minutes left uh, to buy on the show. Yes, we've only got about two minutes left on the live show. But Karen's just shoving it in now, and hopefully. <laughs> What to, put it, what to shove in. <laughs> Karen couldn't remember what to shove in to get the results, but she's shoving it in now and it's coming out the other end. <laughs> and we'll see the results. And this was just using a stencil, Karen. It's just using a stencil. It maybe does nothing. <laughs> No, no, okay. Well, 3D embossing folders would be the do you way know why? to go. Oh, have you done it the wrong way? Oh, Karen, do you want to shove it in again? <laughs> oh, we've just sold out. Karen, you are free of your shoving in because it well, has let, sold out. Let me out. just, before we do that, okay. I, will, I will show you that it embosses. Yes. Let me just do a nice line uh, down well it. Well done, everyone. It has sold out. Of course, when you've embossed, you could also use the glue <laughs> to stick it to onto perhaps um, a card. So, yeah, you can. Oh, no, the glue's sold out. Well, I'll tell you what, once you've used the glue and you've used the gold card, you could put it on your acetate. Oh, the acetate's gone. You know, when you've done that and everything is great, just pull a cracker. Uh, just pull a cracker with that lovely spotty blue card. Is that sold out? Um, envelopes, don't forget your loaded envelopes. Yeah, yeah. We can also, when, when you've done all your crafting, you think, oh, my goodness, isn't this amazing? You can put your cards in your envelopes. Do we still have these? We do have these. We do, we, we're, we're hanging on. Um, so we've had a very busy happy hour. So yes, those are your envelopes if you want to go for those. Ten ninety nine, saving ten pounds. It's a great deal, and they're very posh. Uh, they're six by six inside, and they are inside. Sorry, they're linen embossed. Ooh, that's a posh envelope, isn't it? Very posh. Like that. Uh, one two four. 629 is your item number for those. Busy happy hour, though, across the board. So we've had lots of sellouts, sold out of your acetate, sold out of your glue. So we'll get rid of that. We'll sold, we've will we sold out of your gold card, so I can't show you that anymore. Oh, we sold out of the texture card as well. Well, let, let's, let's get that. Let's take that. That was the first one that went. Let's put that over there. We've still got the black card. All oh, the glue's got to go, hasn't it? And the acetate. And you don't get that. And that's not that's not part of it. Look at this. Look at this. Still got the black card. Shall I bring this in? This is jet black. It's gorgeous. It really, really is. Um, and it is black all the way through to its core. I don't know whether I can tear one of these. We're allowed oh, to. You can. Oh dear, I've done it. Um, look at that. It's almost like velvet black on the it's on the inside, isn't it? Absolutely, yes. Yeah, yes. like that, like that. Very effective. And of course, if you want to, you know, tear this and and have your sort of like tear effects like so, you can see more. If you can see that, yeah, you can see more of that particular effect in there, which looks really cool as well. If you want to go for your jet black car, it could be. Look at that. It looks like mountains now, doesn't it? Uh, nine nine four six. Uh, no, no Janice, get it right. Nine nine four. 968 is your item number and it's only 9.99 acid and lignin free which means of course you can store your photographs on here in your uh, scrapbooking and it's not going to affect them great price we've got one minute left one right. minute left so all i've done is i've taken the envelope stuck it yeah made sure that they're all the same size and just trimmed it down across the top yeah 
which then makes a oh, pocket. A little pocket. Yep, when that. it's dry. Yep. And then I'm sticking them straight down together, down into the centre, on top of each other. We've got just over 30 seconds left. Do check out your baskets for your happy yep. hour deals. They're all going back up after the um, hour. If there's anything you still want, head to the website. You've got uh, three and a half minutes left to do that. Sorry, I, I was looking at you. I was just I was looking around for a clock, but there isn't one. Um, Karen, that is brilliant. Love loaded, that. Loaded on blocks. Oh, oh, Karen, you thank could... you so much for the shows. Uh, yep. You've been an absolute gem. You're up next, aren't you? I'm running across the right, yeah. Get on the Travelator and send yourself across the studio. We'll see you guys in a few moments' time. Make sure you get your deals before the hour. There she goes on the Travelator all the way across the other side to the studio. We've got nice crafting pets at play stamps next. Oh, can't wait for that. And you've got your spring in the forest with Funky Fossil. Hi, I'm Matthew Palmer, professional artist with the SAA, the UK's largest and friendliest art community. The SAA exists to inform, encourage and inspire all who want to paint. And that's exactly what you'll learn to do with me as your teacher. As a self-taught artist of 30 years ago, I know the challenges of a white piece of paper and learning how to paint. But with me and the SAA, I'll show you how easy watercolour painting really is. I want to show you my watercolour painting techniques and I want to get you over that white paper fear and get you started and develop your watercolour painting. So whether you're a beginner or an advanced artist, I've got some fantastic watercolour techniques that will get you started and take you even further on your watercolour journey. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have. So we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. And we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion, and we hope to transfer that passion to you. Uh, I hope you are well. The time has just struck two o'clock is what we're looking at here in the United Kingdom and it is our second live hour for nice crafting with pets of play. First time I've done this and I quite like it already. Not done nice crafting. Well I've done nice crafting but that's just that's just how I rate my own work. It's nice. Uh, no, it's just nice. Uh, but I've never done nice <coughs> crafting with pets. Never done nice crafting. Speaking about nice crafting, there's only one guest. I didn't think I'd put these words in a sentence together. Nice crafting and Karen <laughs> Keats. So it goes together like chalk and cheese. She's here, dashed from the other side of the studio in a stiletto heel. She had to take them off in case she tripped. How are you, love? I'm all right. Love it. It's Thank been you very a much. while. Yes, I heard about you talking about me yesterday. When? On the Wow show. Yep. It's clean. Oh, look. You see? Look. It makes a change. <laughs> it's the only thing that is clean in this show. Now, 
we have to beep her out. She's on a second delay, normally, just in case, just in case. Tell me about Nice Crap, because I've never worked with this brand before, but I'm it's, loving the stamps it's, already. Uh, it's a very, it's a very new company, it's on the second time out. Okay. The ones on the end of the, the poll are what we introduced in January. Yes. No, no, November. November was the first outing. Um, he has, um, it's, uh, he, he is a businessman that you may know of. He's had other businesses, uh, but we, he decided that is we it would Peter do... Jones from the Dragon's Den? Is it what? Pete Jones? No, it's uh, Nigel from... Oh, Nigel. yes. And... Uh, um he's 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 got some he's got he's got one artist doing the the artwork now because if i was to draw you would end up thinking it were about two years well your molly draws better than i do oh, bless you. i'm good at i'm good at right i'm good at putting ideas down but for drawing nobody can decipher them um so uh the, he's a very very well known artist yeah. he's called pete undrill Okay. He works for a company called, well, he doesn't work for a company, he's a, a freelance artist, and you may recognise his work uh, for heritage, heritage Crafts. He does a lot of cross-stitch work, makes a lot, does a lot of design for cross-stitch materials, and uh, there's some very famous bears out there that he was the original artist for. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, so if you if you search for him, and he's very kindly drawing these for Nigel, um, beautiful, beautiful, and I'm very lucky he's been in contact with me as well to me. Well, they are beautiful. They, they are. really are. And I've, I've not done one of the shows, but I remember when Cameron first got these, and it was over in your dressing room, your own personal one, the Winnebago that you bring in when you come in every time with your stylists. And um, I pushed my way through all those. Can I, can I speak to Karen, please? Do you mind? Sorry, security. I have to get through out there. I've had a badge and all. Oh. Uh, and she showed me the ones that I've got down the ends, you know, the sort of the older, newer ones, as well, with the cats on the cushions and stuff. And they were phenomenal because there's so much scope and there's so much you can do with these when you get home. The details on the screen are for the big bundle, but I can split them down into sets of three, and sets of two. So you've got top and then the two bottom ones down here. That's why the site gets. Now there's a three pound saving each one. So you've got three pounds here, three pounds here, three pounds here, and that's nine pounds. And I'll give you an extra six pounds if you're going for that big bundle. But what are you looking at? You are looking at sets of stamps, 90 stamps in total, uh, with cats and dogs. And it, there's all the furniture in there as well, so you can have them uh, peering round the edge of your cards. You've got these two little cats that look quite smitten uh, with each other. You put a little love heart on top of that, you've got uh, Valentine's, you've got that engagement card, you've got that happy um, birthday cards and things like that for loved ones. Uh, you've got the cat that could be crawling down the wall if you wanted him to. Uh, hanging off curtains, hanging from the top of a card if you wanted him to as well. Box, just take the box on its own. That could be a moving card. A new house card, yeah. a new home card that you've got there. From there, we then move in uh, to your sort of, your little the bits and pieces that you've got. So it's the pictures on the wall that make the card. So you could have the cat dangling from one of the pictures. You've got the plant pots and the rugs. You've got the little sort of, sort of I'm going to say evil cat. You know, the one that <laughs> looks, all, looks quite cute. The badly. one in the, the, the movies. Yeah. Double or seven movies. That's the one. That's the one the you one. sit there. <laughs> looks quite cute when you're stroking him, but when you, as soon as you close that door, he's a little tinker, is what he is. Um, I've cleaned that up the TV as well. Uh, you've got your little slippers. So that's your first set that you may want to go for. So that is set one. So that is the set that's currently down uh, sort of here. Because you've also got uh, this one. No, this one. So that, this one here. Uh, this one here is where you're looking at. So that's the first set that you've got. Then. Uh, we've got this set here that you're looking at now. So this is the one sort of with your washing basket. So you've got that beautiful washing basket there, but you've also got the washing that can come out of the basket. So you can really make these three-dimensional. Once again, you've got this little cat peering over the top, sort of a larger cat with the sort of a claw. So he could be holding something. So he could be holding the towel that you've got there. He could be fishing. Uh, for the fish, you get your sentiments thrown in. Not only do you get that, you get more of the scenery. So you get more of the chairs. It reminds me of the two chairs on the start of, um, I'm going to say it up, other films are available. Uh, you know the two chairs um, in the montage? Just before, there's a beautiful montage where they sit in the little chairs and, and it's beautiful. It's sort of got that sort of look to it. It's sort of got very Nana's chair-esque yes, yes. to it yeah. that you're looking. Um, you've got this beautiful stand that you've got so the cat could be sitting on there. You could have photos on the top of there. That's set too if you're thinking, that's all well and good, Adam, but I'm not a cat lover. I'm not a fan of the cat. Don't worry, I've got dogs. 
we've got dogs as well. Uh, so you've got all your little dogs. That looks like the dog from Up as well, doesn't it? Uh, that you've got there. Uh, I love these. I love the crate as well with the heart on, just that little embroidered heart that you could go in. From there, you've got chests, you've got beds, you've got sleeping dogs, catching bulldogs, my best friend, sentiments, you've got walkies in there. Fet, love them. All of these and so much more is what you can do because I have been inundated uh, with samples that we've got here as well. Not only is it this price here, but I can make this price slightly better for you. I can put it on fleet flexible payments. Three flexible payments of £28.98 today. That means anything else that you throw into your flexible basket will be split onto three interest-free flexible payments. But then you are going to be creating cards that look like these. So for three payments of £28, you can make <coughs> these stunning little cards with the vellums that's in there. You can go down to your sort of miniature cards. You can do your tiny notelets that you want to do there. You can do your little Bedoinga cards. How beautiful are these that you've got? Um, so I like this one. Look at that one. Like he's knocked over the box. Like he's trying to look in there. From there, you've got the boxes and the cats, so they're just peering out at uh, using out of the back of the chairs. Just using some of the little mice. Look at that, look. Cats and cuddles that you've got there. Uh, I like these. I like these a lot for little note look cards. I'll go try and go through as many as I can. Remember, you're going to get all these stamps uh, is what you're going to get. Um, love them. Look at how many. And this just goes to prove how well all these cards go together because every single one is different and we're already half the stock has gone. We had a very busy show earlier. Uh, I think this sums it up as well from uh, Carolyn, who emailed in. I think it was Janice uh, she emailed into. Uh, Good morning, everyone. Well, what can I say? These stamps are just amazing. Such a great quality and such fabulous images. I love working and playing with them. Um, I only stop when I run out of time. And that just means you can go on and on and on. I've um, I've, I've been, you know that I've been very unsure about what colouring and colouring and what I can say is for the first time in 56 years I am absolutely love my colouring but I've been sat stamping making different scenes and it's all different scenes and they all work together um, using the masking, the masking paper and everything else, put all the masking paper in, use it all together, they all work together and it's scene after scene after scene and what you can do is you can relive all things that your own pets have done. Well this is the thing and obviously we had WOW on yesterday with your embossing pads, imagine embossing these now and if you are scared of the water colouring and things like that, so the minute you emboss them it's going to bring on a different look and it's, going to, it's sort of going to knock the edge, so you aren't going to go over. Talking about those masking sheets, so you can start making layers. I've got them. I asked for them back as another happy hour. They did sell out earlier. I said, well, I know they've sold out, but can I have them? And I went, not really. I went, go on then. They went, nah. So once again, I went to Ross and he put them on the show for me. Uh, £19.99. <laughs> I skip middle management, I go straight to my producer. At £19.99, 50 sheets is what you were looking at, but 70% of the stock, this is why they said no in the first place, 70% of the extended stock, it is on extended delivery uh, from the 4th of February, okay? Not that long to wait, to be honest, five days. In the next week, isn't it? Um, so, 4th February, 50 sheets, A4, repositionable masking sheets, 740526 is your item number. If you're going to go for these and you're going to go for the big bundle, split this into three. So, split it into three. So, it won't be 9.99 today at all. It'd be even less than that that you are paying for these today for the 50 sheets of A4. That's going to last you a while. That is going to take you through this collection, I'm guessing the next collection and the one oh, after that. Definitely, definitely. I absolutely love this uh, this masking paper. I've, I've actually been using it and using it and I've had a real good six, seven stamps out of it and before it started getting that it needed to be replaced. Be replaced. But I was just thinking, because each one set, each stamp set say five, so you're going to only need three sheets, three sheets. to stamp everything out oh, yeah. and use it yeah. as a mask, because they're A5 stamps. Yeah. So you can't go wrong uh, with this. It's worth having a little look at. £19.99, 740-526 is your item number. Let's get over, though, 
for our first demonstration. I've got the first collections on the show as well. Check out the website, tap the app. We'll get to those in a minute. I just want you to see how these work and how they stamp so well. Uh, right then, Karen Keats, it's all right over to you. Right then. So a couple of things that I started this morning that I, I've actually finished. Do you want me to? That's the, that's the scene that we did uh, this morning. Hang on, bear with me. I haven't even got a camera yet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm just getting there. We're just getting there. Doug's on it. Ooh. There we go. So that's the scene. And I haven't actually gone round the outside of it or, done, or highlighted it. So it's still very flat. It needs some dimension oh, onto it. Look at Yeah. That cat. That <laughs> cat. Oh. Excuse me, but you would have liked that to happen to your kittens oh. when you had your kittens. <laughs> Oh, I used to lot. I missed my kittens. And then this is the one that we did with the stamper rings. That's nice. Yeah. I thought they were playing Snap. This, this looks like who's going to get it first. <laughs> it is. I thought they were all playing Hungry Hippos. Hungry Hippos, that's <laughs> it. And then, a quick one, quick one, what we'll do is, with the masking, how I got my masking, masking part up is, um, you get the, you get the stamps and they come onto an A5 sheet like that. And what I've done is, I know there's words on it as well, but rather than taking each one off and stamping it, remember with the masking sheet, all you need is basically the outside. So if we do this one, and I've just got it all on here, and just stamping it all, putting some ink onto it, onto every little bit. Oh, I've got, that wants to go there, that's my ball. And I'm not worried if I've missed any or not. So with it on half A5, this is dirty, don't worry about it. Just find out which bit comes off and it's, it does split. Okay. So it's easy, it can be easier to do... Uh, mask. Mask. To, yeah, peel put off. your mask, I have to peel your mask. And all I'm going to do is put my, pan, my hands on it and just roll it over like that. Because it's quite thin. That saves me stamping out every single one and I can still see every outline that I need to. It doesn't yes. matter that I've not stamped them right because it's masking paper. Because you don't need the detail that's you on there, you're only going to stamp details. over it. You just need the outside part that you've got there. I like that. So get your masking paper as well, £19.99. pence. Um, bottom of the screen for your masking sheets. We're very busy once again for those uh, 90 stamps is what you're looking at. All A5, you're going to get the full collection uh, in this one. £86.94, pence. three flexible payments of £28.98. pence. Worth having a little go if I was you. Right then, let's stay with Karen. What are we up to? What are we up to? I'm just going to get the stamping platform out. And this is one that I did earlier, so I'll just take this this out of it and do what I do at home, just stick it onto something till I come out to clear it up. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So can you see on this one? This is one that I uh, that I've done, and we've got the 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 case. Yeah. And this guy is coming out of it, but if you look at the stamp when you've stamped it. Uh, where's the one? Where is the one with the stamp on with the case? I'm trying to think. Where's the one that I did this morning? If you look there, you've got all this back part of the the stamp onto yeah. it. So I just wanted to show you how how I got round to doing that, okay. putting the dog in and and everything else at the same time. If Let's that's do it. All right. Of course it is. Um, and this one I've uh, I put on a boinger as well. So this dog's jumping out of this box and not the cat. Cat out. <laughs> Dogs do that. Yeah, yeah. Dogs yeah. do that. Yeah, not with cats. So out. I won't colour it in. <laughs> I will just show you how to do it. I, I were doing a lot of colouring and right enjoyed it today. So I've got a mask, and what you can see at the same time, I'll show you how I put a, a lid onto the case at the same time. Let's do it all. So we'll Let's do, do, it, all. do it with the, with the mask and everything. I've got the dog, I've got uh, the top of the chest. chest from there. I've got, so I'm doing the top of the chest, I'm doing the chest, and then I'm going to do the dog that's jumping out, which is from the other set there. We can do it with, you can do it with any anyone that you want. So the thing that I want to do is I am going to 
put um, this mask down first of all and if you can see what I have done is I have cut that part. You've cut the back off, haven't you? Cut the back off, yes. So I've only got the, tri the triangle part. Thank you. If it were numbers, I could do it, but I can't do words. No, it's fine. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to help you. Here to hold your hand, Karen. Love. Here to hold my hand, definitely. Here to hold your hand. It's been a while. It has. So I'm going to pop this one down at the bottom. I'm now, so I've put him into this now. Yeah? Yeah. I'm then going to get the dog and I'm going to stamp the dog that's jumping jumping up. We'll do the jumping up one. And you can see I'm deciding where am I going to where am I going to put him? So I want his tail coming out and I want him jumping up there. Yeah. So I'm going to stamp him. But I've masked it off because that's... I don't want all, all the dog into it. I only want the dog up to where the the lid is. So this is that part first. And I do advise that you will need a stamping platform when you're doing okay. doing things like this because it'll be very difficult unless you've got like a, a, a way of. So you can keep going. So back you can in keep case going back. Going yeah. So if you see from here now, what I'm going to do is take him off. And I'm going to get the this crate. Okay. And I'm going to pop it over onto my masking paper, just like there, so it matches completely. You know. <laughs> It put your glasses on, it you does. put your well, eyes on, doesn't it? I was thinking. They're just <laughs> sitting there. <laughs> You'll get old one day, Adam, I'm, I'm telling I'm you. already there. So I'm matching that straight on top, and then I'm going to <laughs> lift it up. But if I stamped onto there, I'm just going to stamp straight onto the mask. So now, make sure that that's still in the same place, and if need be, tape it down so it doesn't move. Okay. Then I'm going to take the mask off. But if I take the mask off, and I start stamping over the dog, I'm going to end up stamping over the dog. Yeah, you're going to put the back of the chest on the I'm dog. I'm going to put the back, of the back of the chest on the dog. So, but then if I put that there, I'm going to miss... Oh, you're going to stamp up. Yeah. She's so good. We're going She's to put, good. We're going to put this one in. We're going to put this one on. Is there inspiration pages for these? There isn't any inspiration. These have just come out. Oh, do you mean these are a Facebook? Yeah. <laughs> Work with me, Karen. Come on, it's my first I'm hour. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> Work with me here. Yeah. My mum says I'm very trying. <laughs> so, we'll try again, shall we? We'll edit that out when we're not live. Yes. So is there, um, is there an there inspiration page? There is inspiration. There is Facebook, and it's called Nice Crafting. At the moment, we've got a giveaway. And it, uh, it's uh, one, of the, one of these stamp sets. Now, I'm just going to send one of these stamp sets out. Um, and all they do is have to answer a question, whether is it, which is your favourite, dog or cat? That's all you've got to answer. OK. Um, I well, know that Carolyn and Sam are there ready to accept. You just, just you know, ask to join. And you've, the, yeah, and all these will be going up. It's been a long day. It's not the question I asked, Carrot. I asked if there was inspiration about the stamps that's on there. But, but that will be there. But that's they'll what's be there. put onto there, yes. There we go. Look, we got yes. there. Round we got the there house. in I the end, round about. Fat round. like a binman then I yeah. did. Round the houses I went. But we got there. We got there eventually. I'll, I'll get it out of here if I have to. I don't mind. <laughs> it was that travelator. It's your own time you wasted, not mine. It's travelator. It's your own time you wasted. The travelator. So now I've stamped. Now I've stamped it. But you can see, I've actually. Um, when you take the mask off, what I have done is. I hope this works. Missed. <gasps> Oh, half. Yeah. Missed half the chest. Half the chest. So, again, you keep it into your stamping platform. And then you get another piece of tape. Another piece of the 
masking tape and you cut a little square out and what you are going to do is use masking paper again and that's going to go over the top half now. Oh, so you don't stamp over the dog. So you don't stamp over the dog, that's it. You wouldn't have thought of that though, would you? No, because you would have thought, yeah, you would, well, you could have, I suppose you could make two masks for the dog and just cut his legs off. Uh, yeah, but yeah, I suppose you could. Because you've got 50 sheets of the mask in you've paper, so you could, make, you, you could make a mask yeah. just for this if you wanted. Because then you could have the dog jumping out the wicker basket from behind you the could chair. You have him from jumping anywhere. And now look at him. And he's jumping straight out the, the chest. Look at that. I like that. It's good, isn't it? It is. You can have anything jumping out of anywhere. So we'll just do this this part. So we'll do the the bit that I was saying before now. Yeah, yep, I put the lid this on. Bit. So what I'm going to do is I need the top part. I'm going to, again, use my stamping platform because it makes it easier. I'm going to pop that onto there and stamp that. So we're now stamping that and that's stamped into there nicely so we've got a lid. Take that off, wipe your hands on your, your fingers on your jeans so you don't get the ink you everywhere get like you do. Let's get a little uh, cat. Let's get a cat. I'm going to get one of the cats that's... Which cats are you going for? I'm going for the... the... this first one with the wicker basket. Oh, okay, the one with the wicker basket set. Remember, you get the one both with the of wicker them basket. in the set. So you get that, the wicker basket set. And it also comes with the armchair. You can buy the sets individually, should you want to. Um, and the sets, and you can buy them on their own. So you can buy them individually, buy them as pairs, or you can buy the full set. Um, we let buy you. You can buy your way. You can be the designer. You go to your budget. Yep. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put the top of the chest on, and we've got this one here. So what I'm going to do is pop him just there and bob it down. Now just watch where you're inking. So I'm going to ink it all, but I don't actually need it all. So, oops, there we go. I'm going to take this, this has got a, a dotted line, so you'd be able to oh, okay. draw Look. something from it straight away. I'm not bothered about taking the ink off his face, but I'm just going to bob him there and you can see two little paws coming. So you've got two little paws. I've not inked it hard enough, so I'll make sure I do just try and get the paws on. That one's okay. And go back again. Miss that bit. There you go. Take that off. So I've only used that for the paws. I know his head's gone on straight onto there. Yeah. And then I will. Where's. Another mask. You can just do his paws. So what I will do is I will just. I don't need his head, so I'm just going to cut his paws off from what I've used. Details on screen for that complete collection. 90 stamps in total, that? 28 pounds and 98 pence across three interest-free flexible payments. It's not actually a six pound saving that you're getting on this one because each saving has got three pounds on it. And then I'll give you a traditional, uh, additional even, uh, six pounds on top of that. 430565 is your item number. I will give you a quick recap in a moment and I'll show you some of the other stamps that we've also got on the show that work hand in hand uh, with these stamps as well. You can go for them as that complete collection of the 90 stamps or you can go for them as a pair of two uh, that you've got there, but I'll go through all that after this next demonstration. So then we've got the paws, we've got the the chest, and then I'm just bringing that one up to there, making sure I've got my head over it. 
pop that down there like that. You're going to love this one. And we're, but I'm, we're, we're all we're all. You're waiting. all in anticipation. So you've masked the pause, Tav. I've masked the pause, the pause yeah. So you haven't masked the... I've, the, the top's been masked. The top's lid. been masked. Oh, the top's the lid's been, been, lid. been masked. The been masked. We missed that bit between the three of us. Oh, right. We were like, she's not the masked lid the lid. Masked. Oh, the lid is masked. The lid is Where masked. Where were we for this? <laughs> yes, the top of the chest is masked. So you you see that in, inside your chest, you're going to end up with the, the bits in the inside, aren't you? However, take your masks off now. Oh. Three of us, we've all missed that section of the show. Where were we? And look. Oh, I like it, little paws coming out. It's little paws coming out. Oh, I like this concept. It reminds you of those cars that used to have the hand coming out the boot. Yes, the little, little, the little fingers that yeah, used to right, link out the back yeah. of the boot. They were quite scary. But that's showing how you can then make it so that it, it's even the lock lines up. Oh, the lock, the lock of the chest and everything else. I like it. Right, then we'll let Karen set up for another demonstration. £86.90, but let me break this down uh, to the sets of two. Maybe you only want to go for a set of two that you want to go for. We'll start at the top. This is your doggy friends uh, that you've got along the top. So your two doggy friends is what you're looking at from here. So you're going to get both of the stamp sets, but you're looking for £30.98, which will give you these dogs so these are your doggy friends set two and also set one so you get all of this in those two sets uh, that you are getting there 30 pounds and 98 pence 277 168 is your item number for doggy friends maybe though you want to go for pets at play that you've got so you've got your pets at play which is this one just here uh, so with your pets at play this is your cat and so you're going to get the basket you're also going to get the armchair as well uh, so you're also going to get that armchair uh, that you've got on there and you've also got the basket with the laundry uh, that also comes out. Next to that, if you don't want the cats at play, maybe you want to go uh, for the pets at play uh, that you've got there. So we've also got pets at play. So you're going to, this time you're getting more of the photos, you're getting the box that's in there. Um, pause for thought that you've got as well. Um, love this set though. I just like the little box that you've got, and I call the added, because these would also work, I'm getting with your um, little cuties for a wall and create, because they're the same sort of sizes. So they would really yes. work with that sort of home scenes from your all and create stamps. So start mixing and matching and looking at the samples that you've already got. £30.98, that's for those two. Now, if you're thinking, well, I like those two and I like the other cat ones, or actually I like the cat ones and I want them dog ones, you might as well go for them all. There is a £3 saving here, £3 saving here, and there's also a £3 saving along the top. So that's that three, six, nine pounds already. I'll give you a further £6 on top of that as well. So that's for £15 saving is what you're going to get if you're going to go for that big bundle. £86.94. I'm with you all the way. It's still a considered purchase. So why don't we split it into three for you? Split it into three. Um, three interest-free flexible payments of 28 pounds and 98 pence today that 15 pound saving 430565 is your item number we are now 60 percent of the stock has already gone something else that you may also like on the show as some of the previous collections uh, that Karen's bought you as well. So this is your main new bundle for today, but maybe you also want to go for some of the cats uh, that you've got on here. I'm going to turn that one that way, just so you can see them all. And I have got boards for these, uh, so I can show you. Um, I do like these cats. There's something about these cats that have got that, that sort of, this cuteness about them. They really have little cats on the scales, and I, I just like this one. The little cat just looking going, really? Are these right? Then he just stands up going, surely not. How about if I take my tail off? That will lose a couple of pounds, surely. It's the weight of the tail. That's what I'd like with jeans on. Surely it's the jeans. It's the jeans that I've got on. It's not me. I haven't changed at all. It's just the clothes I'm wearing. No, there I am. Well, you don't need to know. Uh, then you've got the pillars. Uh, you've also got the doors as well. It's starting to be pants. Uh, then you've got the pants. Uh, then you've got your door stoppers on here. So you can put things on these cards. You could also use these as tags. Also use them as hooks, as uh, little brackets for your cards, uh, little tabs for your cards as well. 
Uh, they are all good sizes. Thirty pounds and ninety-eight pence uh, is what you are looking at in this set now. Three nine six four two four is your item number for these ones. Then moving on from there, the original collection. This is the one I saw in um, Karen's dressing room when she was doing some of the samples uh, for the show. She did a border. Uh, I don't know if I've got it here. Uh, but there was a border one, and it looked absolutely phenomenal. Just using some of the cushions uh, that we've got on the show, because you've got all the cushions uh, that you've got there. I do remember seeing it. I have seen it somewhere. This was another one that Karen did that I remember doing in, in a dressing room as well. It was nice. I like that one. I like all of them, to be honest, that you're getting on these. How about a little uh, Cat Carol service? Yes, yeah, singing the little songs that they are there. Say again? Happy birthday. Sing, could be singing happy birthday, put little Christmas hats on, they could be singing a carol. This they could. Could be singing a hymn for a christening card. You know, could be singing whatever you want. Could be a pop group. The pus, Pussycat Dolls. That's already been worked though, isn't it? Uh, comfy Cozy that you've got on there, Snug, and you've also got the singers as well. In Harmony. That's a bad name for you, In Harmony. Now, if you're liking all these, but you're thinking, that's all well and good. Ka Karen told us the inspiration group that I can go and find out eventually. Uh, that's out there on Facebook. She did tell us about it. But let me show you some inspiration. Press record on your telly, because you don't want to miss this next minute and 45 seconds. Yes, indeed. Some more inspiration. Oh, I was like, I was like the ghost then of Christmas past. I liked it. Uh, right, let's get over to Cam. The happy hour is busy as well. Those masking sheets are flying out the door for nineteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. Let me quickly give you the details for those, and we'll go back for another demonstration. Uh, the price will go back up though uh, to thirty-nine pounds and ninety-nine pence for fifty sheets. Seven four zero five two six is your item number. Nineteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. It doesn't look much there. I'll give you credit. No, it doesn't. But it is going to save you, and you start building those layers. Right then, let's see what. Karen Keats is up next. What are we doing? Well, we're going to do a little bit with the the older, the, the previous collection. Okay. So I'm going to do something with the cushions. You bring up the details. I'm going to, I've got an A4 sheet and how am I going to work that? So we're going to, I'm going to stamp it, but I'm using my stamp, stamping platform to just lean on so that I've got some foam underneath it. Okay. So we're using the one that is the with the the, the kitty on the um pull fair with all the, the cushions that pile up. That's the one. So we're using um not the one the details that are on your screen at the moment. I would change those. It's the ones with the little door handles and the cat the cats on the scales. It's those ones. That's, that's the set. Uh, that's the set that we're using. Uh, they've got cushions in as well. They've all got cushions. That's how they all blend. They do, yeah. So I'm going to do, and I've got an A4 sheet here. So I'm going to start off with an A4 sheet. I'm not going to colour this one. I have got one coloured in, but I haven't finished it. But it's just an, Id an idea that I had. So I'm popping the first one on. Now, these can blend, all blend together. If you pop it like that, they can blend together. However, I am going to mask them because then I don't get any bits that's, that's, no, uh, that's not there. You, in this, with what I'm doing here, you don't have to do all the three at the same time. So you wouldn't have to cut it all out. It's just I'm putting one on top of the other on top of the other. So it's just going to be the, the, the top part. And I quite find this, uh, this is quite a lot of fun. I'm popping another one onto there. 
So that's the second set. The one on the set, on the on the stamp set, would be a third one that would normally fit there, but that's got a cat onto it. Okay. So I'm not. You can see the cat there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I need to move this over, don't I, for you? Sorry. Into the centre. And leave them on there. We're going to take that one off because we don't need to put two on. This one's going to go here. And as you can see, this one's well, well worn. I did say this morning that when you're doing your, uh, when you're cutting the masking out, if you cut on the inside of the line, if you cut okay. on the outside, it'll go over and you'll end up with a... A bit of a gap. A bit of a gap. If you cut on the inside and make so it fits right to the inside, you can see there where it's on the inside, and that would make it so that you, you get a line to line. So cut on the inside of the black line that you stamp, That's is what we're it. saying, and then yeah. it's... Um, yeah, then it'll work. Definitely. And if you don't if you don't get it joined up, just use the back um I said eyeliner this morning, but it would be a micron a, pen. Micron pen. Yeah. Use something that's waterproof if you're gonna do some some colouring. Again, that one's gonna go back in there. So I'm reusing the same one over and over. And then we're gonna do this one. And I'm doing three of each on this. Make sure I've got enough ink onto it. Wipe your hands on your jeans again, Karen. <laughs> if I had an apron, apron, and there was stamping. Oh, imagine if you had I'd, an apron. Can you imagine? <laughs> That's why I wear dark jeans. <laughs> We are very, very busy for the happy hour now. There You've got you go. less than 20 minutes to get it before the price does go back up to that £34.99. £19.99 pence is what you're looking at for this one. 740526. Uh, works out to be 40 pence uh, per sheet. Normally it'd be 80 pence per sheet. You're getting it for 40 pence per A4 sheet. And remember, if you're going for that big bundle, it's only going to use three sheets. And if you're savvy about it, I reckon you could get it into two. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did that for speed. I got the words into it and everything else, but I you, could, you could, you could it do it into two, two. Yeah, you've got under 48 left then, haven't you? That's very true. So that's the stamp in there. When we take that off... Question? Yes. Uh, we had this the other day, um, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take your question, and I'm going to ask for you, because you haven't emailed in today, and I can't remember who it was from. Um, if I'm no good at cutting... Okay, so I'm no good. I'm no good at the little fussy cutting. It's one of the. It's one of the bugbears that I cannot stand doing. Do you want to put it in an electronic machine? Can I machine? put it into a brother scan and cut? Can I put it into my Cricut machine and just use it for cutting? Nothing else. I'm not saving as, nothing. As long as it. As yeah, of course you can. Uh, scan to cut. Um, so I could scan it in, cut it, but yeah. I don't save anything to my machine because I can't change the sizes because we're not allowed to do that. But we could cut yeah. it out using our yeah. machines. Yeah. When we're, when I'm demonstrating, sometimes I would. I, I have cut these to scan that with, with my scan and cut. What I can advise though, I will advise about if you look at the artwork, have a look onto, onto the, the artwork, yep. it's not all joined up. It looks joined up but okay. it's not because he's a very, Pete's a very kind of guy that it, it's not all joined so it, it's given the illusion of everything's joined up. If you are doing it onto your electronic machines, I would give yourself a border. At least okay. a millimetre or a two millimetre border. Just around the edge. Because if not, you can end up with what happened to me and it was like, it just cut everything up because there, it, there was gaps. Well, have a little go. Go around with your micron pen. Yep. Stamp them out and then go around. If you round, want to go around with your micron pen. Go around pen. then scan yeah. them. But it's, it's worth having a little thing done. If you yeah. don't like fussy cutting, because I love doing masking sheets, but I'm just too lazy, so I end up just tearing them and just using bits and bobs rather than the actual shape. Uh, so scan, start scanning them in. Stand them into your crickets, into your silhouettes, into your brother scanning cuts, and then cut them out that way, but you're not allowed to save anything on your machine. Okay, so you can't rescale anything. So you can't rescale it. So this is, and then we start colouring this in. And then I've got, uh, on top of it, I've got my, oh, funky fossils. Oh, they're coming oh, up later on today. They're on later today. And Next I've, hour, Sarah's in. Yep, I've used all Funky Fossil onto here and started blending. And what I have done is I've then watercolored it with oh. my gel pens. Okay. And what you can see here is I've now cut it, cut it down, and I drew down here and then cut a line out. 
Yeah. I have got a little guy that I have done. And you can see I've cut him out. So what I... Uh, you can see the white back onto there. So what I would do is get a... Uh, you know, another pen. Do excuse me leaning down here while I get a pen. Is this going to be a penny slider? It's going to be a penny slider. Yes! So, so I would... Love a penny slider. Col colour that in there. Yeah. And... <laughs> I've got some pads somewhere and I've lost them. What, what have you I... lost? My pads. Your pants? My pads. Oh, your pants. <laughs> Ah. So well, there's uh, going to be a, a pretend. While you while you find your pads, yeah, it's uh, going to be a pretend. Penny no, you slider. have a look. I'll do a quick yeah. recap. So I've got some okay, cardboard that I've cut into circles, and I'm going to start gluing these together okay. to make the penny slide apart, and then I shall find my foam pads. Right, sh shall I go and do it? Shall I do a recap? Is that a thumbs up for me? I can now do my yeah, bit. Yeah, okay, you can, yeah. So. <laughs> You're good to go now. Right then. <laughs> while we, while you, oh, it's packed shot. Um, you can't even breathe, Daddy. Oh, I'm all of a dither. I'm all of a flutter working with Canada today. She sends me all of a quiver. My knees have got all weak. Uh, so, £28.98 across three interest free flexible payments because there's three sets, three interest payments. So, your first payment will get you these two for £28.98. Your second set will get these, and then you'll get these. But we'll send them all to you after that first payment of £28.98. 4305. 565 is your item number. If you've not already used your code WELCOME, maybe you've come over from Create and Craft, or maybe you're have you were here uh, and you've stuck with the craft store, we're now all one big happy family. We really, really are. I'm over there on Wednesday. Yes, again, I'm going to fill my pockets with tea and coffee like I did last time. Get all I can. Um, I'll go over there. So I'll be there, well, I think, Wednesday afternoon. I'm over on Create and Craft. But what you're getting now, if you've just come over and you're thinking, well, what am I going to get? If you've not used the code WELCOME yet, put this in and you'll get £5 off. I know. You will get £5 off, and you can also do the same over on the Create and Craft website as well. If you want to go for the big bundle, though, there's 90 stamps in total. 430565 is that item number that you are looking at for this one. Very, very busy for these ones. We're also busy for the ones Karen's using as well. Uh, these are the cushions that you've got on here. So it's, it sort of reminds me of sort of the Creature Comforts-esque that it's got to it. It's nothing to do with that. I must stress before the lawyers get on my back again. Uh, it's nothing to do with that. Uh, but it, do, it does remind me of that sort of look uh, that you're getting on these ones. Because you're getting all the cushions and you're getting the big fat cat on the scales as well. £30.98. All year round, I feel, these cards are as well. I don't think there's just one season that you could send these cards. I think these have got a, a no-end date. It just goes on and on and on uh, when you could use them for. 369, it's not at all, it's 396424 is your item number. £30.98. Have you found your pads? I found everything that I need. She's yes. found a leprechaun, <laughs> a penny. Have you got a penny? I don't need a penny because I'm using circles. She's using circles. I'm using circles. She don't use a penny. <laughs> so I'm going to, I've got um, some little squares. I have, did have some circles at home, some round ones. You can purchase round foam pads, but I've, uh, like everything else, I've misplaced everything. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to pop it onto a big one there. I'm going to pop that into here. At the end of this hour, I think we all need a debrief. I, I don't really know what's happened in the last 44 minutes. I'm not going to lie. Can we watch this show back? <laughs> and generally, <laughs> I'm generally he's, confused he's myself. He's doing a back-to-back -back that's done it. He's doing a back-to-back -back and I've got... Disorientated. Disorientated. You've only Dis walked from. You've only walked in a straight line from Janice to no, me. You know? I know. I know. I know. Well, I'm very disorientated. It was that travel agent. It made me feel sick. She's gone all queasy. <laughs> She's found her sea legs. <laughs> it's an idea, anyway. It's not a. It's not a finished sample. It's an idea. Leave enough space with your. Uh, well, you can you see here where I put it too close? It's not going to work if you if you do it too close. Oh, okay. And I usually have foam tape, 
And then I was thinking, I was trying to lighten the load and not bring half the craft room with me. No, it's, it's um, very true. Really, is this your last show today? It's my last one, yeah. Really, I should bring half my craft room because I never go without stuff then, do I? Nice. Well, you, no, you're doing well. Um, you're, doing, <laughs> you're doing... Nigel's going to go, what were that? He won't. And if he says anything, send him my way. I'll have a word. Will you have a word? And then I'll tell him the truth, what actually happened. Oh. <laughs> She was a nightmare, to be honest. A nightmare. Well, I got. I was. I had. Uh, I'd been on night night before on Friday, so obviously I was catching up with a bit of sleep, and I got a message from Sam. Oh, he's a woman. She says. I says, oh, she says, Adam, he's talking about your own wow about your dirty bank pads. Well, I was because I knew. I knew it. I knew it. I don't think there's enough phone pads on that paper. Well, I'm not going to stick them all. What are they going to do? So many. What time are we on? What we got? Uh, well, oh, I've got well, loads. Quarter of time. <laughs> it's going to take you 15 minutes to take all these. No, I'm only doing a few. <laughs> Why would you put them all on then if you're only doing a few? <laughs> because even if you don't take the backs off, yeah. you still got the support. Oh, so it gives you. Oh, so it's like a set it's of stilts. The support. Yeah, yeah. That's what you I need at the moment. You want to put three stilts on a house? It falls on corner, doesn't it? Does if you don't take the yes. Yeah. But you, so you need the ones in the middle you to support it all. You need the ones in the middle to 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 support it all. That's all. You don't have to. You never have to take all the backs off the the foam foam pads because ah. foam pad is just there for support. For support. So we can see that that's going round, or it would do. Well, we're going to take that off because we put two together. We're going to cut another one. Okay, we here don't we go. Want, we don't strip. Uh, we have only got ten minutes left of the hour. Yep, I've got one more little demo that I'd like to show. Oh, will you now? Afterwards, if oh. that's okay with well, you. Well, that's my producer, to be honest. <laughs> Ross is saying he'll think about it. Depends how well this one goes. Thank you, Ross. Thank you. So and then we're putting that onto there like that. We've I've gone round the, the edges where I've cut it. I've gone round with um, a brown pen just to take off the edges. Yes, yeah, so we can't see the white. So you can't see the white. And then we're going to take that all the way up and I can tell that this is not going to work because I've got too many pads. So I went before. <laughs> So before before you start sticking anything down, just make sure it works. It was a brilliant idea, Adam. It was. It was a brilliant it, idea. I'm sure you've got, it was. You've got all these in, and he's a he's a he's a, a thingy dog, right? So yeah. he's now on top of there, and if you get it right and you do it, you have it so he comes all the way tumbling down to the floor. Yeah, if you don't get stuck. <laughs> to the floor and then what you can do if this don't get you crafter of the year <laughs> i'll eat my ass <laughs> this year if you don't get crafting you could woman have of the one year of these, after this you could have one of these double it up there so he goes straight through <laughs> Yeah, let's move on to the next demo. Thirty pounds and I get the concept, though. I get the concept. I, I, we, un we understand it. Uh, right then, get away from it, Taz. Come off, her. come off, her, Taz. Come off. Her. Uh, Thirty pounds and ninety-eight pence is what you're looking at on this one. Uh, Three nine six four two four is your item number. Your other returning favourites that we've got on the show as well. Uh, these are your cats and more cushions. We don't need any more cushions. Uh, you've got the cushions. I, d I do adore these sets because you could use these with so many more uh, that you've got in there. Use them with your other stamps. Combine them uh, with your Christmas. You could turn these into Christmas. You could turn them into Halloween, birthdays, anniversaries. It's all going to work. And if you've got, imagine doing these in things like shrink plastic and then making charms and chains uh, with them. You could do that as well. Making a penny slider card. We've not seen one of them working yet, but maybe you want to make a penny slider card uh, that you want to do at home. You can do that with your penny slider card. Um, I love them. I love, I love a good working penny slider. But 
More foam pads on that than Phil Martin uses in one card. There was on that. Did you see it? Like a snipe. Big collection. I'm going to get this in because I'm going to hand it over because um, I do want to get another demonstration in because who knows what's going to happen. There's a £3 saving. £3 here, £3 here and £3 here is what you're going to save across the board. Then I'll also give you a further £16 is what you're going to get and I'll split it onto two, three. Interest free. Flexible payments. Don't you start say it, laughing, Sarah Love. I'm bad enough trouble as it is. £28.98. I quite quite like my job. 430565 is your item number that you're looking at for this one. Use that code WELCOME or let's take advantage of the three flexible payments that you've got on this as well. Sticking that happy hour at £19.99 and pence will get you 50 of your masking sheets, but that price will go back up to £39.99 and pence at the end of the hour. Right then, we have five minutes left. <laughs> Let's see what happens now. Right, so you, you, we did the demo where I did it so that uh, you, could, you could mask it all off. If you don't want to mask it off and you want something coming outside, if you just use your craft knife... Who give her a knife? Who watch yourself. I'm, I'm okay, I'm not as dangerous with a craft knife as I am with a uh, penny slider, I assure you. And you can lift that up and have your... Individual one. Oh, I like you could have a little popping up on a bit. I could go old school, like a pop up yeah, card. Yeah, like a pop up card. There you go. And we've got one here. You can see at the back where I've glued him down. Oh, that's and cute. And popped him into there. So this part here I've cut into his paws and added it so he's looking round the outside of there. Oh. That's that. And don't forget you can make your own backgrounds. Oh, that's nice. They're just the pictures. Oh, okay. Just the three pictures. Just. Just stamped. Just stamped into diagonal. And then the one thing that I would like to show you of is you can. it'll it'll only be quick. No, so go on, of... We've still got how long we got, Taz? We've got three minutes. We've, we've got, got three, three minutes. To minutes. Fill. Cool. So I will No, I've got it in the What a dip. You've got a minute. Yeah, I've got it all all sorted here. We're going to take a stamp. Thank you, Karen. That's the end of the show. So then, if you want... <laughs> you're not, you're joking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're horrible, you. <laughs> Stop that. What are you up to? Come it's on. It's you. You've got me all of a couple. <laughs> I do that to the girls. Yeah, so I've got a jelly plate and I've got a little little one. It will. I'm going to... Uh, that will... I don't want you to talk about your problems, love. I was talking about my jelly plate. <laughs> I've only got a little jelly plate. I like my little jelly plates. So I'm going to stamp my stamp, and that's going to be first impression yes. straight into my jelly plate. Be careful okay. how you pop it on. Don't squeeze, to, don't push it down too hard because you'll make it... Um, you'll splurge it, won't splurge you? Splurge it, yeah. You can see I've got a little bit yeah. on there. I'm going to do the second generation with that. I love the imagery on this. I do, we genuinely do love the imagery. I'm doing the second and uh, second generation, and then I'm popping that one right there. Oh, and just do that. I'll give you. I'll give you that. Can I, I have that you one? You can have that one. That makes up for your petty stuff. I like that. The roof. So all these now. So we've got 90 stamps, but we could reverse all of them. 180. Yeah. So we've now got 180 stamps. Yeah, yeah. And then a quick one with the dog, one dog that I've not shown you, that I think is is lovely, is, I'll pop him here. If you've got a birthday greeting, I've got another piece of paper, a birthday greeting, I will show you the card. You can pop that there, like that. And then you get yourself a, a liner pen. Oh, I can't find one when I want one. And you can... Oh, make a little night. Oh, like one of these. Like this one. Yeah. Like so you them. can start doing these. This is what we created. So you can start doing your, little, uh, your own little tags uh, and your own little cards. Oh, like your little ATCs uh, that you've got. I adore these. These are apps that, so you, if you're scared of the bigger pictures, uh, you can go, pick a card, any card, uh, you can go slightly smaller if you wanted to as well. I like this concept. Look at this. And then that's that one, dancing together. Love it. 
Um, you put a little frilly skirt on one of those. It could be like a rock and roll dance. Well, use your mask it. Put your frilly skirt first. And then and stamp then put over. And then put your, your, your um, dog into your frilly skirt. Well, there you go. Who would have thought it? Thank you, Karen, my love. Thank you. Always a pleasure. I'm glad I redeemed myself. It's always a pleasure. Don't you worry. I know. I know when I'm with you. I never get into trouble because I blame you. Uh, so, happy hour. <laughs> Always busy. Pass the book. Uh, happy hour. Very busy for this one is what we've been. Very, very busy. £19.99 pence is what you're looking at on this. Um, it will go back. Uh, it will be dispatched on the 4th because uh, it sold out earlier. Very busy this hour as well. Uh, it should be 39 and it will be in genuinely five minutes time. The price will go back up. 740-526 is that item number. The item number on the big, big bundle as well. You are loving the big bundle that we've got here. And you're getting 90 stamps. <coughs> if you use um, your jelly plates, that's 180 uh, that you've got. So you've got over a lot. You've got loads of stamps that you can use on here. Done by a big old designer as well from a well-known brand that we all know and love. And you are once again, you're buying into a concept. You're buying into something that will grow with you. Four three zero five six five. When are you back, Karen? Do you know? Uh, 18th. I'm doing a ATC show with the um, Cool Cats for the Cool Cats round. Mid middle of February. Middle of Feb. We shall see you then. Have a good we one. See you. Thank you. Have a good one. It's always a pleasure. Always a pleasure to work with that Karen. She don't come in enough for my liking. Uh, right then, start checking out your baskets. If I was you, um, for the sheer fact you don't want to miss out on this, you especially don't want to miss out on your happy hour. Shall I tell you what's coming up over the next three hours? Oh, by the way, we had questions yesterday. What happens if I miss the shows? You can watch them all back on Rewind. And if you want to watch this one back, oh, it's a hoot. A hoot. It will get rid of the neighbours quite quickly if you pop this on again. I will see you in an hour's time. Don't you go anywhere. That's it, just a school throughout the building. She'll be fine, she'll be fine, leave her in the car park. Uh, Spring into the forest with Funky Fossil is up next. Then it's Quilting Antics with myself, Final Call, One Day Special. Ah, Catherine's back as well. Woof woof. Woof woof. Tula Pink is a fabric designer, a quilter and an author. She works closely with Free Spirit Fabrics to develop multiple fabric collections every year and is best known for her dark sense of humour, a flair for hiding animals within her designs and her bold, unique use of colour and pattern. I will be bringing you a wide selection of wonderful fabrics at fantastic prices. are on sale now for Crafting Live at Sandown Racecourse. Featuring exclusive offers and competitions. Over 800 make and takes. Stock up from over 50 exhibitors. And meet and greet our craft presenters. Plus, craft members save 25% off their tickets. Book your tickets now at creatingcraft.com and search for Crafting Live. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dyes that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders. We have decorative dies. We have colouring daubers. We have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping moulds, where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers, which are absolutely stunning. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the craft store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 the craft store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us.
Good afternoon, everyone. Yes, I am back. It's so nice to be here as well, especially when I'm kicking my working day off with the lovely Sarah from Funky Fossil. It's the first live hour of the day as well because Sarah will be back at 7 o'clock tonight. Let's say a very good afternoon to Sarah. It's always a delight to see you. Aww. You're always really smiley. Oh, well, I'm always just so glad you to are. be here. I love coming down and doing the show. So yeah, it's, a, it's a real highlight for me. Oh, and we love having you. And you've brought some amazing products Thank to you. us again here today. Absolutely beautiful. Brand, brand new as well. Wait until you see what we've got in store. Let's have a look at our first little bundle. Now, we've got a stamp and a stencil here. So it's a whole set. It's not just one the individual stamp. It's called Spellbound. I love this, Sarah. This is very, mm. very different. It's, it's beautifully illustrated by, uh, by Charlotte Blackwood, who's done, I think, probably about four or five sets for us now. But she's got just a, a, a lovely elegant style to her drawings and this one's all themed around books and reading and and just that kind of magic of or kind of losing yourself in your imagination and and that that bottom stamp there which i think is about 12 centimeters long wow. this is a big stamp uh, i just love that with the tree coming out of the book so just again you know i just love the way her mind works beautiful yes they are bigger bigger than they appear on the packaging now they in fact i've got the stamp set here so you can really appreciate what you're getting obviously an a5 set so those individual stamps there but of course you can see what can be achieved with this when you start to see those samples so let me show you one or two of them because sarah as always i always have to say about the design team because everybody works so so hard they do look at that that is glorious isn't it that so is that, beautiful and, and what jane's done there is oh, use wow. one of the papers that's coming up in the pad uh, further down the counter so that's created the, the frame and the arch almost a ready-made yes. frame uh, and then she's uh, uh, kind of popped the book in there i, I love everything about them the way the ink's been applied as well around yes, the book the shading. Yeah, beautiful look at that as well so that's using Those the box. spiral uh, stencil that, that comes with this stamp set so see how they work together that does work very, very well, doesn't it? They're nice. equally standalone or put together. I love the swirl that we've got here on yes. the book. Yeah, the starry swirl. So that I just I, I put that stencil together because I just again for me it's that magic of opening a book. Yeah, and, definitely. And kind of a, Oh, these are gorgeous, Sarah. Now, is that stamped onto patent paper? It so is. Again, about yeah, the colouring? So Laura, uh, the newest member of our design team, she stamped that uh, that large image onto the patent paper that's again Very on the counter indeed. today. Really effective. Absolutely. Now, I've got a few more, and then we'll move on to the next item. Now, maybe we'll come back and see some more of these later as well. I try not to leave any out, but we have got quite a few to get through. £18.49, that's the price. If you are going for this set, remember you're getting all those stamps in that one set there and that beautiful stencil as well. 372817 is the item number. Now, moving on again, I'll keep those separate so I can show the other ones later. We're, we're going to the forest now. That's exactly where we're going. Oh, this is so, so beautiful. Oh, we've got MDF and the stencil in this one. Yes. As yes. well as the stamps. So I, I kind of replicated the stencil design in the little MDF frame um, so that you could obviously uh, take this design kind of off the page if you wanted to make a decoration. But I'm really excited about this set because this is a new designer to us, Claire Brooking, who's this is the first ever stamp set that she's uh, put together. But really? she's a really talented uh, watercolour artist and she does really delicate oh, nature sweet. inspired uh, imagery so yeah I, I, this set is just a joy to work with <laughs> and uh, it's Claire's first with us. Oh I love the little bird's nest with the eggs in there as well and then you can see the stencil of course you've got that woodland feel you've got the little toastals in there and that replicates of course with that MDF which is yes. wonderful absolutely gorgeous so lots of choices of how to use this one these are the stamps again I've got to say the two little bunnies are so adorable and the little look on the bird's face as well know, very they're, very they're very are. sweet and, and the way they're just it's so versatile because there's so many elements in the set to build your yes. scenes the way you want to or or be as minimalistic as you want and just use one or two of these images now this is a clever idea use your mdf and make a little book perhaps or a hanging plaque i mean this is a plaque but you could use that as the bunk yeah that, book cover, that's a really you? great idea i've not thought of that that yeah <laughs> do you know you could and you could you know you could either draw the holes or just use the hole at the top that's yeah, already there tags, but the but yeah and open it up look at that oh how gorgeous is that so that's some of our music paper and I think we've used our new A7 crackle it. stamp on the on the MDF there. So 
Yeah, and then oh. we've got our new A7 Doodle Hearts in the background on that one. So That's you, lovely, isn't you it? You kind of go, want to go whimsical or kind of really kind of rustic, it, it works for either. It certainly does. And of course, you've got the MDF there, but also if you want to make your cards, you know, you could stamp onto fabric. These are all going to work. I adore these little bunnies. That's and that bird is there again. That, that Isn't card that is lovely with the background on the watercolour yeah, card? Yeah, that is by Claire herself. So she made that one. And it, yeah, the, again, you can just see with that beautiful, delicate wash. You can, and I must show as well, of course, the mask or the stencil there as well. It's absolutely gorgeous. Now, that works very, very well to build up the background, to overstamp. You know, you could cut out an overlay as well. You've got lots of options with this bundle. Another great price at just £20.99. Item number is 441511. One. Right, I'm going to make sure I say some more of those for later as well. There's so many lovely samples, seriously. Now, we have got more, of course, so let's go to the next bundle. I'm smiling already because these are just so adorable again. <laughs> now, it is a pick and mix, and you're choosing any two. Now, this is a new pick and mix for today as well, so you won't have seen, we won't have offered this like this to you before. £3 saving here, £24.98. 796906 is the item number. Now, the first one, this one here, I believe, is going places. Going, oh, I can see. Have you ever been in a hot air balloon, Sarah? No, no, no I'm not. I, I. I love the look of them in the sky. I'm not sure I would want to be in one. Yeah, do you know, you I've, I've often seen them and thought, that is one thing I'm not sure I want to do either. I, th I think I'd parachute before doing that, to be quite honest. <laughs> no, I'm definitely not. I don't know that. why. I don't know why. I quite <laughs> fancy the idea of that. I keep, I've said that before and I'm a bit scared because somebody might take me they, up they and will. me in. <laughs> <laughs> Now, we've got more as well. Now, on Safari is the next one. I'm just holding up the stamps from the previous one, again, because you can see that they are bigger than the packaging. But let's have a look at on Safari. Really, really cute characters again here. Look at the elephant blowing out those love hearts. Fantastic. <laughs> but you could change that. If you wanted water, you could draw oh, that yes, in I mean, or use yeah, the, the, that. the hearts are kind of far enough away from the trunk that you can, you say, mask them off and, and do something else or, or use the heart separately. Oh, these are great fun, aren't they? Absolutely wonderful. Let's look at the next one. We've got another three to get through. So, yeah, some great choices. Now, I did spot a card when I came to the studio and I went straight over it, to it. It had the hedgehogs on. Yes. And it's hedgehogs, isn't hedgehogs, it? Hedgehogs, yeah. Giving hedgehogs, yes. which I absolutely adore. Very, very sweet. You've got the pumpkin in there, you've got the acorns, the leaves, so you've got some nice little worker stamps to build up those scenes that's, as well. Yes, and that's, oh, that's the reason for putting this pick and mix together, because they're all stamps that's designed by Donna, so her artwork then just translates so brilliantly yes. across the sets, yeah. and they've all got builder elements in them, so, you know, clouds and rainbows and flowers, so whatever two you choose you'll be able to combine yes, them. Yes, definitely. Now we're feeling sheepish next, that's what we're doing now. We're going to go and have a look. Let me look at those sentiments. Have a woolly good day. Thank you, love you. Oh, I'm not going to read that one. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case it doesn't come out as it's spelt. Um, Yes, feeling sheepish, sorry I forgot. That's good if you've missed somebody's birthday or an occasion yes. and you are feeling a little bit guilty. Yeah. Fantastic. It's just like a slightly kind of <laughs> tongue in cheek. Oh, I love that. Love it. Then finally, oh, it, do you know, these are just as wonderful, aren't they? The rainy day critters. We've got the frog there. We've got the cat in the wellies. You've got the umbrellas. Look at the snail on the umbrella that the frog's got. I'm awesome. bound to spot a snail, aren't I? Oh, I love the umbrella there as well. Yeah, with the, the, duck duck. In, the duck in the umbrella. So and it's, it's kind of using it like a boat that could be floating down mm, some it water. It could, yeah. <laughs> Love it, love it, love it. Let me show you one or two samples again. Now, there's a huge pile here. I don't think yes. these are in a particular order, They're so it'll right. be a nice mix of the different variations that we've got here. So it, being a pick and mix, you know, it might just help you decide which two. If you want more than two, you can do. We do have five sets, so maybe you want to go for four. If you want them all, maybe you can think about gifting one. Oh, isn't that clever? Yes, yeah, so it's just, again, they say the, the leaves then have been added in to out the trunk. Oh, these are brilliant. Look at that. Oh, so this is by uh, Laura again. Wow. And that that um, balloon moves across the top of the card. Oh, I love, love, love these. Right, we've got to come back and see some more later. Let me give you those details again. 796 906, just 2498, remember. Right, moving down again. We are celebrating, of course. Um, we've got celebrations next for you, so let's have a look at this bundle. What I love about your bundles that you bring to us, Sarah, there's always something a little bit different. They're not all stamps and stencils. You get that little bit of MDF, you get um, a die in this one. In fact, there's two sets of dies in this one, so you do mix it up, which is wonderful. I do. I, I mean, the, these are all things that I like to combine into my own kind of cards or, or journal pages. So. 
and, and for me this is a lovely builder set it's, yeah. it's there it's a stash builder really in terms of the kind of elements that you could add to so many of the things that are already on the counter and and i have done you know obviously the, the bunting just makes any card a bit of a celebration i totally agree i'm loving the stencil with the streamers there as well that's very very useful 20 pounds and 99 pence is the price 294058 just to show you one or two more um samples here as well that's very nice isn't it yeah that falls really flat but look what you've got there very very clever oh now if you do like your bunting you're going to love this next one isn't that lovely that is gorgeous. So the acetate on the front with the bunting yes, over the top. I, 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 I demoed so that well. on my last show. Um, oh, when was I in? The 15th of the month. So, yeah, that, that may well still be on Rewind. Oh, but. I missed that. Maybe it was the other shift. I didn't get to see that at all. Now, another one by Anne here as well. Same design as the first one, but doesn't that work so well? That lovely happy birthday has been used there. So 2099 is going to get you the trio. 294058 is the item number. Now, we did mention the paper pad. I think Sarah mentioned it a little bit earlier. We've got that for you now with the washi tape as well. Now, I can tell you, sometimes this does happen. We know in advance sometimes whether we can get any more stock. And Sarah did tell us once this one has gone, it has gone. And already a quarter of the stock has gone. So you've got the paper pad, you've got the washi, but you've also got those lovely little enamel dots as well. Now, I'm going to do this up down, side down to start with because it's easy to flick. But if I see anything that really wants to be seen the other way, then I will spin it around. Now, you're going to get 12 designs, three of each. There's that arch look. There it is. Now, it is actually, what would GSM is this? 200. Oh, 200. So it's like yeah. a light card it weight. Is. It uh, is. Card great for, weight yeah, then. it's a great weight for die cutting. Beautiful. Lovely, bold colours. Very contemporary as well. Of course, you can still over stamp. We saw those books, didn't we? Stamped onto the paper and cut out, which looked amazing. Um, I'm just basically just flicking through any any point here so you can get an idea of what you're getting. Love the enamel dots as well, of course, because they do match perfectly. You've got all those bright colours in there. And then the washi as well. You've got two different widths. So we've got the wider one and the slimmer one. Absolutely beautiful. We love our washes, don't we, yeah. Sarah? Yeah, and, the, and they're both sort of set, taken from designs in the paper pad, so you've got that, that immediate kind of complementary touch. Now, I am hear, hearing this is very, very busy. We know we can't get any more stock of this one, so if you want it, you need to check those baskets out now. £12.96, £3 pounds saving, 870934. Now, we've got some more stamps for you. We've got backgrounds and textures. This is also a pick and mix, so let's have a look at the three. Now, we've got three out here. On the website, there is much more to choose from, but these are the three new ones. Have so you have used the pick and mix before? You've not seen these. These are the new ones. I'm loving these again, Sarah. I love the crackle. We've got the hearts in there for the background. We mentioned that earlier, didn't we, as well? Yes. Those diamonds are there, but many more on the website, so don't forget to have a look. Unless you've seen these and you're thinking, that's it, they're the three that I want. <laughs> 13 pounds and 49 pence is the price here 832696 of course you still need to go to the website and find the appropriate one the, the name of them put them into your basket and check them out also keep an eye on the end of calls i don't know what's there we don't always get told what's there but there's always some great goodies to be had without the extra postage as well let's move on again because we've got more in the way of stencils so these again are the new ones for you there are absolutely tons on the website now this is nice sarah because i can see we've got that lovely sort of uh, star swirl in there we've got the woodland scene we've got some nice abstract in there some beautiful almost like tiles this one that is lovely yes isn't that, gorgeous? Kind of, isn't that lovely the mosaic fragments kind of style of one one so it's, it's almost like a kind of a combination of a couple of patterns in in the one stencil i love Love, love and they've kind of got kind of got the abstract birch um, trunks there, which go nicely with the forest. So, yeah, some of them are duplicates of what's in bundles if people just want the stencils, but equally others are, are kind of a further extension of our Definitely. large range of oh, stencils. Oh, they're pretty, aren't they? You could yeah, draw the straight into those large. with your fine liners as well. Colour through with your inks first, maybe. What a wonderful selection. £13.49. and pence. It's choosing any four. £4.50 is a saving there. That is a really, really good buy, isn't it? 626930. Right, okay. Now, I thought maybe we could get to Sarah very quickly, but I've got to give you a bit of an update first. I'm just hearing, guess what's gone? And we can't get any more. Technically sold out. If you've got them in your baskets, please check them out. If any bounce out, somebody else can grab them. So if you're wanting them and you've missed out, do just try again, just in case. But I don't think, 
I don't think that you're going to get them. Uh, now, something else is very busy are the blending brushes. Always busy, actually, 9 99 You've got three of the brushes here, a 1.3, a 2 centimetre, and a 2.5 centimetre. So nice to have three different size brush heads there. Wonderful to blend those inks, of course. There we go. So lots to think about, lots to choose from, lots of new todays, and hopefully lots of demo time now because we're going to go over to Sarah. Great. Well, thank you. And, and the first... Um the first set that I was going to look at was the uh, Spring in the Forest um, oh. and using both the kind of the, the, the actual stamps and also the stencil as well because as you say Catherine it's a lovely framing stencil it kind of enables you to, to kind of look into the card and take yeah. your eye into the design and this time I'm going to go slightly whimsical and kind of love themed rather than um, kind of more natural colours so I'm going, to, I'm going to work with my pinks um, today and obviously with my blending brushes to start with so I'm just going to um, ink, into, ink into the aperture, starting with a, a deeper pink. I think this is the picked raspberry at the bottom. Definitely a favourite with many of the guests Oh, here. it's a lovely, lovely pink, this one. Um, nice, rich colour. I love the, the opening, the shape that you've got there as well, because it's not... Well, it's symmetrical, I suppose, but it's not a perfect round or a perfect oval. No, it's, yeah, it's got that... As you say, it does yeah. have a... It's a nice... Kind of got a nice curve to it, but it, it isn't... Um, it, it isn't a geometric -y shape, is it? So No, it's lovely. So oh, just lots of detail in there as well. And it's... Um, I haven't tried it yet. Um, I, I haven't had time. It literally is a, a brand new brand new stencil but I'd be interested to see what it does on uh, the gel plate as well in terms of being able Ooh. to kind of oh I should imagine that's going to be very yeah effective. create that space mm. to look into so I'm starting now at the top of the stencil design with a lighter pink so creating okay. a bit of an ombre lovely effect we are busy on this set actually Sarah 30% of the stock has already gone 20 pounds and 99 pence you're getting an awful lot for your money here as well the a5 stamp set you've got the stencil and you've got the MDF don't forget as well 441511 I know Claire will be delighted because she is she's going to tune in for the shows Oh, so she's watching now, hopefully. Yeah, I hope so. You are very talented, Claire. That's all I'm going to say. Very talented. She is. And she's just got that real real eye for kind of nature. And it, it's um, it's kind of, I'd say it's whimsical without, but also quite realistic, if yes, that makes sense. Yes, yeah. It's whimsical without being cartoony and without being too sickly sweet. That's, yes. that's the way I like to think yes. of it. Yes, gentle whimsy. Gen Ooh. Gentle is a word I was going to use, actually, because I think Ooh. there is that gentleness about the whole theme of this one. Yes. You know, the way everything's been designed and drawn. Yeah, very, very soft and um, calming. Just yes, the images. You, it's, very, it's a very delicate touch to, to her line art. So what I'm going to do before, you can see here, I've got, I've got the uh, stencil on oh, the hinge, so you nice. can see already the... The, um, even though we've got used light pinks at the, the top, you can still see the trees arching over. But I'm going to add a few hearts um, just falling into the aperture before um, before I lift the um, lift the, the bottom stencil up. So this is uh, falling hearts. I, I, I know it's on the stencil pick and mix. Um, I love to see someone using two stencils together as well because we sometimes we forget about that technique. We think we've just got the one to use yes. and that's it. And I do, I do layering. like um, uh, stencils with a good aperture in yeah. them because for stamping or stenciling into, I always think that's a great effect. And it, it's made easier with the brushes because they've just got that slightly more give to go through the depths of the two stencils. So look at that. We can see then how that will. Oh, it's just, just adorable, isn't it? Oh. In terms of, that is the perfect Valentine's card, isn't it? Isn't it Two just? little bunnies could go on there together. It could be an anniversary card. It could be birthday. Thinking of you, missing you. It could be all of those things. It could. I mean, I, and I've got, I've got some of my little uh, bunnies already stamped out. I will stamp one just to give you a feel for it. But yeah, it, they are just, they are just beautiful. And uh, let me. Just pick one of them to to stamp out to give you a, a quick quick look. Oh, do you know what I've done? I've lifted my um, 
aperture off without stamping into it having just said I was going to be stamping into it so actually it's nice to see the two before you've stamped so you can you don't have to go that step further you've no. got all the opportunities to do that with the stamps in there but it's quite nice to see that you've done that Sarah to be honest yes you you you, you don't need the, the yeah. extra uh, element of the stamping um, so let's say just that lovely little bunny which I've, I, I found myself uh, watercolour in these mainly just to get, give that kind of soft wash of colour um, but obviously pencils, markers, whatever. Um, or even just your ink again with the blended brush. True, yeah, yeah actually it'd be lovely because when you say cut that out you can just go right over the edge. Yeah definitely. Right off the edge. Right let's see if I can reposition, it's a quite a simple stencil to reposition so uh, there are some aren't there where it's not quite symmetrical and you can spend ages kind of rotating it round <laughs> trying to work out where on earth you put yeah, it. This is definitely directional. So let's just, um, again this is tone on tone stamping which is quite forgiving then in relation to, because of course we are stamping through a stencil. Do you know what I love as well, Sarah? I mean, there was a time where it seemed that everything had to be stamped in black. And then we've seen more and yes. more of those bundles coming along with those coloured inks, the different types of inks, the shows with Paula, guests like Sarah, I mean, Julie Hickey, everybody who comes here with stamps, work with those wonderful inks in so many different ways now. And I think we're seeing much more in the way of the brighter colours or the softer tones, the pastels, rather than just the harsh black. Yes, I, I think as you say because there are such fantastic inks like the Versafine Claire's now available available to us in those vibrant colours but give you that still that crisp look. Um, I love it. So you can see that it's gone nicely even over the stencil itself. But well, we are busy on this one. Over 40% of the stock has now gone. You've seen some of these little stamps being worked into that image there as well. They just are perfect, aren't they, in size? And we were talking little gift tags, the pages of your journals, maybe happy planners on the corner of pages as well. Yes. Oh, what about the little rabbits going through the pages for the springtime? That'd, That'd be, be lovely, lovely wouldn't it? You're saying, and the, because there's a, a, a nest in there, uh, and a bird. You again having those on opposite corners at the top and bottom corners of a page would be lovely. Oh, that would be nice. Because it just there are just lots of little elements in this set that, again, you can use as scene builders to expand whatever other stamps you already have. I mean, these these kind of little um, woodland flowers are just fantastic for any design, any card that you might want to make. On that little stamp, so that could be, it could be bluebells, it could be Lily the Valley. Absolutely. It's, um, but because we've got the birch tree, um, the, not the birch, the, the, the tree trunks in, in front of it, you've just got that already that sense of depth as we're going into the scene. And uh, because I was on obviously a pink kick at the, the time of uh, putting this sample together, we've got we've got options with our bunting as well. So oh, you need this um, bunting. So either I mean obviously kind of going down that that love theme, we've got the hearts. So on this one um, where I've done it solidly, I've adhered the outline to acetate and then filled back in with a different colour that, oh, that, that I put it out of two really colours. Well, yes, because they would just pop out and fall out your knees and Absolutely. Stitch, and, don't you? I mean, obviously, if you're going to put it flat on a card well. like this, you, don't, you can obviously just um, put them back into the apertures yeah. as you go. But if you want to use it as a... Say, for example, you wanted to use it on um, a, the MDF yeah. and have that as a kind of standalone embellishment then you obviously need something to back it with so acetate's always a good option. You could option. easily join these as well and have swags almost couldn't you use sort of those deeper yes. sort of drops as well beautiful. Fantastic for that so I'll stick with hearts because obviously that's the the general theme we're going for and of course we give ourselves a grey mat here again just nothing too harsh on this in terms of colours. Now we could uh, as well we could uh, we could go with them um, well, that's quite quite dark. Well, I could go with a pink happy birthday if I wanted oh, to yeah. make it a birthday card, or um, I think it's the only kind of punny sentiment I've put in this set. Uh, despite the fact I do love a good pun, so all I've got here <laughs> is um, somebody loves oh, you. Perfect. And just stamp that onto pale grey. So there's no there's no black in this card. Um, it's just soft pale pastel colours, but really really kind of. Um, 
inviting card, I think. It really is. I absolutely love that. As we've said, it could be Valentine's, it could be anniversary, wedding, it could be whatever you want. But also Easter as well, maybe if you're making little gift boxes, um, sure. bunting to hang up, you could have the little bunnies and all those things on there as well. Well, we are very, very busy in this bundle. Two thirds now has oh, gone, wow. it's suddenly jumped. I think you've seen that card come together, you've seen how easy it is to achieve that, but it looks as though it's, you know, sometimes cards do look complicated, but when you see it broken down, it is so easy and you can achieve that because we're giving you everything that you need to do that just looking at the stamps again in this set loving the little log there as well the tree stump yes and that's a great base obviously for putting your rabbits onto or, or your um, your birds so uh, that's where we started actually Claire, when we we're talking about it because we were thinking of it and in the forest and I said we'll, we'll need we'll need some kind of like the branch and yeah. the tree stump we need some kind of basis to, to kind of ground the animals and the little butterflies as well you could have just one landing on the bunny's nose there couldn't you that would be, be really, really sweet can i show some more samples as well i'll give the details 20 pounds and 99 pence for the whole bundle remember you are getting the mdf in there you're getting the stencil and that set of stamps as well that gorgeous little tag Oh, how sweet is that? You see, you're going to make your cards, you're going to make your gifts, you're going to make the tags to go with it. Maybe you've got picture frames and you could put these in the foreground of a picture frame. Your scrapbooks, of course. We've talked about Happy Planner. Love, love, love that effect there. There's the log, actually, the tree trunk with the branch. That yes. does work well. Yes, and there's some of the washi tape down the side there. There well. is. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, this next one. Talk about simplicity at its best. Look at this. How yeah. sweet. Isn't that just adorable? I think, is that by Jane, I think? That if, is definitely by Jane, yeah, yes. If it, if Isn't that clever? Clean and simple, that'll be a Jane card. And that just goes to show you don't need to be frightened of white space. I just love that. And then, of course, building up those scenes again. Oh, these are delightful. I haven't got time to show you them all again, so I'm delving deep. Let's just pull another one out. Oh! Oh, there they are, the two little bunnies in love again. And 441 511 is the item. Yeah, Nat number. Natalie's used the Falling Hearts stencil on that it one. It is, as well. yes. Yeah. That was Natalie's, that one. Now, the stencil pick and mix. Don't forget, we have got stencils in bundles, but we do have that there as well. We're going to show you how it all works. We did say there's many more to choose from. The new todays are on the counter, but we've got some that you may or may not have seen before. Maybe you're collecting, you want to add to that collection. Yeah, there's something for all seasons here as well. Absolutely beautiful. What a great price as well. It's a pick and mix of any four. I'm just hearing an at least number. Did I just hear that right? 273, at least. I don't think that's how many options are now live, but that's certainly how many we've had on. Really? Yeah, over, over the last two oh, years. Oh, Sarah. I know, I'm a busy wow. little bee. <laughs> so we may not have the full 273 no. on the website, but there's still an awful lot to choose from, but that is how many have been designed and made so far. So if you have been collecting, yes, definitely keep it going. You can see that Forest Glade is also there. If you're not going for the bundle, but you love that stencil as well. Yeah, so much to choose from. Love it. Let's get back to Sarah. We want to see another demo, don't we? That's you, Sarah. Are you Greg, all right? I am ready to go with um, Spellbound, the um, the book um, the book theme set by uh, by Charlotte. Um, and Charlotte herself is a librarian uh, from Norway, so obviously books was definitely always going to be one of the one of the themes that um, that she was going to explore at some point. And when she sent these through, I was I was just absolutely smitten with them straight away. So I'm going to um, do a very simple background. Um, with a trusty um, a blending brush. Yeah, don't forget we've got those available again. You get three in the set. Exactly the same ones that Sarah is using. Nice to have those three different sizes in one bundle as well, Sarah. Yes, it's um, we, we normally bring you a four bundle, but I'm out of stock of the large one at the moment. So, um, very say, is that the largest one in this particular bundle that you've got there? No, this is the largest in the bundle, the pink one. Okay. So you can see there's a slight difference, but this is still a very sizable blending brush, yeah. certainly for backgrounds. So uh, I'm, I just grab whatever. Yeah, and a lot of you may have bought these before, and it is nice to keep collecting those brushes, isn't it? And, you know, you can wash them out, but be a little bit careful how you wash them. You don't want to put them in too hot a water. But you can use them with more than one colour. There is a bit of a, a guide, isn't there? Sometimes keep certain ones separate, maybe a yellow, keep it separate. Yes, I mean, and I tend to go with um, either, I mean, obviously I've got the luxury of having lots, but trying to keep, I certainly try and keep my cool and warm colours separate. So, yeah. you know, keep your blues and greens and your, your reds and oranges um, on separate brushes. And then if, you, if you're wanting to um, move between colours and feel like actually you want to clean off the brush, just wipe it on a microfiber cloth yeah. before you start and it yeah. just takes off any excess. 
if you're wanting a very pale blend and you have used the brush already, I would always recommend trying it on the paper first because you'd be surprised yeah. at how much ink's on there. You would, wouldn't you? Sometimes it looks like there's barely anything there, so you'd load it up before even trying yes, it, and you don't exactly. want to do that. These are the three that you're going to get in today's bundle for just 9 99 I always test them, Sarah. I've got to try it. Let me just hang on. <laughs> hang on. I've got to check that the flex is there. That's very, oh, very important. Yes, and the softness of those bristles as well. Yes, very, very soft. Is it? That flex to me is so important it because is. if it was rigid, you would get lines, wouldn't you? You it would. Helps get and, that beautiful and blend. And really, for the different effects, as you get used to kind of applying the pressure yeah. or just with your finger um, on the head there, then you can get quite deep, uh, rich colours yes, very quickly. Yeah. Um, as I've done here, actually, in terms of, I've obviously oh, used a rich that. colour with prize ribbon. Um, but again, another of the nice things about the brushes is I've just gone straight into the centre of that card and created that circle shape without worrying about those kind of harsh lines. Lovely stuff. So let's use, I'm just looking for my um, spiral stencil, here it is. So what I wanted to do was create a, some um, shading in the centre and then we can, which way around shall I have my spiral today? Oh that's right, you can turn it either way and you've yes. got the spiral going left or you've got it kind of curling right as well. Absolutely. I mean, that's, that is one of the joy of stencils. I mean, they do technically have a right and wrong way. Um, there's a slight, potentially, kind of like a micro um, lip on the wrong side, but certainly I've never had any difficulties using embossing paste or no. ink through them uh, on either side. No, of course not. It's a little bit like the dies, isn't it? There is a, a right way to die cut. We, we say that the yes. front of the die, you get that little beveled edge, but there are occasions where we'll flip them over and we'll use them yeah. the other way up as well. Absolutely, and it's, I'm just going to, because I'm using a little bit of uh, paste on this, I'm just going to put my base card okay. to the mat because I, the stencil's bigger than the card, I'm not going to be able to hold it necessarily. So we've got that placed over the centre and we're going to use some of the uh, stencil butter. Okay. My favourite. So that larger piece of tape is that acting as a hinge? So you it can is. I, it I often yeah. do hinge. I mean, not always. Certainly if I'm just doing a quick ink blend background, I don't worry about hinging. But if I ever I'm, I'm doing something where I want to be able to check before I completely okay. remove the yeah, stencil, it's a good tip, isn't it? um, I do like to put a hinge on it. So this is Crafter's Workshop. I know you've had, you've had these on several times before, but I think they do always sell out. So I, I, I'm not sure if you've got any... It's a lovely rich fuchsia colour. I'll tell you what's coming up on Tuesday. Oh, I think at five o'clock the first show, the Viva Decor products are back. Ooh. We've got the modelling cream, which is just oh, is wonderful. Lovely. <gasps> Many uses with that, but through a stencil, we've got the metallics, so that would work very well with the stars as well. I do love the Viva Decor products. Yeah, they're fab, aren't they? Such great value for money as well. I've got to say, though, that colour... It is rich, isn't it? And, you've got there and quite the often you'll see me mix my, mix my own in terms yeah. of using gloss gels and, and um, luscious powders or paints. Oh, I love the luscious but, um, powders as well. Sometimes, because this has got a little bit of a... Um, we could, I suppose, sprinkle some luscious powders or pigment into the into the paste for it dries yeah, as well. Yeah, absolutely. Or embossing powder, or you get embossing yeah. butter and give yeah. yourself some extra bling. Oh, Sarah, um, I love this stencil. Look at that. But doesn't that look nice? And, and again, just a bit of an unusual colour combo with the, with that kind of fuchsia pink. I really um, like that. And the dark blue. But I was going for that kind of magical look. It might be a, it might be a book of spells. But it looks like a magical Swiss roll. <laughs> <laughs> Are you hungry by any chance? <laughs> well, I've not eaten yet today. <laughs> oh, tell a lie, I did have a bit of cake earlier. We had oh, cake. Well, mate, we had a little, there was a bit of a, oh no, I was going to use the wrong word. I was going to say there was a bit of a celebration, but actually it wasn't, was it? It was a sad oh. goodbye to a member of staff today. He's not quite gone. Our lovely Hugh, he's got another hour at four o'clock. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I hope it's only cake and he's not, not had anything stronger then. <laughs> no. We tried, but they wouldn't let us. <laughs> so, um, so I'm just looking for a, a little. I mean, I've, again, I've got, um, I've got, I've got lots of things stamped out already. But let me just stamp the this. Uh, I particularly like this book because it's got the stars coming yeah. out from the pages, which obviously echoes the starry, um, the starry background we're creating. And I'm stamping this again, avoiding avoiding my blacks uh, on this one. This is a very dark blue, it's medieval blue. 
but again just uh, gives you that tie-in with the prize ribbon ink in the background love that look at the movement on the pages as well it really does look as though they're just flapping open open the book or the pages are being blown across with the breeze uh, yes I, I love that with, the, with that just that touch of movement in the in the image so you can see how lovely it stamps out now what I have done um, in the interest of time <laughs> is um, I've already um, cut this so what I've done effectively is cut round the book itself I've left a couple of the stars in that are closest to the pages themselves but I'm not worried about all of these outer stars because we've got our starry yeah. background to put it against but having Lovely. a couple of the stars just um, just amongst the pages there makes it look like a bit of a kind of continuation of the image so I've got one that's dry already that I can I can move about but you see if you put that at the bottom there and I love the sentiments in this stamp set so this one is uh, books on magic made of paper and ink so oh that is good. good so and I think there's another one that I really like which is the um, between the pages of a book is a lovely place to be oh. so just a really nice kind of yeah. mindful do you like books? I, I love to see a bookshelf of books I know, and I adore books. Quite often I, I buy books for myself and my, my son was sent to me recently. Why are you even buying them? I and mean, You can get everything online. It's not the same. You know, I've, it I've is literally not the same. just gone back to buying books mm. because it's a bit like um, the revival of vinyl and records. Yeah. It's the actual artwork on the cover yeah. but it's the, it's the object itself as much as the yeah. pleasure of reading it. So. Yeah, I did an English degree, so I love my books and reading. Oh, yes. Um, and, uh, yeah, the, these stamps are great. I think there's a, a, a sample there for making bookmarks as well. There is. So I will see if you like a physical book, yeah, definitely. Um, then it, it ties perfectly. But that's how simple that card is to put together. Love Just it. one of the smaller images from the stamp set and the stencil and um, job done. Amazing. I absolutely love it. Let me show you those bookmarks, actually. As I give you the details here and a few more samples as well. Now, half of the stock has gone on this bundle. This is the first live hour. I wouldn't be waiting until 7 o'clock, the way these first two bundles are going in particular. £18.49 is the price here. 372817. That's going to get you the whole bundle of the A5 stamp set with that stencil as well, which is absolutely magical. Um, yes, it is. I certainly believe that little bit of magic we all need that in our lives don't we there we've got the books again the open book that Sarah's just used very very cleverly used there look how that's been created the heart well that's one another of the stamps in the set so what one is with, it yeah there's I one with the, with, there's one with the um, pages like a heart and, Isn't that and the sentiment I love you more than books oh yeah really sweet Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Let me just pick up this background piece as well, just to show something a little bit different as well, because you can build up those scrapbook pages, those album pages. It's entirely up to you. 372-817 is the item number. Now, of course, we began with Spring in the Forest, those lovely little bunnies. Oh, I'm getting an update on this one. It's limited stock. Oh, limited wow. stock on this one you need to be very quick then 20 pounds and 99 pence it's going to get you the a5 stamp set i will show you the stamps in a second so they're a little bit bigger than they appear on the packaging you've got that wonderful stencil that sarah used in the first demonstration and i absolutely adore the fact we've got the mdf there as well which is precision cut it's laser cut for you so you don't have to mess about you know sanding the edges it's all there ready to go whether you're making a little plaque whether you want to make the front cover of a book you've got it there you could actually put some paper behind the front and use the back piece it's the back of the book as well yeah absolutely yeah yeah and you say you could you could have it so it opens at the top with the with the hole in the, yeah. In the top yeah it's a Definitely. lovely idea let me just show you the stamps there again oh, I'm getting another update oh right okay technically sold out on this one oh. Technica sold out, check your basket out everybody now, I'm just getting an update as well, we have, we didn't have it on the paper, but on this one we can put a little bit more stock in for you, so there is of course an extended delay on this one, because Sarah's got to get these all organised for us, dispatch from the 7th of February, aren't these clever cards, look at this, That's these are just beautiful, stencil as well, oh. so, uh... oh there's the tree stump again with a little bird's nest and the bird, 
There we are. Yes, go for these again. Not long to wait at all, is it? 441-511 is the item number. I think we've got time for another demonstration, Sarah. Great. I no. almost caught you out again you then, did, didn't you I? Did. <laughs> You're moving too quick for me to take up in there. I was just sauntering around there. Just... I'm trying to give you as much demo time as I can. It's fantastic no, to, get, <laughs> to get the three in. And this time I'm going to use um, some of the stamps from the Pick and Mix. So the, they're all designs by Donna, which... Um, many have seen who have seen shows with us before will be familiar with um, and the reason I, I wanted to do a pick a mix of Donna's designs is just the, the sheer versatility and the fun that you can have with making scenes with these with these different stamp sets so um, what I'm going to do is first of all do a little bit of masking to okay. um, have a tree line build up some trees at the bottom of my scene so we're going to we're going to be in a hot air balloon for this one so as with masking um, and again these are really kind of like whimsical fun trees that, that Donna's um, drawn and there's a tree as well this is a tree from I think it's from going places yes it is um, but there's also a different tree in on safari so yeah. oh there it's, is it's very different as well isn't it yeah so you, you know you've got that opportunity to really kind of create your own little world the world that Donna lives in. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got some masks, masks cut already. Um, and again, these are very forgiving, kind of hand-drawn, quirky stamps. So um, fun to use and build uh, scenes with without yeah. worrying too much about lots of detailed line art to to get right. I'm having a nosy through these samples, you know. There are so many good samples are, here. Yeah, I mean, there are, I just I just picked up handfuls because, of course, there are a number of stamp sets. So, of course, we had, we had quite a few samples from different different releases. And there's something about Donna's designs that I think just don't always lend themselves to using kind of bright colours. They're bright, yeah. happy designs. They're definitely happy designs. They make you smile. They you know, do. You, whichever sample I'm picking up here, I'm like, if you could see me, I'm like a Cheshire cat. Oh, we'll try and get some more shown a little bit later. Whenever, um, whenever I share the designs with the design team, they they always go, "That one's Donna's." Every time, <laughs> and every time she's like, "Oh, drat! I was going to try and caught with something that that nobody recognised." But she's got this um, in pretty much all of her stamp sets. There's always little hearts, kind of, um, e even in this tree here. There's always little hearts, kind of um, tucked into images, oh. which kind of. Uh, her giveaway signature. So, to say you could. They get very easy to cut out if you want to put them out and decorate. Absolutely. Well. I mean, I'm I'm not a cutter outer, and uh, but I've even been able to do three masks for this tree because it, it only <laughs> took me a few minutes. <laughs> Normally, I'd be very sparing with my masks, and you know, one's your limit. <laughs> We're doing really well for time, Sarah. We've still yeah, got 15 yeah. minutes left. Oh, that's great. I'm just saying. I think you could just stamp on the bottom of a page with those, and so you're not seeing more of the trunk, and it would still be shrubbery, wouldn't it? Like it would. Things. It would, and it's just. Um, it just reminds me. I don't, do you remember those that cartoon? Was it rhubarb and custard? Yes. You yeah. Know, and the kind of all the line art. Oh, moved you've got around. back up straight away as soon as yeah, you said that. Now that I've got the theme tune in my head now. I'm not going to sing it. Don't worry. But uh, but it has that you know feeling of everything being. Yeah. So I'm just I'm just putting the um, masks uh, towards the top the top line here because. What I will do is then use that as a way of inking the skyline without okay. going into the trees. Lovely. Of course, one of the things you just need to be careful of with this with this masking material, not all of them, but um, it just it just leaves that ink wet from the stamped image. So if you don't you don't necessarily want too much of that to transfer when you ink over the top. Right, let's get some um, sky, skyline, um, get some mermaid lagoon. Oh, another beautiful colour. Uh, 
They are fantastic, aren't they? I've, I've got to a point now where whatever colours I look at, I seem to kind of compare them with a distress ink colour. Yeah. Oh, well, it's real kind of salty, actually. Yeah. <laughs> No one else knows what I'm I talking about. Do you know, I've been saying this for such a long time. I seriously need to restock on oxides. Oh, there there's are. a lot of colours I haven't got. It's one thing I've not been going to buy. And I don't really? know why because I intend to and then I just forget. I do. I, do, I, do, I think I probably have them all. Um, I've not got prize ribbon. I've not got the... Um, the kind the, of the new the flamingo. I've not got the flamingo. And I really, really want that one. Yeah, the kitsch flamingo is yeah. grey. And I love the salvage <gasps> yes. patina. What's well. the purple one? The po poison villainous villainous. potion. Yeah, I haven't got that either. Yeah, I'm definitely lacking then, aren't I? They're all probably my favourite colours as well. But they're, I say, they're, they're the, the new last year ones, aren't they? Yeah. So, so I say, I won't go do do all of this it just gives you because I've got I've got a background already done but it just gives you that idea of how easy it is to build up your skyline I mean, you, we're on a kind of relatively slimline uh, style card here but then we've got the the, the, um, the seam to fill and here's here's what I've done earlier in terms of just coloring in the trees and uh, giving you a feel for how that looks but you can see where where that's going uh, i've just watercolored the trees it was a quick quick and easy to do but you could you could do a lots of lovely detail in there you could cut around the top of the trees as well and just raise the front layer yes. a little bit and that yeah, would look nice with the dimension yeah that'd be fantastic um, and, and it's quite nice with these taller cards yeah. isn't it to, to create that kind of tier so and i've i've stamped a few of the um clouds in the in the background from one of the sets a number of them have clouds in, oh they're in the um, these are feeling sheepish, feeling sheepish yes and the reason i think i had feeling sheepish out was i was going to dangle one of our sheep i think this is my favorite <laughs> one from the um from the set i just uh, the expression on the face is just <laughs> priceless really so um it's going to be carried away by a hot air balloon <laughs> Um, and what I've done with these hot air balloons, the, the balloons are from Going Places, is I've stamped them onto, and I did this in the last show, I think on the 15th again, uh, onto the flowerful, onto the paper pad, yeah. uh, which is sold out, but I think the paper pad itself as an individual item is on end of call, if you're still, if, you, if you're checking Ooh, out, you oh might... That's, that's good, I didn't yeah, know that, yeah, still definitely be able to get out the there. paper pad, it's just the washi I don't have any more of. Lovely. So, again, very easy to do stamped onto the pattern paper and just um, added a bit of colour pencil detail and I, d I took the basket off that one because I didn't need it and I was just kind of having my so we've got the the um, the sheep is uh, being cast away and uh, is saying what the flop <laughs> so glad you did that <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd risk it, um, but I think that is the expression on his face. Just just oh. says that. But again, you could have you could have had um, kind of. Uh, I've got my whole my whole pot of, of goodies here, but you could have the bunting um, in the sky as well. It's there's so many ways of building scenes with this set uh, with these sets. You've said it, Sarah. Sometimes it's so much fun, isn't it? it if is, you want to cheer yourself up, let alone anybody else, just work with stamp sets like this. And it's great that we've got that pick and mix as well, because you have, of course, got a choice of any two. If you want more than two, you can, as long as it's multiples. If you want all five sets, treat a friend. Treat a friend because that will put a smile on their face as well. Now, I'm going to show you some more samples. I still don't think we're going to get through them all, but it's nice to see a lovely variation. Uh, the hedgehogs are still a favourite of mine. I think it is that phrase there, sending hedgehogs. I just love that. I've got a soft spot for frogs. We can see the frog's got a snail there. Look at the elephant blowing out those hearts. That would go very well with the stencil that we saw earlier as well. So don't forget about the pick and mix that we've got available with the stencils. It's not just about the stamps, but we are looking at the details on the side of the screen there. Currently, for the stamps that we're showing you, 796906 is the item number. Lovely £3 saving as well. If you break that down, there's multiple stamps in each set here as well. Oh, it works. Yes, what does it work out at? Just 12 49 yeah 12 49 isn't it is the best way to work that out per set with that three pound saving but you're going to extend on what you've got there because you are going to be able to mix and match these as well lots of little worker stamps so much fun look at the umbrellas there so many different themes <laughs> look at the foxes there i've got to show this one as well this is a nice sample this is another one by Anne. let me just open this out this is beautiful Wow. 
Isn't that fantastic? Oh, my grandson would love that. Oh, it's mad on wild animals. You know, there's everything. Oh, can I just show this one? Isn't that fab as well? Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. <laughs> love it. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, we are treating you, that's for sure, this afternoon. Yes, check those out, everybody. 796906. Do you know what, Sarah? I'm looking at the clock. Can we squeeze under the demo in? What I thought I'd do is um, just uh, show you the um, mosaic fragments that Ink took. Nice. Because yes. it's, it's one of those, you say, where you look at it as a highly detailed stencil and, and sometimes doesn't necessarily come across how that will translate onto paper. So okay. Um, I thought if I just do a quick ink up of that and then just what I'm going to do is um, just add some background colour to start with. Okay, again with. don't forget about the blending brushes, perhaps you've already got some you want to add to the collection, perhaps you've been looking for some to buy as well. This could be the start of your collection because I'm, I'm sure you're going to come back for more later. You can multi buy while we've got the stock as well. Bottom of the screen there for the details. I'm really just going for a very rough coverage because when you when you put a detail stencil over the top of, of any inked background, actually having a bit of variation in colour um, behind it just adds to the kind of the sense of texture. But it's quite nice to see it against 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 a colour. Get the word out. <laughs> so just a bit of kind of blue in the background, and we'll put our and it, this just reminds me of kind of tile, you know, kind of yeah. old tiled background. It does, so I'm going over with the prize ribbon. Oh, that colour. That's a strong, rich colour, isn't it? They are beautiful blues together, though. That sense of um, kind of uh, china as well, yeah. isn't it? That fine. So there's a kind of circle elements in this. There's like a damp, damask. damask. Do you know, um, you went over with a sticky ink as well and then used some clear embossing powder. Yes. And it, that would really look like a tile. Yeah, exactly. Yes, and um, it just made me think. So it's kind of slight. I whenever I look at tiles, like I always think slightly Moroccan. You could kind of maybe go over with gilding flakes as well. Don't forget, you can emboss with these through your die cutting machines as well. Yes. So you get so some fantastic effects. I did. Um, oh, look at that. So you can see how that just literally as I'm inking myself as I much as the stencil. That. But that. That gives you a lovely, um, it's, it's not as dense, the patterning isn't as dense as the cut, if you know what I mean. Yeah. So it's nice to see it inked out because you, you realise then that it's actually quite a delicate pattern when you put it onto your, your background. It really is beautiful, but it's also very handy if you don't want it all, just to bring a little bit from the edges as well, because you can turn that stencil so many different ways and pick up the different patterns. Yes, and, and you say to create a almost kind of a background with just moving it around the background and layering it on top of it itself. Yeah. It Beautiful. will look like several different patterns depending on how, how you orientate it. So yeah, I just thought it was a nice one to see because it's not necessarily one that is as obvious from the... Um, Lovely. Well worth seeing, Sarah. Thank you very much. We can count that as a fourth demo. Four demos in this hour. And we can do a recap as well, so it doesn't get much better, does it? Let's look at those stencils. Now, these are the seven new ones. We've heard earlier, didn't we? In total, was it 273 have now been manufactured. That's different designs. They're not all on the website, but we've got tons and tons to choose from. If you are collecting, these are the ones you won't have seen until today. Choosing any four with the pick and mix. You've got a 450 savings, so it makes it four for the price of three six two six nine three zero is the item number then oh those stamps as well the background and textures these are the three new ones again many many more on the website but nice to see the brand new ones once again if you've been collecting along so choose any three so it could be these three or you could go for two uh, sorry three totally different ones as well there's that lovely heart as well if you want to stamp we did have a stencil earlier but working the two together would be fantastic the crackle and the diamonds there all under 832696, that's the item number for the pick and mix. Just 1349, you've got a three pound saving there also. Now the bunting, this is another favorite of mine. I adore any bunting, whether it's fabric, whether it's die cuts, whether it's stamps, it's just such a handy element to have, isn't it? But you've got a stencil here with those streamers and the dots in the background, very, very useful. Use them together, use them individually. Those three dies when it comes to the bunting, so very different in design. And then that fantastic happy birthday is there as well. I've got to say, I love the font on this one. It's another one of those that feels a little bit mixed up. It's not too precise, it looks like fun. It makes you want to celebrate, doesn't it? 
Perfect size as well. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. 294058 is the item number for that fantastic bundle. That price at 20.99 is an absolute bargain. Now the pick and mix, just another reminder of that one as well because we've got so many of these to go for. Pick any two. There's five different sets here on the counter. You've got multiple designs within each set. Yes, you can see very clearly what you're getting in each set, but don't forget everything is a little bit larger than it appears on the packaging. The perfect sizes for all your cards and projects. £24 and 98 pence a three pound saving 796906 now one of our new bundles as well which did actually sell out we've managed to get some back on extended delivery from the 7th of february i adore this one i've got to pick up again um those little mdf plaques because you do get the mdf in this one you get the a5 stamp set you get of course the stencil in there and this replicates the stencil, that lovely background, all precision cut with a laser machine. However you decide to work with it is entirely up to you. It is just gorgeous. Those stamps on their own, oh, you can build up so many lovely little scenes. Oh, I've just spotted another stencil. It's in the pick and mix, this one. That one is, isn't it, Sarah? It is, it Doesn't is. that work well? Birch trees, yeah. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Don't forget, if you miss it on the paper pad as well, or the bundle with the paper pad, look, check the end of call. There's lots more there for you. You can't get the washi, and um, it is just the paper pad that you can get in there, I think. But there's other things besides, so if you're loving the backgrounds here, make sure you check out those end of calls, because they don't have any extra postage. 441511 is the item number if you're going for that particular bundle. And then, of course, we had another new today, which is wonderful, absolutely gorgeous, the spellbound. Over half of the stock has gone on this bundle as well. That A5 stamp set yet again. And then, of course, you've also got that wonderful stencil, those stars in the swirl. You decide if you want it swirling to the right, to the left, or just using a few of the stars. You've got many, many choices, just as a whole up a couple more samples just to remind you what you can achieve with this one you know build up those scenes make those magic storybooks stamp directly onto your papers as well all of those different ideas are here let me just show you that one again because there's so many bright colors in there love it love the sentiments in here absolutely gorgeous another page from that fantastic book but the stamp set being used there as well 372817 is the item number there brand new today don't forget about those brushes as well 18 pounds and 49 pence is going to get you that bundle if you put your brushes in as well maybe just go for one set if you can afford to go for more do so you will use them sarah you are back at seven i am you've got adam i believe at seven o'clock tonight so that's going to be another fun show that means i can sit and watch and relax Good. and maybe go shopping as well <laughs> if there's anything left do check those baskets out everybody make sure you've got everything that you need nice and secure because who knows what happens in between the hours there's always those sales Sarah do you know what you're going to be doing later um, demoing with some more spellbound ah, fantastic do not miss it don't go anywhere menu coming up next I'll see you shortly Yes, we're quilting. We've got those antics going on over the other side of the studio with Anthea, of course, the one-day special final call. Then we've got Ciao Bella, and then we're back with two Red Robins. Stamparama, the incredible art, stamp and paper craft show, will be taking place in the Grand Hall Newcastle Racecourse on Sunday, the 13th of February. Come along and meet many of the UK's most dedicated and gifted craft experts, all available to inspire you with their knowledge and expertise. Tickets are available to purchase in advance from the craft store for only £4. So, what are you waiting for? Hi, I'm Sarah from White Gecko Craft Lounge. We have a little shop in Dinners Powers, which is between Cardiff and Barry, so right by the seaside, and we were established six years ago. There's three of us that run the business. It's myself, Sarah Jane and Sean, and we have a host of uh, volunteers and community members that help out too. One of the aims of White Gecko is to really inspire you to start sewing. We'd like to uh, get people crafting and start that sewing process. A lot of patterns and kits are perfect for beginners to use. It's a real wonderful, mindful way to start that journey into sewing. So don't miss the White Gecko shows.
Hi, I'm Jo and I have the pleasure of demonstrating for That's Crafty. That's Crafty are a family run business that started online in 2005. I hope I can inspire you by bringing along my experience together with the That's Crafty products. So make sure you don't miss the That's Crafty shows. Shopping online with the Craft Store has just got easier with PayPal's Pay in 3 plan. Spread the cost of your basket, whether there is one item or many, with three interest-free payments. Simply choose Pay in 3 at checkout and pay for purchases between £30 and £2,000 over three equal instalments for the next three months. No fees and no interest. Spread the cost of your shopping with PayPal's Pay in 3 plan at the Craft Store. Good afternoon, I hope you're well. It's four o'clock, which means it's final call of the one day special. Uh, busy, busy little hours over the last few uh, one day special hours uh, that we are looking at. Uh, you get so much for your money, this is why. Um, the last one day special that I bought to you with Queen Scene Antics was back in September slash October, because uh, I can't quite remember which one, uh, is what we're looking at. So it's been a while. You get value for money with Quilting Antics. If it's your first time seeing them, we are talking the most high-end tweed that you can get. It is the biggest tweed. It is beautiful tweed uh, that you're looking at as well on all of this. Uh, 278160 is your item number. But before we go into all of this, let's introduce the lady herself. It wouldn't be Quilting Antics without her, uh, with all her fun and frolics. And I heard <laughs> what she said. The the end of the last hour at 12 o'clock with our Yanis. So uh, let's introduce the lady now. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Sarah Anthea. Hello. You're my favourite though. You do know that, don't well, you? Well, you, you, you backtrack like, but now. But I like you best. Yeah, yeah, you say that to all the boys. <laughs> well, Is Yanis right? watching, by the way? No, you're I fine. like you best too. I mean, uh, yeah, it's you. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. Uh, tell me about the one day special because it has, it's been flying up. Well, the, the value for money that you're getting, three quarters of the stock already gone on this because you get sort of a bit of everything. Yeah, well, I'm, I, do you know, I'm like a rabbit caught in the headlights. Was it you last night? I asked you to tidy my table up. Yeah. And I'm like, it's nearly empty now. <laughs> I know, there's a lot of sellouts this hour. So, one day special, I love it. So, Particularly if you are new to tweed, it is a fantastic introduction into tweed because you're not like spending too much. You're getting some some fabric that you can use, fabric that's you know you can get something out of. Yeah. Um, especially as you did your um, yeah extra read all about it. Yeah. <laughs> so it, it's just a fabulous fabulous way to to dip your toe in to start out without hurting your pocket too much. It and really I think that is. Kind of last night, doesn't it? Because obviously last night on the launch hour, because um, you get the tweed, you're also going to get the booklet thrown in as well. Now in the booklet, this is for the Highland quilt that you're going to be creating that we'll see in a moment in time. But this Highland quilt that we're talking about, uh, it comes with patterns on the inside. So you've got sort of the otter and the fish in there. There's loads more in there, like Balmoral Castle that's in there. You've got stags and deers and lighthouses. And I managed to put Anthea, Annie, I managed to get Anthea to put them in different sizes. So you're now going to get different sizes in the booklet as well. But not only that, if you were to buy that on its own, uh, the details on the screen, £23.99. £28 pounds saving is what you're getting on this book alone. Okay, so that £28 pounds just there is carried over to the big bundle. Because not only do you get uh, the Quilting Antics books, you're also going to get 10, 10 inch tweed fabric squares. Now, with these fabric squares, it's down to you what you're going to do with them, but maybe you're going to sew them together and you're going to do the front of a cushion out of this. So you can now do this front of this cushion, because remember, you're going to get the stag, you're going to get Balmoral Castle in different sizes, because that's what I negotiated uh, last night, and get it in the book extra for you. You may want to go down and do the little houses, but you can do these houses out of the tweed that you've got in your kit. Not only can you do that, maybe you want to take these tweeds and you want to use some of them as little appliques that you've got. 
So just taking them um, and adding your own applique case to the front really does bring these to mm -hmm. life. Oh, definitely. Definitely. It, it just gives them somewhere to, you know, you need somewhere to hang your hat. It's true. Yep. It just look at that. So that pop of colour. Yes, these are done in the tweed as well. But that pop of colour on applique. Maybe you're going to make small pincushions. Maybe you're going to make small fab. stuff. They look really. <laughs> I absolutely adore them. Just look how well they all work together. Doing this, maybe a front of a blanket that you're going to have in there. They will all swap and change as well, but then you've got the and that will work. Now, obviously, you don't get these in the kit. I'm just showing you as a reference point of what you can do with them uh, when you get them home. So maybe you want to swap and change. Maybe you're going to start doing your appliques, because this is what that book is about that you're getting. That Highland book will give you the opportunity to make beautiful, beautiful appliques that you've got mm. in here. You're going to get 10 of the 10 inch squares as well, which is a phenomenal price for £22.49 on two interest free flexible payments. What I want you to do though is forget this. You're not getting a £7 saving at all. You are getting a lot more. It's on top of £28 is what you're getting. So you're getting over £30 worth of saving in your one day special. 278160 is that item number that you are looking for. Um, talking about the quilt, just before, just while uh, Hugh's got the shot. Uh, this is the quilt that we were talking about uh, just then. It's that beautiful sunflower. Uh, so you've got the whole quilt, should you want to go for it as well. But these are some of the appliques that you will be able to achieve for once you get this book home. So you'll be able to do the trees, Balmoral Castle. You'll be able to do the um, little aqueduct that's in there, the houses, uh, the little homes, the flying fish, the seagulls, and so much more. Right then. Something else that I want to tell you before it goes is your patchwork gold. Now, this is now limited stuff. We've heard of Raggy, Doll, uh, Raggy Dolls. I've heard of that. It was a beautiful <laughs> cartoon program. Uh, we've heard of the Raggy Gold Dust yep. that we've got. That's sold out. Yep. So what are, if we're just joining in now, maybe we're busy, it was Saturday night when we launched, we've had a busy day, we've been out to the shops, what is Patchwork Gold? So, as you know, I buy up, when the, the mill, Abraham Moon, are cutting their sample books, I buy up everything that's left from that job, and then we pick through it, we grade it all, um, so we do small bits, long bits, little squarish bits, and then we do patchwork gold. So it's everything, it's not big enough to be a remnant, but it's bigger than what you would call a small piece of scrap. Um, so you can do something with it. You can. Um, you know, it, it's great. I <laughs> like it. This is basically your patchwork. Yeah. This is yeah. save you cutting it down. This is your patchwork ready to go yeah. um, and ready little projects as well. So maybe you don't want to cut in uh, to your 10 inch square. Well, you've got that little bit of colour already there, so maybe you want to just dip your toe in the tweed water. Maybe you've never used tweed before. Good way to go, £24.99. I haven't got many left. They're down to single figures. They would work brilliantly with the 10-inch squares. And yeah, they I, would. I was saying to Yanis earlier, so we've brought Patchwork Gold to you many times, but of all the times we've brought, I think this is probably, or arguably, the best set that I've brought. Um, so the mill have been discontinuing, so they had some stuff cut to become sample books, and then they weren't going to be sample books, so they sold me the lot. So it's kind of cut, in the main, it's cut to the size of, of the book, book it was going into, uh, rather than being an off-cut. Instead of, of being bolt, a larger yeah. off-cut, it's a, the more regular of these. I like um, these, I like the shapes of these. Um, yeah. And they've got the pinkered egg as well, so you know they're not going to fray because, well, it doesn't, fray, it doesn't fray anyway. It's tweet that you've got there. Busy, busy for this. 260586 is your item number, £24.99. That's for your Raggy Gold Super Limited Stark. We're down to single figures. One day special. Very busy as well. Now, something else that we've got is our full Highland Fling quilt kit. Now, you are going to need the book with this, okay? You are going to need to be able to get the books. We'll put the details of that on the bottom of the screen for you. But you are now getting a complete kit. This is the complete top of that um, throw that I showed you earlier. You only need your wadding and backing that you need to add, but once you've had that, you have got everything here. Now, it sold out last night, first thing. I've managed to get it back on extended delivery for you. It'll be dispatched from the 3rd of February. Let's be fair, not that long to wait for it. But if you are a savvy shopper, Three flexible payments of £76.33 and pence today. I would just buy this for the tweed alone. And don't forget, 
the price has just gone up from 55 to 63 pounds a meter if this comes back it will more likely than not be at the new well i can't keep it at the low price forever it's going up so you pay more for the tweed now because the price has gone up so yep. when the price yep. is going to come over so yep. now get it well cleansed. if you want a vast amount left um, as this is the last show and we've got lewis i can do this uh, so <laughs> Let me show you some of the sizes. That there, I reckon, would make a beautiful kilt or a little pleated I skirt. I think you would look fantastic in there. I'd and like I think it. you'd get two out of that. You would. <laughs> I might nearly get one, but you'd get two. But I'd, uh, just that piece alone, that as a little picnic well, blanket is piece, absolutely it, stunning. It's half the width of the fabric, but it's 60 inches, so that's like a metre and a half long. So even if, Adam, even if you like the quilt, but you think, I like it, but I don't want to make it, but you might want this complete breeze block of fabric. Oh, that suits you. It looks Oh, cool. hey, hey, I feel like Robert the Bruce. I know. I'm just thinking Mel Gibson. Oh. <laughs> I like, I, I might even do a little jig. Oh, you can't see my legs, but I'm, I'm in no, full go. No, but I, I won't now. get over it. <laughs> Look at the, oh, I'm like Michael Flatley under this counter. I've been told to do a quick counter. Go on, tell me. Uh, but just for the, just for the tweed alone, though, it's worth having it, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah, because if you want to start off your collection and you like that set of colours, then this could be coming home to you. And, just there, and, and all you've got is what you've got. There will not be another extended, not at this price anyway. I love these, absolutely love them. I really, really do. Because you can now, just from the tweed alone, imagine doing this in a beautiful scarf because the quality is already there. I absolutely love it. Now, you might not be able to hear me, but just as a, just as a scarf alone, you go around the edges to that, big black duffel coat, you're good to go. I absolutely adore it. I really, really do. Right. Do you know, I think you'd get a three-piece suit out of that. I I'd think love you'd them. look fabulous. I genuinely would. Add it to Even a one-day special, and I think you'd get an alternate pair of shorts to wear in summer. We've got three minute kids. Little hot pants for Derek. Can't go wrong, can you? Can't go wrong. It'd be like Kylie. Uh, well, you'd lovingly be twins. Six... You'd be twins. <laughs> one of you in gold and one of you in silver. Well, well I need more than that. £76.33, 812 eight eight is the item number that we're looking at but for the tweed alone forget the booklets if you're thinking oh, i'm not really into the quilts i don't know what i'd do with it just get it for the tweed alone as anthea said the price of this will go back up because the price of tweed has gone up uh, beautiful for your cards as well absolutely stunning just cut it down and use it small little elements for your cards would be stunning uh, 76 pounds and 33 pence across three interest-free flexible payments 812-688 is that item number now happy hours that i've also got on this show so this time we're talking they're down here uh, this one is the potting shed that we're looking at now full f genuinely full of little hints and tips uh, that what you've got there's so many things in here from book kits i reckon some of these book covers because i've measured them and i did this while everyone was prepping and gas bagging um i took one of the smaller a4 ones so i've took one of these ones two of your 10 inch squares will make that right that's actually bigger than the book inside i just robbed the book out of a different one earlier on so you could get away with a smaller piece Okay. Yeah, so that book cover is a slightly large A5. Slightly larger. Yeah, yeah. But it's worth having a little look. It's worth having a little go. Down in the pot and shed, let's have a look what you can create once but don't again. don't forget, Adam, we're patchworkers. We join, we join bits together to make well, big that's, bits. That's true. And things like your cushion uh, that you've got here, which is the cushion that I've got yeah. behind, you could do this with your one-day mm -hmm. special. You've got the greens. You've got the browns in there. You've got yeah. purple for the flowers and things. But, um, there's a book cover with a walking boot on. Have you seen the back of that? Uh, cover it's on the counter in front of you this one? that one yeah well, if you look at the oh, whoops, if you look at the back of that that's what patchworkers do I we join good this. bits together hey so that's my diary in there just be careful join them together on the secrets <laughs> oh so it is doing that final call with that oh, hunky forgot, young man I again. I wrote that bit oh, down. Oh, I can't. It'll make you blush like a Mills and Boom novel. <laughs> but look at what you can create uh, when you start sewing these bits together. It's worth having a little look at this. This could be a laptop case. It could be a wallet. It could be a purse. But whatever it's going to be, it's going to be the highest quality that you are going to get from your tweed. £19.99. This is just for the book, though, remember? Because what you can do now is if you've got your... Maybe you've got your calicos. Maybe you've got your bits, your odds and ends of your stash. You can put them together. You haven't got to do it out oh, of tweed if you don't want to. And don't to. forget, 
all our books work together. So if you like a project in one book and the applique in another book, bring them together and just double and quadruple yeah. your possibilities. It works if you 167 a project and you haven't got to do them from Tweed if you don't want to. You can do them from whatever you want. They are happy hour prices, £19 and 99 pence, 603 760 is your item number. I've got another happy hour on the show as well. This is the board and buster that we're looking at. Also 12 projects uh, that you've got in here. I like this one. I genuinely adore this because this is what we were talking about last <laughs> night, wasn't it? About using yeah. your, using, don't use all your Tweed to do your backgrounds. That's right. Use what you've already so, got. Um, so, so to make the projects a bit more more affordable on um, this one we've got a cotton background and remember I said that putting the tweed on the cotton or the co cotton on the tweed whichever way around you go yeah it creates um, like a 3d effect it's some some distance between so uh, nice. yeah on the on the squirrels peep there you've got you know we, we've embellished with cotton because it worked to get the effect that we wanted I uh, quilting don't. antics, I think, when we started working with the tweed, we got the rule book and we chucked it out the window. And I think you should do at home as well. And it works a lot better if you can be more liberated in what you do. Think, I want to do this. Oh, am I allowed? Yes, of course you're allowed. Go for it. Yeah, go and do it. D just do it for £19.99. and pence. It's worth having a little go. Uh, you can also do, um, you can do your big blocks as well because that's in there. You've got beautiful wall hangings uh, that you've got in there as well. We're going to show you how to do some of these leaves uh, during the hour as well. £19.99 and pence for this hour and this hour only uh, is what you are looking at you've on also, this one. Oops, I was going to say you've also got a set of cat drawings for that doorstop too. In case you don't like dogs, you've got some cat cats in there to use instead you got your little cats in there also maybe if you don't want the dogs yeah, around so i've got them here you've got some cats yes. uh, that you can do as well um, and you've also got the ducks so you can also do uh, the mm -hmm. ducks that are currently behind me at the moment so you can do these they ducks fab. sue did those they're wonderful so you can be creating all of this that is my thing are you tickling their toes i am tickling <laughs> their toes like i sat on my i felt like Snow White. Uh, 19 pounds and 99 pence, 229-295 is your item number that you are looking at this. And finally, these have been busy. These are your, now these sold out. We've managed to get them back on extended delivery the 3rd of February. Once again, is what we're looking at with this now. Um, these are beautiful, they really are. These are your tweed bundles uh, that you're looking at on these. That you're getting your strips of tweed this time so if you want to do the back of that book journal start selling these together Adam, can i get you th this is i'm like <coughs> inside can i get you to open one of the other bundles as well the can. reason is because the one you opened was the one that was different to the rest so one of most these. of the bundles are like the one you're opening now okay. and I said, the extended live. delivery i'm just going to tell you this now is down to we had a load more of this stuff which hadn't been wrapped oh, and rolled. Okay, like this. So Sylv does it, but she's just become a great grandma today again. Bless so congratulations her. to my nephew and his wife. Lo oh, congratulations. Yeah. Uh, but these are not, these once again, these are still a beautiful size for patchworkers. But, uh, well, they are, they're perfect. And the first time I ever um, displayed these for sale was at Malvern Show. Do you know they sold out in 10 minutes? You can see people why came they... in and uh, and they weren't choosing, they were just grabbing. And it, I couldn't, I really could not believe it. So they're not square, they're rectangles. But one of the great things about the bundle that you're in there is they're all the same width. In fact, here, here's one I prepared earlier. Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll so have Michaela to do, made uh, this. We'll have to do this on camera six. We can't zoom in or we can do it on the overhead. It's up to you. Okay. Um, well, I'll Let's put it the there for the overhead. So if I fold, oops. So Michaela used four bundles to make this. If I fold it into quarters, very approximately, that's what one bundle will get you. So you've got, you know, a good cushion there, haven't you? Now, when she did this, she said she did have some pieces left over, but not enough to make another full strip. So you, you, you've definitely got enough to do a cushion, a good size cushion. I'm not sure how, how big this measures, but it, it must be 20 inches square, that. I'd, yeah, I'd say that, but it's nice. It's still, what that could be a book cover. It could be a bound journal. It could be a cushion cover. It can be whatever you want it to be. And everything has been pre-cut and it's beautiful. 26 pounds and 97 pence is what you are looking at for all of these beautiful squares. 
and you're getting three rolls of them. So this is one I've just opened now. And these, and I must stress this, these rolls are not just for telly. Okay, these are not telly rolls. And what do I mean by that? These are not rolls that Anthea puts together just for the telly. Oh, no, well, no. I'll give you the in good fact, stuff to show you what put, you're getting. Put it back tidy because somebody's got the name on that. Oh, is someone getting <laughs> someone this one? Someone will be getting that one in their parcel. <laughs> oh, there's me laying. Oh, it's worth even so, more and, money now. Uh, and you've it. got, you heard me say to Adam, would he open one of these ones because they're more representative. Arguably, the one that you opened last night is more usable. It's longer and thinner, but I say arguable because no, it depends think, what you're doing. I think these are more yeah. user, uh, so, user But what I will do is, obviously, when I get to the bottom of the box, it's different, but I will try and give you as much variation as I can. So in here, look, we've got, um, we've got some kind of brights. We've got a narrow one, and we've got one like you've just opened there. And I will give you, amongst what I've got, the widest selection so that you know, unless we're down at the bottom of the box and it's all I've got left, you're not going to get samies. You're going to get, and even if the samies, they might be a different colour. So, um, you know, I'll, I'll try my best to give you the biggest variety. It's worth having a little look. Right then, let me give you the details and we'll go to demo. At £26.97, 3rd of, uh, of February is your dispatch date for this now. 842723 is your item number. All of this and more is what you're going to be getting when you take them home. It is absolutely a beautiful, beautiful bundle. It really, really is. Right then, yes, it does work. Uh, Twenty-six pounds and ninety-seven pence is what you're looking at. Right then, let's go over to demo. She's had a long list of demos, and she's got through most of them. And we've got seven left to get through in this hour. I thought it was nine. Well, we can do nine. You've yeah, go on. Go on, let's do it. <laughs> right. So we've we've spent the last twenty-four hours making a quilt. Now I've done all the different elements, uh, and go back and watch watch the programs we've done. If we've got time, we can do a, a quick okay, recap. We'll do it, but, okay. but so now we've got to the end of the quilt, and we want to finish it. So when we say finish it, we're talking about layering it. So that's your backing, your wadding, and your front. I've just got this here because it's. I can't put a full quilt on the table. I'll have my bum in the air and I'll be off the edge. But I just want to show you on, oh. in, a, in a small way how you would go about finishing your quilt. Because lots of us, we make these quilts and then we're like, I just like making quilt tops. I d that's it, that's all I do. No, you're going to finish them. Right, so start out with your backing. So let, let me start again. You've got your quilt. Your quilt's in the middle here. Your backing is going to be much bigger than, well, I say much bigger than your quilt. Bigger than your quilt on all sides, and your wadding is also going to be bigger again. The reason for that is when you're quilting, if underneath anything gets pulled in, yeah, you can see I've, I've got a nice pucker going on under there, it's still, you know, you're not going to finish with it and go, oh, cripes, it made me back, made backings under here. You're okay, you're not gonna pucker it as much as that, but you've, you've got plenty to go at, so that's why your quilt is whatever size it is, your wadding, couple of inches bigger all round, and your backing, couple of inches bigger all round again. So begin with your backing. So I've got a nice bright one here so that you can see what I'm up to, we see all the differences. Your backing goes right side down. And what we need to do is get that as tight as we can. Now, you're on your table, you're on your kitchen floor, you're at group with tables pushed together. However it is that you're doing it, whatever surface you're on, it's likely it, it could be slippy, unless you're on the carpet, of course, different thing. So get some parcel tape, easy peasy. So uh, it is one to get the end open anyway. Get some parcel tape. and put it, in fact I'll start at this side, partially on your fabric, partially on your table or your floor, or whatever it is you're, you're going on. This is how we do it. Get some more parcel tape. Put it on this side, onto your fabric, and then if you, just watch what happens now, if I, whoops, I'm stuck to your table, pull the tape, it's getting nice and taut, isn't it? A bit like yeah. the, the top of a drum. So that isn't going to crease because I've got it nice and tight. And again... That is the loudest parcel tape I've ever heard. It's good, isn't it? It is. Very so loud on your microphone. stick it onto your fabric again and give it a little bit of a stretch. Yep. 
Oh, just while you do that, <laughs> let me give you a quick update. The quilt kit that I showed you about earlier, there's an extended delivery. He's now limited stock again. Okay, £228.99, but I split the cost of that onto three. Interest-free, flexible payments uh, is what you are looking at on this one. 812688 is the item number. We are now limited stock on the full bundle that we are showing you here now. So we are limited stock. Once again, even if you're just going to buy it for the tweed, I would definitely get it. Obviously, the idea is to go for the quilt that's behind Anthea at the moment, the big Scottish quilt uh, that we've got on the back of set. But uh, if you aren't going to do that, you're just going to buy for the tweed, uh, you can do that as well. So this is what you're going to be creating with all of this tweed that you've got here. It's this stunning uh, sort of throw, blanket, tapestry, as it were. But it's heirloom. all made. Go on. Heirloom. Where is an heirloom? It is something that will be passed down. And whether you're thinking, it's a bit big for me, I don't know what I'd do with all that, just cut it down into smaller sections. Each one of these has its own section, so you can put it in wherever you want to put them in. But you're getting all the tweed to create this, and if you're thinking, I like it, Adam, but I like the tweed even more, I want to do something else with the tweed, you can do that as well. As you Anthea said at the start of the show, the price of tweed has now gone up. So it won't stay at this price forever. Next time it was back, it would be more expensive than this. So it's worth having a little look now if I was you. Uh, it is absolutely beautiful, uh, the tweeds you've got in here. 812688 is the item number. And there is so much that you can do with this tweed when you get it home. For the sheer fact, what you can do with this tweed, my amazing floor managers that I have here, you can turn it into a, if I stand here, you'll be able to see, into a full-on outfit. It's Flora McDonald come to see us. How beautiful <laughs> is that? That looks As a great. stunning skirt and top that you've got on here. You can now be creating exactly the same as this. It goes, uh, it's knee length, uh, so it's all the way to your feet. But this is how much tweed you are getting. Obviously, we've added the ribbon, but you can do this as well. And that's just from the tweed that we take off the table. So it's worth having it a go, but it is now limited stock. Well done, Lewis. Well done. Right, Anthony, it's yeah. over to you. Right, okay, dogs. So I've taped it down, but let's just say, because yours is going to be much bigger, you've got to this point and you've still got a wrinkle in the middle. Simple. Peel back one row of the tape, whoops, and pull it tight and reapply. And that's it. And if you're at your group and you've got all your group there, it's a great time, you know, end of the day, Get everybody together, push the tables together and get it out. So that's nice and tight now. Okay. Come back in. Wadding. Put your wadding on. And this is the fun bit everybody gets in and you're all smoothing because we all like to think we're the, we're the best smoother in the world. So obviously mine's little, but yours is going to be like whatever size it is. Smooth it out. Now the best thing about the wadding is it's slightly static. So it does stick a little bit to that. And then put your top on. Now your big challenge now is to get that off the table and quilt it without it all falling to pieces. So what we're going to do is... I'm so sorry to keep chipping in. I can only apologise. I'm so, so it's sorry. It's okay. Um, it's now technically sold out. If you've got it in your basket, this is the time to check your basket out now. If any bounce back, I will let you know. But you are buying the top of the quilt that we're looking at at the moment. Uh, so it's worth having a little look if our view is now technically sold out. If any bounce back, I'd let you know. There's, uh, there's a lot of you with it in your baskets. So start checking out those baskets if I was you. Thank you. Right. So um, are, we, are we back to quilting? Yeah, we're back to you so again. So get your safety pins and start putting them through all the layers. Now, we're nice and tidy. Was quilters and we like lines and we like neat and we like tidy but if you put all your pins in one row things can slide so what I tend to do is alternate the way that the pins go and that way if anything starts sliding it can't slide so far because it's got the next pin you see you don't want to obstruct you know your, your, your path when you're sewing sewing down whoops but uh, here we are. So just put them in all over the place, your pins. And I can feel as I'm going through that the pins are pretty much scratching the table. Now this is only a tiny project, so it's, you know, it's easy peasy. 
and at this stage you can decide what what you want to do with the quilting do you want to hand quilt it do you want to machine quilt it do you want to draw a design on there to follow it's entirely up to you and ask your friends because lots of them will have different ideas that you can poach and no, very true you know? yeah very yeah true. yeah right so we've got the pins in hopefully i've got them all the way through so now you can get rid of your parcel tape and at this stage don't cut any of the sides down and one a good reason for having a bit extra backing fabric is as i'm pulling the parcel tape off it is fraying the, the backing with the tackiness and everything so it's been a bit longer it's absolutely fine right. there you go in the bin and now you've got to quilt it now if you're machine quilting it um you, you know you, it depends what machine you've got or whatever um i quite like hand quilting if i'm honest so whack it under the machine now and you're just going to quilt so you can do straight lines you can do what they call stitching in the ditch do you know the um if we're a bit scared of quilting do you know what people do what do people do stitch in the ditch do you know why or echo quilt because it seems easier. Stitching in the ditch is so hard. What's stitching in the ditch? It's, you know where your seams are? Oh yeah. It's a ditch, isn't it? Ah. Oh. Yeah, between the fabrics. But it's really hard. And the other thing is, if you bounce out the ditch, oh, she's missed the ditch. Wow. So just be bold, be bold. But you've be got bold. it all tight and everything. A large stitch length helps. Go straight through the middle of the quilt to begin with. Why do you think we start in the middle? Packs everything together. For them? Keeps it all together. It does, but if anything, oh, okay. so if you start, <laughs> if you start on the outside, let's say you're going to go around like a spiral. Yep. Yeah. If you start on the outside and you get to the middle and you go, oh crikey, oh I've got too much fabric. You're kind of stuck, aren't you? Because you've nowhere to spread it to. Mm -hmm. If you start in the middle and you work out any wrinkles and crunkles and all the rest of it, you're going to push out to the side. So um, start in the middle. There we go. Uh, good tool to use is um, the bar, what do you call it? Lewis will know. What do you call that bar that goes in? For your distance. The walking foot. But... No. Your thingy bar that goes through. I've got one down here. Let's find it. Oh. Anyway, a starter for ten. Anyone? Here we are, here we are, I've 10. got it. Well, Lewis will tell us what it's called because I can't remember. Use your bar. <laughs> the seam guide. That's it, your guide. If you put one of these in, this machine that I can't use, you've all got one. It's, a, it, it's like that. You've yeah. no idea what it is unless you've used it or somebody showed you. You've all got a hole at the back of the, 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 like, you know, the leg that goes down with the foot on the end. Let's put this back down here. If you put that in and you can set it whatever distance you want from the needle and then your next row of quilting, if you put that bar onto your stitching, you're not like pressing it down flat, it's just a guide. Oops, there's my thingy my jig. And then oh, I'm not going to watch my needle, I'm oh going to watch that bar, that guide. And I'm going to go straight down. And now when I use that guide, Every row is going to be the same distance as the one before. I always wonder what it is. And I'm going just over the edge of the fabric as well because it, it just holds it a little bit more onto that um, I never onto knew that, that I never knew that's mm. what that bar was for. Hey, stick with me, kid. Wow, right. you, you, you learn a lot. <laughs> and as you're going down and you get to your safety pins, what's really important? Take them out. Take them out as you go along. Don't think, oh, I've got my safety pin there. Just keep on going, uh, just pull them out, then you keep on going. So again, the bar's in that line. So pull this, this pin out, and you'll find, starting from the middle or going through the middle, it'll be so much easier. There we go. I've had enough of this game now, so I'm going to do a different thing now. OK, fair enough. <laughs> OK. Fair no, enough. no, no, I'm like Blue Peter today. I'm like Blue Peter. Because I thought, what happens on live TV when you're sewing and it all goes wrong? Well, I'll do a bit at home first. So here's one that I've quilted earlier. And I use the bar, and you can see they're all nice squares. They are. Right, so I've layered it. I've quilted it. I'm feeling quite proud of it. Next thing, I need to put the binding on. So, well, you've got two choices with your binding. Your first is, and it's one that we prefer at the minute, is if you don't quilt right to the edge, you cut your wadding back just below and turn the edges in. Just have them to, oops, 
I'd have to cut it down, so I'm going to leave it like that for a minute. We'll talk about that after. The other way, the more traditional way, is bias. Well, you don't need bias binding. It's a straight quilt, straight sides. So, do you know the difference between straight bind binding and bias binding? No. No. Lewis does. Lee's looking all coy. There is a joke there, but I'm not going there. <laughs> oh, I, I don't know this joke. You'll have oh, to tell oh, me no. after. I'll tell you after the air. Yeah. <laughs> right. Tea. So, straight binding, it's just, you know, like, you've got your fabric, just cut across. Cut across the length. It doesn't need to be stretchy because this quilt is straight. I don't have corners that I'm going round. If I'd made this wavy around the edge, I'd need a bias binding, which means that I'm going to cut the fabric diagonally. And if you, if you sample with some fabric at home, you've got, if you pull one way, can you hear it's quite taut? Yeah, it's like a drum. Whereas if I do it diagonally, can you see there's a stretch? Oh yeah, on the bias. Yeah, on the bias. So that'll help you get round your curves. Well, I never. I got at foot of our stairs. Right, but as it is, we're just doing a straight binding. Now, I like two and a half inch wide. I like that because it gives me chance to be ham-fisted and sausage-fingered and whatever you want. So, two and a half inch wide is what I go for. Okay. And you need to join all your strips together. Now, you buy a binding, little, instead of going out and buying more fabric, I guarantee you that when you do a quilt, and you layer it all up, that you've got a length right up the side of the quilt and you think, what well, sure I can use it for cushion backings. No. Binding. Binding. Because we've all bought the backing to match the front so that yeah. it all ties up. Mm -hmm. So it makes sense that more often than not, what you're using on the backing is going to be great for the binding too. So and the thing is, because you've got that big long length, you don't have to join any pieces on your sides, on your long side, because you're going to cut it the right length, aren't you? That's, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Up here for I'm thinking. There. But you will, you know, you will have to join some. So it's quite easy. What we want to do is, we want to join it on the diagonal, and I'll explain why. Because when we join two fabrics together, you've got the seam, and the seam is bulky. So by joining on the diagonal, and here's some I've done already, can you see that it's joined diagonally across. When I fold that in half, the seam is spread out across here, all the way to here. It's spread out across the longest distance it can possibly be spread out, which means that there's less bulk. You know when I come to, uh, to sew it, so to get them to join diagonally, oops, right sides together and decide before you um, before you sew I'm going to sh show you have a little play so if I join diagonally from that corner there to this corner here and I've overlapped so I can see where my corners are if I sewed on there and then I open it up I can see there that it's it's going to continue and it's going to be right if I sewed it that way and then I open it out, it isn't going to go right, is it? Whichever way I do it, no. it's not going to be right. So always put a pin in first, just to check that the way that you're going to um, you're going to stitch it is going to give you the result that you want. So there we go. That's my little direction marker in there. Bring the machine round and let's have a thing. So. Once I've got the machine on, I'm going to take out the pin because I don't want to sew on it. And just by eye, I'm just watching the corner here. And uh, for some reason, your brain seems to find that corner easier if you're watching the end, end spot rather than where you're going. There you go. We are. Open it out. That's beautiful. I like that. Now, where's my scissors? I've got a pair of scissors here somewhere. Uh, they elude me at the moment. Just oh, while you did that, let go. me give you a quick recap on the one day yes. special. Oh, she's found him. Uh, a quick recap on the one day special that you've got here now. £22.49 will get you 10 10 inch squares of the beautiful tweed, uh, sort of the Highland tweed. 
uh, that we've got here and you'll also get the pattern booklet included as well in all of that so you are going to get that beautiful highland quilt pattern booklet that's in there so you can take the designs from here and then the sort of applique them onto uh, the designs so maybe you've got that little uh, Balmoral castle obviously half could it be uh, maybe you want to do that little ant from a book that you've bought in the past uh, you can do those onto your little fat quarters as well they're not fat quarters they're 10 inch squares they're same as sort of a layer cake is what we're looking at that's uh, right these ones 278160 is your item number 22 pounds and 49 pence or a one-off payment of 44 pounds and 98 pence for 80 percent of the stock now has already gone very very busy for this one something else that we're busy on are the happy hours that I've got on the show. Uh, so come down with me to have a little look at our happy hours. So we've got one of the booklets on the show as well. It's 19 pounds and 99 pence. 603760 is your item number uh, for your first booklet we've got here. This is the potting shed. And everything that you see uh, next door to all of this is just inspiration of what you can do when you go down uh, to the potting shed. So you've got quilts, you've got cushions, you've got table runners, you've got bags, you've got all those appliques that I've been showing you as well on your one day special. Uh, all of those are also included in the potting shed. 12 projects in total is what you're looking at in the potting shed. Happy hour price, 19.99. The price will go back up to 64. 99 at the end of the hour. 603-760 is your item number for the potting shed. The other happy hour that I've got on the show, this is the board and buster that we're looking at here. Once again, 12 little projects is what you're getting in the board and buster. 229-295 is your item number for this one. 19 pounds, 99 pence, 58 pounds and 49 pence is what the price will be in 20 minutes time should you come and buy it then. So why wait? Why wait? You can make things like uh, Little Miss Squirrel that you've got here. You can make your little door stops that you've got. You can make your little wall hangings uh, that you've got. You can make your little cushions uh, that you've that got fab in this as well. Gold. And in fact, that cushion was made out of the little bundles. The 300 bundles, yep. Also, you can use that as well, but the ideas will all come in the book, so it's worth having a little look at this if I was you. £19.99 and pence, uh, is what we're looking at for your boredom busters that you've got. Then last but no means least is your 300 gram uh, little uh, little bundles that we've got here. It's on extended delivery from the 3rd of February, £26.97. 842723 is your item number. We've opened one out and you can sort of see they are the perfect sizes. You're not going to get much waste from this by the time you've done your seam allowance in there. That's perfect yeah. size. Well, the, the, the story is, I went up to the mill and when I first started going up there, I wasn't allowed inside. I just had to stay at the door. Anyway, this particular Nothing day, to do with COVID, it was just who you no, are. No, this is way before COVID. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's so, mission to make you stand yeah. at the anyway, door. Anyway, this particular day, I went, oh, that's, I'm busting. Would you mind? So they let me go in, and I went through what they call the pattern room. And as I'm walking through the pattern room, my eyes, they were like bulging. And I'm like, oh, oh, what, what do you do with that? And this is how I came by all this stuff, because they were... The mill were actually paying somebody to get rid of it all. <laughs> and I'm like, I'll pay to take it. <laughs> oh, okay. This is how it all came about. And uh, and the lady took me out the back. And you know the ton bags, if you're doing any work at home, and they got six tons of this stuff. And she went, well, is this any good? And I'm like, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have it now. Put it in the boot. Put it in the boot. She said, well, I'll get you a small bag and you can take some to try. And she fetched this like ginormous bag, you know, just for a few handfuls. And we had to drag it, two of us out. I'm like, oh, yes, thanks. <laughs> yeah. Two of us dragged it out. And then I showed Michaela and I went, look. I said, is this any use to you? She's like, oh, yes. That's good. <laughs> and that's the result. Oh, well, it's a beautiful result as well because half the work's already been done for you on this one because of the sizes uh, that you are getting on here. And you know all the colourways will work as well. So it's all going to fit beautifully together. £26.97 is what you're looking at for this one. 842723 <coughs> is that item number. Right then, should we get back to demo? 
Yeah. I think we should. Let's do it. Right, so I've, I've joined my bits together. I've cut my seam down to about an eighth of an inch, just a small one, and then press it open. And why I've hung on to do something as simple as pressing it open is because as quilters, we always seem to press to one side or the other. So pressing it open, again, it's about spreading that bulk as far and wide as you can. Once you've done this, you're on the home straight. Fold it in half. Binding is one of those things, you'll know, Lewis, it's so easy that people can't do it because it's too, you know, like, too easy. Yeah. You're like, how the nickings can I, um, I don't know what that word was that I just made up, um, how can I do that? It's, it's too easy. So, right, now we've got our own length of coordinated binding. So when you start to put it on your quilt, don't start right at the end. Start a few inches in, and the reason is because when you've gone all the way around and you come back to the start, you want something to put your, you know, to, to finish off in, to tidy it up. And don't start at the top, and don't start in the centre. Just start somewhere obscure. So. Put your raw edges together. Now, these are all raw edges, even though I'm not working at that edge. So just start somewhere obscure, quarter inch seam, which on this machine I have to clue where that is, so we're just going to make it up and go around. Now, the bit here that you want to see is the corners. So if I show you a couple of corners, then I can finish off while you're doing your next bit, can't I, Yeah, of course you can. So um, let's uh, oops, go down. When you get about a quarter of an inch away from the corner, stop with your needle in, oops, turn it round, and come out to the corner. Turn it round again so that you're ready to face your next side. Now this is how you're going to get like a false mitre on your corner. Now at this point, if you want to take your needle out, you can, and I will because it's going to let you see. So. Fold the fabric, your binding, straight up so it's in line with the next seam that you're going to go down. Okay. And then, in fact, sorry, I'm going to just move completely and then you can see the best you can. Break my thread and everything. So you're going to put your binding up. In fact, if you've got a piece of paper, a piece of newspaper handy now, it would be a good idea to tear yourself a strip and while I'm doing it, fold a paper one and then you can follow it. Just keep that. I kept that in my sewing bag for years. So I'm going to fold it up and then put your finger there, level with the line you've just done. Bring it back down so you've folded it, yeah? Oh, this is where the saying comes from, up to the shops, down to the post office. Is that what it is? I've not heard that. Yeah. Yeah. You fold it up to the shops and down to the post yeah. office. And then you're going to start here, just disregard whatever you did a moment ago and just come down your next seam, or your next side, should I say. Oops, all the way down. So all the row edges are together. I think I hate it all, I hate it. So we'll get to the next corner. I'll show you... Oops, I've not looked at it, I've wandered off. Get down to your next corner, quarter of an inch away. Needle in, turn it round so that you can stitch out to the corner of your quilt. There you go. And then, in fact, I'll bring it out of the machine again. So, up let's go. We're going to go up to the shops, Adam, not down. We're going up. Up to the shops. Up to the shops. Down to the post office. Yep, down to the post office. I like that. You can go to park or cinema, anywhere you want. You can go anywhere you want. Yep. Yeah, don't... and then jump back on here and just so straight down. Now, if I finish this off while you're doing your next bit, okay. and then we can move on to the next section if you want. We can do that. Well, let's right. move on to the next section. Uh, now, work. all I need to tell you, though, is we've got queues on the phones already. There are two-minute-long queues on the phones uh, for your one-day special. They are very, very busy. So jump to the website or tap the app. Or if you do need to give me a call, 0330-175-5552 is the number to give me a call on. Uh, it will be two minutes, so just bear with me on the queues of the phones. We are but we're going to you as quick as we can, but jump to the website or tap the app. The brand new website, uh, that as well, that we have. Easier to manoeuvre around uh, the website. You'll see the details that are currently on the screen. Also, are the details that's on the website. So if you're watching us live on the website, the screen will change according to the, what's on the screen here. 
so you can kick the product straight away and add it to your basket. It's worth having a little look at the brand new website because it is easier to use. Uh, but we are looking at the one day special 10, 10 inch squares and you're also going to get the Highland Fling booklet thrown in as well. Now, colours will vary slightly on the tweed now is what we're looking at but um, yeah, you're going to get something that's quite similar let's be fair. £22.49 with a £7 saving 278160 is that item number. Uh, there you are. Shall I show you the samples? Shall I do we? While she's popping up to the shops and down to the park. Uh, you've got... <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Uh, you've got this beautiful run of houses, which is also in the quilt uh, that you've got there. So you've got the stunning row of houses. You've also got uh, the little bags in here as well that you can create some of the beautiful bags. Now, obviously, a 10-inch square is not going to be enough to do the bottoms, but you could have it in different colourways that you've got. In the booklet that you're going to get, you can do the stags in many different sizes uh, that you want to use in there as well. So you've got those different stags and the different Highland um, castles and Balmorals uh, that you can do. So it's worth having a little look at all of that. But you've only got another but about 10 minutes before we end this live hour. And the price goes back up at 6 o'clock when I launch a brand new one-day special. 278160 is your item number. Uh, are we done? Yep, we're on our next bit now. Beautiful. We just want to finish this off. So, we want to finish this off. We want Now, there's loads of different ways to do this. This is the way I do it. So, I want one end to sit inside the other end. So, the end that I left loose to begin with, I'm just going to fold under a little seam allowance there. And no one's counting, so just do what you want. And then this end, I want it to overlap. So I'm going to trim it back a bit. Open up that fabric there. Pop that inside. Now, at home, I wouldn't have broken off the thread, but because I'm showing you, it just means it's easier, easier for you to see. And then, oops back on your back on your quilt and you're just going to whiz down that side now because I've put the end I'm sewing on into the end I started with it means it's going to oops what's happened here oh what's happened to our machine something's not happy oh there we go that caught me by surprise there we go now then made a bit of a pig's ear just at that last bit but you get the idea so when we turn that over that looks smashing even though I know on that side there's a wrinkle when I turn it over there isn't now all this extra fabric that we've got cut it all away and then we've got the size of our finished quilt now not not content yet do you want a hanging sleeve? Because you might want to put your quilt on the wall. Oh yeah, true. Oh yeah. This is like the easiest. So all this stuff that you've cut off. We've got about five minutes left. Oh, I'll have to be quick then. All this stuff that you've cut off, don't make your hanging sleeve the full width because then your pole will be stuck out the side. So you want it just a little bit shorter. And what I would do is fold it in half right sides together sew those two ends in and then turn it through. I'm not going to do that because we're rushing. Um, so I'll just, in fact, make it a bit shorter still. So we're just pretending that I've tidied those edges up. Put it on the back of my quilt. And then sew it... Oops. Let's, where are we? Sew it into that seam allowance that I've done for the binding. So as long as I don't go over that seam allowance, no one's going to see it. So that's going to be a completely hidden row of stitching. That's my hanging sleeve. I'll shove that out of the way. So I can put a dowel through. Yeah. Or, um, you know, for the big quilts, if you go to your DIY shop and you can get some, they're like this, they're like, you know, like not quite a broom handle. Yes. But you can get them as a, like a 1.8 metre length or whatever. And they're perfect just for putting through a couple of hooks in the wall and it'll sit on. So to finish off, your binding, just pass it over, because we did raw edges together, that's a nice finished edge that you've got to work with. Over it goes, and then slip stitch it. Your corners, where you've done this, um, where you've been shopping, just go over the top, and then just with your fingers, 
just make it look like it's a nice if you want to nip a little bit of wadding off in the corner just a little bit it's fine go over and just make it look like it's a mitered corner it doesn't matter what it looks like on the back because nobody's going to see that and then just stitch it round by hand all the way around that'll be your quilt beautifully finished there you go you see but to do a beautiful finished quilt you need to do the front of the quilt first <laughs> uh, maybe to do that you're going to make um, and it'll be the same with cushions and things just because we're talking about quilts it's exactly the same process for smaller cushions or pin cushions or door stops or draft excluders it's the same sort of concept, just on a different scale and a different shape and a different size. So if you're going to go for your 10, 10 inch squares, you may use these to make um, cushion covers, put four together and then use your uh, fabric in the background. Because four together is still a pretty big size. You're talking like a 20 inch square is what you've got then because you've got the four that are going to sit together. So that is a big old cushion uh, that you've got there. Maybe then you're going to applique something into the centre because you can also do that as well. The choice is yours on how you're going to do this, but you need to get in quick. You've only got an hour left before the prices go back up. £22 and 49 pence, 278160 is that item number that you need to look at. Uh, to get this. So once again, you can make your small quint bags that you want to do there. Maybe you're going to turn them into doll's clothes. How beautiful would they be to make little waistcoats and jackets for little doll's clothes that you've got there. Maybe you're going to reupholster some doll's furniture would be once again absolutely beautiful uh, to use this in 278160. Uh, Anthea, we have a lot of new viewers um, mm -hmm. channel hopping at the moment between the two channels. Okay. Uh, so maybe they've never worked with Tweed before. Um, sum it all up for me. If we've never worked with Tweed before... Really, really easy. Much more forgiving than cotton. And if you've never worked with it before and you're a bit scared, get the bundles and have a go. Really, really cheap way to cut your teeth with it. It is very true. Very, very true. Have a little go. And is it, it is worth a go. It is worth a go. £22.49 is what you are looking at for this at the moment. Handbag, not included. Presenter's own. Uh, 278160 is your item number that you are looking at for this at the moment. And if you've not used your welcome yet, use your welcome because you will get £5 off um, the price as well. So whether you've not used it on our website or you've not used it on Create and Craft's website, use Welcome. Anything over £20, I'll also give you another £5 credit that you've got. Uh, the 300 gram tweed that I've also got on the show has been very, very busy as well. It's worth having a little go at the 300 gram tweed. Let me show you 200 gram because uh, I've opened up the other one. Uh, 26 pounds and 97 pence uh, is for the tweed is what we've got here. These are deep dispatched to you on the 3rd of Feb. You may even get this one thrown in as well. Who knows? But it'll be dispatched on the 3rd of Feb. Uh, 842723 is your item number. I've only got a minute left of the show, so it's worth having a little go. My happy hours that I've also got on the show as well. Boredom Buster. Uh, 12 projects is what you're looking at this one, £19.99, 229295 is your item number, and then you've got wall hangings and things like that, it's all worth having a look. The last one is your um, potting shed, also 12 projects, £19.99, 603760 is your item number. The only other thing that I need to do is thank Anthea, thank you Anthea, thank you, always and a pleasure. Thank you. And uh, it's my director's last day today. So I just want to take uh, from me and myself and the rest of the team, uh, Hugh, it's been an absolute pleasure uh, working with your little Hugh, but his very last show uh, on the craft store, he's going on to Pastures New, he's going to go down to the potting shed, he's going to jump on a train, he's going to be a train driver, that's what he's actually going to do. He loves it, loves it. Uh, thank you very much, and I'll see you in an hour's time. See you then. Yes, indeed, our queue's going to Pastures New, and he may say, Ciao Bella, as he's rolling in to Little Italy. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you.
Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away, or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888, and join Freedom today. Hi, I'm Ali from Anna Stitch Fingers. I've been sewing for most of my life. It's a passion of mine. I really enjoy all aspects of sewing. I'm creative in lots of different ways as well, but sewing is the one I'm most passionate about. Designing is a big part of the journey uh, for me as well. I, I love going out and finding the fabrics to use in the projects and bringing them to you. I love the designing process from start to finish and then the finished project is just the icing on the cake. So make sure you don't miss out, come and sew with me. Hello, I'm Hayley. I've always been an avid crafter behind the scenes and have been given the opportunity to share some of my favourite products with you in a monthly show called Handmade by Hayley. I'll be covering lots of areas of soft crafts like quilting, dressmaking, sewing, knitting, even printing your own fabrics. Hi, my name's Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp, and uh, how did I get here? Well, when my children, Grace and Mark, were born, I left the corporate world and I took up crafting full-time. If you like my style and you like what I do, then please join me, Barbara Gray. everyone don't forget there's a clue actually flex extravaganza don't forget you only have to spend a pound and you can split your basket two ways so that will apply to everything that we've got on this show it's all about chow bello we've got lou sims with us as well which is fantastic of course not seen lou for a while actually so it'll be nice to be back together and we've got some new todays for you as well let's say good afternoon to our lou in fact i'm looking at the clock it's evening really isn't it it's five o'clock it's that time again lou. it is it is hello it is. hello <laughs> i haven't seen you for a little while i know Oh, I know. I've, I've, I've become a lady of leisure for a little while. Oh, <laughs> well, we're together twice today. I know. Isn't that cool? I know. Nine o'clock tonight as well. But don't <laughs> hesitate with those baskets. Use Flex Extravaganza. Use that Flexi Basket if you can. Take note of the savings as well because we've got one right here, right now. Let's have a look. Oh, we've got a new website as well. I've not seen it yet. Can we go there now? <gasps> have you seen it, Lou? Yes. I've not seen it. Wow, look at this. So we've got those hot products there, I can see. Always worth looking at those. There's Janice. Um, yes, oh, look at that. It looks very smiley, very happy to be there. Oh, my word, there's me. Just flick <laughs> the very quickly, very quickly. Uh, we've got products on the show, of course, as well. And, of course, I presume we also have those end of quarter products. So if you're checking out your baskets, do look out for those. Um, yes, we've got some great savings on this show as well. Oh, I like this. <laughs> I like it. So we can just scroll across nice and easily. There we are. All the savings, all the prices. Add it to your basket. That looks very smart, very wow. swish, doesn't it? Love it, love it, love it. There we are. Okay, right then. Let's have a look at this new bundle because, Lou, you love this, don't you? We're going to see do. this in demo. I do. Uh, the Delta papers are, are from Chabella are absolutely beautiful. Chow Bella has a really cool colour palette, you know, when yeah. they put papers together. And they've got a really, really fantastic way of layering. If, if you struggle with layering colours or picking colours, their papers just pick so many different colours that will work with whatever you've got. And they're double-sided, they're six by six, and you've got a mixture there of some beautiful pages that you can just put down whole and just a simple sentiment. Yeah. You've got plainer backing papers. You've got little toppers. You have. Uh, you know, so you've got lots of different things that you can actually add from the one collection all in one go. And it is a beautiful, subtle, soft colourway. But it's you could add a pop of pink. You know, you could dreamy. add a pop of neon to it as well just to highlight it. 
definitely. Now, I'm going to show you the papers, actually. It's much more than the papers in the bundle. But 12 different designs, I believe, Lou. Yeah, and two, two of, of each. each. Yeah. They are double-sided as well. I can see what you mean about that colour palette. They're my sort of colours, actually. They are. Actually, but that matches my dress with colours today. It does. But you, let you choose. I mean, that one there, I know it's a 6x6 six six paper, but cut it in half and you've got two A6s or two DL cards. Definitely. Straight away. Actually, that could be cut either way, couldn't yep. it? So you... Your height or your landscape yep. there, you know, your portrait or landscape. Let me just flip these around as well. You mentioned toppers. So you we have, have got the toppers there. Yeah, so you've got, so you'll have two lots of those. So you can use the toppers or you've got the, um, something different on the other side. Um, you've got plain. So you've got the, because you've got two papers now, you've got a choice. You can use those toppers or go for the actual backing papers themselves. Um, I love that one. Oh, the feathers are gorgeous, um, aren't they? Yeah, I do love feathers. I, I think there's something about feather, isn't there? There definitely is. But and then, then you see... Something very different on the other side. If you're frugal it's with textured. your... Yeah, it feels textured, mm. doesn't it? But if you're frugal with your papers and how you mat and layer, just from one sheet, you can have two... You can get as much as possible. You can. Mm. Now, this is interesting because we've got the die and the stamp mm. coming up as well. You can see that dream catcher there. You've got the bird, you've got the boat in there. Something very different on the back again. Some of these might be a little bit more directional, some might be non-directional, but you can decide how you work with these when you get them home. The weathered wood, the planks there, absolutely beautiful. Oh, the birds. I know, aren't they good? As I said, there is such a really good mix of absolutely everything. I mean, I mean that one to me just looks like it needs to be framed. It's Do you beautiful. know, I was just going to say that. Look at the texture yeah. that you can see here again. I mean, that's, oh, these are just gorgeous, aren't they? They are. I mean, that one there, I think, is a lovely starting point. Look at the colours. Yeah. You know, you've got in there, you've got yellows, you've got blues, you've got greens, you've you, got bits of pink. You have, and you could yeah. cut away that. That could mm. be a fence, it could be planking. Yeah. You know, so you can definitely break these down. Lovely to have the six by sixes. Remember, you are getting 12 different designs, two of each. Oh, these really are dreamy, aren't they? They are, they're wonderful. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's have a look at what else we get in this bundle, though, because that's just the paper pack. Let's have a look. Can we go to the stamps next? These are lovely, though. So we just mentioned there, didn't yeah. we? But you can see the dream catcher in that paper. So if you want to overstamp onto the papers, you've got the perfect elements here. You have. You've got the perfect. But also think about, I mean, you, I've stamped those in black and they stand out beautifully. But they would look equally as good if you emboss them they and did them like a resist technique. The arrows to me are absolutely fantastic because you could cut them out and put your dream catcher going through it. You've got the sentiment in there. And all I've done there is just use the backing papers. So that is just one paper that I've just slipped. Just one. One paper, and oh, all wow. I've done is cut it in a way that I've got the backing of one side and the picture on the other, and then one of the toppers from the you same thing. You'd use two or three different papers and, there, even being double sided. And that's just the stamps. Absolutely. So you know you can do it, it. They work absolutely, you know, beautifully together. And again, oh. sort of thing. I've cut out lots of fussy cut, lots of little elements out because I enjoy doing that. <laughs> And, you know, bring in your stamping on the top. So it's a really good kit, depending. It can be from, like, if you're new to crafting or card making or whatever, right up to being more proficient with yeah. your layering and working from the ground up with the way you make your cards beautiful, or your projects. Beautiful. So not only have you got the paper and the stamps, we've got two die sets as well. Now, the die sets, I think you're going to use these over and over mm. again. If I bring the first one in, those lovely feathers, I mean, you can use these again in different directions. It's entirely up to you. But if you want to dangle them, you know, put them back to back as yeah, well, you can do that. They've got a beautiful, a lovely embossed detail on them as well. But it's quite nice and subtle. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, the feathers you could do in lots and lots of different... Layer them up. I mean, I, I'm going to do um, a demo with laying them up and using them like chipboard. But then you've got the piece there that you can layer them up to put them on the top to, to you know to hide where yes. all the tops of the feathers are. You've got that extra die, which I think is a really good is idea. That a tassel? Yeah, you know, like you can put it on the top of the feathers. Oh, oh well, yes. Well, so it's been bound. Yeah, got you. So you could layer all your feathers up and hide yes. the top of them by actually having that die. You know, that die yeah. cut on top, which I think is really that, clever. It is a really lovely idea, isn't it? And there we've got the dream catcher as well. You've got the word dream, more feathers in there. So, and of course, you can snip these away if you want to. You can double layer yeah. these or triple layer them so you can build them up. Um, beautiful. Let me just show you one more sample because we do have another one here. But that's blue tacked in the middle. Is that blue tacked in the middle? Yeah. I want you <laughs> I'm not going to try and pull the middle out then, but the frame itself. Look at this. We've got more coming up as well that's been used on this so, sample. But using the stamps, the dies, the feathers. And, and that's gorgeous? the rice paper we've also got on. So it just shows you how everything on the, the counter will actually work yeah. together. But I've used the die cuts to go underneath the rice paper. Uh, but you still don't lose any of the definition. They're underneath the rice paper. They're underneath the rice paper. 
So you don't lose any of the definition of the dyes and the detail on them by, you know, putting them on top that of... That is so clever, isn't it? I never even thought about doing that, you know. Of course, because the rice paper will work and mould yeah. itself. Yeah, to around something else, yeah. Why haven't we thought of that before? What a great buy this is. Twenty three ninety six is the price. You've got a lovely £5 saving there. 026087 with Flexi, of course. We can spread the cost, so it's just eleven ninety eight today. Another in a month's time. We're very, very busy on that. Already 10% of the stock has gone. You are going to use every one of those elements time and time and time again. Now, talking about the beautiful colours that we've got in the papers, there, the palette that we've got, we're offering you a lovely selection of the Distress Inks here. So the colours have been chosen specifically mm. to work so beautifully with that set and the other things we've got here as well. Another great price at just twelve ninety nine. You're getting all four of these. So we can see we've got the is that storm stormy sky? I should know that one, yeah. shouldn't I? Vintage photo, bundle sage, and we've got the black soot. So definitely a must have if you can go for these as well. Don't forget split the cost again. So today that would be just six fifty then, wouldn't it? Six fifty. Mm -hmm. The four oh. ink pens. If you haven't got those colours as well, I love those little pots as well. Those very busy on that one already. Um, yeah, overstamp the papers. You use them totally separately, independently. It's entirely up to you. But what a great buy. Three nine four zero five six is the item number there. Now we do have more because we've got more stamps for you, and we've got a lovely stencil here as well. Now Lou, you haven't got this stencil, have you? No, I haven't. But it, I mean. When you look at it, it looks like, you know, rings of a tree. But actually, with the colours we've got on the Distress Inks, doing them in the blues and greens, and you've got ripples of water. Yes. You know, so you can use it in lots of different ways. It, all the Chow Bella stencils are thick enough that if you want to use texture paste or gel mediums or anything like that, you get a beautiful raised um, image with them as well. But that one there is you can pick out lots of different elements of it to build your background up. Definitely. Not just have to use it. Uh, or, do you know what would look really cool? Emboss it and then sand it back. You know, like oh, if you did it on craft it. card, yeah. emboss it and then sand it back and add your inks. It would, you know, we might have to see if we can find you one of these to play with, Lou. <laughs> it's not fair that you've not got that one. You have got the stamps, though. I have. Oh, thank goodness. Let's have a little look at the stamps. They're beautiful. Again, you've got those feathers, you've got the reeds, and you've even got a ladybird in here. Love this one because it works in a corner. It, it yeah, works in a corner. Absolutely beautiful. But it, it looks hard to cut out, but actually, it's really quite easy. To cut out and layer it up but if you stamped it with like the vintage photo let that dry and then went over the top in a green you, you could create the dark and light tones within it but it is a beautiful or you know do it in white embossing and then add all your um do the resist technique yeah, with it gorgeous another great price as well only 14.98 if you want to go for this so the stencil the stamp set has combined there a lovely little addition to your stash, I think. 979340 is the item number. There we are. Now, we do have more. We do have more. We spoke about the rice papers, didn't we? That's what we've got next. Now, I thought somebody had been set dressing, but actually, oh, this is heavy. It's from my actual house. I just wanted to wow. show people that rice papers, we call it mixed media because it is. That was a pot that I got, and the. Um, the original design was, um, I didn't realise, was plastic and it came away. So I've used the rice papers and odds of little other bits of rice papers to go on top of the actual pot design itself. So rice papers can be done for upcycling yeah. as well as all our crafting work. And I did use the Mod Podge on it, so it's all sealed inside and out so I can do it with the water. But I Love thought it was it. easy if I brought the plant because it made sense then. <laughs> you just wanted to test my strength. That really does weigh a ton, that does. It absolutely does. Have you been watering that, especially for this hour? <laughs> so much water in there. Now then, you, we've got a lovely selection of the rice papers as well for you because we've got a choice here. We've got a pick and mix. Now, there are five different designs to choose from. I will show you these in a second. You're choosing any two. Now, you get five sheets with each design and they are they are, I was going to say duplicated, but that would be two. Yeah. They're replicated, yeah. aren't they? So if you are wanting to make something and reuse the same, so maybe it would be a pot or a piece of furniture, then you can do that. Now, of course, you can go for more than two, as long as it's multiples of two. If you want them all, then choose your favourite and go for an extra set. Now, this is the feathers. Absolutely gorgeous. We've seen that on the pot that uh, I was holding up as well. I love, love, love this one. Isn't that beautiful? It is, and it's, and there is so much you can do with rice papers. You know, everybody when we put them down on white, but don't think of a coloured background yeah. behind it. You know, um, definitely. 
get your gessos out and highlight an image in white and then put the rice paper down so that then would stand out even more so you know, but you can use them on glass bottles they look stunning okay. on mirrors that one's called flight of bird as well which is obviously very apt now lots of color in this one lou the clocks there it's beautiful isn't it the mariposa one but then that one to me is a rice paper you could put the whole image down but you could then if you didn't want to use the numbers as a clock because with rice paper, we yeah. can pull it out with water. Yeah. You could just use the flowers, then use the numbers separately. That's a good idea. Yeah, you could easily separate that, couldn't you? I love mm. the pocket watches on there as well. Now, this is beautiful. You might recognise the design here from the papers. This is Delta. Oh, that it really is gorgeous, isn't it? Mm. That same image is on the papers, isn't it? Is, it? So yeah. you are wanting yeah. something to match. Beautiful. You would want to use that five times yeah. at least, wouldn't you? Yeah. So there you are. You've got your different designs there. That pick and mix for just £19.98. We're missing one here. Have I double flipped? Oh, let's. I'll have to show you here because I haven't got this one. It's This is the fifth one. I did think then that yeah. seemed to go quickly. Yeah, <laughs> little boy. <laughs> Oh, I wonder what he's about to pick up from the water there. Or is he just playing with the ripples there? I don't know. There's some the frogs herons. there. I don't know if he's tormenting them. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, actually, can I just show yeah. this as well? You've used the rice paper on this, I have. You, have. I've, so I've used the Mariposa clocks and I've used the rice paper that you liked, you know, that had like the, I want to say Leonardi inspired, um, Da Vinci inspired images and layered them up that way and obviously used all gorgeous? the stencils that we've got on the show so you know but I've used half of the clock so I've made it go even further so use yeah. half on one side pulled that. out different elements of it um, and again I've put it over the stencils yeah. with texture paste lots of texture on there mm. that works so so well more inspiration for you yes go for these as well 1998 now let's because we can because we're so excited we've got a new website let's have another look at it we'll show you how you can go for the pick and mix so of course you will see the option there now if you do a little bit of scrolling um, rather than sliding across there it is you can see all of those different options there just click on the options that you want pop them into your basket you can have two of the same if you wish so if you're going for two of the micro cosmos you'd actually get 10 sheets the same there because there's five sheets in each selection so if you are maybe you are going for all five and that's the one you're going to double up on that's what I would be doing Oh, would I go for the one with the herons? I don't know. You see, I'd probably go for two of everything and three of everything. <laughs> I don't know. Add to your basket. And then, of course, when you come to check out, you might find some lovely things as end of call as well. So keep an eye out for those. Now, moving down again, we've got some paper pads for you. Now, this, you've got two very different designs in a sense, but you're getting both of them. Now, they have got a bit of a theme. I think look, when it comes to the colours, we're looking at two completely different colour uh, palettes there mm. but actually you can take away some of the papers from the beautiful nautical theme here and it will work with the more sort of vintage theme as it, well because it, you have got those elements in there that kind of correspond you have because you've got the um, the a planar paper on one side um, of the nautical the ocean theme so it, it could work so you've got like the terracotta you've got that beautiful mustard yellow on the ocean because all of the backing papers have so many layers of color and depth of color you know, you could you can layer them up. You can pick out different elements from that. Um, I love that paper. I don't know why. And I'm, I just think it's wonderful. I love that but, as well, actually. But the, when you look at that one there, and we looked at the ocean with that, um, the mustard yellow one, they would work yes. together and layer up absolutely beautifully. Again, with the blue, because you've got the blue there, you've got a sea themed. You've got the dark blue of the um, the moon. Yeah. So you, know, so you can pick out the one to back the other one. Um, so they do work in that respect. They yeah. do. They do. We'll have another look at the other ones as well. I'll see if I can sort of pull something out and put them together and then we can see how they will complement each mm. other. I think that's the word I'm looking for. There we are. So what we're getting here, the 12 by 12s. This is the first one I'm showing you, remember. We, ha we will have another look. Lots of elements to cut out again here, Lou, as well. <gasps> On, I know you what can have that. These? these are um, a really good weight. I think off the top of my head, something like a 240, but I can't, I will double check. I'll rummage in my box that's behind me. <laughs> just... Do you know, I'm hearing 190. 190? Oh, they feel oh. much thicker than that. Ooh. They are, seriously, you'll mm. be very, very impressed. Oh, I love that one. Very impressed. The weight is beautiful. Great for die cutting. You can over stamp, you can emboss, of course. You can heat emboss. You've got lots and lots of options here. I'm just going to pop that one down rather than you're looking at a blank board while we move across to the other one because that's the first. 
Um, just tidy those up a second. Now that's called Sign of the Times. I will show you one or two samples in a second. Now if we go to this one here, we've got that wonderful under the ocean. So if I take away the front sheet, you have actually got, if I turn that around, don't forget you've got elements on that side as well. Oh, they're handy, aren't they? they the full alphabet oh, there, yeah. But you've got them really in lots of different are. sizes yeah. and numbers as well. Um, so it, it, they are, and they're easy to cut out. They've done them in nice shapes. Yes. If that makes sense. Now, if I just... Oh, you see, I'm trying to do something with my other hand. But now. Even Let me just find certain pieces. Let me just find... There it is. If I just bring in this one, you can see you've got the fish there. But look, don't they complement beautifully as well? So you've got that, as you say, that mustard yellow coming but, through. But you've also got the contrast. Because of the whiter background, yeah. it makes the um, actual toppers that you put out put on there stand out even more and that color then with if you wanted to go over to the more muted yeah. and keeps the muted you've got that there as well you have and don't forget if you're going for those inks as well they will work beautifully onto the cardstock you can some distress them up further so this one's quite bright but mm. if you want to distress it down very easy to do you could tear into it mm. use some of the uh, vintage photo I think we had in that bundle didn't we, we did yeah we did so that would work beautifully the stormy I sky really would like look this. lovely on it as a contrast with the blue yeah, on blue absolutely stunning let me just flick through these a little bit quicker so we can move on and i'll give you the details 16 pounds and 98 pence is the price you've got a three pound saving so don't forget you are getting both of these it is not a choice you don't have to worry about deciding which one's your favorite you will get both of them zero three three six three two and use that flexi basket make the most of our event it finishes tomorrow so a little bit of time still split the cost you know why not why not do that let me just just very quickly show you one or two samples because Lou has spent a lot of time on these and it would be very unfair of me if I didn't show them. <laughs> oh, cool. They're all yours, aren't they, Lou? Yeah, they are. I mean, but that is one of the toppers and all I've done is cut the, um, your man away and just layered other bits behind him. So you can create really quick cards and backgrounds. But the papers, that's why I was a bit surprised when you said 190 because all the pages in there aren't card. They're actually made with the papers. From yes. the pattern pa and they hold the weight and I've got magnets on there I've got flips I've got flaps I've got lots of different wow. um, these definitely feel more than 100 and that's what I'm saying so there is card in there but on the whole you know it's they are very substantial you know die cut them cut them up and <laughs> sorry that books here the wrong, wrong way around for you isn't it really but you've got different cut out all those different little elements and all the the bits in there. I had great fun cutting everything out. I can see you did. That is gorgeous. Uh, I'm not going to move till I've shown you this one because it's not fair. <laughs> Lou spent a lot of time. There's a box. But yeah. That, that we can I only tell you the details we've got. We've got 190, but definitely mm. these are substantial pieces. And that's a mixture of the rice papers we've got on and tearing elements out of all the backing papers. Ooh. And I've used the stencil on there to create the, the, like, the leather effect that we've got coming up as well. So, so, you know, it's a mixture of absolutely everything and obviously the inks. What a fantastic bundle. Go for these as well. 033632. Now we've got another great prize coming up next. This really is value at its best. Now we've got three different stencils, completely different in design, completely different in, in size as well. All these for 1341. Didn't you know that? Lou's <laughs> mouth has just dropped open. You might have heard a chin bang on the floor then. Because she's, I didn't know that. £10 saving. Yes. Look at the size you've got. You've got a 12 by 12. You've got an 8 by 8. And you've also got a 6 by 6. Honestly, that is such a good deal. 673897 is the item number. So we've got the honeycomb there or the honey wire. What else have we got there? We've got creativity and we've got the cell theory as well. Look at that. Look at the words in there as well. Just using those individually or as a whole background, you've got those options. I like how we've got those broken apart as well. And then the 6x6, six six, the cell theory. That Yeah, it looks like the resin, doesn't it, when you've had the and silicon in there, that's, the oil. That's one of my most favourite stencils from the Crafters Workshop, cell theory. It's so versatile. There's so much there. Like you said, you, you've got like the... the the, yeah. but you can use it as bubbles you can use it as you know layering i'm going to use it with the with the feathers we've got on to just show you a different trick to do with those it could be scales as well i've used it on that case to create yeah. that the mock like leather effect with a gel medium oh, and stuff like that so you know on the top 
Yeah. Oh, we'll have another look at that later. 1341, don't miss out on this one. 673897. You can still split the cost, of course. Right, something we're not going to split into is our Lou. As much as we'd like to, because she's always very busy, we better keep her as one. Lou, what are you going to show us? Right, I thought what we're going to do is I'm going to obviously make a card, but I want to show it in lots of different layers. So the kit then works for you depending on, you know, your your level of crafting. I love to start from a blank page and work up, but I know that's not for everyone. But we've got some of the most beautiful backing papers here. So this is a nice plain one we've got, but then you've got this one, which I fell in love with and I had to try and stop using the most of, which has got the beautiful feathers, so you could have that as a background, okay. or the weathered wood. So I, I'm just going to go for this one as it's on there, because I've been really good. So that is now literally all going to just be the background of my card. So I'm just going to put that to one side. And I just want to die cut out the um, dream catcher. Oh, lovely. You know when you just think, what's it called? <laughs> and we've just been talking about it all the time. So now I'm going to pull this back, only not because the die needs cutting out twice. It's just that the, the, by the time it goes all the way through, my yes. arms can't reach that far. No, you, yeah, you're a little bit... Yeah. Size to me, actually. Something I was watching, watching Paula with awe as she does it all. I'm thinking, oh, I can't How do that. How does the power reach? I know. That's what <laughs> I'm saying. I was watching with awe. So, but, um, but that is the beautiful dream catcher. And it cuts out. And we've got beautiful embossing. Oh, Even the little bead areas there have all got embossed detail on. And you've got a slight embossing around the center. All the way around the edge as well. I mean, it's an absolutely beautiful. Oh, no, I can see loads of ways and cutting into the the circle bit. Yeah, to make, to make flowers. flowers. Yeah. I was thinking, cut the feathers off and layer yeah, the exactly. circles up. You've then got something again for a different background with yeah. a simple sentiment on. Especially if you cut yeah. it from golds and mirrors and things Definitely. like that. Cut out around those petal shapes. You've got various different layers of yeah. flowers. Very, very versatile. So what I wanted to do was, so I've got, I have already die cut some out, but I wanted to actually decorate them up, but. I'm just going to start with the inks we've got on, okay. and I know we've got blending tools on as we well, so I'm just going to grab what I'm going to be working with. We <laughs> have got blending tools, we love blending tools, you do not want to lose, uh, lose out on these as well because you've got another saving, three pounds. Three pounds, now you're getting four blending tools, so the wooden bit with the handle obviously is the tool itself, but then you're getting two sponges per tool, so that's eight replacement foam pads as well. So there's plenty there to switch these around. You don't have to have a tool for every sponge. You can, you know, they've, they've got that hook and loop, haven't they? But they I have, say yeah, so you can do just that. Just in case, but, but yeah well worth. I've still got my spinner somewhere. I must find that. I think it's at my unit somewhere. The spinner that houses them all. Twelve ninety eight. great price once again. You break that down. That is a really, really good buy. These are Ranger of course. 601-746 is the item number there. Right, so all I've done is I've taken the vintage photo and I've just coloured it. Now, it and I'm just going to do it, you know, leave it like that. We could bring in the black soot and add a little bit of dark and light, but I just didn't, you know, I just thought, no, we'll leave it brown. Okay. And what I want to do is I want to bring in some of the other colours that we, we've got. And I'm going to colour up the feathers. So this is the stormy skies. And all I want to do is just change them. So all I do is just bend them out the way. Ah. You know, so I can actually work on them. And I just want to go around the edges really, really lightly. Oh, nice. So this is a stormy sky that yep. comes in the bundle as well. This is the inks now. So the four-minute ink pad selection. You've got vintage photos, stormy sky. You've got the sage and the black soot. So I'm just going to choose, just, and I'm even going to go up there, because I think it, I want it to look vintage. Yeah. You know, it's like it's been out in, your, in the trees for, for a long time. Let's move you out the way. And the sage is the bundled sage. Yeah. I don't think we could fit it all on there, but just in case, <laughs> you need to know the full name. It's a beautiful colour green, the, the bundled sage. It goes with so many. It's, it's a, like a warm. So I'm... Just going to colour a little bit there. And then what I just want to do, bring a contrast in. Because I've got this paper here, I could bring in a yellow, but I want to go for a pink. Because oh, I think nice. it would be nice just to have a little bit of a contrast. It's just a, a little pop of colour. And I'm just using a pink raspberry. Okay. Okay. So now, put that there. And then all I want to do is, if I take the cell theory on the top. Ah, Ross has managed to fit bundled. <laughs> Look, we did have room after all. Bundled sage, that looks better. <laughs> Right, so what I want to do is with, with this is we've got lots of different holes. We've got different sizes, and along the side here we've got the smaller. And I'm going for the smaller bit. Now, if you find it easier, put it in your stamp platform and put your magnets to hold it down. 
And all I want to do is I'm just going to get the ink with the blend blending tools and I'm just going to go through where I've underneath where the actual feathers are. Okay. I love this one. And then, uh, as you can see, I've started to oh, add, wow. put the detail on. So if I move it just a little bit more and let's grab the vintage photo, oh, it's there. Little. And then. I've not put any more ink. I'm just using what's yeah. on my sponge because I don't want the vintage photo. I don't want the vintage photo to stand out, but I want it to blend in. So what I'm trying to do is give that, you know, like the mottled effect that yeah. you get from the feathers, yes. as a nice, quick, easy way to give. If I put it on the back of the backing paper, That's you can really see effective. there. So you've now got. I'll bring it down. Sorry. That All is the, really the, the effective. You've got the effect like you've done the feathers um, with little effort, really. If that makes sense. Well, that wonderful trio of stencils, well worth putting into your basket. Split the cost, everybody. Don't forget about that. You're getting the 12 by 12, which is honey wire, the 8 by 8, which is creativity, and the one that Lewis just used is the 6 by 6, which is the cell theory, all well, with a beautiful saving of £10. There they are. So, yep. Different what? themes there. Sorry. Absolutely, this fine, Lou. Don't worry. No. Absolutely gorgeous. Something for every occasion, every project for your mixed media card yeah. making, everything beyond. Six seven three eight nine seven. Very busy on those. So if we put that paper back there, and I've got the the the, the sun catch, so it can fit in with all the papers. And all I did was I've cut another one, and if you wanted to do a slight shadowing, that could go on the paper. We've got the dream word, and that can sit across the top, and everything coordinates and works together oh, but I thought well okay if I what happens if I wanted to do you know do something a little bit different so what I've done is I've done exactly the same again and I've just colored the feathers yeah. because now what I want to do is I want to layer them so they now sit let's if I put that on white it's going to be easier I can now layer them on top of each other and I've got double the amount of feathers they're all colored oh. and I've got my dream catcher way. so I've now made my dream catcher get bigger and bigger and bigger if that makes sense. So I'm just going to quickly glue those together. So you, I think those feathers are so useful again of the snippability as you look oh. into this. I mean the dream catcher is absolutely beautiful and I love the effect that we're getting there. But you're going to use these for so many things, aren't you? Yeah. Maybe if you've got stamps with hats on, you can put the feathers in the hats. Oh, that would be beautiful. Would, yeah, you could build up a little spray, couldn't you? Maybe with a flower. And because now I'm layering these like this, I can actually now move this over and I get another look underneath the dream catcher that is really so really now effective. I've got a different pattern altogether and I've just cut away the the loop at the top that sits there on the top like that you've got a lovely stencil there if you want to cut that circle out as well and use it as a as background. background so this now can sit you know on the top Love there it. and it works like that way. so you could add that your details really really effective but then I thought well I've thought well what else can you do so this I've got lot. the stamps yes I thought what we do is I've got this is my little bag of goodies because obviously I've, I've prepped a few bits and pieces in advance so if I move this here and I'm just going to grab my stamp platform now we've got all the different nice. inks on there so why not use and mix up your inks that you've got so I've just got a piece of card here and I'm just going to grab the arrow my stamps are well used <laughs> You, know, you, you, can see, you can see you've had a lot of fun with these. The stamps, of course, in the same bundle because you are getting yeah. dies. Two sets of dies. You're getting the stamps, you're getting the paper as well. Remember, with the paper, it's a six by six. These are double sided. There are 12 different designs and two of each. Really lovely quality. You are going to over stamp with these stamps. You are going to die cut with them as oh, well. You've totally. got many options. So, all I've done is I've taken the um, vintage photo and I've just done the arrow part. And to bring in the pink, I've just taken a little bit of that pink raspberry, and then I'm just going to do the stormy skies to go over the top. So now, I've, using the stamps, I've got a stamped image that is actually going to match in with what I've already coloured. So when you cut it out, it will look a bit like that. So now, you know, so everything now starts to coordinate. So you can bring your inks in and use your inks in lots of different ways. And let's move you out of the way. So I did that then with the smaller, so with the smaller um, dream catcher that comes from the yeah. same stand, all I've done is I've cut the circle out. So what I was going to do, I've got one finished I can show. So what I wanted to do was how I wanted to have this like this and layered up. And then I can start where if I've got these smaller circles, I can add those on there. And this is from the smaller dream catcher. So they're going to go across there. I've got my arrow. Yeah. 
that can go across there and then I can use my word dream and all I've done oh, with the word nice. dream is I've die cut it two or three times and layered on top so that can now you know sit on there and suddenly you've brought in all the different elements really quite quickly and easily and you know I've got a piece of twine that I could thread through it and that can hang over the edge of the page I got some white you know other die cut feathers that, that are plain this time rather than all the detail and like you were saying the snip ability yeah. I could suddenly add or I could put them in in white if I wanted to have a little bit of contrast so now that that original dream catcher has gone from that to now looking like it, it's that absolutely is so full do you know it's worth cutting all those elements it, and it is play, isn't and it? if I bring in one in that I've done earlier and then all I did is this one here I kept everything plain so instead of colouring the feathers, yeah. I, if, if you didn't want to colour them and put the spots on, you could keep it plain and they work identically the same. And then I've just added a flower you know, from my stash into the centre there and a few stamens that's just tucked underneath. And a, a, So you can take this as far as you want to. So we could pair it all the way back and have it quite clean and simple yeah. if you want to go to. Bring in your other stamped elements and layer them up on top and you get a totally different look again and that was being inspired by the backing paper for all the colours that I it wanted to so use. It well, doesn't it? Do you know, I but can imagine the dream catch as well on one of those cards, you know, with an aperture mm. or a folding out card and you can use some of the nylon thread yeah. and let it sort of dangle or but, twist in the centre as well. But this is one of the backing papers that's got the horses on and the heron and it's the same colour so if you wanted to do it, it would work with one of the backing papers that got all the detail on as well as the plainer side as well so you don't love have it. to just think of the, the pad for just being a plain side if that makes sense I love it you've got so many elements in this bundle don't miss out on it will you 2396 remember split the cost down 026087 don't forget two die sets the stamps and those papers all in that one bundle now it has been mentioned but we've not seen it yet one of my favorite things ever actually we've got Mod Podge for you now we've got two different ones we've got the gloss or we've got the mat. So, you know, sometimes you want to uh, use the mat, don't you? Sometimes you want more of the gloss. It depends on the project that you're doing there. $9.99. So is that $9.99? You've got a choice. So you've got, if you want to go for the gloss, make sure you put the gloss in your basket. It's $9.99. If you want to go for the mat, make sure that goes in your basket. If you want both, then it's multiples of two. Both under one item number, 908-872. I better tell you how much is in there. There's actually 16 fluid ounces or 473 millilitres. There's an awful lot there, an awful lot. And Mod Podge, oh, it's a brand that has been going for such a long time, isn't it, Lou? Oh, Tried and tested. That's why it's still here, because it's so good. And it is, but um, Mod Podge... You you can use it as a base, you can use it as a protective sealer yeah. on the top so it's waterproof. Yeah. Um, we've got inks on, you can colourise it, so suddenly now you've got like a coloured glaze effect if you think about mixing it with yes. a little bit of your coloured inks so you can put it on top. So that means now you can create a coloured waterproof yeah. varnish effect on the top if that's what you want to do Fantastic. as well. Even if you're painting your pumps, we've done that as well, haven't we? And put Mod Podger over the top as well. Uh, yeah, we have. We've done that. I'm sure Janice has got a pair at home as well. Now, we have got more to get through as well, so we're going to go back to Lou in a second. But the big bundle, a third of the stock has gone. Remember, Lou is back at 9 o'clock tonight. Don't wait until then. Just buy everything that you need now. Come back a little bit later, because who knows what might happen in between the shows as well. Just before we go back to Lou as well, we've got a few more things just to recap on. Um, the inks, very, very popular as well. I'm not surprised. These are Ranger. These are distress inks. The colours have been chosen as a bundle specifically because they work so well with everything else we've got on the show here. So you've got Vintage Photo, Bundle Sage, you've got the Stormy Sky and the Black Soot as well. 394056 is the item number. Only 12 99 Again, think about splitting the cost. Then we have another bundle. The stamp set with the other stencil. Poor Lou hasn't got that stencil. We're going to try and sort that out for later, I think. But if you do want this one, another great price at just fourteen pounds and ninety-eight pence. And new today, nine seven nine three four zero. I'm just going to pop in front the printed out images or the stamped images that you're getting in that lovely stamp set. The detail is just incredible. I love the fact that we've got those that those reeds there that can go into the corner of a card but of course you could just over stamp and double stamp triple stamp you know go right across the page so and build up a whole scene so lots of scope in that one as well 
Rice paper, we're just going to touch on this one as well because the theme works with the bundles that we've already seen. Now you've got a pick and mix here, you're getting five sheets, five sheets per option. There's two options, so choose any two. So you're going to get five of the same in each option. You can go for two of the same if you want, then you'd get ten sheets. So you can go for two totally different ones. Or if you're wanting them all, then go for them all and double up on your favourite. I don't want to take time away from Lou, but very quickly, I'm just going to flip through this one again. I've only got four, the fifth one we can see on the counter. So we've got Delta, we've got Microcosmos, which we saw in a lovely sample here. We've got the lovely, um, oh, what was the name of this one again? The Flight of a Bird, was it? Yeah, Flight of Bird. There we've got those gorgeous feathers. And on the front of the counter, because I haven't got the, uh, the heron. There it is, with a little boy who's probably teasing the frogs there. Do you know, I'm going to just pinch one of those for later, because we have got five sheets, haven't we? Let me just take one away. Just so. We've got them all at the back. It makes it easier. 730-721 is the item. Number. Only 19.98. That gets you ten sheets in total. Right, then. Okay, let's get back to Lou, because I know she's got another demo lined up. It looks very interesting as well, Lou. Are we going to use those stencils? I'm going to use the stencils and the rice paper and the die cuts and do a little bit of everything. Oh, lovely. I mean, obviously, I won't get it all finished, but I can do it, do it in between the shows. Right, I'm just making a start. So th I'm going to use a mixture of a little bit of everything, okay. because I think it all works together. Yeah. So our rice paper... Now, we obviously, you see a lot of us will get a paintbrush and we'll go around the water and to go around the image we want to do and pull it away. Okay. Now, if that's not for you, get your scissors and cut it out. The reason we, we do the water technique is really to give the feathered edge. Yeah, so when so you, you blend it in, it. yeah. But if you, know, if you don't want to do that, you know, cut it out, tear it out. Um, I mean, rice paper, if you stuck your rice paper to a piece of card, you can still do that and die cut it. You know, it doesn't have to just be the way I'm doing it on a canvas at the moment. So I've just got the bird there. And what okay. I want to do is where we've got the whole image, let me grab the whole image in, I actually want to do my canvas. So I'm actually being inspired by the rice paper. So in the top corner, I want to have the heron. And in the bottom corner, I want to have the boy. Okay. So I'm taking yeah. that as, as mine, because I've got the composition there, so why yeah, not use it? You, you know, <laughs> and that's how I've thought about it. So I've just pulled out some of the elements and we'll pull out a few more. Now I've got a canvas and what I've done is I've actually sprayed it with a mixture of oxide sprays and stains. And then I've used that beautiful 12 by 12 stencil. Yes, that's so, a honey wire, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it, it's stunning. And I've used it through texture paste. And I've used the Ranger texture paste because if your inks are wet, the Ranger texture paste absorbs the colour underneath. So it gives you a different look. Okay, now I'm just here, we've got some canvases available at the end of call as well. So no extra postage, have a look at those. Stretch canvases, 21 by 30 centimetres. So not quite the same size as Lua's got there, I don't think yours is square, isn't it? Yeah. But still a great size, 21 by 30. That's like an A4 near enough, isn't it? it 21 by 30. Near enough, yeah, yes. Yeah, near enough yeah. an A4. Yeah. That's a good buy, isn't it? No extra postage. Pack of five. Yeah, think about <laughs> popping those into your baskets. Right, I, now I just want to show that the rice paper will tear if you don't want to do the water technique and you can still get the feathering. So go with the technique that works for you. So I'm going to concentrate on this bottom corner here. Okay. Now, historically with rice paper, I'm just going to grab a piece of white card to show you what I mean, is we automatically think that we have to do a rice paper on a white background. So if I put the boy on, you can then see the boy because, you know, he stands Isn't out. Isn't that a beautiful image? But, you know, why not put your rice paper on a different colour? Because it takes on a different depth and a different tone straight away These compared to what was there printed, before. Oh, it's stunning, isn't it? It's beautiful artwork. Right, I want to grab a brush. Now, I've used a mixture of the distresses because what I want to happen is when I put the Mod Podge on is I actually want, um, because it's water reactive what will end up happening is the color will slowly come up onto my brush yeah. and then i get a little bit of a colored mod podge going on top for my oh. rice paper so i'm going to get stick it down and then get a two for one as it were sort of thing i just want to put oh, a little right. bit and of course the mod podge it looks white at the moment but it will dry, dry clear yep yeah. so i just want to start building up now the reason i've got the layer underneath is we're not going to see it by the time I put all the layers on, but it gives movement straight away to the pieces that are underneath. Yeah. And it, it just creates that extra layer. If I bring the bottle nearer to me, that would be easier, wouldn't it? Um, 
and I'm just going to put little by little so I can start to see a little bit of the shape coming out. Okay, so even though that's just a layer of texture paste, yep. it's still picking up beautiful detail. It's picking up the detail, so this will be clear in a moment. And I'm just going to go around, don't, I mean, you, I'm going around the sides because that's what I want it to do as well. So yeah. I've got that layer going added on there. Now the little boy I want to do something different with in a moment. Oh, I'm intrigued now. <laughs> Here we go. But I've got all of these parts here that came across. So I can now start building up my picture in a slightly different way and keeping with the blue. Now in my head I've worked out that this canvas will end up framing a picture, a photograph. Um, and so I'm going to keep the centre clean, clear, so a bit like I did with the other frame. So I can now, I'm going to put this one on top and, and then just smooth it out. And I want to just to bring it out on the top there. I love a hexagon, you know, love. I do as well. It's, it's a really, it, it's, there was so much. And with that stencil in there, I mean, you can stencil within stencil because there's an open enough size um, doodle in it. That's what I, I would be doing. <laughs> You know, draw around it and doodle in it, except I've covered it in texture paste now. Look at those colours coming so, through there. So now, instead of doing the white, where I've got the blue, the blue paint um, underneath is accentuating that this is it a water is. effect really and, and it's making it stand out a little bit more. So we've got the boat here and rather than get the water, I'm just going to tear because I can still get the feathering that I want to do. So all I'm going to do is I'm just taking the design from the rice paper and just building it up how nice. I want it to be. Look, so. you were using the die cuts under the rice paper. Mm. Would you go with one layer, double it up, triple it up? I'm going to triple. triple. I would. I've got some here to show you. So oh, I'm just going to do that in the corner here. Okay. And then, so we've got this here and then I can put this to one side for a moment and bring in the die cuts and other elements. I just want to go around the edge there. So you can see where it's going lighter and lighter yeah. now um, from there. So let's move you out because I would spill you over. So I'm going to just move you across there. And what I want to do is I want to take the little boy image. And if I put the little boy on the top here, by the time he goes in, it's going to be very, very dark. But I want him to, to stand out. Okay. So what I'm going to do quickly is I'm just going to grab some white gesso. It could be oh. white acrylic paint. Yeah. It could be whatever you've got. And I'm just going to take the little boy image and I just want to put a little bit of the gesso behind it. This is a really good trick, it. isn't it? This yeah. can make such a difference. So, and we'll put that to one side to dry before I put it on with the, the Mod Podge in a moment. So now I can keep all the colours that I've got going on in the layers there, which is what I was trying to do. Because I don't want it, but I want him as an image to stand out, if that makes sense. So let's put you in the water and put the lid on that. I'm dreadful for knocking things over and spilling. So now what will happen is when I layer it on the top and we blend it all in, because he's oh, got a white background. Do you know, that Sorry, let me just so bring it down. Well, Sorry. You can see, I didn't notice the, um, the pattern on his, on his little outfit, yeah. on his dungarees, and now it's standing out really well. Um, the water. So really now I've got out. the, so he now stands out. So it's, it's like a false way of bringing in a perspective. Yeah. So I've got the darker background, but he now stands oh, out. Oh, because you don't want to lose him. No. It's such a beautiful image. So I'm just going to put him to one side just to let him okay. dry a little bit. And what I have done is I have cut out a whole load of <laughs> die cuts, as you, can, as you can see. And I've layered them all up, and I've done a mixture of both sets. So even when you think about it, even if you've got coloured card, turn it over the opposite way because, you know, it'll stand out and it'll it, it, be white that way. So now what I want to do is, before I do that, is I want to take the die cut and I want to start layering them up to come uh, become part of the picture. So I'm just going to literally cut it in half. And nice. that yeah. one is going to sit there underneath. So I'll just stick that down. And I'm just going to use a little bit of the Mud Podge to stick it down. I'm just going to put it on there and I'm just going to put a little bit on the top. Now it's not going to go exactly flat because obviously I need to hold it in place for just a bit but it'll just tack it down in place till the rice paper goes on. Okay. And then the opposite side, once I've built the heron up, that would go down that side yeah. along there. But I just want to add a few other elements as well before we do the... and I'm going to grab some of the feathers and I just want to stick some of the feathers on and I've done exactly the same. I've die cut them, put two or three together 
and created something a little bit thicker oh, as a decorated one. You know when you just cut, where's the, ah, oh, that's the one I'm after. I wanted one similar. These feathers are so useful. Uh, and that goes, and that is going to sit all of those on there. And I don't mind it going off over the edge. I just want to put a little bit of the Mod Podge just so when I put the rice papers on top, they've got something to go stick to. Yeah. I'm just thinking so. if you've got Art Deco as well, you can make a beautiful feather fan. Yeah. Oh, yes. Feathers. So now if I bring in where I've got this background now with the other rice papers that's left over, I'm just going to, for speed, I'm going to tear because you do get the beautiful feather effect as well. And just go around. The water just allows us to highlight different areas. Yeah, yeah you can be a little bit more precise, yeah. can't you? So I want to keep some of the birds in. So this one, I'm just going to tear this way. So it's just think about where you're going to tear it and, you know, put it in from there. So then I'm just going to put that on the top there. Okay. And I'm just going to go around. Now, because it is on white card, when this dries, this will stand out because against the blue. So yeah. I'm just building up that way. I'm just going in. Um, I'm being really good and not putting my fingers in because I don't want to get too sticky, but at home I would be sticking my fingers in. And then I'm just going to put little bits across here. So I've got the birds there. I'm not going to lose that Mod Podge that's going back on my canvas. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'm just now, because I'm, now I am going to use my finger because... So now by using my finger, I can go into where all the definition is. If you don't want to use your finger, oh, so if you, you can, use you a... Can, yeah, you can really work the paper yeah, you can the indentations, can't you, of the uh, die cut there. And then, and that's what I want to do. I want, the, I want the die cut to stand out, but also the rice paper images as well. So we've got that there going on. And I'm going to break this one down and put it across here. Don't want the white edge. And all I'm doing is, so from so far, I've only used one sheet of the rice paper. And then we've got this here. It's such a lovely effect when you see it all dried. When you see it dried, yes, because, I mean, and then I'm just going to push that down along there. And what I want to do now is I just want to bring in, and I did tear one out. Did I bring? Oh, phew. And I just want to do some of the feathers. And I'm just going to tear for speed. So you can take these out individually, you can yeah. use a whole background, I mean, you've got lots of choice again. Uh, tear them all, I'm, that's what I'm doing, I'm just tearing them out individually now. And then I can suddenly start to bring in some of the little feathers that can sit amongst the dream catcher. And this is, oh, I find this thing, rice paper to me is like collage, because that's all you're doing is you're building up lots of different layers. That blue in that feather there, that works well. And, and you know, so the lighter the backgrounds, you know, put some other detail on. And we would, I'd put more, I just want to put one more down there. And the Mod Podge goes a long, a long way. Yeah. So well, we you're not really reloading that brush, are you? You just no. keep spreading. So I can do, let's see there. I wouldn't force my Mod, Pod, Mod Podge to dry. No. Um, I'd let it dry naturally. I know that's, you know, when, you, when you've got a project in mind, that's the last thing you actually want to do. You just want to carry on building. So now, this boy here, I am going to quickly blast him because there's just a little bit on. We can just add him on from there. So that was the gesso that you used on the yeah. back there, just to bring through those colours to stop the darkness of the background. Yeah. If you just joined us, say, do we'll have a look back later at, on Rewind to see all the different techniques. There's so many hints and tips here. And then, look at all this mess I'm making. I do this. I do try and persuade them. Um, people that I am a messy crafter, but everyone says I'm not, but <laughs> you have well, more I, space. I wouldn't say you're a messy crafter either. <laughs> so now I've got the boy sitting there, and what will happen is he that. will stand out, and the background now will gradually recede in, but his image... The he will stand out brighter. The boy in the gallery, you know. Sorry? He deserves a name, the same in the, in the gallery. Oh, uh, hmm. I'll leave that up to them to decide. So then I've got, so he now stands out as brighter, whereas I've, where I've gone against the blues and yeah. the greens here, they're all blending in. Where this is drying now, this background looks a lot darker again because it's on a darker background, but putting him on with a bit of white, he actually stands out crisper. Really, you can really mix in your colours. Difference. 
with him sort of thing. And then what I want to do is I just want to add, I'm going to add one or two feathers along the bottom. And okay. obviously I would layer. We're in the last five minutes oh. now, Lou, would you believe? I will carry on layering this up. And show no. one corner. Actually, so, just as you're layering there, I've picked up one of the samples. Actually, this is using the rice paper and the dyes, but the same technique. And of course, the dyes that Lou is using with the dream catcher, those feathers there. This is how your rice paper will look. Once you've layered up, once you've built up all those different torn edges and uh, gone over the top with your Mod Podge, worked into the shapes. Use, of course, the three pieces of the die cuts together to build that height, but look how well they stand out. So, Lou, you said you will get to see the white coming through, and we can really see it on this striped because, sample here. Yeah, because I wanted I, I wanted to have... The, the reason I've done the blue is I wanted to give myself a head start, but I've kept the die cuts white, so they have a real contrast against the slightly darker yeah. background, and they've gone over with the rice papers... So they can actually stand out and be a feature in their own right, as well as the images it of the actual so rice well, paper. It? I love it. It's you know, like I wanted it to be that when you looked at it, there was lots of different elements to look at on the actual piece. So you could see the images, but you yeah. could then see the the dream catcher, the feathers. You can't. You could even, if you wanted to bring out the detail a little bit more, dry brush with your white as well. Yeah. But it works so beautifully. We're going to see more of this, I'm sure, at 9 o'clock as well. Let me just remind everybody of the paper pads as well, because we've seen the rice paper set, we've seen the first model, we've been very busy on that. The paper pads, this is such a good buy. Two different ones you can find elements that work very very well together but if you want to make different types of projects then you've got the choice there as well you are getting both of these it is not a choice so real great value value for money here 16.98 now these are 12 by 12s they're double sided as well so we've got under the ocean we've got sign of the times you can see how the colors lend themselves beautifully they complement each other if you do want to mix and match a little bit you've got under the sea elements coming through in the sign of the times amongst other things and a good example actually is the box that Lou did for us here you can see those beautiful fish there we've got the seahorse at this side stencils have been used papers have been used I think rice papers on there as well don't forget about the stamps that we've got I must show you this from the side the inks golf ink bundle you've got the vintage photo on there really really lovely a great way of upcycling all your boxes and things I must pick this up again I just adore this how wonderful just using the papers now our, our details tell us 190 GSM so we're sticking with that but I think you'll be pleasantly surprised at the weight of these and the texture of these as well I mean you can coat them with inks you can heat emboss you can emboss with your embossing folders you can spritz them you can spray them you can tear them you can cut into them absolutely gorgeous all that under item number 033632 now, over on the website, that's where you're going to find everything. Don't forget about the Mod Podge. Don't forget about the inks. We've got the wonderful blending tools as well. Well, there, we've got a lovely discount on those. The rice papers on a pick and mix. The Mod Podge is there. You've got a choice of the gloss or the matte. Do not miss out on those stencils. That is a star buy, seriously. £10 saving on that one. Uh, all three, a 12x12, 12 12, an 8x8 8 and a 6x6. Six six. We've got another stamp and stencil bundle there for you. Freedom members, you can join today if you're not already a Freedom member. We've got much more available as well. Check out the end of calls. Go for those consumables. We've got, of course, that wonderful bundle that we began with, with two die sets, a stamp set, and the paper pad, the 6 by 6 they're double-sided, 12 designs, two of each. Lots and lots that complement each other so beautifully. Now, we've got a couple of minutes left. So I think we've got time to go back to Lou's end of the count and see how she's getting on. Are you still busy over there? I am. I'm Love just uh, adding a few more little bits and pieces on. So I'm blending it all in and I've just taken um, from that beautiful pampas grass from the other rice paper because it works seamlessly with all the different designs that are going on. And what I want to do with the heron is I want to do exactly the same as I did with the boy and I want to put some white on. So when he goes on the top there... He will, I'll create a background for him with the sky, and okay. he will stand out. In the last out. 30 seconds, slow. that went quickly. <laughs> <laughs> but we can see where you're going with it. Absolutely beautiful. So it's just a case of gluing that down over the top of the Mod Podge again. Yeah. 
And I we will, stick. Will we see this a little bit I can, later? Yeah, I can finish this off as well as some other bits Fantastic. I want to do with the rice papers. Fantastic. Do make sure you join us at nine o'clock again. In fact, don't go anywhere in between. We've got loads more coming up. It's that time. We're almost ready to launch a brand new one day special. So I'm going to give you the menu. I'll see you soon. enjoyed seeing Lou again today. More of Lou at nine. Two Red Robins coming up next. Looking forward to that. Then Spring in the Forest with Funky Fossil. Oh, that was a lovely show as well. Back with Two Red Robins at eight. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have. So we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. And we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion, and we hope to transfer that passion to you. Did you know you can watch the craft store 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player on Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Craft Store channel, you'll be able to access your favourite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how you do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it. Now it's time to add the Craft Store app. Simply press your home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the Channel Store. At the top of the Channel Store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter the Craft Store into the search bar and this will take you to the Craft Store app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the Added Channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Scroll down to the Craft Store app and press the star button on your remote. You can use the arrow buttons to move the Craft Store to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your favourite TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Abs from Holland Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colors, textures and creating depth and dimension. Holland Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world. Make sure you don't miss the Holland Create shows. A very good evening to you. I hope you're well. It's six o'clock here in the United Kingdom, which can only mean one thing. It is time to bring you a brand new one day special. Now, I know some of you have been going on this journey with the two Red Robins and you just want to keep adding to your collection. And that is what we're bringing you. We're bringing you more of the beautiful story of the two Red Robins. Now, what I'm going to urge you to do now before we go any further, and no doubt I'll get told off for doing this as well, but you know what? Don't give a hoot. Uh, shop ahead of me on the website. Shop ahead of me. <laughs> we have got some cracking little deals. We've got a watering can, $9.99. Welly boots, $8.99. Flextravaganza, split the cost. You won't get it anywhere else. Also, I'm not meant to mention these till later either as well. Uh, pens. I have pens on the show, amazing pens, sort of brand new. We've not seen them before as to yet. Flextravaganza finishes tomorrow, so today you can get them for 9 99 They're 20 quid, there's both, but I'll give you all that detail later. Uh, anyway, I digress. <laughs> One day special is what we're talking. I get told up a lot. Uh, we are very busy already. I know, once again, shopping cliche TV term, we're very busy, but we genuinely are. We're not allowed to say it if we're not, okay? Before you go out there and start 
trojing me and saying, oh, he always says it's very busy, because we genuinely are. You know me, I wear my heart on my sleeve. If I get told off, I really couldn't care less, because I'd rather tell you straight how it works. <laughs> it was. There's no point me telling you, going, we're busy, and we've only sold one. We haven't. We are busy, and you are loving this. You really, really are. It's the brand new launch of the two Red Robbers, and I am not alone. Now, you can tell I've got more confidence now, can't you, Steph? <laughs> the first time I worked with you. <laughs> it is. Uh, our lovely Stephanie's in the studio. How are you, my oh, love? Oh, my gosh. I'm really good. And can I just say, don't get too used to seeing me this often, because it's it, this is not the way it's going to continue. <laughs> so this is just an exception for the for this, literally, this last week or so. Um, you're not going to be seeing this as often as you are at the moment. So you cannot get this anywhere else. If you want this collection, then please now do not wait. And Adam, wow, I love the way you sneaked in the watering can wow. and the welly boots. Um, when they've gone, we will be waiting till at least April or May before we get any more. And that price, I actually said to the team, I don't know what the team at Highlight have done <laughs> to make that happen, but my goodness me, just shop. It really is. Um, already of the one day special, I've not even shown you around yet, to be honest, I'll give you a number. 10% of the stock has already gone here. You need to become, and it's very word I use the word need, you know this by now, uh, become a Freedom member on this one. It is a why not deal. So the money you're saving will pay for Freedom already on the back of this. Now what I'm going to tell you to do is ignore all this. Ignore the lot. Because why pay that when you can split the cost into three? Genuinely, three interest-free flexible payments of £32.97 and pence today. If you're a Freedom member, that's a £33.99 saving. So, 343043 is your item number. 66 dies is what we've got on there. Now, me and Steph have counted... I say me, I did nothing, I just stood here. Uh, Steph <laughs> counted these. It's actually 73 elements is what you're getting. Include the USB, and it's the first time I'm bringing you the USB as well. I've not bought you one of these before. It works out to be 74 elements. But take all of this out, take all those dies out worth a loan for the USB. The amount of stuff yeah. that is on that USB, which we will go through in a moment, don't worry about that, is phenomenal. Very, very busy. 10% of the stock already gone, and I am four minutes into my first live hour. Let's go through this in more detail, okay? We know the journey, we know the concept of yep. the two Red Robins by now. So what am I getting in my next next chapter, as it were? Well, first of all, let me tell you, this is the biggest stock we've ever had that we're bringing you here tonight. So really, really excited. Um, so we have got here the hen house. Oh, my goodness me. Wow. How cute is this? This. and we've called it House of Hens. Now let me talk to you about the concept that I've got here. So you've got three different sizes of that hen house. Then these are what we call reflections. So this is actually an image die. So you print out this. Now this is attached to your account and it will be there within 24 hours, Adam, yes, 24 is that right? Yes, 24 hours in the downloadable accounts. We'll go through all yeah. that in a minute for you. But yeah, it will um, be there within 24 hours. And then, so you're going to print these out. But we've also put these on the USB. So as soon as you get it, you've got them on the USB as well. So first of all, the, we've put as many on the sheet as we can. You lay the die over the top of them. You run it through your die cutting machine. This is what you're going to get. But you, so if you cut them in white, you're going to get them with a the cut detail. Look at these cuts. They're all designed and lined for you to be able to follow those when you're coloring. Don't forget the pens. Then these, these are our blanks. Now these become our card shapes. And oh my goodness me, do these make fantastic shapes. Imagine what you can be doing with this. I'm gonna show you lots. We can cut into this. We can make this really, really exciting. That's the first one. The next one, oh, our eggs. I mean, why is it taking us so long to bring you an egg? But this isn't one egg. This is lots of eggs. Look at this. So you are going to colour these and line them and put the blackbirds in them, put the robins in them. They're going to become homes. This is going to be not, this isn't just Easter. This is all year round. And look at the sizes that we've got. These are going to be storybooks. Imagine your storybooks, an egg, and you're putting your robins inside it. A phenomenal option for you. So that is our extravaganza. The next one, and there's 22 dies there, by the way. The next one that we've got for you is our chickens. 
Now, this is free ranged. Oh my gosh, I love the way that these have been named. And do you know, the team name them. Occasionally I'll come up with one, but they beat me to it and they're so much better at it than I am. Look at their fluffy feet. Look at this. Is. How cute is that? You've got six different hens, but you've also got the silhouettes as well. You could be making your own stencils with these. The next one that we've got for you is, who ever thought you needed a tire? Well, I can tell you you do, because I've actually had um, got an old tire that's in my crafts, um, not in my craft stash, it's in the vegetable plot, and we filled it with soil and we've got plants growing out of it. And it was left down there. It'd been there forever. This one, I'm just going to check the name, is called Tired Out. And that has got all the designs on it. And again, look at these fabulous designs. Right, next one. This is our herbs. So in the seed. The artwork, fantastic. Throughout the year, we'll bring you new artwork for different, different ideas. But these are all about our lovely flowers and our fabulous vegetables. And all of those different sizes six sizes that we've got for you there then the next one we've got now this is all about just a pile of hay and it's scattered scattered straw and it literally is just a pile of hay mm. and when you see what adam's got that you can create with this it's phenomenal the next thing that i want to just show you is pegged now these are you're going to use this for so many different things just that little piece that actually tells you the story and we're going to be putting all the names and everything else on there and then finally we've got our raised row and that is our set of onions so that's the first collection of dies i'm just going to take you quickly into the usb and while i do i want to just share this with you because this, I haven't even glued this together yet, but this is another product that is on the show. And you can see that this is quite a heavy little, t a little tin. It's got our USB in it, but this is our card stand. You're going to see that later on in the hour. I just wanted to mention it because don't check out until you've got that in your basket. Right, this one. Look at this. Oh my goodness me. I like this bit. This is the thumbnail collection. This is what I love this. Choosing which of the designs you want to see, but the detail. And you can see that you actually have got all of these different scenes, portrait and landscape. And if I just pull this down a little bit so you can see all of them, and then I'm just going to move it up slowly. So as you're seeing this, you can see the detail. Look at putting the hen house here. How amazing is that going to be? Putting it out amongst the, the fields. So many people now have hens so that they can have those free range chickens and chickens and eggs. And I love the fact that we've got this rainbow sky and color. It just brings it to life. Now that's only 30 of the backgrounds and I'm apologizing for talking so quickly, but I've got so much I want to share. And then these, these are our colored backgrounds. These are, there's 30 of these. Imagine the eggs cut out of these speckled designs. So speckled and speckled and speckled and speckled and speckled. You, those eggs are going to look like the different birds' eggs. And we purposely have given you some of them in browns, some of them in blues, just like eggs are. Then more of those backgrounds. Oh so God. now there's another 30 here. And look again, we're bringing in the hen house. So you could just be, maybe you've got flowers, you just want to accent round the edges of the designs or have the hens just roaming free. But again, all of that detail that you can see there. Now, if that wasn't enough, let's have a look at designs 31 to 60 because there's even more. And again, portrait and landscape as we come through here. And then we get to sort of a rice paper style. So there's lots of layers and lots of detail in the background. And then we're now in amongst the feeders and all the chickens and the hens and the cockerel. Don't miss getting him actually in your basket too. And then there's more. So now we're coming through the fields and we're getting all the detail and the plants are growing and then the tractor's coming in and then we've got also the tires and that brings us up to 90. And finally, we get to 100 of those backgrounds. But let's take a look at some of them in detail. I love the way that this looks like a watercolor wow. wash and you've got that watercolor texture and you can imagine now just put in the hen house there what that's going to look like and that rainbow 
it looks like you've just splashed the colour in. This is like making your own backgrounds. And then we come into here and we've got, this is the closest we get to people just having them just in the distance, right in the distance. And then this, one of my favourites in the whole set on the a USB is all of this story that we've got here. But then you can cut into the panels at the top. Then we come on to more. More design, more oh. detail, more choice, more variety. You are never, ever going to be short of having something that you love to craft with. No two cards need ever be the same. No two projects ever need to be the same. If you sell your cards, imagine the library that you are going to have, the new range that you're going to have to share with all of your customers. Isn't that just stunning? Imagine that with just the hen house in the background. It doesn't need any more, but of course that's just the start of the story. Then we come on to some of the rice paper look and feel. And we keep going, and I'm choosing just a few of the designs that you've got from that 100 backgrounds and all of the other finishes. Oh my word. I love it. So in theory, well it's not theory, it's fact Adam, get your facts right. What you've got here on just the USB alone, just the USB alone, will take you through the majority of your crafting day with backgrounds that are real. Now these aren't superimposed backgrounds with like, you know you normally get that, that block of flats, or you get that skyline of London, or these are watercolours, so it's going to look like you've done it. It's going to look like you've achieved it. Print it off on watercolour cardstock. It's going to really yank you, start giving you that feel. Start tearing the edge. So you're going to get that little frayed look that's on there. And some of them, it's built the scene for you. So you've got the hen house. So if you're thinking, oh, I don't really know where to put this. I don't really know where to put it over the top. Build it up on your phone pads and put it over the top. And then you start and then you go to the next one, which was landscape, and it didn't have it in there. Well, then you start placing that down and you start doing two or three of these because you get the different sizes, you're going to get the depth of field that's in there. And you know what I like? I love the theatre and I, that's, that was my background for years on the cruise ships that you've got on these. But it does look like a backdrop of a theatre set and if you bring anything in forward that, they are going to be your actors and actresses. They are going to be the ones that sing and dance, but that background without it, it really would miss something. Almost 20% of the stock of your brand new one day special now has already gone. I have so many samples to show you, bro. Desperately want to get to these little cheeky prices offers that we've got on here. £32.97 on three. Interest free, flexible payments is what you are looking on this if you're a Freedom member. If you're a Freedom member, it pays for itself. It really does. 343043 is your item number for that brand new one day special. The next chapter in our Two Red Robins story. And it's a chapter that genuinely you don't want to miss out on. You really don't. Because it's, it's going to build in, and no doubt, if you've already got all the other ones and you're thinking, I understand this, Adam, but money's tight, friends, a few things like that, we've put it onto three flexible payments for you. Now, these ones are not on flexible payments, but remember, we're in Flextravaganza. So Flextravaganza basically means you can split the cost of this today would be a fiver. But think savvy. Go for your one-day special, £3.33. 3.33 today is what you are getting on this. Now I'll show you the die, but I think it stands out of when we see it with Steph, what it actually cuts like. You all know what a die looks like, and you all know it's a watering gun, but because it's in bits and bobs, I don't think it really sells itself. But for 9.99, when you see this board, put it in your basket. You are getting an awful lot, aren't you Steph, with all this? Oh gosh, I love this one and I can't believe the price. I'm just going to say to you, I don't even know whether we will ever bring it back at this price because it's phenomenal. Look at what you're getting. Now these are all the different sizes and these are all the spouts. Handles and spouts and, and what does this say? This says to you, this isn't just a watering can. No. You could be taking the lid off and this is just a barrel. This is actually, oh my gosh. 
turn it upside down, I'll show you how to do this. Turn it upside down and you've got a pot, but look at the watering can. It actually looks like it's rusty. It really does look like it's rusty. So you have got the watering cans and then you get the spouts and the handles. Now one spout and handle fits two sizes. Don't worry if you're counting. Like when I first got the die and I thought, oh, we've missed some of the sizes. Absolutely, the artwork works. So you can actually attach the spout yourself. It gives it more dimension. And of course, you also put the handle on. Great way of you being able to do this. Can't wait to show you this. Imagine this in the hen house as a water feeder. I mean, gosh, what a great way of designing things. Okay, so that's the first one. The second one we've got for you, I told you that I did show you that sneaky little stand, didn't I? Well, look how many sizes that you're actually going to get with this. So you have got nine sizes, three, six, nine. That means it's going to work for all of your different card shapes. Little placemats, these are the smaller ones. Then when you get to the larger sizes, if you're worried about whether your card's going to continue to stand up, imagine sending it with its own plate stand. That just takes it into another level. And all you need to do is cut this out of white card, send your cards, pack them with a plate stand and charge an extra pound. That's what I'm saying. That's an absolute must have. Now, we are looking at Captain. He's our cockerel. How gorgeous is that? Now, here he is on that background. We showed him to you. He's so proud. He's so elegant. But also, what character they've got. Strength of character. He's gorgeous, Adam. He really, 50% of that stuff, this is already gone. 50% as or $9.99, $4.99. 99. Get Captain now, because we don't know when he'll be back. He's, there's no it. more. There, oh, there isn't. There you go. Yeah, no. there, there is no more. Once Captain's gone, he has gone. This next one, I feel, eight ninety nine. Oh, it's approaching limited stock. Our wellies. Oh my gosh, you need the wellies. Look at them. Look at the colourway that you've got here. It's just fabulous. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pairs of wellies and you've also got a couple of them facing in either direction i just think this is an absolute must have i just wanted to have my wellies and put look at this just put a couple of the chickens around the feet of oh, the that's, wellies oh, that really works. that's just great it's just great oh let's have one with fluffy feet look at him they're just they're just or these could be babies and look at them there they're oh, just yeah. the most, uh, this is a fabulous style and it's one that you're going to use again and again and again. If you put that in with your one day special, split it three ways, Two ninety nine for your wellies today, but it's limited stock. Your wellies is now, your boots are limited stock, so you do need to get a wriggle on if you want them. I would definitely start if they're about to go. They are genuinely about to go. Eight pounds and 99 pence, 974, 279 is your item number that we're looking at for these ones as well. Uh, eight pounds and ninety nine pence. It's it's one of these. Oh, it's gone. Sold out. The wellies has now gone. Our first sellout uh, is what we're looking at on there. Right then, I want to tell you one more thing, and I'm so conscious of the time. I really, really am. But I think once again, if I don't tell you now, I think they'll be gone by later, or they'll definitely be gone by tomorrow. Nineteen pounds and ninety nine pence. You get 24 pens, is what you're getting. Now, with their, their beautiful, uh, their flexi fine liners, is what you're getting on this. So you can get that precision tip, or you can get that nice stroke. So if you're into your calligraphy and think about, oh, imagine that nice little stroke. But look at the colour wave that you are getting here for $9.99 today. For $9.99 today, you are getting all of these colours. Now, I am going to show you the nib in a centre as well. They come beautifully packaged, so they're all there. All the colours are there for you. Some nicks and back. Now, I'm just going to quickly open this. I know, I know I'm eating into time, but I need to show people. Uh, so you've got the beauty. Look at the point on that. That just feels like a good writer. Feels like a good writer. 19.99, £9.99 £9 today. Um, so let's ask the lady herself, shall we? Let's ask her. Seth, why do I need these in my life? Oh, well, first of all, they're a nylon fibre nib. And that may, what that means is you've got a fantastic um, capillary action that draws the ink through. So it gives you a really smooth thing. You've got a little bit of flex in the nib itself. You'll get a very, very fine line. Now, I'm talking about fine. 
pin dot fine, but you can also press and use a little bit more pressure. The nibble, oh, nibble support it and get a slightly wider line, and that does vary, and you can get it to length. There's also a video on how to use these, and um, don't forget to check that out because that will give you lots of inspiration. But, oh, my goodness, great price, absolutely perfect, especially for adding detail in your designs. Oh, 9 99 today. You cut. It's a given. It's a given, isn't it? It's absolutely a given. Right, Captain, Captain Cockerell has now got limited stock. He's going to be our next sellout. Captain Cockerell has now got, I think I've just renamed him, uh, <laughs> Captain the Dice said, two dice in total. Uh, my little Cockerell is about to go. He's about to go. It's worth having a little look if I was you. It is about to sell out. 191540 is your item number. I'm on best behaviour. <laughs> right then, let's get over uh, to our step for our first demonstration on the one day special. Well, I'm just going to show you Captain in his all his glory because if he isn't going to last, then we need to see him just once. Look at his plumes, look around all of his crown and his detail, his feathers and the way that they all lend themselves. And if I turn him over, you can see how this, by following the lines, is going to decoupage absolutely beautifully. And that is what this is all about. He sits proud and he's there. And I'm just going to show you a couple, one little quick scene with him. Let's take our, um, our tyre that's... Just, you know, so what does, the, what does the farmer do with the old tyres? Well, they're so useful when you have got things that you need to be able to put together. Look at how you could be nesting in there and he could literally be stood as the king of the castle on the side with a couple of his little chicks. His little chicks all <laughs> looking round. By chicks, I mean the girls, not the babies. And there he is, proud, actually, over the top of the design. Wow. He... I guess will probably not last but in the background is his house and there he is he's really is ruling the roost you've got that depth of field as well because you get the different sides of the coops that you've got in there he's really he's about to go genuinely about to go 9.99 4.99 if you use flex extravaganza split it three ways it gets even better if you put it in with your one day special as well but he's about to go 1.91540 is your technical sellout another one gone Another okay. one gone. If any bounce back, I will let you know. There's another sellout. That's two now. Get this top row. This top row is worth having a little look. I think the watering can's about to go as well. They're very, very busy. Right, then, let's get to demonstration. What are we up to, Steph? Right, what I'm going to do is I've got the um, watering can, and I'm just going to show you how to assemble it and what we can do with this, because this actually is, again, going to work out to be a great little piece that you're going to use again and again. So, first of all, I've got my, um, my base, and then I've cut the actual spout. Now, the way that we assemble this is the back panel, the back little piece goes behind and then you can push this to anywhere actually and you can see how you can angle it and make it fit any part of the watering can so if I take it to just there and then all I need then is one of my handles so I'm going to get just get a couple of those out and what I'm going to do with this is you can then put it again tucked behind at one side so that it works like that or I could have it so that it comes round the back and it sits down like that so again you've got choice with this and that's what this is all about is having our choice now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to snip into it so just going to reach my scissors and give you a couple more options. So let's make this into a plant pot. And to do that, all I need to do is literally curve that in slightly. So it's not a straight line there now. You can see if I put it against my scissors, I've actually, you'll see the gap in the middle. But look, I've just now made myself a planter. So let's just make a couple more of those because we'll need a few of them. So we're going to curve in again just like I'm doing, and there is my other planter. And one more, just for good luck, because we can. I'm going to take that one, but this time, so these galvanized planters, you could have all three of them together. So oh, we've yeah. now created a little set of plant pots, but I'm gonna lie this one down, put this one just here, and then let's take the tire and just lay that on top. So. 
you can see how we're building up. This is like um, a little <coughs> uh, activity so center for the for the hens that can then all play and move around and do and have there. There's my hen house. So I'm just going to put that right back in the distance so that you can see there. We've got those right to the front. Oh, but that's the fun of having something like this. It's so user friendly and it's so snippable. So that's our watering can. Let's go on and start looking at how we can build some of these scenes. So first of all, a, a scene like this. Now what I didn't show you when I was showing you all the backgrounds was that if I would urge you to print the, some of them onto vellums because look at the effect that you get when you print onto vellum. Oh that translucence, word. it's just stunning. Isn't that beautiful? Oh. Some of them day scenes with a few lights behind as well onto vellum is really going to bring them to life Ooh. even more and really gives you the three-dimensional look at this on vellum. Is that on vellum? It is. Oh. Yep, it's on vellum. Here's another one. Look at this vellum. Look at that. Again, just looking fabulous. Here's another one. No, you've got then that effect that you're getting, just giving you that real look and feel and loving the fact that you've also got them so that they look like rice papers. Now, I'm just going to give you this one and you can see all the texture and the detail. And then when I show you that as close up, look at, look at how much there's in there, the patterns that are in that. Imagine wow. covering those eggs with this pattern. It's going to look stunning. That's the start of the story. Okay, so I'm going to take um, one of these backgrounds and I'm going to use it to create a story. So I'm going to start off with this one. And I've chosen a vellum because I love the translucence that we've got. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my hen house in the background. And I'm going to put it in like that. So we've just got the shadow of that hen house right in the distance. And then we've got the other one. That one's a little bit too big. So, oh, well, never mind. We can just get a smaller one. Let me just get the next size. Oh, that's much better. So there we go. There's our real uh, other hen house that we've got. And then we need some of our, we'll get some of the chickens. Let's bring them up to the, down to the front. And they're pecking away. And they're going to peck away in this little pile of straw. Because in the straw, there's lots of little bugs. And they like bugs for dinner. And then along comes one of the other little chickens and he's like thinking oh my goodness me oh and now there's a posh one look at him he's absolutely coming to say hello and see what he can get out of here now while all this is going on and there's a lot happening in the hen house at the moment there's also they've been growing some vegetables and they've started to grow just the onions and i've lost them <laughs> <laughs> uh, just so you know, a, a quarter of your stock of your one day special, a quarter of the one day special bundle has now has already gone and Steph sold us at the top of the show. We had more stock this time than any other one day special we brought to you in the past. As we've had more and a quarter of that stock now has already gone. It's worth having a look, it's on three flexible payments as well. I actually think that would be my scene. That would be what I would be doing. I don't think I almost don't need to add any more. No, I've, got the, I've got the hen house in the background. You've got these lovely cockerels and hens in the background, all just telling us a story. And then this is where all the action's happening. A little bit of, of greenery at the front, just bringing that together. And in fact, you know what I'd do? Right on the very corner, I'd have myself an onion, just because I can. Yeah. So that's just one idea of one of the scenes that we could do. But I'll put some of this away and tidy okay. up, shall I? <laughs> you shall tidy I? up while you do that. I'll see you in about three uh, hours. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the thing. This is what you can do. And you're thinking, it's, it's just a big mess. It's not a big mess. You have, you've got loads of elements in there. And that's just the dies. Seven, there's so many things that you can do with this of different shapes and different sizes. And the perks of this is once you've got the dies, you can cut out from all those sheets that you've got. You're going to get your reflection sheets. Now, your reflections will appear in your account on the website. So when you log in and you sign in, name, email address, all that rubbish that you put in there, it will be in your account under downloads, something like that. You'll see them there. If you bought um, with mail, if you bought there, it's under the same bit. So it'll all be there within 24 hours. 
Now, don't worry about that. We will do all that for you. So you ain't got to worry because there's no good getting them now because you ain't got no dice. Okay, so don't worry about them, don't panic yet. Um, but 24 hours, once all this is over, they will be put into the earth. They'll be in there before you get your desires. So you can start printing them off straight away. All those different shapes, all those different sizes. And then we start looking at what you can achieve. Now, already I can see with that tire die, and I know I'm still jumping around, I don't have to go mad. With that tie die, if you just cut that out on its own, colour it in yellow, and put some of the hay in, you've got nests. There already. It doesn't have to be a tyre. Easter is only round the corner. So now I'm thinking I'm going to use, start using the dyes or even some of the hay. Use the hay, start building these up. Little hay bales, though, I remember in the last one. So the big round hay bales, these are going to work perfectly that you've got there. Then you yeah, choose the tag dyes and you've got, you can, you really can. You could tag your plants with them. I'm thinking Nan Grandad likes the little garden that they've got there. I could start making little sceneries. I could start making little seed packets uh, with these ones. With the shapes of the dyes that you get, you can make seed packets out of this. And this is only half the story that I'm showing you at the moment, because then you're going to get the hen house. Then what you're going to get is also going to get the dyes in there as well. And they are super dyes. They really are. With the, it's the detail that you're getting from the different sizes that are in there. So you can go from this and to make your card blanks, to make your aperture cards that's in there as well, uh, because it's not your standard shape. It's not going to be your square. It's not your rectangle. It's not your hexagon. You've got that beautiful egg shape, so you can cut that in half, should you so wish. But then I think my favourite is the USB. The USB. Now, this is just the geek inside me now. Um, but I was reading the package in a minute ago. If you know your stuff about USBs, it's a 4 gig USB, which means that's a lot of gigabytes. That's, that, without going into terms of the 1,000 megabytes, it makes gigabytes and all that rubbish. So it means there's a lot on there. A 4 gig um, USB stick that will work with your MacBook. It will work with your PC. You've got backgrounds. You've got imagery on there. You've got sentiments on there as well. So you've also got sentiments. Uh, so you can go and just print them straight off, put it on, there's your card done. But then you can start printing them out. So you start printing them out on your beautiful vellum that I've got on the show as well, the 140 GSM vellum. I've got that on the show. Pop that into your basket. It'll split the cost of that onto three. 30% of our one day special stock has already gone. 30% of a vast amount, and you know me, I said it is, I wear my heart must leave and I tell you as it is because there's no point jazzing it all up. 30% of the stock has gone, and this is the most stock we've ever had on a one day special for two Red Robins. And 30% has already gone, which tells me you love the story. Which also tells me as well, you're just growing your story. You are now starting that next chapter of your two Red Robins. So we've been to the farm, we're now out in the field with the chickens. And even down to the chicken's eyes, and I was meant to say this earlier and I totally forgot, even down to those chicken eyes, it would have been very easy for Steph to give us the standard chicken. You know the one I mean. That standard, the standard, these are proper chickens. They are six different breeds of chickens. I've only just learnt about ch uh, chickens um, because uh, now I've, I, I found someone that owns a farm that's there. I just thought a chicken was a chicken, to be honest. I didn't realise they had feathers, to be honest. I only ever seen them in a supermarket. But there is a lot of breeds of chicken out there. But it would have been quite easy for Steph to give us two, one facing left, one facing right, of a standard chicken. Yeah, your standard Easter chicken. They're not. These are your proper chickens with the big fluffy feet that you stand for ages looking at in the zoos. Around when you go around the farms, these are your farm chickens that are going to lay all your little eggs, that are going to tell that story again and again and again. And again, because you can print them off as many times as you want and just keep die cutting them out. 343043 is your item number. Three interest flexible payments, if you're a Freedom member or not, £32. £32.97 today is what you're looking at if you are a Freedom member with a £33.99 saving. Right then, that's enough from me because I'm sick of the sound of my own voice. Let's go over to Steph for more <laughs> demonstrations. <laughs>
Okay, guys, so a couple of things. First of all, not available anywhere else, exclusive here at the craft store. And do remember, um, this has been, um, for me, it's been like having the best holiday ever because I've been here quite a bit the last week, but that isn't going to continue because we're going to be stretching out our shows. So make the most of it while you see it. Right, I want to show you something. So this is one of the backgrounds that I've got here, and there's my chicken at the end. Now, what I've done is I have just gone in and I've literally just chased round the tail with my scissors and I've come down to here. And I did that just by looking at the detail of the actual die. And I put the die over, worked out where I wanted it to go, and then I'm happy that this is gonna be exactly like I need it. So I'm just gonna tuck that underneath there, pop that over the top, place this on my cutting plate like that and that then get my top plate on and that is going to go through our couture go power and boss right now while that's going through i'm just going to take two of my stands and i'm going to glue these together so use whatever's your favorite glue i just happen to be using one of the create and craft tape pens that um are going to be no i'm not I'm, that one's run out and i've just wrecked Douglas, dear. the wrecked the studio <gasps> it's all right oh we've got we've got well, doug's always on hand he Thank loves getting you. his arm on telly how good is that oh my gosh um right don't know where i'm gonna get that from but we'll worry about that later what, what have you lost no it's all right that one's run out so we'll use our glue gel to do it so we'll put some of this on here. I've got more tape pens, they're just not in this bag, but we can get we can find we can get them. So I'm just going to squidge this there like that so that we've got that glue is where we need it. I'm just gonna hold this, I just want to hold this together. Thank you so much to our do you know what the team here at the craft store are so nice. I came in today and I said to them, I'm not very good at doing pack shots. And they went, that's okay, because that's our job. And I was oh. like, aw, Mal thank told us you. that yesterday. What, that I'm not good but at pack shots? Not, but you're not very good at- No, I'm not. You're I'm, not very good at, but you can see pictures in your mind. I can. That's what she told me. Yeah, but she can can't see, see anything. No, she can't see pictures. <laughs> but she can, can see know. a pack shot. Yes, yeah, see, I know. She let all your secrets out uh, yesterday. Oh my gosh, right, thanks Mel. <laughs> Right, so I just need to show you this because this is this is where it gets clever, okay? So, not me, the machine. <laughs> so what I did was, remember, we cut round that edge and we lifted it over the cutting edge of the die. Yeah. And then I put a piece of card underneath, but the piece of card cut out the complete circle, the um, egg. So when I put this over the top of my egg, the tail will still be loose, but the actual rest of it is sitting on that egg shape. So really a good way of you being able to do two cuts in one and getting the result that you need. So now, because this is one of our beautiful backing papers from that USB, and remember you could buy just one or two of the dies, but if you're gonna do that, make sure you get the USB as well. Don't want you to end up with getting it home and then wishing that you've got all these backgrounds, and a lot of people do do that. So I'm just snipping in here, which will take me just a moment. And I'm just going to, I'm going to feather. So put the scissors onto your fingers and rest them. And then literally I'm going to snip in like that. Then I'm going to come back and I'm going to snip like that. And what will happen is you'll get this lovely little feathered finish. There, look at it. You can see it's really sort of quite delicate and detailed. So I'd keep going with that. But in the meantime, let's put this on my egg. Now, oh yeah, no, that's really good. Thank you. I will come to that in a second. So look at by doing that feathering, what a difference it's made to the detail at the top. Now by putting that, um, putting that egg on the back, it's made it really sturdy. Now I can take my stand and I can then put my my card on my stand without having to have a back on it and I'm going to just do a bit more work on that and add some detail to it and I'll just use my tape pen and do this bit of gluing that needs repairing. 
So, do you want to do your bit? I can do you some more numbers. We're very, very busy. I know. Cliche. Uh, but we are very busy. We're looking at... I'm there, I'm there. Doug, blessed. I, I put the, I tried the tape pen on the counter and now we can't get it off. Uh, so, Doug's trying, trying to clear that at the moment. Uh, so, the stand that we're talking about at the moment uh, that you're getting, I know we've just got it, I've already ruined them. Uh, I don't give a hoot. £29, Stephanie did a tape pen. £29.99, 177.254 is your item number. Worth getting. What, they really genuinely are. Not even to stand your cards. Or imagine when you go to the shows. And all your cards, or even just your prices, are now presented on little bits of MDF, but with their own little stand. That you can stand next to maybe a cake, or you can stand next to that card that you want to say. Maybe you've got a wedding or a birthday coming up. Maybe it's the Christmas table. Don't want to wish your life away. But maybe it's the Christmas table. And you want to make little name tags. Well, you make your own little tag. You could even little Easter table. That's the big one. So Easter, you cut yourself a little egg and you can rest it in with someone's name on that you've got there with a little bit. So you've got a little Easter table, but you've got your little stands. They're worth their weight in gold for any project, whether it's two Red Robins or anything else that you've already got. Uh, it re it's basically like a phone holder for cards, is what I like to see it as. Because imagine if you've got a pattern. You make these rigid enough on the large ones, you could stand your patterns in them. It's what we stand all our dies on. Let's be fair, that's what you're, that's what you're creating. You are creating the stand that we basically build all our pack shirts on. But if you're selling your cards, you could easily throw one of these in as well. Throw one in and it's going to work with the card. So imagine that little off cut that we've done. So we've got that with the chicken, but you use this now and you just use maybe the left hand side of that paper. It's going to blend in perfectly. It's worth having a little look at your dice, £29.99, pence, but use Flex Travaganza today. Flex Travaganza will make that £15 today. £15 uh, on flexible payments. 177254 is your item number. Let's go back to Steph. Okay, so I've, I've feathered the little bits of his tail so you can see. So he looks like he's, he's meant to be fluffy. Now, I'm, I'm going to just put some, I just want to get some of this grass at the bottom and this straw and just get a little bit of this all there. So he looks like he's nesting, and, um, but he doesn't look like it's too flat. So I'm going to take some foam on a roll. So dig into your stash and get some of this. So I'm going to just... <laughs> that was just Doug cleaning the tape pen off, that's all, before we all, before we all get into trouble. Um, there, he's so good, isn't he? He is, I, he's just a, Oh, I, I'm old enough to be most of pe most people here's mum, and I would just, I'd love them to be my children, because they're all so, they're all so nice. They're just so polite and friendly and, a pro you know, well brought up. They are well, they are well brought they? up. They're they are. properly brought up. They weren't dragged up. So I'm just yeah, going to on. put a little bit of the, the um, detail in here. So you can see how I've now got all of that hay at the bottom. And then I've got some of my um, onions and I've already got them. So I've got some greenery and I'm just going to tuck this so it's growing in amongst the hay elements. Leave those little pieces that are over the edge. I'm going to put a little chicken in here because she's just looking behind. Remember, he's sitting on the tiles, tires at the back. And then I'm going to go to Fluffy Feet. Oh, I like Fluffy and Feet. And Fluffy Feet is my one of my favourite chickens. So she's going to go there because they can all stand on the on all of these little piles of um, straw. And fluffy feet, and oh, this one's cute. Look at how, look at how proud he looks. I think he should go there, and we'll pop him on two pieces of foam, one on top of the other, and let's put both of these on, and then the direct dimension that we're going to get there. And now let's put it on our stand, and that is what it's all about. Look I love that. having the detail of the stands to be able to display things. And it just, it, once again, that now takes that to Oops. the next level. And I don't, whether you say, oh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a card maker. 
you don't have to be because now you can make two one-dimensional cards that you want to do using the eggs you can also make cards that look like this but once again it works using some of the elements from other collections as well but you can now stand these up using the hen houses and the brick walls from previous collections but also turn them into the back i love this little concept that you've got in here how beautiful is that it's absolutely stunning from there we then move on using your onions and your seeds i know me onions 109 pounds and 91 pence but you can use them with acetate that you've got it just gives you that more dimension than you than you actually know what to do you get so much dimension uh, with these using the papers in the background, that's like a Matthew Palmer watercolour, it really does. Uh, from there, using the hen house with some of the sentiments that's on the USB, with the grasses down the front, the list goes on and on and on. But I genuinely think this time, the background papers enhance your work. If you have lost your crafty mojo, it's worth having this USB that you've got. It does give you your inspiration. It gives you that starting point. And if you're thinking, I don't know how to use the papers, well, just go small, just use your hen house. You can make simple cards just using those little hen houses and the little straw. I love in this one. I love this using the little robins from previous collections and the little, uh, the tire. Look, growing things inside the tire, but it makes your work come to life. It's what we call a mantelpiece pleaser. This is something that you will keep up when you've taken all the other ones down. Then there's nothing wrong with them, the ones that are covered in the glitter. The ones that got that solo cricket player just playing on his own. That racing car with the blurry background. The old football that's been hand-stitched and we've not used them since 1973. <laughs> Those ones you will take down. But when I show you cards like this, these will be the ones that will stay up. These will be the ones that you will frame. These will be the ones that will go in to the memory box that you will keep and then you'll pass down and then you'll find them. It's scrapbooking. There is scrapbooking. There is so much you can do with this. Well, I've only got 10 minutes left of this show, so let's go back uh, to Steph to find out what we're up to this time. Okay, so this time what I've done is I've used my egg to make a viewfinder. Oh, yes. So I've made my own viewfinder because my card. So now this is how I'm going to work. I'm going to work out where I'm going to get my, um, where I'm going to create my scene from. So let's take this one. Look at how I can use this egg. Oh, that works. Doesn't it look, isn't it clever? Yeah. Using that egg, -o, that egg aperture to be able to, look at this. He's so clever to be able to do this. So now let's build our scene. So. We've got our little, look at that. that Let's works, get to see those little hens down there. We need to see those, don't we? But then we might want to just have loads of chickens, just lots of them. So we're going to move, we'll move that up a little bit and out. And we're just going to, because they all deserve to be shown off because they're all so gorgeous. And look at Fluffy Feet. I mean, he is, I wish I knew what kinds of chickens they were because I, I was going to learn them, but I couldn't pronounce some of their names. But look at these, all of the different kinds of fluffy feet chickens and the different ones that we've got in here that are actually giving us, and there's one, here she is. She's just sitting in the background, but there, all of the little chickens together telling that story. And then I can move this round and take it so that it comes into a completely different area of the project. I'm going to move those out. I'm going to take one of these. So let's take the tyre and we need a little bit of a nest because she doesn't want to sit in there and get a cold bottom. She needs to be comfy and actually he's too small. Well, then that's not a problem because let's go bigger. How big do we want to go? In fact, I'm going to go quite big. I'm going to put that on there and then let's put the little nest in it and let her sit in there. This is from one of those big old tractors. You know that those works. big, great big farm yeah. implements that you see that are around that have got and she's in there and she's sitting in her little nest warming her babies they've come to say hi how you doing just having a nice just going for a walk just going to say hi um let's just look at another one let's go into this one this is a this is another must-have here we go completely plain background how gorgeous is that 
that just That's is right. stunning. Now, I think we could do something interesting here because why don't we use, where have they gone? My, um, this is what happens when you get so many of everything. I'm going to take, I'm going to put some of my little pins in and these are going to tell me what we're growing. So what are we going to grow? So, well, definitely onions, because we've got loads of them. So let's get some of those out as well. Have we got a storage on the um, show today? I hope so. We, we're trying to bring it on every show. So I think we have. I'll and flash out the detail for the storage that we've got there. Medium and large. Let me bring you the medium first. What do you use, Dev? All of them. All of them. <laughs> there you go. Look, you need so, them all. Sorry. So they're medium, um, they're medium dies, storage wallets. You get 24 wallets in total for 19.98. And then we'll bring you the details for the large. There you go. We're still watching what you're doing, Steph. You can see, look at this, how good is this? Just having the little labels tucked behind, telling you what's in growing. And let's grow, let's go a little bit further out this way. And just love the fact now, I need one of them going up the hen house. So he's thinking about going up. We've got, uh, we could have, actually, tomorrow I'll do one where I'll show you the tyre actually hanging in the aperture with them nesting in it. So I'll bring my invisible thread and show you how to do that one. Um, but uh, let's see what else we can do with the ones I've Does got. Does that mean left. that from, so from the tree, from the background of the tree in there, I could have a swinging tire, so it looks Absolutely. like the kids have yes. been there before with the yeah, chickens underneath. Yeah, yeah. And let's do that on this one now. It just so opens up possibilities. It just gives us so much choice to, with things that we're doing. So I we'll need a piece of because it's on vellum. Let's put a piece of colour there. Let's take a tire. That one. Maybe that one's a little bit big. Let's see if I've got a smaller one. Or we'll just find a bigger tree. Um, that's the fun of the doing now. stuff Forest like there. this. Look at how many backgrounds we've got, everybody. There are so many to choose from. I don't think I even showed you these. These are even. These are just more oh, backgrounds. Geez. Look at this. Look at how gorgeous is that one? Just all the greenery. So look at all the different backgrounds. More different sizes, different finishes. You've got different looks, you've got all the different elements. We've got um, there, that one with the different bits, parts of the trees. Then this is a good one for, to do hanging for the tyre. So let's have that one. So we'll have the tyre hanging there. So we've got it, it's, a, it's actually a reflection, but we're going to use our, our egg. Well, this would